I'm the world's only SSS ranked golden eagle. I'm locked up in a cage in a zoo. Even though I'm on welfare, I think about how to kill them all every day. Because in half an hour, the world will experience the first aura revival. The animals in the zoo will also have their first evolution. And my goal is to kill and devour them all. Because I have accidentally awakened an unlimited plundering and evolution system. If you kill a beast that has evolved, you'll earn evolution points. With enough evolution points, my level and bloodline can evolve. I could even use them to obtain a special bloodline or even a natural skill. Soon the first aura revival will occur. The order completely collapsed at that moment. All the animals in the zoo began to mutate. They attacked the tourists. For a while, the peaceful zoo became the most terrifying forbidden zone. Especially a white-haired tiger. Very violent. It was a rampage. Out of the tiger park. That's when my eyes fell on the white tiger. For the first time, the aura is revived. Will also give birth to a spirit fruit. At that time, this white tiger escaped from the zoo. And ate the fruit. It made it one of the strongest beasts in the world. Now that he's reborn, the fruit must be his. Only by becoming stronger. In the chaotic world that follows, he will be able to take the lead. The mutated white tiger is extremely fast. It dodged the shots from the tranquilizer gun and left at great speed. I was amazed in my heart. This white-haired tiger deserves to be the king of tigers. It's so powerful even after it's just mutated. Afterwards, I didn't delay any longer. Subconsciously, I let out a loud cry. I spread my wings and flew up. I scratched the cage with both claws. A huge crack appeared in the alloy cage. I didn't stop any longer. I quickly spread my wings and rushed into the sky. I rushed in the direction of the tiger. A few moments later, I saw the white tiger's trail. The white tiger had obviously gone through aura resistance has begun to evolve. Its speed is very fast. It's much faster than ordinary tigers. Even its straight line speed is comparable to my flying speed. I followed the white tiger for a day and a night. Seeing that the white tiger's speed has not decreased at all, I sighed a little in my heart. It's worthy of being the tiger king who received the first wave of aura cleansing. His stamina is really fierce. The white tiger evolved yesterday. After a day and a night of consolidation, it's already quite strong. Although my reborn golden eagle is a rare animal, but the bloodline is extremely common. I haven't felt any aura resistance in a day and a night, nor have I become one of the first creatures to be purified. Although I was prepared for this, but I still felt very sorry when I learned the answer. But I didn't lose heart. My bloodline is not good. Now I have the golden finger of the system. I can still evolve into a peak existence without relying on aura. I don't know how long it took. The white tiger arrived at a forest. Flying in the air, I can clearly see. There's a prominent tree in the center of the forest. The reason why it stands out. The reason why it stands out is that it's too tall. The trees around the forest are 20 meters tall. And it's more than twice as tall as the rest. It's obvious that this tree has evolved. When I think about it, my body trembled. Could it be that the legendary fruit of the spirit is in this tree? However, at this moment, two figures under the tree attracted my attention. A 10 meter long. A 10 meter long python perched on the tree trunk was confronting a 3 meter long wolf. When they saw the white tiger, the wolf king and the python quickly switched their positions to make sure they can see all the enemies. The python also noticed the intruder. The snake's body was trembling. It's very threatening. But the white tiger was completely unafraid. He didn't even care about the wolf or the python. Raising his hand, he looked upwards. I followed the white tiger's gaze. I saw a fist sized fruit on the branch of the giant tree. The fruit was glittering with silver light. It exudes a spiritual aura. This is the spirit fruit? My eyes lit up. I circled around. I landed in a tree not far away and rested. The reason why I didn't make the first move. I didn't take the fruit into my arms. Because before the fruit ripens. Before the fruit ripens, it will form a barrier. To prevent other creatures from approaching. If a strong person forcibly breaks through the barrier. Then the fruit will automatically break through. That's why every time the fruit was born in the past life would inevitably lead to a fierce battle. The winner would get the fruit of the spirit. There was no possibility of stealing it in advance. This is also the reason why the python and the giant wolf confront each other. But they didn't climb up the tree to pick the fruit. I'm not hiding. I couldn't hide either. So I just stood by and waited for my turn. As for the three white tigers, they didn't care about me. I even saw a hint of disdain in the python's eyes. Oh, man. Nowadays, snakes dare to provoke eagles? But it can't be helped. I didn't have any aura to resist. I don't have any aura. Naturally, I won't be taken seriously by these ferocious beasts with excellent bloodlines. The white tiger took a look at the spirit fruit. It withdrew its gaze in satisfaction. Then it roared. 
intending to drive away the python and the giant wolf, and enjoy the fruit all by himself, but it was obvious, although the python and the giant wolf were a bit scared, but it was impossible to scare them away, when the white tiger saw that they did nothing, became enraged, it directly pounced towards the giant wolf, with a roar, the white tiger slapped his palm towards the wolf, I could see clearly, the white tiger's paw was emitting a faint fluorescent light, it's obviously evolved, after a fight, the wolf lost all its life under the white tiger's strength, the python was hammered to death by the white tiger, it was like a god coming down from heaven, the white tiger, who was fighting two against two, was no better, his body was bruised and battered on the outside, but his body was filled with the python's venom, at this moment, an air bubble ruptured, the fruits on the tree ripened and fell, my eyes lit up, I spread my wings and rushed up, it's harvest time, the ripened fruit instantly attracted the attention of the white tiger and the python, the white tiger immediately gave up on the python, his eyes were firmly fixed on the falling fruit, just when everything seemed to have settled down, my forceful palm came in a hurry, with five years of experience in my previous life, I'm naturally very experienced in fighting, I'll use my full strength when I strike, the white tiger and python bloodlines are naturally strong, after receiving the first aura recovery, at this moment, their strength is far beyond that of ordinary beasts, but I also have an evolution panel, I'm not much less powerful than them at the moment. In addition, the python has been seriously injured. The white tiger is poisoned. I chose this moment to make a move. It's like a snipe fighting with a clam. The fisherman will benefit. The white tiger was obviously angered by my uninvited guest. It roared at me, in an attempt to scare me away. His body was still pouncing towards the fallen lingu. I was happy to see that. It seems that this white tiger doesn't take himself seriously. Facing his own attack he didn't take any precautions at all, if that's the case, I must teach this white tiger a lesson, after launching my claw attack, my claws, which were already extremely hard, now glowed with a cold aura, at the same time, the speed of my pounce has also increased by a lot, before the white tiger touched the fruit, my claws landed on the white tiger's body, three consecutive attacks in the blink of an eye, my evolved claws surpassed the strength of steel, instantly broke through the white tiger's defense, I scratched a huge wound on the white tiger's back, it was so deep that it could be seen through the bone. Blood gushed out from the wound. This is the trigger of the bleeding effect. Under the white tiger's red pain, he let out a miserable cry. He was knocked out by the impact of my attack. It fell hard to the ground. My eyes lit up when I saw this. Without any delay, with a flap of my wings, I rushed up, taking advantage of the opportunity to kill him, rushing to the white tiger's body. Before the white tiger could react, he attacked again with his claws. The white tiger couldn't dodge in time. I hit it directly in the face. Three attacks hit the white tiger's head and instantly blew out the entire skull. The white tiger fell to the ground with a thud. He lost his breath immediately. In his previous life, he was a formidable tiger king. In this life, he was killed by me. The future has been changed by me. After confirming the death of the white tiger, I didn't take it lightly. After all, there's still a python watching from afar. I immediately turned around. I saw the python turning its head to run away, obviously, I hadn't been taken seriously by the three beasts, after killing the white tiger, the python was already scared, it's not as strong as me, as a python, it's naturally opposed by a golden eagle like me, how can we fight, after the revival of aura, the python naturally chose to run away, I showed no mercy, I attacked again with my claws, the sharp claws, glowing with cold light, instantly landed on the python, the severely injured python was cut into several pieces before it could even fight back. It twisted a few times on the ground, but in the end, he was still dead. Seeing the three dead beasts, I breathed a sigh of relief. I used my skills three times in a row. It's a bit too much for my body now, but fortunately, I was the winner in the end. It's not that I'm bloodthirsty, but in this environment, the weak are the strong. You can't be kind. Only cruelty to the enemy is to be merciful to yourself. If we let the python go, I don't know what kind of trouble it will cause. After all, the python knows about the fruit of the spirit, confirming that the surroundings are safe. I flew over and picked up the fruit. I spread my wings and flew to the branch of the giant tree. I didn't hesitate. I swallowed it in one gulp. The next moment, a powerful aura erupted in my body. It covered my entire body. Under the aura's scrubbing, I could clearly feel that my body was undergoing a huge change. This change is called evolution. Two days have passed. My evolution was complete. On top of the giant tree, I opened my eyes. My eyes were filled with shock. After consuming a spirit fruit, has brought me great changes.
the most intuitive change is that I'm now twice as big as before. Spreading my wings is even more exaggerated. My wings are now nearly 7 meters wide. This has far exceeded the limits of the golden eagle species. The soft feathers are now glistening with cold light. Obviously, they have a strong defense ability. My claws have also been affected by the fruit. They've become thicker, sharper, and they've turned darker in color. Even my hearing has improved tremendously. At this moment, I can even hear the faint sound of insects within 100 meters. It's obvious. I'm no longer a mere sculptor. I feel that my body is filled with great power. It's 10 times more powerful than before. After looking at the panel, I was a bit surprised. I didn't expect that a spirit fruit would allow me to cross the F rank. To the first rank. This is completely out of my expectation. Although it's not too strong. But in this forest, there's absolutely no one beyond the F rank. In other words, a rank one can already walk around the entire forest. I'm a bit excited. As the saying goes, one step ahead of the other. At this moment, I've already gotten a head start on the first aura revival. As long as you don't make waves, I'll be the one who stands on the wind and flies straight up to the sky. In addition to the spirit fruit allowing him to evolve to level E, the extra spirit power was turned into 10 evolution points, just enough for Luyu to upgrade sharp claw attack. Sharp claw attack, LV1, 0 slash 10 evolution points required to upgrade. Luyu did not hesitate and directly chose to upgrade. At the moment, the evolution points were not enough for Luyu to advance in rank so there was no need to keep them for upgrading skills. After all, this was a world of crisis, and any little increase in strength could probably save lives. The 10 evolution points disappeared in an instant. The next moment, the panel changed. Sharp Claw Assault, LV2, 0 out of 100 evolution points required for upgrade. Skill Description, after activating the skill, lock onto a single target, assault to the target, speed increase by 100% during the assault, burst 3 times, attack damage is 200%, 50% probability of causing the target to enter a bleeding state. Seeing the skill introduction, Liu could not help but reveal a smile. This 10 evolution point spent is not a loss, after upgrading the skill became sharp claw assault, not only the damage is doubled, the most important thing is that there is an additional effect of assault, the speed during the assault can also be doubled. Powerful. Liu sighed in his heart and finally placed his eyes on a new column that appeared on the panel. Talent. Talents were added during the process of evolution, randomly appearing or bloodline awakening. For ferocious beasts, this talent was definitely a gift from heaven. The strength of a beast with a talent versus a beast without a talent was absolutely crushing. And now, unexpectedly after evolving, he also possessed a talent. Wind Spiritual Affinity This talent allowed Luyu to mobilize the constantly reviving wind spirit power between heaven and earth to a certain extent, and use it to increase his own strength, such as increasing his speed. In addition to that, when Luyu was fighting, he was also able to attach wind spirit power to each attack, increasing his attack power. If Lu Yu was able to deepen his control over this talent, he was even able to manipulate the wind spirit power into a wind blade and attack remotely. It could be said that this evolution, this talent was Lu Yu's biggest gain. Closing the panel, Lu Yu flew down the giant tree and looked at the three corpses on the ground, including the white tiger, and immediately used the panel to loot. Congratulations on getting three evolution points. Congratulations on getting six evolution points. Congratulations on gaining eight evolution points. Current evolution points, 17. Four consecutive prompts appeared, and the three corpses on the ground all turned into flying ash and dissipated into thin air. Lu Yu bristled, in addition to the white tiger, the remaining two could not even be considered an f rank beast, the three only added up to 17 evolution points, simply not enough for Lu Yu to raise his strength again. Putting away the panel, Lu Yu was planning to leave. At this moment, the aura had just revived, so if he searched again, he might still be able to find some heavenly treasures that had been born. However, right at this moment, the crisis sensing ability brought to him by the E rank beast suddenly gave him an early warning, and Lu Yu didn't hesitate to directly dodge away. Boom! In the next moment, an ice ball hit where Lu Yu had just stood, and the entire ground radius of one meter quickly froze. Someone had sneak attacked. Lu Yu's eyes narrowed as he looked towards the direction where the ice ball had struck. A wolf slowly walked out, its eyes staring at Lu Yu, revealing an undisguised killing aura. From this wolf's cracked mouth, a cold aura emanated out along with its breath. Obviously, this was a lucky one that had awakened its talent during its evolution. Lu Yu guessed that the other party should have awakened a talent similar to Ice Aura Affinity or something like that, and that the innate mastery level was relatively high, so much so that it was able to send out ice balls for a sneak attack. However, apart from this rare talent, this wolf was no different from an ordinary wolf in terms of size, so it seemed that the direction of the other party's evolution should be in the exotic energy department. After having an idea in mind, Lu Yu spread his wings and pounced towards the other party. Lu Yu was not a soft target that could be attacked casually. Bang. 
the wolf's speed was obviously inferior to Lu Yu's, it simply couldn't dodge, and was directly grabbed by Lu Yu's claw on his waist. A blood scar appeared on the wolf's body. It seems that this wolf's defense has also gained evolution, if it was an ordinary wolf, I'm afraid that under a casual strike, I would have opened up the belly on the spot. After a hand-to-hand -hand exchange, Li Yu probably figured out the strength of this wolf. F rank, one step short of being able to enter E rank. Since the other party was not as strong as himself and still dared to sneak attack, Lu Yu was not polite. Swinging his wings to casually dodge the three ice balls that erupted from the wolf, the next moment Lu Yu directly used his newly upgraded skill. Sharp Claw Assault. In the next moment, under the support of the spiritual chi, Lu Yu crossed a distance of 10 meters almost instantaneously and appeared directly in front of the wolf. This change of events obviously made the wolf somewhat at a loss for words, and in a hurry, it could only switch its body and try to use its hardest head to receive this attack, while at the same time opening its mouth to shoot out a cold gas to freeze Lu Yu. Bang! An explosive sound rang out. The cold air spat out by the wolf was directly exploded by Lu Yu with a claw. The remaining two attacks then hit the wolf's head solidly. Although the wolf's strength was a little stronger than the previous white tiger, it was also limited. Under the two scratches, the wolf's head was directly smashed. Killed in seconds. With level suppression and powerful skills, Lu Yu once again managed to kill in seconds. After finishing off his opponent, Lu Yu was a bit nervous. He knew that his evolution panel was capable of plundering the opponent's bloodline and talent. If he was able to plunder the opponent's talent for manipulating cold ice, it would be awesome. Taking a deep breath, Lu Yu opened the panel to plunder. Congratulations on obtaining 23 evolution points. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Ice Blast. Currently remaining evolution points, 40. Lu Yu froze, the talent he had been longing for had not been drawn, but had instead turned into a skill. Cold Ice Shock, LV1, 10 evolution points required for upgrade. Skill Description, Activate the skill, you can spit out Cold Ice Shock, the effective distance of the skill is 10 meters. Inflicts chilling damage on enemies that hit, with a 50% probability of inflicting a freezing effect. Skill effect is very simple, but the effect is very strong. Although it's a bit of a shame that you didn't draw a talent, this skill is also a very good existence. Ice Shock can be combined with Claw Blitz to create a combo. First freeze the opponent with a cold ice shock long range attack, followed by a sharp claw assault to deal huge amounts of damage. Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction and then spent 10 evolution points to upgrade cold ice shock. Ice shock, LV2, upgrade required, 0 slash 100 evolution points. Skill description, activate the skill to spit out ice shock, the effective distance of the skill is 15 meters, inflicts 150% cold ice damage on enemies that hit, and inflicts a freezing effect and a slowing effect on enemies within a 2 meter radius around the target. The attack distance was increased, the damage was increased, and the slowing effect was added. Most importantly, the freezing effect went from a 50% chance of being frozen to a 100% chance of being frozen. Very good. Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction and spread his wings to leave. After Lu Yu left, not far from a tree, a man in a mountaineering outfit put down the camera in his hand and sighed in relief. He then opened the camera and checked the image he had just captured the shock on his face overflowed and eventually turned into a sentence. Crap, am I crazy or is this world crazy? How could such a terrifying existence appear? A wolf with a mouth that spits out cold ice, is this surely not magic? And this kind of existence was actually killed by a huge golden eagle in seconds. What on earth is happening in this world? Lu Yu, who was flying in the air with his wings spread out, was in a good mood at the moment. After entering the E rank, his speed had increased in a straight line, and it could be said that at this moment, he was definitely the fastest ferocious beast in the entire great forest. The consecutive plundering of three unranked beasts and one F-ranked beast not only brought Lu Yu the ice shock skill, but also provided him with a total of 40 evolution points. This kind of harvest made Lu Yu very satisfied. He needed 500 evolution points to evolve to D-rank, and the two skill upgrades now each needed 100 evolution points. It could be said that the current Lu Yu was in dire need of evolution points. At this moment, although two days have passed, the degree of evolution of the ferocious beasts is also limited, with my E rank strength, the entire forest will not have any opponents, it is the right time to kill the ferocious beasts to seize the evolution points. Lu Yu said in his heart, after making up his mind, Lu Yu sped up over the forest. As an E stage beast, he already had a simple sensing ability at this moment, and was able to sense those beasts that had evolved into F stage. Lu Yu balked at the forest, looking for suitable objects to hunt. Suddenly, an aura was sensed by Lu Yu, who immediately flew over. After flying for about 3 kilometers, Lu Yu found that a 3 meter tall black bear had been lying on the ground, enjoying its meal. It was a snow white rabbit, close to half a meter in size, obviously just starting to evolve. Seemingly sensing Lu Yu's powerful aura, the black bear put down the rabbit's corpse in its hands and faced Lu Yu, hissing in a low voice. Not bad, I didn't expect to get something so soon. 
Hovering in the air, Lu Yu was not concerned about the black bear's threat, instead he was somewhat happy. This black bear was obviously a ferocious beast that had already evolved to F stage, so as long as he finished off the other party and plundered it, he would soon have dozens more evolution points in his account. The black bear felt the powerful aura coming from Lu Yu's body, and after a few moments of agonizing, he turned around and was about to run. Seeing this, Lu Yu immediately swooped down and charged towards the black bear. The prey that was so hard to find could not be run away. Roar! The escaping black bear realized that Lu Yu was approaching, and immediately stopped in place, turned around and slapped his palm towards Lu Yu. Obviously, the previous escape was just an illusion, the black bear was just attracting Lu Yu to attack and then counter-kill. Lu Yu wasn't much surprised, he knew in his previous life that when ferocious beasts evolved, their IQ would also rise, and generally the IQ of an E-ranked ferocious beast would be no different from that of a normal human being. As for the F-rank, it also already had a high IQ. The sneak attack of the ice wolf before, as well as the pretense of this black bear now, were all tactics brought about by the evolution of IQ. Lu Yu, who had prepared for this, did not dodge, instead, he opened his mouth and a cold gas exploded out, heading towards the black bear. Cold ice shock. Cold ice shock that has been raised to LV2 is simply not something that the black bear can resist, instantly being frozen into an ice sculpture. Lu Yu pounced over and under a claw, ice shoe shavings and exploded with blood. Although he didn't use sharp claw assault, at this moment, Lu Yu's claw also tore the black bear's chest apart. Bang! Right at this moment, a light flashed on the black bear's body, and the next moment the ice sculpture exploded, Lu Yu spread his wings and flew up into the sky in order to avoid the messy flying broken ice. He stabilized his body and looked downwards, at this moment, the black bear's body was emitting a faint reflective light, the black bear's skin was bulging and became tight and thick, at a glance, the defense power was very strong. Obviously, this was a skill that the black bear had unleashed. Lu Yu's eyes flashed a light when he saw this, there are skills, then this harvest can be big. Rapidly pouncing down, Lu Yu had not yet used his wind spirit power to clamp down on his speed, just by virtue of his own speed, he had already made the black bear unable to react, and was once again caught by Lu Yu's claw on his chest. Ding! A crunching sound rang out, Lu Yu felt that the black bear's skin was as hard as steel at the moment, just now he was able to scratch a hole, now to was able to leave a few scratches. At the same time, just scratched out a big hole in the rapid repair, at the moment has been completely restored, and their own attack out of the scratches is also full of smaller, until disappeared. Powerful defense, powerful healing power. Lu Yu began to covet. This was indeed an ability that Lu Yu desperately needed at the moment. Roar. Taking the pain, but with no way to counterattack, the black bear could only roar in place. The next moment, he was greeted by Lu Yu's skill. Sharp claw assault. Lu Yu immediately transformed into a ray of light and rushed in front of the black bear, his black as ink claws grasping down fiercely. Bang! The black bear didn't even have time to resist as three doubled attacks hit him. Although this skill was strong, the black bear was only F rank now, it was not Lu Yu's opponent at all. In an instant the black bear was directly cut into four pieces by the aura that erupted from the sharp claws under these three attacks. Ah this, overexerted myself. Lu Yu immediately had some regrets, if the panel couldn't loot the corpse of a monster that had been beaten like this, what should he do then? So he hastily opened the panel. Congratulations on obtaining 32 evolution points. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Copper Skin and Iron Bone. Copper Skin and Iron Bone, LV1, 10 evolution points required for upgrade activating the skill can make part of the body become hard, like copper and iron, after activating the skill, one can continue to spend spiritual energy to heal the body in small quantities. Seeing this skill, Lu Yu was immediately a little excited. Increased defense, and a healing effect. This completely made up for his current shortcoming. Without hesitation, he directly upgraded it. Body of Steel, LV2, upgrade requires 100 evolution points activating this skill allows the defense of the entire body to increase dramatically, as if it were steel, and after activating the skill, you can continue to spend spiritual energy to quickly heal the body. At the moment, Li Yu had Sharp Claw Assault for attack, Chill Shock for control, and Body of Steel for defense and healing, so it could be said that the entire body had grown to a high level of strength. In passing, he plundered the rabbit corpse, a mosquito is still meat. Congratulations on gaining 3 evolution points. Currently remaining 55 evolution points. After wrapping things up, Li Yu looked at the two suns in the sky and reminisced. According to the memories of his previous life, Within half a month after the recovery of the aura, mankind had organized an army to expel the ferocious beasts from the cities, resulting in a large number of ferocious beasts hiding in the wild. This move indirectly accelerated the evolutionary speed of the ferocious beasts, resulting in a large number of powerful ferocious beasts appearing within just two months. Those ferocious beasts with ancient bloodlines had even evolved into B-class existences that could be called overlords. At the moment, although he was one step ahead of the evolution to E-rank, 
he could not relax and had to seize the time to plunder revolution points so that his strength would always remain at the forefront. So for the next few days, Liu Yu circled around in this forest, looking for those ferocious beasts that had evolved to rank F, taking the initiative to hunt and kill them, and then plundering them. In just five days, Liu Yu had already plundered 11 F rank beasts, and had accumulated 389 evolution points. On this day, Liu searched for a long time in the forest, but he did not find any more F rank beasts, instead, he saw a few uninvited guests. A team of humans with weapons had entered the edge of the forest and didn't look like they were planning to clean up the beasts in the forest. Seeing this, Liu Yu couldn't help but shake his head. In his previous life, when his aura had just recovered, humans had discovered that even though the beasts had evolved, they could still be killed by firearms, so they did not realize the seriousness of the problem. A large number of troops were discharged to start cleaning up the ferocious beasts. However, as time passed, E-class fierce beasts appeared in large numbers. With their strength evolved to E-class, ordinary firearms no longer worked, so the humans were defeated and suffered heavy losses. However, due to a blessing, the corpses of many murderers were collected, and evolutionary potions were researched to enhance the strength of humans, which was an afterthought. At this moment, Liu saw the humans, and the other side also saw Liu Yu. Ferocious beasts spotted, fire. The man at the head gave an order, and everyone raised their weapons in their hands to aim at Liu Yu, who was hovering in the sky, and launched an attack. Nico! Liu Yu let out a high chirp and flapped its wings, directly swooping towards those humans. At the same time, Liu Yu unleashed the skill, Body of Steel. In an instant, a black light flowed through Liu Yu's entire body. In the next moment, the bullets that covered the sky hit Liu Yu's body. However, a shocking scene appeared, the densely packed bullets hit Liu Yu's body, but it was as if they were hitting steel, not to mention causing damage, they didn't even leave a mark. How is that possible? The man in the lead couldn't help but exclaim with wide eyes at the sight. They had killed quite a few ferocious beasts before, but none of them were able to be completely immune to damage like Liu Yu, which simply overturned his perception. Liu Yu wouldn't care about the other party's feelings. Since he had struck out at him, he would have to bear the consequences. When the distance was sufficient, Liu Yu opened his mouth and spat out a cold ice. Cold ice shock. Faced with this skill that could freeze even an F-ranked black bear into an ice sculpture, these purely ordinary existences that were nothing but armed had no resistance at all. As the cold current blew by, everyone froze into ice sculptures. With a cold snort, Liu Yu spread his wings and left. Subsequently, Liu Yu saw several similar sets of humans, Liu Yu didn't pay any attention to them and directly sped off in the wrong direction. Time to change places, Liu Yu pondered in his mind. The F steps of this forest had all been turned into his evolution points, there was no point in staying, instead, he would have to suffer from the endless pestering of the humans, it wasn't that he was afraid of these humans, Liu Yu just didn't want to be troublesome. After making up his mind, Liu Yu directly flew towards the deeper mountain forest. He could sense that there were more ferocious beasts over there and their levels were also higher. After three days of flying, Liu arrived at the central region of the mountain forest, and on the way, he killed two F-rank beasts in passing, successfully accumulating his evolution points to 410. With only 90 points, he would be able to evolve into a D-ranked being. However, it was a pity that none of the ferocious beasts that Liu had killed one after another had looted out skills or talents. Otherwise, if he could have a dozen or so skills, Liu Yu's strength would go straight to the heavens. On this day, Li Yu landed on a tree intending to take a rest when he suddenly realized that there was an aura fluctuation not far away. Chance. Li Yu's eyes lit up, to be able to have an aura fluctuation appear out of thin air, it was likely that there would be a spirit fruit being nurtured. Unable to rest, Li Yu flew directly towards that direction. Not long after, Li Yu found a low shrub, and the aura fluctuations were emanating from underneath that shrub. Li Yu landed on the ground, waved his wings and slowly lifted the bush, and sure enough, he found a point of light, and a stream of clear spiritual chi was slowly radiating out. It's really a spirit fruit. Lu Yu was overjoyed, he didn't expect to find a place where he could not find it, but he got it with no effort at all. He had almost turned the forest upside down to find the spirit fruit, but he had not even found a single hair. Now he just wanted to take a rest, but a spirit fruit just appeared in front of him. Could it be that I'm the son of heaven's destiny? After sighing a bit about his luck, Lu Yu then planned to temporarily treat this place as his territory. The spirit fruit would obviously take a long time to mature completely, and in the meantime, Li Yu planned to clean up all the surrounding beasts, lest the spirit fruit would attract some beasts after it had matured and caused trouble. Doing as he thought, Li Yu first utilized the surrounding environment to disguise the nurturing spirit fruit, and only after hiding it, did he spread his wings and began to patrol the surrounding area. This time, Li Yu did not show the slightest bit of mercy, as long as it was a ferocious beast, whether it was F rank or not, Li Yu took them out one by one, turning them into evolution points on the panel. Time went back to a few days ago, the capital city. An emergency meeting of the highest rank was held. The bright and grand conference room was filled with people. 
Among them, there was no shortage of existences with gray hair, but whose casual words could turn the entire national machinery around. Elder Wu, please introduce the situation to everyone first. Elder Wu, academician, pillar of the nation, unrivaled in the country. This time, with the huge global changes, Wu Lao, who was already retired, connected to fly to the capital to lead the research on global changes, and with his profound academic skills, Wu Lao led the attack team in more than a week, and already had some preliminary results. Gentlemen, please look at these pictures and videos below first. Wu Lao walked onto the stage and nodded towards his assistant, who immediately understood. In the next moment, above the big screen, a huge cow appeared. Visually, the cow was more than 2 meters tall and its body length exceeded 5 meters. It was obvious that this cow was definitely not some ordinary cow. Subsequently, a picture was displayed, in which all of them were animals that had undergone a huge mutation. A lion with golden light emanating from its body. A dog with a long whine in the sky, emitting black smoke. A snake with two horns on its head, with electricity emanating from between the horns. The whole conference room was silent as each picture was shown. Finally, the big screen was fixed to a picture of a double sun in the sky. Gentlemen, the animals in these pictures have all appeared in the past few days, and their root cause is caused by the anomaly of two suns appearing in the sky today. According to the research, with the appearance of the second sun, an unknown substance suddenly appeared in the world, and after observation, we found that these animals underwent such a change, all because of this unknown substance. The unknown substance entered the animal's body, causing the animal to undergo unknown changes, and the current discovery shows that these changes are all benign changes, although the direction and form of the changes are different but it is undeniable that the animals that have undergone such changes have all become beings with powerful abilities. After checking the information, we have temporarily defined this unknown substance as, aura. The changes that occurred in the animals, we define it as, evolution. And the great change that the entire world is experiencing at this moment, we define it as, aura revival. The moment these words came out, the entire room was in an uproar. One must know that the so-called aura was only in existence in books, and it was unexpected that it had actually appeared in reality. Elder Wu, these animals can evolve, what about us humans? Elder Wu shook his head and solemnly said, currently, we have not found any humans and animals in general to produce this kind of evolution, so for the time being, it is concluded that humans are not evolvable. Hearing this, someone panicked, could it be that humans have been abandoned? Impossible, we still have powerful weapons, even if these animals evolved, they wouldn't be a match for humans. Someone retorted just as soon as that person finished speaking. Elder Wu waved his hand and his assistant began to play the video. In the video, the various ferocious beasts that had just appeared in the picture were all surrounded by the human army, utilizing an airtight firepower network to wipe them out. See, let the so-called aura revive, the weapons we humans possess are the ones that are invincible. We should immediately start sweeping and eliminate or capture these ferocious beasts for research to avoid harming the general public. Someone made a suggestion. Everyone. Elder Wu spoke again, only with a somewhat less than favorable expression on his face. We have discovered after research that animals after evolution are also graded according to the size of their strength. What we have just seen are all existences that have just evolved not long ago and can be easily eliminated by firearms, but there are still some. Said, the big screen began to play its another video. This video was very short, and it was quickly played out. But after watching it, everyone fell silent. In the video, a huge golden eagle with a wingspan of more than 7 meters greeted the barrage of bullets, and countless bullets hit its body without causing any damage at all. In the next instant, that golden eagle spewed out a blue breath from its mouth, and all the warriors were all frozen into ice sculptures, under one move, there were no seconds at all, there was no fight at all. Gentlemen, like the golden eagle in the video, it is initially judged to be a much more advanced existence, the other party's defense can't even be broken by bullets, and the other party is also able to spray a freezing gas, causing our warriors to be frozen in a blink of an eye. Against such an existence, ordinary firearms are no longer useful. No one would doubt the truth of these words coming from the respected Elder Wu, but because of this, the entire room was silent at this moment. The weapons that mankind relied on with pride would actually lose their usefulness one day, this was simply a reversal of the three views. Seeing this, Elder Wu didn't say anything more, he just sighed and walked off the stage, he was only good at research, as for other things, it was out of his hands. The scene was only silent for a moment before everyone came back to their senses, one by one, their brows furrowed. All of those present were elites. Naturally they wouldn't be knocked down by this point. The meeting continued to convene, and in the end, it was decided that an area would be chosen to carry out a purge of the region's ferocious beasts, while at the same time opening a live broadcast towards the entire nation in order to demonstrate the power of guarding humanity. After the plan was finalized, discussions began on the specific location of the purge. After discussing for a while, someone suddenly said, I propose to head to the mountains behind the Jinglin forest. Why? After the previous action, 
what can be determined is that there aren't many ferocious beasts in the Jinglin forest, and the ones that were found were all existences that had just begun to evolve, so I don't think there aren't many powerful ferocious beasts in the mountain forests in the back. Traveling to this place to broadcast live will avoid accidents. Hearing this, the chief commander considered for a moment and immediately clapped his hands, agreeing to the entire proposal. If Lu Yu was present, he would definitely be able to recognize that this so-called Jinglin forest was clearly the place where he had hunted before, and it was precisely because he had plundered all the F-ranked ferocious beasts that there was a reason why he could not find a single F-ranked ferocious beast in such a large forest. And the mountain forest at the back of the area that had been designated as the mission target was clearly where Lu Yu was. It had been four days since he had arrived here, and Lu Yu had not delayed at all in clearing up his own territory in the past four days, and at the moment, there were no beasts surviving within a hundred meter radius of this place. In these four days, Lu Yu only killed a F-ranked beast, harvesting a mere 23 evolution points, plus some unranked beasts, Lu Yu's evolution points currently amounted to 487 points. Only the last 13 points remained from the 500 points needed to evolve to D-rank. And right now, Lu Yu is fighting an eagle. This eagle was clearly an existence that was only one size smaller than Lu Yu, and its strength had reached the F rank. Coincidentally, after Lu Yu had cleared his territory, he intended to guard the spirit fruit first, and as a result, this eagle sensed the scent of the spirit fruit and intruded into Lu Yu's territory without knowing whether he was dead or alive. Lu Yu naturally would not eat the takeaway that was delivered to his door. Lu Yu grabbed the eagle's wing with a claw, and instantly the eagle's left wing was directly torn off by Lu Yu, and blood flowed out. Logically, after losing one side of the wing, it should have fallen off, but Lu Yu was seeing that eagle ninja pain, a light flashed across his body, and in the next moment, every feather in the eagle's entire body was moving at an exact same frequency altogether. These feathers. Feathers trembled, eerily maintaining the eagle's flight. Elder Cow's coffin board is already going to be unable to hold down. Lu Yu could not help but spit out. Lu Yu then saw the eagle chirp and cry, and in the next moment feathers burst out all over its body transforming into a razor-sharp blade that attacked towards Lu Yu. Strangely enough, the eagle that had lost all its feathers stood still in the air like a plucked chicken, with one less wing. Lu Yu had no time to care about this, and immediately used his body of steel. The defense of his body rose and directly resisted these feathers. It's my turn. Lu Yu was not a good-tempered person who took a beating and didn't fight back, he had just played along with the other party for a while, and now he was getting real. Still the same old ice shock control, followed by sharp claw assault to deal huge damage. The eagle was unable to dodge, his head was blown off, and his body fell directly to the ground. Coincidentally, those disembodied feathers flew towards the eagle in the air, but Lu Yu took out the eagle first, causing those feathers to lose control of their spiritual power halfway through, and drifted down mercilessly from the sky. The majestic eagle died of gas in a plucked chicken-like manner. Such an ugly death shouldn't affect my plundering, right? Lu Yu muttered, then immediately opened the panel to extract it. Congratulations on obtaining 16 evolution points. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Flying Feather Blade. Seeing the evolution points, Li Yu got excited, crediting 16 points, he had just enough evolution points for 500 points, and he could already evolve to D rank. However, seeing that skill, Li Yu looked a little odd. This skill, it can't be the skill of the eagle that just exploded its feathers and then turned into a plucked chicken, right? Although the power is very good, it is really detrimental to one's image. Flying Fish Blade, LV1, upgrade requires 10 evolution points explode the feathers of the whole body, turning them into a sharp blade, attacking the target with speed. Note, limited to having feathers available. Hiss. Lu Yu sucked in a breath of cool air, not expecting it to be the skill. Without hesitation, Lu Yu directly closed the skill introduction, he did not want to become a plucked chicken for a skill. Taking a deep breath, Lu Yu said, Panel, Evolution. At the same time, Li Yu operated and spent a whole 500 evolution points to start evolving. At this moment, a golden light appeared on Lu Yu's body, and the light formed a light shield around Lu Yu's body, covering him in it. This was a benefit provided by the panel, as long as one spent evolution points to evolve, they would be able to have such a shield. This shield could ensure that Lu Yu would not be disturbed by external interference during the evolution process, ensuring that the evolution would proceed perfectly. At this moment, Lu Yu felt a huge aura appear out of nowhere in his body, heading towards every inch of his body, which continued to penetrate into every inch of Lu Yu's body. It was as if the aura was endless and would not be depleted at all. The feeling of being nourished and strengthened by the spiritual qi was as comfortable as being in a hot spring. Lu Yu fell into a deep sleep in this comfortable feeling. Time passed in a hurry, seven days passed in the blink of an eye. Without Lu Yu's patrol, some ferocious beasts had appeared in the territory, and at this moment, a fly the size of an ordinary rabbit hovered next to a golden egg. The fly was able to sense an aura from the egg that made it tremble, but at the same time, there was also an aura that exuded a fatal attraction that was constantly tugging at it. 
However, the fly circled around the golden egg again and again, never finding a gap. In desperation, the fly found a random place and landed on top of the golden egg. At this moment, as if the golden egg was overburdened, it cracked open with a click. The fly was overjoyed, however, before it could do anything, the aura that erupted from that crack directly crushed towards him, and in an instant, the fly flew away. Subsequently, cracks covered the top of the giant egg. Kaching kaching. A crunching sound came. The giant egg covered in cracks violently broke open, revealing the figure inside. It was a giant golden eagle with two wings embracing it, its body length exceeding 7 meters, and a powerful aura emanating from its body. Boom! The golden eagle violently spread its wings and brought up a hurricane, rushing in all directions, countless trees were destroyed, and within a hundred meters around it, it was raised to the ground. Newt! The golden eagle opened its eyes, raised its head and chirped, startling the surrounding countless murderers to run in all directions. This golden eagle was Lu Yu. At this moment, Lu Yu was radiating a powerful aura. Grade D. With the support of 500 evolution points, in just a few days' time, Lu Yu had broken through to D rank. The rise in rank had caused his strength to change drastically. The spiritual energy filling his body excited Lu Yu. If the E rank Lu Yu's spiritual energy in his body was like mist, spread out in a small house, then at this moment, the spiritual energy in Lu Yu's body was condensed into water, transforming into a small stream that flowed unceasingly. Both in quality and quantity, there had been a great improvement. Opening the panel, Lu Yu's attributes at this moment appeared in front of him. Name, Lu Yu. Rank, D rank, evolution points required for upgrade, 0 slash 1000 evolution points. Lifespan, 1 slash 800 years. Skills, Sharp Claw Assault, LV2, Ice Shock, LV2, Body of Steel, LV2, Flying Feather Blade, LV1. Talent, Wine Spirit Power Mastery, Elementary. Evolution Points. Although that skill that would cause a total loss of image appeared in his skill panel Lu Yu was a bit uncomfortable, but looking at the D rank displayed on it, Lu Yu said that it was really cool. It had only been less than a month since the recovery of the aura, and at this moment, Lu Yu was already a D rank beast, such a speed was simply unprecedented. Lu Yu could guarantee that at this moment, except for those super beasts whose natural bloodline was heavenly and whose first awakening was of a very high rank, it was impossible for any beast in the whole world to reach the D rank. At this moment, he felt that his entire body had been strengthened several times, and his combat power was at least 10 times stronger than before. The most important thing was that with the increase in his rank, the Wind Spiritual Force Affinity Talent had directly turned into Wind Spiritual Force Mastery, which was simply a huge surprise. Lu Yu flew up in the air, his wings spreading out to completely exceed 15 meters. With a fierce flap of his wings, a small tornado appeared out of thin air in an instant, impacting towards the front, everything along the way was swept up and subsequently destroyed. Too strong. Lu Yu sighed, just now he had only used 10% of his power, and he was able to form such a powerful tornado sweep. If he had gone all out, wouldn't he be able to form a hurricane? Looking at the scene that was destroyed into ruins, Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction. Closing the panel, Lu Yu turned his head to look at the spirit fruit. At this moment, the spirit fruit was as emerald as jade, already the size of a fist, and it was estimated that it would mature in no more than two days. Lu Yu nodded with satisfaction and spread his wings to remove all the low-grade beasts that had intruded into his territory over the past few days one by one, ensuring that no one would disturb the fruit after it matured, before returning to the vicinity of the fruit. At this moment, Lu Yu's evolution points had 35 points. After thinking about it, looking at the only LV1 skill on the panel, Lu Yu simply spent 10 evolution points to upgrade it. Unexpectedly, the upgrade gave Lu Yu a big surprise. Featherblade, LV2, 100 evolution points required to upgrade consume spiritual energy, transform into flying featherblades, attack and kill towards the enemy. The attack power and number of flying featherblades is based on the spiritual energy consumed, with no upper limit. Lu Yu's eyes lit up, now this skill didn't need to explode his feathers and turn himself into a defeathered bird, instead, he used his spiritual energy instead. This was a powerful skill ah, as long as Lu Yu had enough spiritual energy, wouldn't he be able to summon an endless number of flying feather blades? At that time, who could still be his opponent? Just as Lu Yu was excited to try out the power of this skill, a voice suddenly came. Lu Yu immediately froze, because this sound was clearly the sound of gunfire. The only ones who could make this kind of noise were humans. Could it be that humans had entered this mountain forest? Lu Yu immediately waved his wings to cover up the spirit fruit and spread his wings towards the direction the sound came from. He had to get a clear picture of the situation, or else it would be too much to lose if something unexpected happened when the spirit fruit ripened. The outskirts of the mountain forest. A large number of armored vehicles were densely scattered, and tens of thousands of heavily armed warriors were surrounding a four meter tall giant bear. Above the sky, several helicoptered gunships were hovering. The high-powered weapons mounted on the helicopters were firing at the giant bear. A bullet came head-on, 
forcing the giant bear to hiss and run away, but a wound inevitably appeared on its body, and slightly farther away, on an ordinary helicopter, a camera was pointed at that giant bear, and the reporter opened his mouth with an excited face. Friends of the audience, we can see that even such a ferocious giant bear, in front of our human weapons, it was still unbeatable and could only flee everywhere. As you all saw before, our warriors have already killed four ferocious beasts, these ferocious looking beasts are still unable to resist in the face of our hot weapons. At this moment, the camera turned to the open space on the side, where the corpses of four ferocious beasts were placed, two wolves, a bobcat, and a toad, and it looked as if none of them were as huge as that giant bear. Originally frightened people see this scene, cannot help but all put down their hearts, have clapped and applauded, and some people even proposed to kill all of these ferocious beasts, in order to eliminate future problems. Pop-ups appeared one by one, densely packed, and the live broadcast room was filled with joyful laughter. Roar! Right at this moment, the giant bear roared with rage and charged towards the encirclement formed by the warriors. Seeing this, those warriors who were standing by opened fire one after another, and the dense firepower directly covered the giant bear. Even though the giant bear dodged all kinds of times, it was simply unable to dodge in the face of the impenetrable curtain of bullets. The pain of the bullets hitting his body made the giant bear hiss repeatedly. Boom! Right at this moment, a helicopter gunship pilot saw the opportunity and directly fired a rocket, hitting the back of the giant bear. The huge explosion directly blew a hole in the giant bear's back, dripping with blood. Just when people thought that with such a serious injury, the giant bear was about to fall down, a strange change happened. Roar! The giant bear roared, his eyes became red, a bloodthirsty red light erupted from his huge body, and the wounds on his body rapidly healed. In the next moment, he charged straight towards the warrior's position, extremely fast. The warrior erupted with huge firepower, but these bullets were stopped by that red glow. Even another rocket that was fired while taking advantage of the opportunity was crotched by this red light and did not cause any damage. Bang! The huge body directly tore through the warrior's position. The moment of slaughter opened. The handheld guns and heavily armed warriors were defenseless in front of the huge bear with massive strength. In just a few moments, a large number of warriors were killed by the giant bears like cutting grass. The number of casualties increased tremendously. Seeing this, the helicopter gunships immediately descended to a certain altitude and opened fire with all their might, intending to repel the giant bears that were massacring them. Roar! Although the bullets were blocked, the loud sound of the helicopter's propellers made the giant bear more and more annoyed, only to see the giant bear abandon the massacre and rush to a piece, grabbing a huge rock with both claws and directly smashing it towards a helicopter not far away. Under the huge force, the stone flew extremely fast, and before the helicopter could react, it was smashed. Rumble! Fire shot out in all directions, and under a loud noise, the helicopter turned into a ball of fire and turned into smoke. The crowd was shocked, they didn't expect this giant bear to suddenly explode with such a powerful fighting force. Then the giant bear grabbed a tree trunk and directly pulled it out upside down, waving the 10 meter long tree trunk as a stick. In an instant, two more helicopters couldn't dodge in time and were blown up. Seeing this, the rest of the helicopters immediately raised their altitude in an attempt to escape, but it was useless. The giant bear leapt up, faster than the helicopters, and with the huge stick in its hand, it directly blew up all the helicopters in three or two strokes. Retreat! Seeing this scene, the commander ordered with a gloomy face, the warriors retreated one after another. The giant bear didn't bother with the fighters, instead, he set his eyes on the last helicopter. Even the armed helicopter couldn't avoid it, how could this ordinary helicopter possibly react? At this moment, the reporters on the helicopter were already dumbfounded, so scared that they couldn't even speak, and could only watch the huge stick smashing down from the top. Right at this moment, a domineering chirping cry came out. Newt! Accompanying it were countless feathers that emitted a faint glow. Those feathers were extremely fast, like sharp blades rushing towards the giant bear. The red light that could not even be broken by rockets exploded under the attack of these feathers. A fear flashed through the reddened eyes of the giant bear that leapt in the air, and the next moment countless feathers hit its body, each one of them able to open a hole in its body. The stick transformed into a huge tree trunk and its hand turned into smoke and disappeared under the light stream of feathers, while the giant bear was instantly drenched in blood and was directly knocked to the ground. Boom! The giant bear fiercely fell to the ground, not caring about the injuries on his body, he forcefully climbed up and looked at the direction where the feather flew from with a guarded face. Although the action was guarded, but look at his body constantly shaking, his eyes were full of fear. The stunned reporter froze. He didn't expect that the giant bear that had just instantly knocked out several helicopters had actually been seriously injured in an instant. Even the impenetrable red light was easily broken. What kind of power was this? What kind of existence could possess such power? At this moment, the audience all over the world stared at the screen and looked into the distance. Newt! Another chirping cry came out. The next moment a huge figure appeared in the eyes of the crowd. 
The wings that exceeded 10 meters blocked the sun's rays, and the huge body appeared to cover the sky and the sun. The afterglow of the setting sun fell on him, making his golden feathers even more divine. It's a golden eagle. How could there be such a large golden eagle? Oh my god, I'm seeing a deity. Calm down upstairs, this is a ferocious beast. The situation is dangerous. That's right, just now that bear nearly wiped out our warriors as a group, now there's a ferocious beast that's clearly stronger than that giant bear, the warriors present are probably in danger. Live streaming room. After a short period of silence, countless pop-ups appeared and started discussing, and the protagonist of their discussion was naturally Lu Yu who had rushed over. Originally, Li Yu thought that the humans had entered the mountains and forests, but as a result, he flew over and realized that this place was more than 10 whole kilometers away from the spirit fruit. After it evolved to the D level, the five senses have been greatly increased, which can only hear the sound of 10 kilometers away. At this time, he did not intend to do so, after he was familiar with the five senses that had become stronger, he would be able to control whether or not he wanted to hear the sound of 10 kilometers away, and even be able to accurately locate the place. At this moment, King Liu Yu descended and understood the situation on the field in an instant. Obviously, this was the purging plan initiated by the humans at the beginning of the aura recovery. In his previous life, the head of the human race had initiated many purge plans against the ferocious beasts in order to invigorate the people. But without exception, all of them failed. Liu Yu glanced at the giant bear and suddenly felt that it looked a bit familiar, he seemed to have seen it in his previous life. After a slight recollection, Li Yu remembered, this giant bear was a famous demon king in his previous life, dominating Zhangzhou, and was one of the top demon kings in Zhangzhou. He was also one of the spectators in this purging program in his previous life. He clearly remembered that in this purge plan, the giant bear turned on berserk mode and directly wiped out all the warriors, leaving not a single survivor, which could be called one of the heaviest losses in the purge plan. Glancing at the humans who were full of wariness, Li Yu placed his gaze on the giant bear. Roar! A huge pressure pressed down on the giant bear, causing him to roar in color. The future demon king, at the moment, was only at level E. He could kill humans in the face of them, but he was a younger brother in front of Xia Lu Yu. Before Lu Yu could make a move, the giant bear suddenly turned his head and intended to run. Lu Yu immediately pounced on the past. This is the E-class beast, how can let go? Seeing that Lu Yu had no intention of letting it go, the bear also stopped running and turned around, intending to fight with Lu Yu. However, Lu Yu opened his mouth and sent a cold breath towards it. The giant bear tried to dodge, but was unable to do so and was directly frozen into an ice sculpture. Sharp Claw Assault Lu Yu did not do, immediately used the skill, the next moment its figure abruptly disappeared, and then appeared in front of the giant bear, his claws turned into sharp blades and grabbed towards the giant bear's head. Boom! Under three consecutive attacks, the giant bear hadn't even gotten out of the frozen state, and was directly smashed by Lu Yu's head. Killed in seconds! Lu Yu, who was already deranked, possessed three skills, and under the suppression of rank, the giant bear couldn't even counterattack. This scene gave everyone a huge shock. The giant bear that had just nearly annihilated the human warriors was actually killed in seconds in Lu Yu's hands. It couldn't even counterattack a bit and was directly killed by Lu Yu. How strong should Lu Yu be? The audience watching the live broadcast gulped a mouthful of saliva, while the reporters and fighters present were dumbfounded in place, not daring to move a muscle for fear of attracting Lu Yu's attention. And after Lu Yu finished off the giant bear, he landed on the ground and turned his gaze to the crowd. At this moment, it was as if the world stood still. Everyone felt the immense pressure, and even though it was obviously summer, they allowed cold sweat to flow all over their foreheads. The commander was holding a communicator, staring at Lu Yu with a deadly stare, not daring to utter a single breath. Right at this moment, Lu Yu moved. Just as the crowd's emotions were strained to the limit and the commander was about to order to let go, he saw that Lu Yu didn't launch an attack. He only saw Lu Yu grab the body of the giant bear with both claws, and then in full view of everyone, he spread his wings and flew high into the sky, and then disappeared. At this moment, both those who were at the scene and those who were watching the live broadcast all let out a sigh of relief. The pressure that Lu Yu had brought was just too great. Even if Lu Yu didn't attack the humans, instead, he ignored them the entire time. But precisely that was what brought even more pressure on the crowd. Retreat. The crowd that had escaped with their lives immediately withdrew from the mountains under the commander's order. Kapotol. Elder Wu studied it carefully before nodding his head and saying, That's right, this golden eagle is indeed the one that attacked our warrior squad last time, but I didn't expect that in just a few days' time, it had actually grown so huge, and it seems to be even more powerful. Hearing Elder Wu's words, everyone present couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. This golden eagle was already powerful, just a mouthful of cold air made a warrior squad wiped out. And now, within just a few days, this golden eagle had actually evolved again and become even stronger. Even a ferocious beast like a giant bear that had completely ignored hot weapons was killed in seconds under him. 
At this moment, people were somewhat desperate. The ferocious beasts were getting stronger so fast, could humans really be a match for the ferocious beasts? Right at this moment, a general pushed the door in and said with a grim expression, Sir, as of now, there have been hundreds of attacks by fierce beasts in the coastal area, resulting in over thousands of deaths and tens of thousands of injuries. In addition, after the initial results of the clearing operations, they basically encountered some ferocious beasts that firearms were unable to cause damage, and the warriors suffered heavy losses. At these words, the few old men at the head side. This world, it was beginning to be plagued with disasters. The ferocious beasts were evolving at such a fast pace, it had only been less than a month, and ferocious beasts capable of resisting hot weapons had actually appeared in large numbers, how was humanity going to be able to seek a chance of survival in this disaster? Order, a great migration will begin from today, all the people in the deep forests and coastal areas, migrate to the inland plains, away from the locations where those ferocious beasts gather. In addition, set this place, as a forbidden land, into any organization or individual to enter, so as not to provoke that golden eagle. Yes. Lu Yu, who grabbed the giant bear corpse and returned to the vicinity of the spirit fruit, naturally did not know that at this moment, because of his matter, the humans were anxious. He put down the giant bear's corpse and immediately went up to take a look at the spirit fruit, finding nothing unusual and looking like it was about to mature. Afterwards, Lu Yu placed his gaze on the giant bear. Earlier, when Lu Yu realized that the human was not here to find himself, he was about to turn around and leave. Even if the humans were in a crisis, he didn't bother. In his previous life, he was a human and knew too well what kind of virtue humans really were. For him to step in and rescue the humans was purely causing trouble for himself. Not all ferocious beasts hated humans, more often than not, it was because humans took the initiative to attack and encroached on the ferocious beasts' territory, which triggered the attacks of the ferocious beasts. And there were also many fierce beasts in the previous life that were willing to get close to humans and help them after they evolved. However, these beasts were either sent into the laboratory by humans to serve as mice, or were driven by humans to fight with other beasts and died. If they are not of my kind, their hearts will be different. This sentence is engraved in the bones of humans. Just now, Lu Yu would have made a move, but it was just for the sake of the giant bear. An ear-ranked beast, it was worth a lot of evolution points. Opening the panel, he immediately plundered the corpse of the giant bear. Congratulations, you have gained 70 evolution points. Lu Yu nodded his head in satisfaction, it wasn't a loss that he had gone through the trouble of bringing the giant bear back. However, it was a pity that he hadn't been able to loot the giant bear's skills. Shaking his head and waving his wings to blow the flying ash that the giant bear's corpse had turned into 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 the distance, Lu Yu then found a place to rest and quietly waited. Three days passed in a hurry, and under the shelter of Lu Yu's D-class strength, all the ferocious beasts in the area of several hundred meters around the spirit fruit were cleared out. After the fruit ripened, there were no beasts that came to snatch it. Lu Yu directly took the fruit. The fruit melted into his mouth and turned into a spiritual chi, which was directly dispersed into Lu Yu's entire body. Previously, when he ate the fruit, Lu Yu was just a small undeveloped beast, and he was swept away by the surging spiritual chi of the fruit, and he directly fainted, completely losing his consciousness. At this moment, Lu Yu was already a D-ranked being, and the spiritual energy contained in this spirit fruit was completely within his tolerance. The spiritual chi rushing through his body was as comfortable as if he was in a hot spring and someone was massaging you. While enjoying himself, Lu Yu opened the panel. He only saw that the evolution points on the panel were rising, quickly reaching 120 points. 121, 122, 123. Although the rate of growth of the evolution points was not very fast, watching the evolution points grow bit by bit was really a very cool thing. After a full hour, the spirit fruit was digested by Lu Yu. At this moment, his evolution points came to 198. A single spirit fruit had brought Lu Yu nearly a hundred evolution points, higher than the giant bear he had plundered earlier. It's true, in these times of great change, chance is the priority, if I have enough spirit fruits, then won't my evolution points go up by leaps and bounds? At that time, let alone an S-class demon king, even an SSS-class existence would have to kneel before me. Lu Yu muttered. Afterward, Lu Yu thought for a moment. The evolution points at this moment were already enough to upgrade one of his skills to LV3. Based on the previous upgrades, every time a skill was upgraded, it could bring about a huge increase in one's combat power. Whether it was sharp claw assault or cold ice shock, or even the feather blade that had just arrived, as long as it was upgraded, it would inevitably become stronger. However, on second thought, at this moment, his combat power was brought about more by virtue of the evolution of his rank. Even without those skills, with his D-rank strength, he would still be able to completely suppress those ferocious beasts that were now at most E-rank. Since he had already taken the lead, he must keep it. Saving up the 1000 evolution points needed to ascend to rank C early was the way to go. Rank C was a watershed rank, 
and only when he reached rank C would Liu Yu have the capital to chase the peak. Moreover, if he encountered danger, he could always change his plan and upgrade his skills. Having made up his mind, Liu Yu closed the panel. The most important thing right now was, obtaining evolution points. Therefore, Liu Yu's eyes were set on the depths of the mountain forest. This mountain forest in Jiangzhou was a primitive forest, not to mention the huge area, there were countless wild beasts and various plants in it, and at this moment, under the revival of the spiritual qi, the ferocious beasts and spiritual grasses and fruits naturally could not be less. Setting his mind, Liu directly spread his wings and took off, before going to the depths of the mountain forest, Liu intends to clean up the beasts on the periphery of the mountain forest. A mosquito's leg was still neat even if it was small. Liu Yu, a D-ranked existence, was completely crushing those existences that were only F-ranked at the highest. After plundering the toad in front of him, Liu Yu's evolution points reached 239 points. Right at this moment, Liu Yu accurately sensed an E-rank aura not far away. Liu Yu's eyes lit up and he directly flew towards that location. E-rank ah, this was a big head of evolution points. Inside a village not far from the mountain forest where Liu Yu was, a huge elephant was rampaging. The elephant was close to 5 meters tall, with four thick legs that looked like they were made of steel, and a pair of sharp tusks that destroyed everything in front of it. The village had already been destroyed by the giant elephant and was in a state of disrepair, with corpses scattered on the ground. People's screams were endless, panicked survivors and the just arrived with the help of the soldiers quickly car transfer. The giant elephant seemed to have a hatred for humans, charging straight towards the people who were moving. Quickly fire to cover, we must not let this ferocious beast rush over. The commander spoke stoically, a trace of fatigue showing on his face. He hadn't rested for three whole days, and since the start of the Great Relocation Program, countless warriors had fought against the beast in order to protect the masses from being relocated. The commander's face was grave, based on his experience of fighting with the ferocious beast many times, he was afraid that this ferocious beast was already a ferocious beast after its second evolution. It was just impossible to finish off the other party with the firepower of these people. Boom! Several man-portable rockets immediately opened fire, and the rockets blasted towards the giant elephant with a long trailing tail. Soon, the rockets hit the giant elephant, yet after the explosions dissipated, there wasn't even a single scratch on the giant elephant. It really is a ferocious beast after the second evolution, completely immune to rocket attacks. The commander immediately called for support and sent out an anti-tank sniper equipment squad, intending to use large-caliber sniper rifles to shoot. Although the giant elephant was not injured, the attack it suffered made it very unhappy and turned its direction towards the position formed by the warriors and stormed over. The giant elephant's body was huge, just like a rampaging prehistoric beast, directly ignoring the fire suppression, rushed into the position. In a flash, the warriors who couldn't dodge were knocked out by the giant elephant, some were directly trampled to death by the giant elephant, and some were even unlucky enough to be run through by the elephant's tusks, killing them on the spot. Bang! 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 Right at this moment, the prepared large-caliber anti-tank sniper equipment opened fire. The commander held back the grief in his heart and stared tightly at the giant elephant. However, those large-caliber sniper bullets hit the giant elephant's body and only left a small mark, not even grazing the elephant's skin. How is that possible? The commander couldn't help but exclaim in shock. One must know that even an armored tank, after being hit, could penetrate through the armor. This giant elephant's defense was actually stronger than a tank? Rumble, rumble. Although it didn't break through the defense, the attack clearly caused the giant elephant to suffer, and it gave up abusing the warriors in the position and charged towards the commander's direction, causing a burst of ground. The ground shook. The commander's face was white, looking at the giant elephant that was getting closer and closer, but at this moment, his heart was calm. There is nothing to be afraid of, only death. From the day he put on the uniform, he was prepared for this. All units open fire with all their might, make sure to ensure the safe transfer of the masses. With that said, the commander pulled out his sidearm and fired towards the giant elephant. Even if there was no way to cause harm to the giant elephant, he would not give up his resistance and would definitely fight until the last moment. Right at this moment. Newt. A chirping cry came out. Bang. What followed was a black shadow that instantly crashed into the giant elephant. In the next moment, a scene that made everyone's jaws drop appeared. The giant elephant, which was charging straight ahead, was actually directly blown away under the impact of this black shadow and fell hard to the ground. The commander gulped and fixed his eyes to see that a golden eagle had appeared where the giant elephant was before. A huge golden eagle. This golden eagle was naturally Liu Yu. Sensing the scent of an E-class beast in the vicinity, Liu Yu had rushed here without stopping, just in time to see the giant elephant slaughtering indiscriminately, which made Liu Yu unable to watch. Although he didn't intend to have anything to do with humans, he had been a human being in his previous life. This giant elephant's wanton slaughter of unarmed people made Liu Yu very unhappy, so he directly struck. Sharp claws under the assault, 
coupled with the wind spirit power control, so that Lu Yu across the distance between thousands of meters, almost instantaneous general appeared in the giant elephant side. The impact from the extreme speed directly knocked the big guy off. Lu Yu ignored these shocked humans and instantly spread his wings as his spiritual power exploded out. Feather Blades In an instant, flying feathers appeared out of thin air, transforming into sharp blades that shot towards the giant elephant that had just climbed up. That commander couldn't help but frown when he saw this. Although this golden eagle that suddenly appeared seemed stronger than that giant elephant, it seemed to be a bit gullible. This giant elephant's defense was not even able to break through anti-tank sniper equipment, so with just a single feather, what role could it play? However, the next moment, his eyes widened, only to see those feathers emitting light bombarded on the body of the giant elephant. Originally impenetrable defense but as if it had lost its effect, the giant elephant body was cut out by the feathers a hideous wound, blood dripping. Giant elephant under the pain screamed again and again, want to avoid, but simply cannot keep up with the speed of the feather blade, no matter how to move, cannot avoid the attack, can only stand to be beaten. Just a moment of time, the huge giant elephant by the feather blade piece by piece to cut the meat on the body, at this time only left a skeleton, can no longer stand, fell to the ground with a bang. Ling Lai. Lu Yu also froze for a moment when he saw this scene, he had just intended to try out the upper limit of this skill, so he urged it with all his might, and did not expect it to cause such a horrifying effect. Lu Yu was a bit flustered, the giant elephant was like this, could it still be plundered for evolution points by the panel? So he swung his wings and drew out a tornado, gathering the scattered pieces of meat together while opening the panel. Congratulations on obtaining 69 evolution points. Current evolution points 308. Seeing this, Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction, lifted his wings and flew into the sky, leaving in style. Only a group of humans who were shocked beyond words were left behind, looking at Lu Yu's back in a daze. The commander quickly came to his senses and commanded those masses to evacuate as quickly as possible while looking into the distance, pondering. Such a powerful giant elephant has no resistance in front of him, could it be that this golden eagle is already on its third evolution? And this golden eagle will actually help us, it seems that amongst the ferocious beasts there are also those that are close to humans, this news must be reported immediately. After Lu Yu resolved the giant elephant, he once again returned to the mountain forest. Currently, all the ferocious beasts on the periphery of the mountain forest had already been resolved by Lu Yu, and he couldn't see any F-rank ferocious beasts on his two rounds of patrol, let alone any E-rank ones. Lu Yu then planned to go deeper into the mountain forest. This mountain forest in Jiangzhou covered a huge area, and the deeper one went, the fewer traces of humans there were. It was because of the lack of human destruction that this mountain forest retained many trees that were hundreds of years old or even thousands of years old, and there were also many wild animals. The biggest beneficiary of this aura recovery was the primitive forests like the mountains here. After Lu Yu's level was raised, his spiritual power was also greatly increased, resulting in him now having a bright ear and eyesight, not to mention that many memories of his past life that had been almost forgotten had become clear. For example, when something big happened in his previous life, Lu Yu was able to remember it with a little thought. At this moment, he recalled that in his previous life, there was a news report that said that there were many high-level beasts in the mountains and forests of Jiangzhou, but after research, the bloodline of some of these beasts was not very high-level. So the expert guessed that in the mountains and forests of Jiangzhou, there must be a lot of heavenly treasures, and those beasts had eaten those heavenly treasures to be able to advance to the higher ranks. Thinking about this, Lu Yu's heart was a little hot. Knowing that a spirit fruit could bring him close to a hundred evolution points, although the evolution points obtained after taking the spirit fruit would be correspondingly lower as he rose in rank. However, spirit fruits were only the lowest level of existence amongst all kinds of heavenly materials and earthly treasures. If he found some precious spirit medicine and took it to obtain a huge amount of evolution points, would he not take off immediately? Thinking about this, Lu Yu's forward speed accelerated a lot. After an hour, Lu Yu, who was speeding along, suddenly heard the sound of a battle not far away. After thinking for a moment Lu Yu decided to go and join in the fun. With his current strength, there was basically no existence that could threaten him. The existence that can cause such a big commotion is at least an E-rank beast, which are all evolution points off. Wouldn't it be great to reap the benefits at that time? Following the sound, Li Yu crossed a distance of several kilometers in a few moments and arrived at the place of the battle. Bang! Just as Lu Yu arrived, a boulder flew towards him. Subconsciously throwing out his claws, the boulder that was speeding in front of him was instantly pulverized. Lu Yu's face was a bit ugly, anyone who encountered this kind of thing would be upset. Lively yet to see, head on almost be a stone, who can top this? This change of events has also killed Lu Yu's idea of reaping the benefits of fishing, exposing his traces. So sex Lu Yu also do not hide, greatly generous drop height, began to hover to observe the situation below. 
Below has long become a mess, the surrounding trees have been interrupted by the aftermath of the battle, hard in the middle of the mountains and forests created a small piece of plain. The two sides of the battle were a monkey and a fox. Said as a monkey is not very accurate, body size nearly 5 meters high, can be called an ape. This ape was covered in black hair, with a hideous face, and the most notable feature was a tuft of red hair on its head. Liu Yu was slightly stunned, this ape looked. Looked a bit familiar. In the next moment, Liu Yu recalled, wasn't this the famous demon ape from his previous life? Demon ape, a rank beast, ferocious temperament, in the past life, because of snatching a heavenly treasure in human war, the human in that station lost a lot, in the end, the demon ape seized the treasure, and left in style. However, at this moment, the devil ape, the breath of the body is clearly close to the D stage, it is estimated that the breakthrough is only one step away. Liu Yu somewhat sighed, he still underestimated the world before, although he has an evolutionary panel, but in the early stage, it is still not as good as these bloodline advanced, relying on God to feed the existence. As for the one fighting against him, it was a petite white fox with a fluffy tail that was constantly wagging. The devil ape kept attacking while the white fox kept dodging. Although the white fox's aura was powerful, it had not reached the D rank, and was even weaker than the demon ape. Although the white fox was not a match for the demon ape at all, no matter how that demon ape attacked, it was able to be dodged by the white fox, which was really strange. Liu Yu held the mentality of watching the show, but the duo and the sparring match were on alert, they could all feel the threatening aura from Liu Yu, especially that demon ape, while continuing his attack on the white fox, he kept roaring low towards Liu Yu who was hovering in the sky as a threat, and suddenly, that white fox's eyes rolled. Then it dodged the demon ape's blow, looking at the place where it was before the demon ape smashed a big pit with a blow, its heart palpitated, and then it turned towards Liu Yu, its front paws in the air to pay homage. Liu Yu froze, this white fox is asking himself to save its life? Naive. Although Liu Yu did not deny the white fox's cuteness, in his eyes, both the white fox and the demon ape were in his possession, and had to be the existence of both to be turned into evolution points. As for cuteness, can cuteness be used as evolution points? So Liu Yu did not react to the white fox's plea for help. However, the next moment, only to see the white fox's eyes erupted a strange light, directly hit the demon ape. Surprisingly, the demon ape was struck but was not injured. Just as Liu Yu was puzzled, the demon ape suddenly leapt up, his body swung on the tree branch and attacked towards Liu Yu in the air. Good guts. The demon ape's action was unexpected by Liu Yu, so in the flashes of lightning, Liu Yu didn't have the time to dodge, and took the demon ape's blow solidly. Steel body. At the moment of crisis, Liu Yu immediately used his skills. A light flashed, and the defense on Liu Yu's body increased drastically. Boom. The demon ape hammered his fist on Liu Yu's body with a loud bang. Although Liu Yu was not injured under the steel body and his own spiritual power, he was nearly knocked to the ground by the impact. Liu Yu's mood was instantly not beautiful. Spreading his wings, Liu Yu directly flew high into the air. A pair of sharp eagle eyes towards the bottom, only to see that the devil ape seems to be no way to attack Liu Yu, is on the ground constantly roaring, like crazy, a pair of red eyes staring straight at Liu Yu, as if Liu Yu and him have some deep hatred. It's not right. There is something very wrong. Liu Yu did not act rashly, after all, everything in front of him seemed very strange. This devil ape, leaving the white fox alone, inexplicably suddenly went berserk and attacked himself, which was completely inconsistent with common sense. After the evolution of the ferocious beasts, the IQ would also evolve, the IQ of the ferocious beasts above C grade was already almost the same as that of human beings, at present, although this devil ape's IQ was not high, it would not be able to easily do such unimaginable things, unless it was, being controlled. Could it be that the demon ape was controlled? An idea surfaced in Liu Yu's mind, and the next moment this idea was overturned. The demon ape was already in existence close to the D step, if one wanted to control the demon ape, one would need to be at least close to the C step. Obviously, if there is a strength close to the C rank, this white fox directly kills back, there is no need to ask for help from himself. That should be the illusion. Liu Yu's eyes lit up, and then looked towards the white fox, only to see that the white fox was covered in white fur unadulterated with any miscellaneous colors, and there was also a blood-red mark on his forehead. Memory surfaced and Liu Yu finally understood who this white fox was. In his previous life, there was an exceptionally powerful SS-ranked demon emperor whose race was the nine-tailed demon fox, ruling over this entire fox clan, which could be described as incredibly powerful. Although Liu Yu wasn't sure if this white fox in front of him that still only had one tail was that SS-ranked demon emperor, its race was definitely the nine-tailed demon fox clan, the most famous ability of this race, that was illusion. At this moment, seeing that white fox silently hiding on the side, while the demon ape, as if it couldn't see it in general, was still roaring and frantic towards himself, this scene must be undoubtedly hit by an illusion. Hoomph. Liu Yu coldly snorted, this white fox is really bold, actually even dare to count themselves, attempting to lead the water east. 
Since this is the case, Lu Yu will be a net. Thinking clearly about the joints, Lu Yu directly swooped down towards that demonic ape. Roar! The demon ape, who had been hit by the illusion technique at the moment, seemed to have forgotten about the strong sense of oppression coming from Lu Yu, and was excited to see that instead of running, Lu Yu was approaching towards himself. Casually picking up a giant tree as a weapon, a stick smashed towards Lu Yu. This blow was powerful, but it was no threat in Lu Yu's eyes. The demon ape was simply too slow. Compared to Lu Yu's speed, the demon ape's dry attack was like crawling. Lu Yu slightly sidestepped and directly dodged the strike. Afterwards, Lu Yu opened his mouth and launched a cold ice impact. A cold stream exploded out of Lu Yu's mouth, heading straight towards the demon ape. The demon ape was unable to dodge and was directly hit. However, the scene that made Lu Yu surprised happened, the cold shock hit the demon ape, in addition to bringing some damage to the other side, there was no effect. The demon ape was immune to the effect of cold ice shock freezing people into ice sculptures. This was the first time this had happened, causing Lu Yu to be caught off guard. Originally, according to his moves, after the ice blast, he would launch his claw assault to attack the enemy who had frozen into an ice sculpture. Usually, the enemy lost the ability to counterattack and turned into an ice sculpture to be beaten in place, so during the attack, Lu Yu didn't need to do defense at all. But this time he had miscalculated. Roar! The demon ape that was frozen by the cold current was very upset and immediately slammed his fist down towards Lu Yu. Bang! Lu Yu's attack came first, and three consecutive sharp claws struck the demon ape's body, directly opening a huge wound on the demon ape's body. The devil ape let out a miserable cry, followed by a fist blast on Lu Yu's body. This time, Lu Yu completely relied on his defense to withstand this blow, and was directly sent flying out, mounted on a tree. The impact from Lu Yu's huge body was simply not something a tree could withstand, and a large swathe of trees was smashed down, which made Lu Yu stop. Very good. Lu Yu's heart bloomed down. He did not expect that he would be pecked by the geese today after spending all his days with the geese. Lu Yu was very unhappy and the consequences were serious. Being hit twice consecutively in the hands of the devil ape made Lu Yu understand that even if he was strong, a lion fighting a rabbit also uses its full strength, he must learn a lesson and never take the enemy lightly in the future. This time, the devil ape is not strong, although he was hit twice, but Lu Yu in addition to some of the woes, but also did not get hurt. However, if he were to be replaced by a ferocious beast with the same strength, at this moment, Lu Yu was afraid that he would have been seriously injured. Newt. Lu Yu let out a long cry and directly flew high into the air, waving his wings and triggering a tornado to impact towards the demon ape. At the same time, the skill was launched. Feather Blade. The flying feathers in the sky blasted towards the demon ape. Facing the tornado, the already injured demon ape could only grit his teeth and resist. Although he didn't have a high IQ, he knew very well that if he was really caught up in the tornado, he would be finished in an instant. The bottom surface was his home ground. The devil ape used his nine bulls and two tigers to finally resist the tornado's blowing. But the feather blades that came along with it were not so good to deal with. The devil ape left and right, trying to rely on the stick in his hand to resist the feather blade but were the roiling attacks of you so easy to resist? In an instant, a wound appeared on the demon ape's body, a wound that could be seen on the bone, causing the demon ape to continuously scream. Conscious of losing face, Li used three times his spiritual power this time, and the power of each feather blade far exceeded that of the previous one. Take advantage of its illness to kill it. Seeing that the demonic ape was seriously injured, Li Yu once again cold ice impact. This time, the demon ape was no longer able to resist and was directly frozen into an ice sculpture. Sharp claws assaulted. Lu Yu's figure instantly appeared in front of the demonic ape, and the next moment, his sharp claws, clamped by the wind spirit power, ruthlessly attacked towards the demonic ape. This strike was the strongest strike that Lu Yu was currently able to unleash. There was no need for three attacks, just the first attack, the head of the already defenseless demon ape burst open, and the huge body fell to the ground with a bang, stirring up a cloud of smoke and dust. Done. Lu Yu nodded his head in satisfaction and then his gaze fixed on the white fox that had been watching from the sidelines. Seeing Lu Yu looking in its direction, a flash of panic appeared in the white fox's humanized eyes before it randomly forced itself to calm down. Lu Yu was not surprised by the other party's intelligence, after all, the nine-tailed demon fox clan was notorious for its high intelligence and cunning. What made Lu Yu a little puzzled was why this white fox did not run, was the other party not afraid of himself? Just counted himself, and now he dares not to run, really big guts. Lu Yu, this person, revenge does not come overnight. In the next moment, the skill was launched again. Ice shock. Sharp blade assault. The white fox that had frozen into an ice sculpture was instantly killed by Lu Yu. Looking at the white fox that fell to the ground, Lu Yu froze. He did not expect to kill the white fox so simply, how to say is also just in the magic ape fight the existence of the same, even if the combat power is not high, but also should not be killed like this ah. 
After thinking for a while, Lu Yu, who could not solve the problem, immediately opened the panel and chose the white fox's corpse for extraction. Extraction failed. A prompt came, the next moment in front of the white fox's body was like a piece of debris breaking apart. Illusion. Seeing this, Lu Yu's face became ugly, did not expect to just be counted by the white fox not to mention, actually also unintentionally hit the person's illusions without realizing it. Being teased by someone one way or another, Lu Yu was immediately furious. Looking around, there was no sign of the white fox. Lu Yu sneered, spread his wings and flew high into the sky, and the next moment the flying feathers in the sky reappeared. In his previous life, Lu Yu had understood this nine-tailed demon fox clan and was very clear about the tricks of the trade. This nine-tailed demon fox's illusion was an innate talent that was incredibly powerful. Only the power of this talent is increased with the level of rank. Currently, this white fox only had one tail and its rank was only E rank. That it has a fatal flaw when casting illusion spells, that is, during the process of casting the spell, it is unable to move, and the illusion spell will fail if it is attacked. In other words, although Lu Yu could not see the white fox now that he had received the effect of the illusion spell, the white fox was definitely below. Therefore, this time, Lu Yu cast out the feather blades, not seeking how powerful they were, but only seeking a large enough number. All of a sudden, the flying feathers in the sky fell like a downpour. The airtight flying feathers instantly enveloped a large area. Lu Yu hovered in the air, a pair of sharp eagle eyes staring down. Bang! Suddenly, a shattering sound rang out and the world in front of Lu Yu shattered like a mirror. The illusion had been broken. The white fox's figure was revealed. At this moment, a panic and fear flashed in the white fox's eyes, and then he turned his head to run. The white fox was very clear, not to mention that Lu Yu's body was filled with an oppressive aura, just to say that the strength that Lu Yu had just demonstrated by killing the demon ape in a clean and efficient manner, made the white fox not have the courage to face it. Now that the illusion was broken, the only thing it could think of was to run quickly. Oomph, want to run now? Lu Yu instantly unleashed his skill, sharp blade assault. In the next moment, Li Yu caught up with the white fox, and his sharp claws clawed fiercely towards the white fox. White fox is obviously not good at fighting, just because the agility of the demon ape is not high, this is the only way to avoid the XZ fluke and the demon ape is not comparable to the demon ape. Now facing the speed of Lu Yu, there is no way. As long as this strike is implemented, the white fox will definitely be killed. At the moment of crisis, the white fox violently stopped its body, turned to look at Lu Yu, and its eyes exploded with a pink light. Illusion. Lu Yu was shocked and hastily collected his mind, although he wasn't mesmerized, he was still affected a little, and his skills were interrupted. Just as Lu Yu was about to attack again under depression, he saw the white fox whimpering while bending down to the ground in a submissive manner. At the same time, the white fox looked at Lu Yu with a pitiful expression, seemingly begging for mercy. If it was a different person, looking at such a cute little fox begging for mercy, he might not be able to bear it, but Lu Yu was different. After five years of life and death struggle in his previous life, his heart was already cold. No matter how cute the white fox was, it was just a moving evolution point in Lu Yu's eyes, not to mention the fact that the white fox had used the illusionary scourge to make the demon ape attack him before. If he didn't have the strength, wouldn't he have been planted? Such hatred was not something that could be forgiven by simply begging for forgiveness. Lu Yu did not hesitate and immediately intended to strike. The white fox, perhaps seeing Lu Yu's killing intent, hesitated a little, and with two paws in his arms, he actually took out a spirit fruit. Lu Yu froze, looking at the white fox holding the spirit fruit aloft, as if he was going to offer it to him. He completely did not expect that there would actually be such a harvest, and immediately accepted the spirit fruit without any hesitation, randomly thinking that this tiny white fox actually had this kind of good stuff on it, and most importantly, it actually did not eat when it obtained the spirit fruit. The most important thing is that it actually doesn't eat the spirit fruit. At this moment, the white fox pointed to the spirit fruit that Lu Yu accepted, and pointed to a direction, randomly drew four circles on the ground, and chirped and whimpered in his mouth as if he wanted to express something. After a slight thought, Li Yu guessed that the white fox wanted to say that there were four more such spirit fruits in that direction? Without hesitation, Li Yu directly put the spirit fruit into the space that came with the panel, and then utilized the panel to absorb the corpse of the demon ape. Congratulations on gaining 70 evolution points. Current evolution points 378. Lu Yu bristled, it wasn't like he had gained any additional skills, he shouldn't be a non-commoner, right? But just the evolution points alone were a full harvest. When the white fox saw that Lu Yu had only glanced at the demon ape corpse and it turned into flying ash, he became even more frightened and simply didn't dare to move. Closing the panel, Lu Yu called out towards the white fox to express himself. Take me to find the spirit fruit and I'll spare you. Randomly and without caring whether the other party understood or not, he grabbed the white fox with both claws and dashed towards the direction the white fox was pointing. The white fox was still flustered, then seemed to calm down, saw the direction Liu advancing, immediately understood, the road also from time to time signaling Liu to change direction. 
After half an hour of speeding, Liu close to a hillside. Sharp Eagle Eye saw a heavily armed warrior standing on the hillside, surrounding the entire hillside. At this moment, the white fox got excited and pointed at the hillside, clearly meaning that the spirit fruit was on that hillside. Liu Yu, in this instant, thought that this white fox could not be trying to take advantage of humans to finish himself off, right? Randomly put this idea behind him, after all, humans are basically no threat to himself. So Liu Yu didn't hesitate and directly flew over in a big way. As soon as Liu Yu appeared, the alarm was sounded. Fierce beasts are attacking. It's that white fox, it's coming with a golden eagle all the way. The commander got the news immediately and rushed out to check the situation. This place was where they had discovered a spirit fruit tree that bore five spirit fruits, and after one of the fruits matured, it was snatched away by a white fox, after which the humans had deployed armed forces to guard it. I didn't expect that when the other four spirit fruits were about to ripen, there were actually ferocious beasts attacking again. The commander's face was gloomy, this place was ordered by the Fuhrer to be guarded, and the humans continued to study the fruit to explore the nature of the aura recovery, so no accidents could happen. Since the beast dares to come, let him have no return. Making up his mind, the commander looked up and was instantly dumbfounded when he saw that huge figure in the air. He had participated in the previous battle against the giant elephant and naturally recognized Lu Yu. Lu Yu's power was also deeply ingrained into his bone marrow. He did not expect that the helper that this white fox had found was actually Lu Yu. What could be done about this? Commander, the ferocious beast is about to approach, should we start attacking? The deputy commander came to inquire. The commander looked at Lu Yu's figure and clenched his fists, which eventually turned into a single word, retreat. What? The vice commander thought that he had misheard. Order the entire army to retreat, no firing, retreat immediately, don't startle that golden eagle. I'll go explain the relevant matters to my superiors. Upon hearing this, the deputy commander could only accept the order even though he did not understand it. Liu Yu flew towards the hillside and adjusted his posture to avoid hurting the white fox under the battle in a while, however, he didn't expect that he had reached the airspace above the hillside, and not only did those fighters not attack, instead, one by one, they all started to retreat. Could it be that these people recognized me and knew that they were not my opponent, so they knew it and retreated? Liu Yu pondered for a while and then put this moment behind him. Who cares what they think? It's better not to have to bother with a fight. So Liu Yu followed White Fox's command and came under a tree. Looking up, Liu Yu saw four verdant fruits on the tree that were about to mature. Liu Yu's eyes narrowed as he looked at the four spirit fruits on the tree. He clearly detected that the spiritual chi on these four spirit fruits was really a bit less compared to the spirit fruits he had taken before. It seemed that these four spirit fruits should only be first grade spirit fruits. Celestial treasures, based on the different spiritual chi they contained, were divided into nine grades in the previous life with the first grade being the lowest and the ninth grade being the highest. Obviously, these four in front of him were the lowest grade of first grade spirit fruits. However, Liu Yu does not mind, mosquito legs are meat even if they are small. Turning his head slightly, Liu Yu saw that although those people retreated, but did not completely leave, but stood not far away, seemingly being entangled. Some people who don't know Liu Yu's terror are still a bit eager to try, if not for the commander stopping them, I'm afraid that they are going to rush up and fight with Liu Yu. Seeing this, Liu Yu suddenly remembered a big thing in his previous life, which seemed to have happened at this time. Liu Yu fell into thought as time slowly flowed. In about half an hour's time, four rays of light flashed by and the spirit fruit ripened. Liu Yu didn't hesitate, inciting his wings to collect the spirit fruit, grabbing the white fox and soaring into the sky. Liu Yu's speed was so fast that in just a blink of an eye, the trace of Liu Yu was lost in the eyes of the crowd. What now? Deputy Commander was a bit at a loss for words, they searched hard to and kept watch for several days for the spirit fruit, when it was about to ripen, it was picked by Lu Yu, they were really angry, but their strength was not good, so they could only watch. Send someone up to take a look. The commander ordered calmly, and immediately discharged his manpower to slowly go up the mountain. Firstly, to see if there was still a bargain to be taken, although the spirit fruit had been taken away, the tree that bore the spirit fruit could still be left, in case the tree could still bear fruit again. Secondly, it was also to explore the situation and see if they could search for some information about Lu Yu. A small team of ten warriors, heavily armed, cautiously went up the mountain and came to the tree of spiritual fruits. Suddenly, some with good eyesight saw that there was actually a glowing fruit below the tree. Quick, quickly informed the commander that the ferocious beast left behind a spirit fruit, requesting instructions. The squad leader didn't act rashly, in case he ruined the spirit fruit that was so hard to obtain, that would be a great sin. What? There's still one spirit fruit left? Commander Su Jingguo was shocked when he heard this news, he really didn't expect that Liu Yu had actually left a fruit behind. Was this something that Liu Yu had left behind by mistake? This thought appeared in the commander's mind and was then immediately denied. 
Knowing that the spirit fruit emitted an intoxicating aroma of aura and was also flickering with light, it was absolutely impossible for Lu Yu to have dropped it unintentionally. The only other possibility was that it was intentional. Although Lu Yu had snatched the spirit fruit, he hadn't eaten it dry, but had left some behind. What on earth was going on here? The commander couldn't think clearly for a moment, so he simply didn't think about it. This kind of problem would just be reported up truthfully. Quickly, send someone to collect the spirit fruits, everyone retreat. Su Jingguo ordered, fearing that Lu Yu would go and return, or attract another ferocious beast, he collected the spirit fruit and ran. When the humans retreated, Li Yu appeared like a god, looked at the direction of the humans and chased after them. Under the mountain. In an institute. Su Jingguo held the spirit fruit. The box containing the spirit fruit walked into it quickly. A high-end instrument was set up in the research institute, and a scientist wearing a white coat hurried back and forth in it. Su Jingguo took a deep breath and walked to an isolation door. After verifying his pupils the door opened and he walked in. General Su, where is the spirit fruit? Just as Su Jingguo walked in, an old man excitedly greeted him and said anxiously, Zhao old man, the box is the spirit fruit, according to your instructions, utilizing the sealed box packed full speed to send you, only. Su Jingguo handed the box in his hand to the old man and opened his mouth. The old man surnamed Zhao, this is the country's top biological scientists, after this aura recovery occurred, the first to discover the aura can be embedded in the plant, producing the effect of the legendary heavenly treasures, and after experimentation, put forward the idea of genetic agents. The genetic potion was to use an instrument to extract the aura from the heavenly treasures and infuse it into the human body, causing an effect similar to the evolution of ferocious beasts to occur in humans, and obtaining great power. After discovering the spirit fruit, Elder Zhao brought his team to the nearest place to the spirit fruit tree and set up the institute, just waiting for the final verification. But what? Elder Zhao asked casually as he received the box with an eager expression. Su Jingwei immediately told Elder Zhao about Lu Yu's sudden appearance and snatching away the spirit fruit, leaving only one of the four spirit fruits that had been expected. Elder Zhao, now that there is only one spirit fruit left, will the experiment still be successful? Upon hearing this, Elder Zhao sighed and said, It's hard to say, naturally the more spirit fruits there are, the better, conducting multiple experiments in order to have a higher success rate, now that there is only one left, it's difficult. Su Jingwa frowned, wanting to say something, but seeing the fatigue on Zhao Lao's face and the dark circles around his eyes, he knew clearly that Zhao Lao had not slept properly for many days in order to be able to carry out the experiment in the first place. Opening his mouth, Su Jingwa sighed and asked, Now that it's just this one spirit fruit, how many percent certainty do you have? Zhao Lao pondered for a while and said, I've done many experiments using the corpses of those ferocious beasts before, the power within the ferocious beasts is raging, and there is currently no effective way to transform it, but the experience is already enough, and even though it's only one, I'm at least 80% sure of it. Su Jingwa nodded, although it wasn't a 10% certainty that it would succeed, 80% wasn't low either. After handing over the spirit fruit to Elder Zhao, Su Jingwa left the institute. Just after he came out, some of his men brought the recent intelligence, Su Jingwo looked at it and frowned tightly. The intelligence showed that in just three days, the coastal areas had suffered hundreds of attacks by ferocious beasts, damaging nearly 10,000 people. Even more serious was the inland areas near the forests and mountains, during the migration program, they were repeatedly attacked by ferocious beasts, and the people suffered a lot. Su Jingwo tightly squeezed the information in his hand, looked back to the research institute, and muttered, it must be successful. Humanity must have power of its own. On the hillside not far from the institute, the light in Lu Yu's eyes flashed. He was certain. While seizing the spirit fruit, he recalled the previous life when humans accidentally obtained the spirit fruit and then utilized it to research a genetic potion, and guessed that it might have just happened to be stumbled upon by him. In the previous life, humans were struggling to survive under the oppression of ferocious beasts, in which the scientists led by Zhao Lao researched the first generation of genetic potions, causing the first generation of transcendence to appear in the human race, possessing transcendent powers that could barely fight against the ferocious beasts. Although Lu Yu is not a fan of humans, but for similar Zhao Lao general pioneer, Lu Yu heart admiration, which left a spirit fruit. However, Lu Yu had a deep understanding of the bottomless behavior of humans. In his previous life, Zhao Lao and others were bent on the continuation of mankind, which led them to research genetic agents with courage and dedication, enabling humans injected with genetic agents to possess the extraordinary power to guard mankind. However, these genetic agents were eventually turned into weapons for ambitious people. By the time the genetic agents were renewed and the second and third generations appeared, the power of the genetic agents was already very strong. Humans injected with gene potions were already able to fight against ferocious beasts. Originally, these people should have become guardians, heroes of mankind, guarding the continuation of mankind. But power always corrupts the conscience. 
After these extraordinary people gained power, instead of sheltering humans, they began to enslave ordinary people and became ambitious. Liu Yu in his previous life was killed in the ambitions of these ambitious people. But in this life, whether humans died or lived had nothing to do with him. He was now just a golden eagle, a ferocious beast. Having the system, his goal in this life was to chase the peak and then figure out, what exactly was the nature of this aura recovery? What exactly was the reason for such a great change? Stirring his wings, Liu Yu soared into the sky, no longer paying attention to the matters of this place. Two days passed. Su Jingguo watched over this place, not daring to close his eyes for a moment, and only when he really couldn't bear it, he squinted for a while with his clothes. After all, the matter of the research institute was really too important, so it was impossible for Su Jingguo not to be attentive. Commander, Elder Zhao is looking for you. Upon hearing this, an excited look flashed across Su Jingguo's eyes. Could it be that there are results? Without the slightest delay, Su Jingguo arrived inside the institute. Elder Su, how is it? Commander Su, living up to our mission, we've succeeded. Elder Su was also a little excited, holding five medicinal liquids in his hands, his tone was a little trembling as he said. There was no reason for him not to be excited, this was going to be the first step for mankind towards transcendence. Great. How is it? What's the effect? Su Jingwa asked eagerly. Zhao Lao shook his head and said, Commander Su, the gene potion has been successfully developed at the moment, but the specific effects have yet to be clarified, and human experiments need to be conducted. The genetic potion is precious and not to be wasted, our opinion is that it is best for the warrior to receive the injection directly. Hearing this, Su Jingwa pondered slightly and asked, what is the success rate? After evaluating, the chances of the injection being successful are only 70%, so there is still a 30% chance that it could lead to the direct death of the warrior receiving the injection. Elder Zhao was a bit hesitant. The gene potion wasn't a miraculous medicine, it could only utilize aura to stimulate the potential in the human body, making the human possess super strength, so only warriors with strong physical qualities receiving the injection would be able to fully test the effects of the gene potion. All right, I'll receive the injection. Su Jingwu took a deep breath and spoke. No, commander, let me do it. I'm willing. Commander Su, you're the commander, how can you take a risk? Su Jingwu's words stirred up a thousand waves, and everyone spoke up to dissuade him. There's no need to say more, I'm the commander, this matter, must I. Come. After Su Jingwu finished speaking, he removed his combat uniform and said to Elder Zhao, Elder Zhao, please, let's begin. Elder Zhao was stunned and looked at Su Jingwu with admiration in his eyes. Since ancient times, when mankind was in trouble, there was always someone who stepped forward and dedicated themselves for the sake of mankind's survival. Zhao Lao did not advise Su Jingwu because they were originally the same type of person. Moreover, as a commander, Su Jingwu's physical quality was stronger than that of an ordinary warrior, and after receiving the gene potion, the strengthening effect would be even more powerful. With everything ready, the first generation of the genetic agent was injected into Su Jingwu's body. Su Jingwu immediately looked as if he had received great pain, his tiger's eyes cracked and he hissed in agony. He was immobilized, and the staff around him completely ignored his pain as they earnestly recorded a piece of data. This process lasted for a whole hour before Su Jingwu's pain gradually faded. At this moment, Su Jingwu's already robust figure was even stronger and more powerful, even his height was much taller, his muscles gnarled. The equipment that had originally held him in place for dead was ripped off with a casual tug of his hand. When the crowd saw this, they all stopped and looked at Su Jingwu, who was two meters too tall and looked like a god of war. Commander Su, how are you feeling? Elder Zhao asked tentatively, he was still unsure if Su Jingwu still possessed his sanity. Elder Zhao, I feel too good to be true right now. Su Jingwu's tiger eyes flashed a sharp light, he could feel that his body was filled with endless power, as if he could blow up a ferocious beast with one punch. Seeing that Su Jingwu still had his senses, Elder Zhao breathed a sigh of relief and hurriedly brought Su Jingwu forward to test the data, to see to what extent the genetic potion had actually raised Su Jingwu's strength. For an entire hour, Su Jingwu underwent a full range of tests. The results that came out in the end were surprising. At this moment, whether it was strength or endurance, or physique and speed reaction, Su Jingwu had completely surpassed the data of an F-rank beast, although it was not yet at E-rank, it was not far off. This result was enough to make the crowd excited. Without the slightest delay, Su Jingwu immediately connected to his superior's communication. Kapotol. A group of bigwigs began to applaud after hearing Su Jingwu present the entire data and seeing Su Jingwu easily finish off an F-ranked wild wolf. Good. Good. Elder Zhao, you have truly made an outstanding contribution to our humanity, your feats can fully be called a human sage. In the face of the praise, Elder Zhao, however, shook his head, the first generation of the gene potion still has flaws, although it allows the injected person to possess great power, it also has a very serious side effect, that is, it will consume a large amount of the injected person's life force, and according to the prognosis, 
The life expectancy of those who have been injected with the gene potion can't be more than 30 years old. The moment these words were uttered, the jubilant atmosphere instantly solidified. Especially Su Jingwa, he was now 27 years old, less than 3 years away from 30 years, did this not mean that he only had 3 years to live? In this instant, countless thoughts and emotions flashed through his mind, and in the end, he took a deep breath, and all his thoughts turned into a sigh. Seeing the silent crowd, Su Jingwa spoke, for the sake of mankind, for the sake of the country, I am willing, all warriors are willing. Upon hearing this, everyone was touched by the spirit in Su Jingwa. just at this moment, Zhao Lao spoke, Commander Su's great righteousness is something I admire, but it's not that there's no way, as long as we obtain enough spirit fruits, there may not be no way to eliminate the side effects. Good, there is news coming in, there is an area emanating a rich spiritual aura, after deducing that it is likely to be the birth of a spirit fruit, order, the remaining four gene potions to choose suitable warriors to inject, this the spirit fruit, resolutely not to be spared, the superior immediately ordered. A wariness flashed in Su Jingwa's eyes, and he immediately led the order. After the communication hung up, Su Jingwa felt the surging power in his body and turned his head to Zhao Lao, Elder Zhao, please prepare the remaining four gene potions, I will send the most elite warriors to receive the injection. Upon hearing this, Elder Zhao was hesitant, Commander Su, you must know that the success rate of this genetic potion injection is only 70%, and even if the injection is successful, it will still make a person not live past the age of 30, this generation of genetic potion is not yet perfect, it can't be injected anymore, or else it will be harming people. As long as you give me time, I will definitely be able to research a potion that has no side effects. Su Jingwa Shangqin patted Zhao Lao's shoulder, I understand your compassionate heart, but when it comes to a great change, what we lack the most is time. What's more, if humans can't have this superpower, how can we compete for more spirit fruits? A clever woman can't cook without rice, without spirit fruits, even if you research a potion with no side effects, you won't be able to make it. The only thing we can do now is to follow orders. You are not harming anyone, we are all fighting for the future of humanity. Upon hearing this, Elder Zhao sighed and nodded his head in agreement. On the other hand, Li Yu brought the white fox to a forest and landed on the ground. With a wave of his wings, three fruits that emitted spiritual qi appeared in front of Lu Yu and the white fox. Without hesitation, Lu Yu swallowed one of the spirit fruits. At this time, his strength was as strong as D stage, and the spiritual qi brought by a first grade spirit fruit wasn't much. Congratulations on obtaining 20 evolution points. Current remaining evolution points are 398. A mere 20 evolution points was nothing for Lu Yu at this moment, but it was better than nothing. Opening his mouth and swallowing another spirit fruit, Lu Yu's evolution points broke through the 400 mark and came to 418 points. Not bad, it will soon reach 500. Just as Lu Yu was about to swallow the third fruit, he stopped for a moment. The white fox on the side was looking at the last spirit fruit with longing in its small eyes. As expected, spirit fruits are full of fatal temptation for ferocious beasts. If not for the fact that the white fox still had his senses and knew that he was not a match for Lu Yu, he would have come up and grabbed it. Seeing this scene, Lu Yu's heart had a different idea. Aura recovery, powerful beasts but their own strong, in the future will also gang up and form a large force. The power of a force, not only to look at the strength of the leader, but also to look at the number of experts of the whole force. This white fox, according to Lu Yu's experience in his previous life, if nothing else, can grow into a SS rank demon emperor, and it could also become the king of the entire nine-tailed demon fox clan. If he could take it under his command, Lu Yu would not only be able to have a SS rank demon emperor in the future, he would also be able to gain the effectiveness of the entire nine-tailed demon fox clan. Thinking about it like that, it seemed a bit of a mess. Thus, Li Yu looked at the little white fox and stretched out his wings to push the fruit in front of him in the white fox's direction. Now, the white fox froze, with an incredulous look at the spirit fruit, then at Lu Yu, two small paws fiddled twice, as if to ask again, this fruit for me? Seeing Lu Yu nodding his head, the white fox waved his little paw and continuously bowed towards Lu Yu. Afterwards, it bent down, took the spirit fruit in one bite, and ate it cleanly in two or three bites. Lu Yu is a D-stage existence, a grade of spirit fruit for him, in the twinkling of an eye can be absorbed. But the little white fox couldn't, only to see her eat the spirit fruit, her head swayed as if she was drunk, and she collapsed on the ground in a daze. Lu Yu was not surprised, he understood that this was the white fox absorbing the spirit fruit's aura. An hour passed before the white fox slowly awoke. The white fox that had absorbed the entire spirit fruit had obviously grown in size, and the aura on his body had also grown a lot. After feeling its enhanced strength, the white fox ran to Lu Yu, crouched on the ground, and expressed its gratitude towards Lu Yu. Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction. It seemed that the little white fox was one that knew how to be grateful, and that was good. Although it is not as bad as using a first grade spirit fruit to bring the future demon emperor under his command, but the day will come there will always be a day when he will become Lu Yu's little brother. Lu Yu, who was in a good mood, 
patted the little white fox and signaled her to get up. The little white fox stood up, hesitated for a moment, and suddenly gestured towards Lu Yu in a certain direction. Lu Yu froze, then asked with some disbelief, you wouldn't still know the whereabouts of the spirit fruit, right? Just asking tentatively, he did not expect the little white fox to actually nod. Hiss. Lu Yu was a bit incredulous, he could only say that he was worthy of being able to become a demon emperor in the future, he really did have great luck in his body. Without hesitation, Lu Yu set off with the little white fox and kept flying in the direction that the little white fox pointed. Lu Yu's speed is extremely fast, soon came to a dense forest, not yet close, Lu Yu will be keenly aware of a majestic aura. Lu Yu was overjoyed, according to the concentration of this aura, this spirit fruit is at least the third grade spirit fruit ah. If he was able to devour this spirit fruit, he would definitely be on track for the C step. Karakiri. Karakiri. The little white fox, who had always been quiet, actually couldn't hold back the excitement in his heart at the moment, chirping and wanting Lu Yu to hurry up and get that spirit fruit. Lu Yu spread his wings and rushed towards the direction of the aura at full speed. Soon, Lu Yu arrived at an open space. In the center of the clearing, a plant that looked like a Ganoderma stood proudly, and within a radius of a hundred meters, not an inch of grass grew. What a domineering Ganoderma! Lu Yu couldn't help but sigh, this Ganoderma exuded a rich spiritual chi, and a ring of shields around it wrapped it tightly. Obviously, with the first aura revival, it was still a bit tough to form a third grade spirit fruit in a short period of time. The reason why this Lingji was able to reach the third grade and was about to mature was because it had overbearingly plundered all the spiritual chi and vitality within a hundred meter radius, resulting in not an inch of grass growing in this place, with it being the only one left. After landing on the ground and gaining freedom, the little white fox felt this rich spiritual chi and as if it had lost its mind, it nimbly rushed towards the Ganoderma lucidum. However, the Ganoderma lucidum has not yet matured, there is also a shield to protect, the little white fox head on the shield, bounced out, fell to the ground, under the pain, only then came back to God, some embarrassed to look at Lu Yu. Lu Yu did not blame, just some sigh, this is in this era, whether beasts or humans engraved in the body in order to become stronger thick desire. At the same time, he also gave himself a reminder, the future will have to embark on the road of great struggle, not only to restrain themselves, to avoid losing their minds at critical moments, but also to guard against others. Right at this moment, a black shadow suddenly came out of nowhere, rushing towards the Ganoderma, and the little white fox was clearly in his path, and was completely defenseless. Lu Yu immediately swung his wings and a wind attribute aura transformed into a sharp blade and charged towards that black shadow. Bang! Lu Yu could clearly sense that the black shadow was just a small East Age beast, and a sharp blade of aura directly blasted it out. The black shadow revealed itself to be a calf. Good guy, it really is a newborn calf that is not afraid of tigers. This tiny little calf that just reached the E rank actually ignored the pressure brought by his D rank and rushed out like a lost mind. For this kind of delivery to the door, Lu Yu naturally will not let go, spread his wings and flew over, easily killed it, and used the panel to devour it. Congratulations on obtaining 40 evolution points, currently remaining 458 evolution points. Ness. Lu Yu looked at the evolution points that were growing once again, his heart rejoiced, and then his mood became heavy again. The aura emitted by this Lingji covered a distance of 10,000 meters and all the surrounding ferocious beasts were able to feel this rich aura. Even E-stage beasts were able to ignore the pressure of D-stage to launch an attack, so it could be imagined that this place would soon become a battlefield for beasts. If he wanted to obtain the Lingji, he was afraid that it would not be a simple matter. As Lu Yu pondered, a terrifying aura rushed straight towards him. The little white fox felt this aura and immediately ran over and hid behind Lu Yu. Lu Yu narrowed his eyes and looked towards the direction the aura came from, only to see a giant boar running wildly, this boar was huge with a body length close to more than 7 meters, a strong and gnarled muscle, and two pig tusks that were more than 2 meters long were like sharp blades, flashing with a cold light. On this boar, it was clearly emitting an aura that belonged to a deranked ferocious beast. It was a tricky opponent. Although in Lu Yu's memories, there was no existence of this boar, but to be able to raise his realm to the D stage at this time, he was either exceptionally gifted, or he had obtained an amazing chance, and should definitely not be underestimated. Lu Yu's aura was extremely well hidden, so the boar did not realize that there was another D-stage beast here before it arrived, and now that it was face to face, it felt a deadly threat from Lu Yu. Roar! The boar let out a low roar towards Lu Yu and looked at him vigilantly, while its eyes revealed a burst of fervor as it swept over the Lingji. Obviously, it was hard for even a D-stage ferocious beast to escape the temptation of the third grade spirit fruit. Lu Yu's face was grave, if it was just a wild boar, it could not pose any threat to him, but after seeing the wild boar, Lu Yu grew a mindful eye and exuded his wind spirit power, testing the surroundings, and he certainly made a big discovery. In the dense forest not far away, a D-stage power is hidden in it, lead but not send, if not Lu Yu has the wind spirit power control talent, is also unable to detect the existence of the other side. 
a third grade spirit fruit had attracted the covetousness of three D rank beasts. The giant boar was afraid of Lu Yu's strength and didn't dare to make any moves, and at the same time, the fruit hadn't ripened yet and wasn't up for grabs, so it stood still and didn't move forward. Although Lu Yu is not afraid of this boar, but hidden in the dark that aura, obviously stronger than this boar, so Lu Yu did not act rashly for a while. The scene became strangely silent. Taking advantage of this moment, Lu Yu opened his panel. Facing two opponents of the same level, Lu Yu felt that his current strength was still a bit unsafe. Although he had less than 1000 evolution points at the moment and was unable to ascend to achieve rank crushing, he was still able to rely on upgrading his skills to increase his strength. Skills, Claw Assault, LV2, Ice Shock, LV2, Body of Steel, LV2, Featherblade, LV2. Currently, Li Yu had a total of 4 skills, all 4 skills were LV2 at the same time, upgrading to LV3 would require 100 evolution points each, the current evolution points were enough for Li Yu to upgrade all 4 skills. Without hesitation, Lu Yu chose to upgrade all of them. This was not the time to be concerned about evolution points. As long as he had the strength, not only would this Ganoderma Lucidum belong to Lu Yu, but the two deranked beasts would also be in Lu Yu's pocket. As the 400 evolution points disappeared, all four skills were upgraded. Blade Assault, LV3 Transform yourself into a blade, instantly move in front of the target, current maximum distance is 100 meters, launch 5 consecutive attacks, each attack deals 200% damage and triggers a bleeding effect. Cold Ice Spike, LV3 sends out cold ice spikes condensed from aura forward, inflicting damage on enemies within a fan-shaped area in front of you, the more aura you consume, the higher the number of cold spikes in their attack power, up to 300% of the damage they can inflict, and at the same time inflicts a freezing effect on the enemies that hit you. Golden Body, LV3 activates the skill, consumes 20% of the entire body's spiritual energy, and ignores any attacks for one second. Thousand Birds, LV3 consumes spiritual energy, transform into a varying number of doppelgangers, each doppelganger possesses a maximum of 50% of the main body's strength, and up to 10 doppelgangers can be evolved at the same time to attack. Liu glanced at the skill descriptions after the upgrade and his eyes widened. After upgrading these four skills, they had actually become so powerful. It was completely transformed. Sharp Claw Assault became Sharp Blade Assault, what was Accelerated Sprint directly became Instantaneous Dash, and what was 3 attacks became 5, and each time it was 200% damage, who would be able to withstand this? Not to mention the absolute additional bleeding status. Simply ridiculously strong. The skill that changed into Ice Thorn is even more exaggerated, not only is it a group attack skill, but the highest it can cause 300% damage, it can also be absolutely frozen. Strong control skills also come with extremely high damage, this is simply a divine skill ah. Feather Blade turned into a thousand birds, flying Feather Blade attack became transformed into a split, although at most only 50% of the strength, but cannot afford to be too many people ah. Ten together surrounded the attack, this is simply heartless. However, what Lu Yu did not expect is that the biggest surprise to him is actually the most inconspicuous skill before. The Body of Steel, originally an increase in defense skills, although the effect is good, but Lu Yu generally do not need to close combat, so he is just chicken ribs. He didn't expect that after the upgrade, this skill would actually become a golden body. Invincible skill ah. Although it only lasted for a second, a skill that was immune to all attacks was simply a divine skill among divine skills. It could save one's life at critical moments. Lu Yu was very excited in his heart. Closing the panel, Lu Yu completely relaxed, if he had faced two opponents of the same level before, Lu Yu was still a little worried. Now he could only say, what grade were they? How dare they be on the same level as him? Raising his eyes, he saw that the little white fox was hiding behind himself, shivering at the moment, obviously scared to death. This made Liu Yu feel a little funny, before this little white fox not only wasn't afraid of himself as a D rank, but also dared to wreak havoc, kill with a borrowed knife, and even use illusionary techniques on himself, but as a result, now when he saw these two D ranks, he instead wimped out, which was really unreasonable. Lu Yu patted the little white fox for comfort, feeling Lu Yu's shelter, the little white fox's shivering body stabilized and rubbed towards Lu Yu, sort of having a bit of security. Lu Yu looked at the Ganoderma Lucidum, but did not intend to do it now. Anyway, the Lingji had not matured yet, so he did not mind waiting for a while. In Lu Yu's perception, there were quite a few ferocious beasts coming down the mountain, but they seemed to be in the way of the aura of the 3D stage ferocious beasts and did not dare to go up the mountain. It's getting more and more lively. At this moment, at the bottom of the mountain, Su Jingwa came slowly with four warriors who had successfully injected genetic potions. Perhaps it was the goddess of fate's favor, although there was only a 70% success rate, all four injections, without exception, were successful. The strength of these four people was not as good as Su Jingwa, but they also had the strength of the F rank. On the way here, the five of them had also expedited their training, probably familiarizing themselves with the superpowers in their bodies. 
Captain, the situation is not good, the aura of this spirit fruit has attracted a lot of ferocious beasts, it seems that just with our strength, we can't capture the spirit fruit. Upon hearing this, Su Jingbo pondered for a moment and immediately ordered the crowd to take cover, then took off the drone, intending to observe what the situation was first. The drone flew all the way towards the mountain and came to the vicinity of the clearing where Lu Yu was. Lu Yu spotted the drone at first and was a little surprised. Humans had actually come as well, could it be that humans also wanted to snatch the spirit fruit from them, the D-stage ferocious beasts? It was a bit presumptuous. Right at this moment, an aura shot up into the sky, directly shattering that drone. Lu Yu raised his eyebrows, this drone was also unlucky, it just happened to be parked above the hidden D-rank beast, isn't this looking for a fight? With this action, it couldn't be hidden anymore, and the giant boar immediately roared low in that direction, filled with a sense of threat. A few moments later, a figure walked out from the dense forest, a giant wolf, the most special thing was that this wolf actually had a moon mark above its forehead. Lu Yu instantly recognized it. Tsunami Wolf King. One of the demon kings of his previous life, with unfathomable strength. Lu Yu did not expect that he would actually come across another demon king in this life. After the Tsunami Moon Wolf King walked out, he gave the giant boar a disdainful look, and then stared at Lu Yu with a guarded face. Obviously, the giant boar was the weakest, the Tsunami Moon Wolf King was the second weakest, and Lu Yu had the strongest aura on him. Lu Yu didn't have any reaction, in his opinion, these two goods were all in his pocket, it was just the difference between sooner or later. The mountain once again fell into a strange silence, while Su Jingwa under the mountain is a heavy face. That giant boar he recognized, had caused them heavy deaths and injuries before, and was a deranked ferocious beast before the brightening. As for Lu Yu, an old friend, his strength wasn't even known at how many ranks. With these two ferocious beasts on their side, how could the five of them be opponents? Su Jingwa did not hesitate and directly picked up his communicator and said, Call for support, a large number of ferocious beasts have gathered here, it is predicted that there are at least two D-order ferocious beasts, more than ten E-order ferocious beasts, and the number of F-order ferocious beasts ranges from dozens to hundreds, call for heavy weapon support, call for missile support. D-rank Lu Yu, the five senses have been strengthened several times, already incomparably sensitive, coupled with the natural wind spirit power control, it is even more like a tiger with wings. What Su Jingwa had said at the bottom of the mountain with his voice pressed down was all heard by Lu Yu. Lu Yu could not help but frown, although the humans were not strong, the heavy weapons that the humans possessed were still very threatening, if they went out of their way to wash this place with missiles, then even he would be in big trouble. One must think of a way not to provoke the humans before capturing the spirit fruit. Just as Lu Yu was thinking, the shield around the Lingji suddenly exploded. An extremely dense spiritual chi escaped in all directions. Now, all the ferocious beasts in the vicinity were as if they had gone crazy, completely ignoring the D-stage aura oppression on Lu Yu and the others, and one by one, they came towards the mountaintop. On the clearing at the top of the mountain, the giant boar and the tsunami moon wolf king were both staring at the Ganoderma Lucidum, while at the same time guarding against each other, not daring to take the lead. A few moments later, those ferocious beasts rushed up, and the giant wild boar and the tsunami moon wolf king moved in tacit agreement. Instead of going forward to grab the Ganoderma, they turned around and killed the ferocious beasts that rushed up near them. These ferocious beasts ignoring the pressure of their powerful men was a provocation to them. Of course, while clearing these E-rank and F-rank ferocious beasts, the focus of both ferocious beasts never left the Lingji. If one of the three made a move towards the Lingji, both of them would be able to quickly rush over. When Lu Yu saw this, he was in no hurry as he spread his wings and rushed into the group of ferocious beasts. Although Lu Yu didn't care about his majesty being violated, these were all evolution points ah, they mustn't be missed. The D rank's suppression of the E and F ranks was crushing. These ferocious beasts that were overwhelmed by the Lingji's aura suffered heavy deaths and injuries under the attack of Lu Yu's three. A short moment left a field of corpses, half dead or wounded. Lu Yu frowned, this cannot be, if these beasts are dead, then the human beings will have to join in, so these beasts have already come to their senses in the massacre, one by one crazy running towards the mountain, there is no need to clean up all of them immediately. So Lu Yu had an idea, spread his wings and directly pounced towards the Ganoderma Lucidum. Now he had stirred up a hornet's nest. The giant boar and tsunami moon wolf king gave up slaughtering the lower ranked beasts at the first moment and charged straight towards Lu Yu. Seemingly knowing that Lu Yu was the strongest of the three, the giant boar and the tsunami moon wolf king tacitly joined forces. A light flashed across the giant boar's body, and the two pig tusks instantly doubled in size, flashing with a metallic cold light as they charged towards Lu Yu, and that was when their speed was also doubled. Skill. Lu Yu's eyes lit up, he wasn't afraid that his opponent's skills were too strong he was afraid that his opponent didn't have any skills. At the same time, the Tsunami Wolf King charged up to the sky, the forehead of the moon burst out a whole light, instantly the speed of the Tsunami Wolf King doubled, the body's aura also grew a lot. Sky Wolf Whistling Moon. 
Lu Yu recognized this skill, according to the rumors, the signature skill of the Wolf King of the Whistling Moon was the Sky Wolf Whistling Moon, after using it, he freely increased his strength, and at most, he could directly double his strength. But there was a drawback, the higher the range and extent of the growth, the more spiritual energy was consumed. From the looks of it, this Tsunami Moon Wolf King should have added to his speed and attack power. One against two, the three clashed together in an instant. Lu Yu struck first and directly unleashed his cold ice stab. In an instant, dozens of cold ice spikes appeared out of thin air and impacted towards the two at extreme speed. Tsunami Wolf King's speed is extremely fast, by virtue of their own speed advantage, left and right dodge, avoided most of the ice spikes, and finally really cannot dodge this as the last ice spikes hit, instantly frozen in place. But Tsunami Wolf King is worthy of being able to become the existence of the Demon King, frozen for a moment, his body flashed a light, then from the frozen state to get out. But just that moment was enough. On the other side, the giant boar that had no way to hide directly ate Lu Yu's cold ice spike hard, not only becoming bruised, but also being immobilized in place. Lu Yu saw the opportunity and made a snap decision. Sharp blade assault. Lu Yu's figure instantly disappeared and appeared in front of the giant boar, and the moment the freezing effect on him lifted, five attacks with 200% attack power instantly hit it. Roar. The giant boar instantly wailed, only to see that a hole had broken open in front of its chest at this moment, and its internal organs flowed out along this large hole. In one move, it had been seriously injured. The huge body of the giant boar collapsed to the ground with a loud bang, at this moment, although the giant boar was still alive, but with this level of injury, it was obvious that it had no strength to fight. This change let the Tsunami Moon Wolf King was shocked, although elevated to the D stage, ferocious beasts of intelligence will also be raised a lot, but the Tsunami Moon Wolf King still can't figure it out, we are all D stage ferocious beasts, how can this wild boar be a move with seconds? After seriously injuring the giant boar, Lu Yu was not busy solving the giant boar's life, because there was still a Tsunami Moon Wolf King eyeing him. Lu Yu stared at the Tsunami Wolf King that was full of fear towards him, and then took the initiative to attack. Sharp Blade Assault was launched once again, and Lu Yu's body instantly appeared in front of the Tsunami Moon Wolf King, intending to repeat the same technique and finish off the Tsunami Moon Wolf King. However, the Tsunami Wolf King wasn't a big guy like the giant boar after all, and although his current speed wasn't as good as Lu Yu's, who had taken control of the wind spirit power, it wasn't bad at all. The Tsunami Wolf King, who had long been prepared for Lu Yu's move, exploded into his fastest speed the moment Lu Yu's figure disappeared, dashing to the side, just in time to avoid the five attacks that followed Lu Yu's blade blitz. Lu Yu's skill, for the first time, fell short. Woo! The Tsunami Wolf King did not wait for Lu Yu to attack again, raising his head and whistling, and in the next moment, an illusory round moon appeared in the air, and the moonlight spilled down, splitting into three strands, falling on the side of the Tsunami Wolf King, coalescing into three identical Tsunami Wolf Kings. Just by relying on his aura perception, Lu Yu was unable to tell if these three Wolf King Tsunami were real or fake. At the same time, the Tsunami Moon Wolf King's body became illusory and then disappeared. Seeing this scene, Lu Yu was a little surprised, not realizing that this Tsunami Moon Wolf King already possessed this divine skill at this time. According to the experience summarized in his previous life, it was possible for the general ferocious beasts to awaken the skills in their bloodline during the process of evolution and ascension, and these skills were all very powerful. The stronger the bloodline and the higher the rank, the more powerful the skills that could be awakened. In his previous life, it was speculated that this Whistling Moon Wolf King's Moon Shadow Three Wolf skill was at least awakened at the C rank or even the B rank, but he didn't expect that it had already been awakened at this moment. Lu Yu's gaze became a little more wary. This Moon Shadow Three Wolves was a very powerful skill that manifested three doppelgangers through aura, and these three doppelgangers were exactly the same in terms of both looks and aura, making them indistinguishable at all. The Tsunami Wolf King's main body could move among the three doppelgangers at will, and only one of them would be the real one but there was no way to determine which one was the real one the moment it was attacked. With this skill, human beings in their previous lives had no way to deal with the Tsunami Wolf King. Under Lu Yu's vigilant gaze, the three Tsunami Moon Wolf Kings rushed towards him at the same time. Lu Yu swung his wings and a piece of wind blade was flung towards the three wolves, however, before it could attack the three wolves, a light flashed out from all three of them at the same time, pawning all the wind blades. During the entire process, all the movements and spiritual power fluctuations of the three wolves were exactly the same making it impossible to distinguish the real from the fake. As expected, these three doppelgangers had another trait, they wouldn't receive the effects of group attacks, and there was no way to utilize skills that dealt little damage but had a large range to find out the real body. Lu Yu frowned slightly and once again, launching sharp blade assault, he selected one of the wolves to attack. Soon, that wolf was shattered by the powerful Lu Yu the moment it was attacked, yet it reappeared again in the next instant. Five consecutive attacks, shattered five times, and the wolf resurrected five times. Obviously, before resolving the real body, the doppelganger, although easily annihilated, 
could be resurrected in an instant, but it could be said that it was very difficult to deal with. Lu Yu was cautious with a hint of hope, knowing that the target possessed a skill that the panel had a chance to loot, if he could get this skill, Lu Yu's strength would definitely have a huge increase. The three wolves were impacting from three directions, Li Yu could only make a triple choice, but the bummer was that even if Lu Yu chose the right one, the Tsunami Wolf King was able to change his position before the attack was unleashed. The little white fox on the side saw Lu Yu being surrounded by three wolves, while Lu Yu did not move at all, as if he was not defending himself to meet the attack of others. The little white fox was a little anxious and hesitated in place for half a second, then gritting her teeth, she directly rushed towards Lu Yu, while launching her illusion technique halfway. The little white fox had the intention to help Lu Yu, but her strength was limited and she was unable to encompass all the wolves. A light flashed and directly covered the wolf on Lu Yu's left side. Lu Yu was a little surprised, he did not expect that this little white fox actually knew how to return the favor and help himself out. Bang! The moment the illusory light struck the wolf, the wolf exploded violently like a bubble. What shocked Lu Yu was that this time, after the wolf blew up, it actually did not revive, and there were only two wolves left on the field. Could it be that this illusion is actually able to know the skills of the Tsunami Moon Wolf King? Lu Yu pondered in his heart, and at this moment, the Tsunami Wolf King's attack arrived. The two wolves were emitting a powerful aura, opening their mouths and biting towards Lu Yu. Feeling the spiritual energy that filled the wolf's mouth, Lu Yu didn't doubt for a second that even a deranked beast would be seriously injured if it was really hit. Facing two attacks, the opponent's skill limited the attack to only choosing one of the figures to defend against, or else it would be cancelled out, but even if it was chosen, the true body of the Tsunami Wolf King could instantly move into the other figure. In short, in the face of this skill, the attacks cast by the Tsunami Moon Wolf King were basically a sure hit. Soli Lu Yu did not put up a fight, his eyes tightly staring at the two wolves. The two wolves were very fast, and in the next instant, they bit Lu Yu, while a powerful spiritual energy erupted from the mouth of one of the wolves, attempting to invade Lu Yu's body along the bites and inflict damage on him from the inside. Seeing Lu Yu being attacked, the little white fox immediately whimpered, seemingly worried for Lu Yu. But just at this moment a golden light flashed by. Golden body. In the next moment, the Tsunami Moon Wolf King, who had all been heartily pleased with himself, was directly hit by the coal ice thorns that erupted with full force from a close distance, and all of the coal ice thorns shot in along the Tsunami Moon Wolf King's mouth. In just one move, the Tsunami Wolf King took a huge amount of damage. Utilizing his golden body to dodge all the damage, Lu Yu, who was unharmed, ran the little spiritual energy left in his body and took advantage of the fact that the Tsunami Wolf King was seriously injured and frozen by the skill effect of the ice stabs to instantly unleash his blade assault. Swish 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 swish. Five consecutive full force claw strikes bombarded the Tsunami Moon Wolf King. The frozen Tsunami Wolf King was instantly broken apart, its entire body exploding into frozen flesh and blood that splashed out in all directions. D rank beast, future demon king level existence, Tsunami Moon Wolf King, killed. Lu Yu sighed in relief, his choice was not wrong. This Tsunami Wolf King's signature skill, Moon Shadow Three Wolves, was near unsolvable, as long as it was used, it could be said that the Tsunami Wolf King's next attack was almost certain to hit. The only weakness is that the moment the Wolf King hits the opponent, his body will not be able to move instantly, and this moment is the only chance to counterattack. If it was an ordinary beast, even if it knew about this weakness, it would first be injured by the Wolf King's attack, and then lose the ability to counterattack, and ultimately, it could only be killed by the Wolf King. But as it happens, Lu Yu possesses an even more unparalleled skill, the Golden Body. Although it could only last for a second, during that second, Lu Yu was completely invincible and not subject to any damage, and that second was enough for Lu Yu to break out a powerful counterattack and kill the opponent in seconds with a set of skills. The little white fox on the side had its mouth wide open, looking at Lu Yu with eyes full of admiration and awe. Among the ferocious beasts, there was a distinction between the strong and the weak. Lu Yu had demonstrated his strength and had completely convinced the little white fox. Seeing Lu Yu rapidly recovering his spiritual energy in place, the little white fox immediately threw off his little legs and hopped over to Spirit Fruit, grabbing it in his front paws. Lu Yu narrowed his eyes and stared tightly at the little white fox, if the little white fox made any attempt to eat the Spirit Fruit, Lu Yu would kill it with a thunderous strike. What he needed was a henchman, not a ferocious beast that did not understand the situation. Feeling the rich spiritual chi emanating from the Great Three Spiritual Fruit, the little white fox's eyes were filled with longing and its little mouth was drooling. It knew very well that as long as it ate this spirit fruit, it would be able to break through to the D stage and become an existence like Lu Yu. This spirit fruit was full of temptation for her, making it incomparably want to take it for itself. But the little white fox didn't dare to, just after hesitating for a moment, the little white fox dismissed the idea that she shouldn't have in her heart, grabbed the spirit fruit and came to Lu Yu's side, offering the spirit fruit with both hands. Seeing this, Liu couldn't help but nod his head in satisfaction, 
put away the spirit fruit and patted the little white fox's head. With the performance of the little white fox during and after the battle just now, Lu Yu considered it as one of his own. Lu Yu received the spirit fruit into the panel space, this was not the time to enjoy the spirit fruit. Opening the panel, he directly plundered the Tsunami Wolf King's corpse. Congratulations on obtaining 260 evolution points, currently remaining 318 evolution points. Congratulations on obtaining the skill, Moon Shadow 3 Wolves. Lu Yu was overjoyed, his expectations had not fallen short after all. The whistling Moon Wolf King had finally popped out a skill, and it was still Lu Yu's most coveted Moon Shadow 3 Wolves, it was just too much of a coincidence, Lu Yu suspected that he was the son of destiny and had received the favor of the goddess of fate. He hurriedly opened the panel to check. Moon Shadow 3 Wolves, LV1, upgrade required evolution points, 10 points illuminate 2 shadows with spiritual power, the shadow breath is completely consistent with the body, the body can transfer between the shadows at any time, note, the shadows can be destroyed, and when an attack is initiated, no transfer can be made, and after the attack, the shadows dissipate. Only the LV1 Moon Shadow 3 Wolves could only manifest 2 shadows, Liu didn't hesitate and directly spent 10 evolution points to upgrade it to LV2 and then spent 100 evolution points to upgrade it to LV3, and upgraded it to LV3, so the skill became like this, shadow attack, LV3 4 shadows are manifested with spiritual energy, the shadow's aura is completely consistent with the main body, and the main body can be transferred between the shadows at any time, note, the shadows cannot be destroyed, and after an attack, the shadows dissipate. Lu Yu's eyes widened, after upgrading to LV3 level, not only was the skill able to generate 4 shadows, even the only flaw in the skill was gone. Shadow attack, it had completely become a divine skill. With just this one skill, Lu Yu's combat power could definitely be doubled. He closed the panel and adjusted his excitement. He flew to the side of the heavily injured and dying giant boar and swung his wings to completely end his opponent's life. Lu Yu, who was about to plunder the giant boar, paused for a moment and struck a wind blade, slicing off the giant boar's hind legs and throwing them to the little white fox. Although the little white fox didn't have its own panel and couldn't plunder the corpses of ferocious beasts, but by consuming the corpses of higher-ranked ferocious beasts, it was also able to ingest the spiritual energy therein and feed back to itself, only the efficiency wasn't as high as plundering. This little white fox since encountered Lu Yu, before and after to bring Lu Yu found a lot of good things, now also seems to be submissive, then Lu Yu will not be stingy. The little white fox who obtained the boar meat was overjoyed, and waved his front paw towards Lu Yu to express his gratitude. Congratulations on gaining evolution points, 180 points, current remaining evolution points, 628 points. The corpse was mutilated and the evolution points gained were much less, but Lu Yu didn't care. At the moment, around this open space, there were still many corpses of ferocious beasts that had just been killed by the three of them of the D rank, and these could all be evolution points. Lu Yu flew in a circle, plundering all the beasts without missing a beat, gaining a total of 180 evolution points, and at the moment, his evolution came to 808 points. Only 200 points short, he would be able to gather enough evolution points to upgrade to C rank. Moreover, he still had a third grade spirit fruit that he hadn't taken. This time, Lu Yu had made a fortune. Looking at the little white fox still enjoying the wild boar meat, Lu Yu set his eyes on the mountain, where the humans were currently in a firefight with the ferocious beasts. Time went back to before. After Su Jingguo sensed that the number of ferocious beasts was beyond expectation this time, he called for support. When the supporting warriors arrived and took up positions, they happened to run into the ferocious beasts that had been driven down by the 3D rank ferocious beasts. These beasts had been pressed to the ground by the 3D rank beasts on the mountain, and were holding their anger when they came down the mountain, only to encounter the humans, and now all their anger erupted. The great battle between the ferocious beasts and the humans was imminent. Attention all units. Long range fire coverage, don't let the ferocious beasts rush over. Superhuman squad, follow me to randomly kill the fierce beasts. Su Jingwa made an instant decision and quickly gave the order. With a single command, the rockets and missiles deployed behind them were immediately launched, blasting towards the ferocious beasts. Facing the heavy firepower of the humans, these ferocious beasts that were only of the E and F ranks suffered heavy losses immediately. The E rank ones were fine, they had the ability to resist hot weapons, but the F rank ones were miserable, as long as they were hit by the missiles, they would instantly be blown to pieces. After suffering many losses, the humans finally revealed their hideous claws and teeth. Soon, the heavy firepower cleansing ended, after all, it was a temporary support that came with limited ammunition. Although the heavy firepower had resolved nearly 60% of the ferocious beasts, there were still a few E-rank and a dozen F-rank ferocious beasts surviving. Go! Su Jingwa took a deep breath and ordered. In the next moment, the superhuman squad followed Su Jingwa and rushed up to meet the ferocious beasts head-on. For insurance purposes, the five of them surrounded a wild dog that was over 2 meters in size, 
and judging by its aura, it was a F-ranked ferocious beast. The superhuman squad plus Su Jingwu totaled five people, all of them were F-rank or above, five against one, although it was the first time for all of them to participate in superhuman level battles, but they were all powerful fighters in their own right, and were also equipped with powerful weapons, and a wild dog in the area quickly fell to the ground. Feeling the power brought by the strength, Su Jingwu and the others were all a little excited in their hearts, then Su Jingwu ordered, two people in a group, freely search for F-rank ferocious beasts to fight, remember, everything should be done with safety in mind. Yes. The remaining four people all obeyed the order and split into two groups, each charging towards an F-rank ferocious beast. As for Su Jingwu, he was so bold in his art that with the fire support from the ordinary warriors, he was able to take on an F-rank ferocious beast by himself. The battle went smoothly, and for the warriors with supernatural abilities, they were able to quickly finish off a beast in a two-on-one fight. One after another, the F-rank beasts fell to the ground. After a few moments, those E-rank beasts that had been frightened by the heavy firepower realized that the rather threatening heavy firepower seemed to have stopped, so one by one, they dug out to check the situation. When one of the black bears turned its head, it saw that two superhuman warriors were surrounding his little brother, a brown F-ranked bear, and immediately became furious. As an E-rank, how could it sit back and do nothing? It directly rushed up, and when the two warriors had their backs turned to it and didn't react at all, it slapped one of them and sent it flying, falling hard onto the ground. This slap was its full strength under the sneak attack with anger. Just a moment, after that warrior fell to the ground and struggled for a few times, he lost his breath. The black bear, on the other hand, was currently forcing its way towards another superhuman warrior. Quick support! Su Jingwa, who had just resolved the F-ranked ferocious beast, saw this and shouted in a hurry as his eyes glazed over. After the battle just now, Su Jingwa already had a reference. The strength of the superpower warriors after using the gene potion was still slightly weaker compared to the ferocious beasts of the same rank but if they fought two against one, they could easily finish off the ferocious beasts. This efficiency, compared to the previous drive into a large force to deal with the ferocious beasts, was quite a bit faster, and it could also reduce casualties. So now these five super warriors were treasures, not realizing that in this first battle, one of them was sacrificed by the fierce beast's sneak attack, which made Su Jingwu's heart ache. The warrior's guns were aimed at the black bears, and bullets poured over like no money. The guns didn't do much damage to the E-ranked ferocious beasts, and it was even hard to break through the defense, only slightly blocking the black bear's march. But that was enough, Su Jingwa, who was in full support, had already run to the side of the other surviving superpower warrior, and while keeping a close eye on the black bear, he asked worriedly, Are you alright? I'm fine, Captain. It's good that you're fine. Su Jingwa breathed a sigh of relief, and at this moment, the other two superpower warriors also came to his side. At the moment, on Su Jingwu's side were four F-stage superpower warriors, among them, Su Jingwu was the strongest, and was on the verge of reaching E-stage. They were facing off against an E-rank beast, and although they were outnumbered, everyone was nervous, and Su Jingwu wasn't sure. Roar! The black bear was tired of being hit by the bullets, so he didn't bother to dodge, and directly rushed up to meet the bullets, slamming down towards Su Jingwu. Seeing this, Su Jingwu, Gua hurriedly operated the spiritual energy in his body, and his entire body dodged to the side. Bang! The black bear's palm slammed into the air, smashing a large crater in the ground, which was frightening to look at. At the same time, the remaining three people were not idle either, and immediately circled around to the side to attack the black bear. Although the black bear was E-rank, but facing the attack of three F-rank superpower warriors, it did not dare to underestimate, his whole body flashed a light, then the skin on his back became as colorful as stone. The three people's attack hit on it, only felt that it hit on a hard stone, not only did it not break the defense, but even suffered from the recoil that made the three people a bit overwhelmed. Is this the power of E-rank? The three people were shocked, at this moment, while the three people had not yet stabilized, that black bear roared angrily and slapped towards one of them. Su Jingwu pounced on him, not daring to take it head on, only to blast his fist from the side at the elbow of the black bear's palm. Bang! With a muffled sound, Su Jingwu's fist was instantly drenched in blood, and a sharp pain came from it. But this punch was also effective, at least it moved the black bear's arm a bit, allowing the palm to stagger the warrior. Retreat! Su Jingwu judged that the four of them were simply no match for the E-ranked ferocious beast, and made an immediate decision. Hearing the order, the three of them tacitly withdrew their hands, and together with Su Jingwu, they alternately took cover and withdrew. However, the black bear was unforgiving, leaping up and pouncing towards the four of them. Captain, quickly go! The black bear was extremely fast, Coming towards Su Jingwu, Su Jingwu obviously couldn't avoid it, right at this moment, the superpower warrior that he had just saved stopped retreating and pounced towards the black bear instead. Without any hesitation, the super soldier rushed to the front of the black bear and directly detonated the explosives on his body. Boom! Fire and light shot out in all directions, the black bear fell to the ground by this close explosion, 
and his body was grayed out with a few more wounds. Su Jingguo's eyes widened, a heat appeared in his eyes, but at this moment he had no time for pain, gritting his teeth. Retreat. Su Jingguo could not waste the time that his comrades had utilized their lives for. The three of them retreated in a hurry, and the fire support from afar never stopped. Seeing that the trio was getting farther and farther away from the black bear, there seemed to be a chance of survival. However, due to the fight between the several people and the black bear, the E-rank ferocious beasts that were hiding were startled. Seeing the black bears flaunting their power and taking down double kills without even welcoming the heavy fire coverage, these E-rank ferocious beasts all rushed out one by one, directly surrounding the three of them. The entire five E-rank beasts were spread around the three of them, there was no chance of escaping. The three of them were somewhat desperate, especially Su Jingguo was particularly unwilling in his heart. After this battle, he had already gained some insights into the superhuman warriors, and originally thought of submitting it to his superiors after the battle to promote the superhuman program and enhance the strength of mankind, but he didn't expect that in the first battle, he would have to die here. Taking a deep breath, Su Jingguo gritted his teeth and said, put up a fight, attack the targets in front together, get one killed even if you earn it. Yes, the other two were also prepared to fight for their lives. Before dying, if they could pull an earranked ferocious beast on their backs, it wouldn't be a loss. At this moment, the black bears also rushed over, a total of six ferocious beasts rushed towards the three of them, and just as Su Jingwo was planning to fight to the death, suddenly the heavens and earth resounded with a loud and clear chirping sound. Newt. With this sound, the six vicious beasts one by one, as if they had encountered what horrible things in general, will directly run three people in the back of the head, and flee in all directions. Just as Su Jingwo was wondering if the sound seemed familiar, he saw a scene that shocked him. The six E-rank beasts were fleeing in a hurry, as if they would die if they ran slower and their previous arrogance and dominance was completely gone. At the moment, in Su Jingwa's eyes, these six were not like E-rank beasts, but like lambs to be slaughtered. Su Jingwa tilted his head up to look at the sky, a huge figure blocked the sun, and in the next moment, six black shadows diverged from that figure. Each black shadow turned into a huge golden eagle with a wingspan of over 10 meters, splitting into six directions and chasing after the six ferocious beasts. And then, those ferocious beasts that were so powerful that they were invincible in the eyes of Su Jingwa's few people were caught up by the six golden eagles in an instant, and were subsequently killed in seconds as they collapsed to the ground. Powerful. Overbearing. At this moment, the figures that had absorbed those six golden eagles, soaring in the sky, appeared so tall in the eyes of Su Jingwa and the others, and were desperate. In the next instant, countless wind blades descended from the sky, and every wind blade that fell was accompanied by the collapse and death of an F-ranked ferocious beast. Su Jingguo was somewhat numbed by the shock. Originally, he had thought that after using the gene potion to obtain the power of the F rank, they had also become superhuman and strong. But only at this moment did they realize that in front of the truly strong, they were just ants. If this figure struck out at them, it didn't even need to do it personally, a single wind blade could easily finish them off. Su Jingguo raised his hand to cover the sunlight, and only then did he see the figure clearly. A golden eagle. He recognized it. Seen it quite a few times. It was precisely because he recognized it that it frightened him even more. Knowing that, after these several encounters, Su Jingwa clearly felt that the strength of this golden eagle would improve by leaps and bounds every time. Previously, against an E-ranked ferocious beast, he still needed to fight personally, fighting back and forth, but now, an E-ranked ferocious beast could be resolved by simply deploying his detachment. This golden eagle, just how strong was it? Lu Yu naturally would not know the shock in Su Jingwa's heart. After he finished the battle on the mountain and harvested the loot, he remembered those who had escaped to the bottom of the mountain, so he rushed to look for them, thinking that at this moment, those fierce beasts had already dispersed in all directions, and he could not find a few of them. I did not expect Lu Yu down the mountain, found a land beast corpses and was blown open a big pit. Now Liu understand, these beasts were forced down the mountain, did not expect actually in human fighting. Surprised Lu Yu then saw a series of operations Su Jingguo and others would have liked to see in this life. The first generation of human super warrior color, did not expect to see how long, five people into three people, but also by the E-order ferocious beasts surrounded, it is clear that there is no way to live. Lu Yu, who is out of the game, is also too lazy to waste time, and directly strikes, and in the meantime tries out his new skills. Thousand birds. The first time he used it, Liu had transformed into a whole six doppelgangers, each of which had the strength of his own body. In the face of the E-rank beasts that had long been scared out of their wits, these doppelgangers killed them in seconds without any effort at all, which made Liu a bit tasteless. After finishing off all the beasts, Liu directly used the panel to loot them, and soon the corpses all over the mountain disappeared into flying ash, while Liu Yu's panel had an additional 301 evolution points, and Liu Yu's total evolution points had grown to a full 1109 points. It exceeded 1000 points. He was fully capable of advancing to the C rank. The excited Liu Yu simply ignored the thanks from Su Jingwa and the others and directly turned his head back to the mountaintop. 
After delaying for such a while, after returning to the mountaintop, Liu found that the little white fox had already finished eating the boar meat, and although it had not been able to evolve to rank D, the aura on its body had obviously become a little stronger. When the little white fox saw Liu return, it excitedly came up and rubbed towards Liu, and Liu sticking. Liu was in a good mood, patted the little white fox's head, then grabbed the little white fox and flew up into the sky, simply judged the direction, and sensed the surrounding atmosphere, Liu chose a high mountain and flew over at high speed. At this moment, Liu not only obtained the third great spirit fruit, but also gathered the 1000 points needed for evolution, whether it was to take the spirit fruit to evolve, or to directly use the points to evolve, Liu had 100% certainty of evolving to the C stage, so he couldn't wait to evolve. However, this evolution can't be sloppy, according to his understanding, as well as the experience of the previous evolutions, evolution is not an overnight, direct deep blue addition, in situ breakthrough to C stage. Wanting to evolve the results, specified that it would take time, especially now to evolve to C stage, the time needed was afraid to be quite a lot, so Liu intended to find a safe place to evolve. At the moment, the direction he was advancing, not only was there a high mountain that would allow him to have a relatively clean environment, after all, the general ferocious beasts would not have nothing to do to climb the heights, but also the spiritual fluctuations in this direction were the lowest, indicating that there were no powerful ferocious beasts, it was the right place to evolve. As the saying goes, looking at the mountain, although Liu Yu is a golden eagle and can fly with his wings, he also spent two whole days before arriving at the top of this mountain. Liu Yu casually hunted some unranked beasts, had a full meal, and after leaving enough food for the little white fox, he took out the third grade spirit fruit. Time seemed to have stopped in the panel space, so the Ganoderma at the moment seemed to be the same as the one that had just been put in, and the aura had not escaped in the slightest. Liu Yu looked at the Lingji in front of him and was in an excited mood, then he opened his mouth and ate the Lingji. This Ganoderma is worthy of being a heavenly treasure, just after entering the mouth it transformed into a huge spiritual chi, spreading throughout Liu Yu's body, Liu Yu sensed that this spiritual chi had begun to transform his own body, he hurriedly collected his mind, and did not have time to admonish the little white fox, so he entered into the evolutionary state. The little white fox on the side saw the rejuvenation of the spirit Ganoderma and couldn't help but greedily gulp a mouthful of water, but it was clear in its mind and didn't have any bad thoughts. On the contrary, when he saw Liu take the Ganoderma lucidum, he understood that Liu was about to start his evolution, so he straightened his body, turned his back to Liu, and looked at all parts of the cliff vigilantly, diligently watching over Liu, avoiding ferocious beasts to come and disturb Liu's evolution. Time went back to two days ago. Only after Liu left in style did Su Jinghua and the others breathe a sigh of relief. Although Liu did not show any hostility to them, but Liu's strength was too powerful, the aura was too strong, so they did not dare to breathe, for fear of a wrong to provoke Liu. Only after Liu Yu left did Su Jinghua slow down, and with a sad face, he personally collected the two sacrificed superhuman warriors, and then personally led the people up to the mountaintop. Seeing the current state of the mountaintop, everyone sucked in a breath of cool air. At this moment, the mountaintop was in a mess, with traces of the aftermath of the battle everywhere, and the preliminary estimation was that the aftermath of the battle at the top of the mountain was even stronger than the heavy firepower wash at the bottom of the mountain. The battle of a D-rank beast was surprisingly strong. On top of the mountain, although it has long been scavenged by Lu Yu, but also left some Lu Yu lazy to clean up the remains of the lower order beasts, these remains although Lu Yu do not see, but for humans, but good things, so Su Jing was sent people will be the entire mountaintop scavenging, but also quite a harvest. After returning with his team, he first gave all the harvest this time to Zhao Lao, expecting to have new research results, and if not, it would be great to be able to get some more genetic potions. In this battle, although the five superpowered warriors sacrificed two of them, and three of them survived, the actual battle proved that in today's battles, warriors with superpowers are definitely more effective than a hundred times the number of warriors. In the future, it is estimated that the war will be dominated by superpowered fighters. Su Jingwo will be the battle before and after the report written into a report, which especially wrote Liu Yu-related information, the superiors attach great importance to this battle, for this battle, even held a few days of meetings, and finally came to a conclusion. In the future, if humans encounter Liu Yu, they are resolutely not allowed to take the initiative to attack. On the other hand, above the cliff, five whole days had passed. The little white fox looked at Lu Yu, who was enveloped by a ball of light, and humanely displayed a worried look in his eyes. At this moment, on the little white fox's body, a powerful aura was emanating. In the past few days, the little white fox had eaten a lot of the ferocious beast meat that Lu Yu had left for her, and stayed by Lu Yu's side, absorbing a lot of unintentionally escaping spiritual chi, and surprisingly, she had accidentally accumulated enough spiritual power to successfully evolve from the inside out. The little white fox originally had the strength of E stage close to D stage, and then followed Liu Yu to get a lot of benefits, and successfully promoted to D stage. 
According to the law of the strongest of the weak and the beasts, at this moment, the little white fox also has the same strength of the D stage as Luyu, could have completely defected and escaped from Luyu's clutches, or even directly counterattacked, taking advantage of the evolution of Luyu at this moment, to launch an attack on Luyu. But the evolution to the D stage of the small white fox did not have any action, still obediently stay in the side of Luyu, and conscientiously vigilant around, to avoid other beasts to disturb Luyu. The reason for this is only one thing. The aura emanating from Luyu's body was powerful to the extreme, so powerful that even if the little white fox had evolved to the D stage, there was absolutely no way to counteract it, and it even made her tremble. Therefore, the little white fox didn't dare to have any crooked thoughts at all, and didn't even dare to escape. Boom! Right at this moment, the ball of light wrapped around Luyu exploded. An airwave composed entirely of spiritual energy spread out in all directions, and when the little white fox on the side saw this, her pupils tightened as she felt a deadly threat. Without any hesitation, little white fox directly hid behind a boulder, and ran the spiritual energy in her body for defense. Rumble. Above the cliff, there were boulders all over the unevenness, however, at this moment, these boulders were like a piece of bean curd that shattered one by one. The little white fox used all its strength to block the aftermath of the boulders. Afterwards, the little white fox raised its head and looked towards the figure rising into the sky with a shocked expression. At this moment, Liu was covered in golden light, his body size was more than a hundred meters, and the feathers all over his body were golden, so if he looked closely, he would be able to find out that the figure of Liu had been destroyed by the boulder. If you look closely, you will be able to find that there is a circle of transparent fluctuation lingering around the edge of those feathers. This fluctuation is the visualization of wind's spiritual power. The feathers looked beautiful and soft, but at this moment, it was no problem to cut gold and jade, even among the deranked beasts, the giant bears with superb defenses were also hard to withstand the cutting of the feathers. In addition, Liu originally black as ink sharp claws, at this moment as if transformed, become like gold, shining with sharp light, Liu can clearly feel, the strength of his claws at least ten times higher. Newt. Liu can only feel a constant flow of power in his body, filled with surging spiritual energy, and he couldn't help but raise his head and let out a clear chirp. In a flash, a bloodline suppression belonging to a superior erupted from Luyu, startling the entire forest with chickens flying and countless ferocious beasts fleeing in haste. Even the little white fox, who was a D rank, was crouching on the ground at the moment, trembling. This was the dominance of the C rank. Luyu cruised around the sky, then looked at a lake in the distance, and immediately, with a shock of his wings, he disappeared from his original position, and in an instant, he crossed hundreds of miles and arrived above the lake. Looking at the lake reflecting his present appearance, Luyu was pleasantly surprised in his heart. At this moment, it was no longer accurate to say that he was a golden eagle. His current appearance was more like a rock. In myths and legends, there is the golden-winged rock, born with a beak and claws as hard as iron, with diamond-like horns, topped with a pearl that shines brightly, with fiery eyes that flash like the sun and the moon, with a steel-like strong beak that is like an iron hook, and with sword-like wings that dance in the air. Vibrating his wings for 90,000 miles, he was able to devour the world by feeding on dragons. Today's Lu Yu was not this powerful yet, but he had a feeling that as long as he kept evolving, he could definitely become the legendary Flood Fae, the Golden Winged Rock, or even, surpass it. After admiring his handsome figure at the moment, Lu Yu spread his wings and flew back to that cliff, landing on it. During his descent, Lu Yu's body continued to shrink, and by the time he landed on the cliff, he had already become the size of an ordinary eagle, except that he was covered in gold, which was very intriguing. In the process of evolution, most beasts will grow in size, only a few similar to the small white fox, not mainly in close combat, will not change their body shape. In addition, after a fierce beast's rank was raised to C rank, it would be able to change its size to a certain extent, such as the current Luyu, the smallest of which could shrink to its initial size, and the largest of which could grow to over a hundred meters. When the little white fox saw Luyu fall, he immediately jumped up and ran to Luyu's side with a pleasing face, and even humanely raised his two lovely front paws to give Luyu a whack on the back. It had to be said that it was quite comfortable. If those demon kings who had been beaten the hell out of by the nine-tailed demon emperor in their previous lives were to see this scene, they would be afraid that their eyes would glaze over. The nine-tailed demon emperor who didn't show any respect to all existences was actually pleasing Luyu like a licking dog, it was too unbelievable. After enjoying the little white fox's back pounding, Luyu nodded his head in satisfaction. This little brother, not only is his talent strong, but he also has such a good eye, so it can be said that he is very worth cultivating. Lu Yu also found out that Little White Fox had been promoted to the D rank, but he wasn't surprised, after all, according to Little White Fox's talent, this was something that was completely natural. Patting the Little White Fox's head, Lu Yu opened his panel. Name, Lu Yu. Rank, C rank, evolution points required for upgrade, 0 10000 evolution points. Lifespan, 1 3000 years. 
Skills, Blade Assault, LV3, Cold Ice Stab, LV3, Golden Body, LV2, Thousand Birds, LV3, Shadow Attack, LV3. Talent, Wine Spirit Power Mastery, Elementary. Evolution Points, C-Step. Although Liu was able to feel that the power in his body was more than 10 times stronger, he was certain that if he were to fight against himself at this moment before he ascended the ranks, he would be able to do so in seconds without any injuries. The gap between C rank and D rank is just like a rift valley. However, it was only after seeing the brightly labeled C rank on the panel that Liu became completely excited. C rank ah, before the second aura recovery, Liu had upgraded to C rank, which was simply impossible in his previous life. Nowadays, Liu could guarantee that none of the ferocious beasts in the world, except for him, would be able to reach C rank. Before the second aura recovery, Liu was briefly invincible. Closing the panel, Liu carefully planned. Now, counting the days, there were only 10 days at most until the second aura revival. After the second aura recovery, C stage fierce beasts would appear in large numbers, and by then, he would not have the advantage that he had now. Therefore, it was imperative to find a way to plot more resources and obtain enough evolution points within these 10 days so that he could continue to maintain his advantage in terms of rank. Just at this moment, a roar came from the distance, and Lu Yu's eyes immediately lit up. Having been promoted to C rank, his spiritual sense was also much sharper, and based on the roar coming from the distance alone, Lu Yu was able to determine that it was a D rank beast. Now Lu Yu is not sleepy. D rank beasts, one can provide nearly 200 evolution points, absolutely cannot let go. Although Lu Yu now had more than 1,100 evolution points, compared to the 10,000 evolution points needed to evolve to be rank, it was a far cry. At this moment, it was not easy to run into a D rank beast, Lu Yu left the little white fox behind and flew towards the direction where the voice came from. Listening to the sound, the beast seemed to be fighting, and the one that could fight with a D rank beast and force it to roar should also be a D rank beast, so this was going to be a big win. In an instant, Lu Yu arrived at the place where the battle took place. From afar, Lu Yu saw a silver-colored giant bear with the corpses of several wolves lying around, obviously, it was these wolves that had surrounded the giant bear. This giant bear, Lu Yu always felt familiar. In the next instant, Lu Yu recalled that this giant bear was one of the demon kings that had dominated Jiang Zhou in his previous life, the thunder giant bear. In his previous life, although this thunder bear was only an A-rank beast, it possessed a talent that even the S-rank demon kings were a little afraid of, controlling thunder. Thunder was strong and masculine, Basically it had a restraining effect on most beasts, so the thunder giant bear that had control over thunder was incredibly powerful. Although it didn't reach the S stage, it was still called the king of demons. Lu Yu did not expect that this future king would actually be bumped into by himself. Moreover, right now, this thunder giant bear was clearly only at the D rank. Now, Lu Yu got excited. He remembered that in his previous life, this thunder giant bear happened to come across a spirit spring during the second aura recovery, and with this spirit spring, it directly evolved to B stage, becoming one of the powerful demon kings near Jiangzhou. Lu Yu only knew that this spiritual spring was located in the Xiaonan mountain outside of Jiangzhou, but the mountain forest was dense and the exact location was not clear. The specific location is not clear, so Lu Yu did not hit the idea of this spiritual spring, I did not expect the darkness now, actually let him run into this giant bear. Originally, Lu Yu was planning to kill this deorder beast, harvest evolution points, but now he changed his mind, relying on the now reduced size, hidden in the side, with his sea order strength, the thunder giant bear is absolutely impossible to find. As long as he follows the giant bear, he will definitely be able to find that spiritual spring. The thunder giant bear roared angrily at the three wolves still remaining in front of him, and the next moment his eyes flashed with an electric light, followed by three thunderbolts appearing out of thin air, instantly blasting at the heads of the three wolves. Rumble. Thunderous sounds rang out, the three wolves did not have the slightest resistance under the thunder, let alone the fact that they were only E-ranked existences. After finishing off the last three wolves, the giant bear hissed angrily, displaying its majesty, before pouncing forward, opening its mouth and tearing at the wolves' corpses. Lu Yu was a little heartbroken, if he had taken action himself, these corpses would have been turned into his evolution points, but he could not startle the giant bear, and could only watch as the other party ate all these wolves. A few moments later, the satiated giant bear raised its head in satisfaction and rushed towards the distance. Lu Yu followed closely behind, following the giant bear forward. Although the bear was running wildly, its speed was not very fast, and with Lu Yu's speed, it was easy to follow behind. The bear ran all the way to the little south mountain and returned to his cave. Lu Yu, who was following behind, looked at the surroundings and released his spiritual sense to perceive it. He keenly sensed that in a place behind the giant bear's cave, there was a majestic spiritual chi hidden, only that it was now being drawn out, waiting for the right moment, and when it was brewing enough, it would explode. Obviously, this was that one spiritual spring. This giant bear is really lucky, with the D-stage spiritual sense, 
There is definitely no way to discover this shadowed majestic spiritual chi, so this giant bear chose to settle down here, it must be unintentional, and I didn't expect to actually come across a spiritual spring. This was your chance in your previous life, in this life, I'll be polite. Having found the spirit spring, Lu Yu would not be polite to the giant bear. The giant bear's talent was something he coveted, and he looked forward to the panel to plunder it. Lu Yu stirred his wings and a spiritual power struck out, blasting the ground at the entrance of the cave. Boom. In an instant, a large hole was blasted in the ground. Roar. How could the short-tempered thunder giant bear stand this aggravation, actually being beaten at the door? The thunder giant bear, covered in flashing lightning, rushed out and opened its mouth towards Lu Yu and roared. Lu Yu's face was calm, no longer hiding his aura. His sea stage aura erupted out and pressed towards the thunder bear. Now, the thunder giant bear's roar immediately died down, looking at Lu Yu with a face of fear. Since the recovery of the aura, this thunder giant bear has been in the first echelon of strength by virtue of his powerful bloodline, and his strong power has made him fearless, daring to go up and fuck anyone. But at this moment, just by facing Lu Yu, it felt the sense of oppression from its bloodline. Danger! The thunder giant bear deeply felt the crisis of life and death this golden eagle in front of him was definitely able to kill him. Escape! The Deerank Beast Thunderbear, facing Lu Yu, didn't even have the courage to fight, and turned his head to run. Lu Yu naturally could not let the other party go. Not to mention that between beasts is the strongest of the weak, just say in the previous life, human beings have been slaughtered by the Thunderbear, and Lu Yu, happened to escape from its slaughter of the city. In his previous life, he didn't have the power to help the Thunderbear, but in this life, since he had the chance to take revenge, how could Lu Yu let it go? Lu Yu stirred his wings and pounced towards the Thunder Bear. Even if he didn't use his skills, Lu Yu's speed was still as fast as it could be. The Thunder Bear sensed Lu Yu's killing intent, knowing that there was no hope of escaping, he gritted his teeth and turned around, his body was covered in flashes of electricity, and at this moment, his aura was catalyzed to the extreme. Crackling. Lightning about the thickness of a finger wrapped around the Thunder Giant Bear's body, the light and shadow effect was not bad. However, all of this seemed so powerless under the suppression of rank. If the Thunder Giant Bear had reached the A rank and completely developed the potential of his Thunder talent, then he wouldn't be afraid of even the S rank which was higher than him, but right now he was still far from it. Rumble. The Thunder Giant Bear could only strike first when facing Lu Yu, not seeking to kill Lu Yu, but only seeking to be able to injure Lu Yu and then seize the opportunity to escape for himself. In the face of the electric light that came shooting, Lu Yu could have easily flashed, but after a little thought, Lu Yu did not dodge. On one hand, he wanted to try the power of this lightning, and on the other hand, he also wanted to see his defensive power after he was promoted to C rank. The lightning struck Liu head on, and the thunder giant bear was overjoyed to see it, however, the next moment, its eyes widened in disbelief as it looked at Liu, who was unharmed. How was this possible? Being struck head on by lightning and actually not having any injuries at all, this simply shattered the thunder giant bear's cognition. Not bad, this thunder giant bear's attack power is considered to be top notch amongst the ferocious beasts of the same rank to be able to completely defend against his attack, I think that there are not many below the entire C rank that can injure me. Lu Yu thought prettily, he didn't expect his defense to be so strong after he evolved, which had already surpassed most of the C rank ferocious beasts. Experimenting with his defense, Lu Yu no longer delayed and directly launched his skill. Sharp Blade Assault. In a flash, before the thunder giant bear could react, Lu Yu's figure appeared in front of it and then directly pierced through. Lu Yu's normal-sized figure at the moment was like a sharp arrow passing through the Thunder Giant Bear's body. Rumble. Without any suspense, the Thunder Giant Bear's huge body fell to the ground. The Thunder Bear that had stirred up the wind and clouds in his previous life had fallen like this in this life. Lu Yu wasn't the slightest bit surprised that he had killed the Thunder Giant Bear in one move, he understood how powerful he was at the moment. Before the second aura recovery, he would be invincible in the world. Panel, absorb. Calling out in front of him, looking at the corpse of the thunder giant bear in front of him, an eagerness flashed through Lu Yu's eyes. The power of thunder and lightning, if it could be plundered over, that would be good. Congratulations on obtaining 260 evolution points. Current remaining evolution points are 1369. Failed to loot the target's talent lightning control. The joy of seeing his evolution points grow again was instantly washed away. Lu Yu looked at the words looting failed and was a bit lost. That's right, he wasn't the son of heaven. How could everything go his way and he could loot whatever he wanted? Shaking his head, Liu intended to adjust his mindset, not realizing that the next moment, another prompt popped up on the panel. Did you spend evolution points to loot again? Spend 100 points, looting success rate 10%. Spend 20. Spend 20 points, looting success rate 20%. Spend 300 points, looting success rate 30%. Spend 1000 points, looting success rate 100%. Liu opened his mouth wide, shocked beyond words. This is still possible? 
The previous panel wasn't this powerful, actually being able to spend evolution points to reloot, and as long as you spend enough evolution points, you'll be able to loot 100%? This is simply hanging ah. Lu Yu was excited in his heart. To know, in the past life, there are many beasts have mastered powerful skills or talents, and with these skills and talents, if Lu Yu was able to attribute these powerful skills or talents to himself, then it is not a minute bowl on the sky? Before Liu did not dare to think, after all, looting is dependent on the odds, but now, as long as there are enough evolution points, Liu can become a powerful stitching monster. Somewhat puzzled, Liu carefully studied the panel's log, and found that when he broke through to C rank, the panel was also upgraded, and it was upgraded to the point that after a failed looting attempt, he could reloot one of the opponent's talents or skills for the same beast. Spending evolution points could increase the success rate, and the evolution points needed were different according to the difference in the strength of the skill or talent. I see. A realization flashed in Lu Yu's eyes. Unexpectedly, the panel could also be upgraded as his level increased, so the future was even more promising. Lu Yu didn't even hesitate and directly spent 1000 evolution points to plunder the lightning control talent. Although 1000 evolution points was a lot, enough for him to upgrade to C rank, Lu Yu spent it willingly. He didn't dare to gamble that if he failed to loot again, not only would he waste his evolution points, but he would also lose the chance to obtain the thunderbolt control talent forever. Spending 1000 evolution points in exchange for a powerful talent was still very cost effective. Successfully looted talent Thunder Control, Beginner. Thunder Control, Beginner level, you can simply manipulate thunder and attach it to your attacks to increase their power, increase the effect of destroying evil spirits, and also launch attacks directly with thunder. The introduction of the talent was simple, but Lu Yu was satisfied. Activating the thunder talent, at this moment, above his golden body, there were constant flashes of electricity, and between his eyebrows, a lightning logo faintly appeared, making him look very handsome. Under the flap of his wings and the urging of the spiritual energy in his body, a piece of thunder power blasted towards the front, directly leveling a large area in front of him. The same talent, executed from Lu Yu's hands, increased in power by more than 10 times. This talent had once again performed a huge increase in Lu Yu's combat power. At this moment, Lu Yu was not only invincible below C rank, but even if a C rank ferocious beast appeared now, Lu Yu's strength was still one of the best. Nodding in satisfaction, Lu Yu turned his head and flew back to the previous cliff. On top of the cliff, the little white fox was waiting obediently, and after seeing Lu Yu, she greeted him with a happy face. However, just three meters away from Lu Yu, Lu Yu's body unconsciously flashed a lightning, immediately scared the little white fox ran away, ran out 20 meters to find a previously bombarded out of the pit to hide inside looking at Lu Yu shivering up. Lu Yu froze, then realized. He is now equipped with the power of thunder, which can be said to be the nemesis of most of the ferocious beasts, especially those like the little white fox that rely on illusions for their meals, and are even more afraid of the thunder's power to break the evil spirits. Laughing, Lu Yu controlled the thunder and took it into his body, no longer manifesting it outside, which allowed the little white fox to dare to approach. After enjoying the little white fox's back pounding once again, Lu Yu took the little white fox on a flight towards the little south mountain. The Little South Mountain was located in the southern part of Jiangzhou, and although this mountain was not a famous mountain, it also stretched out and was densely covered with jungle. If not for the thunder giant bear leading the way, Li Yu himself is absolutely no way to find that hidden spiritual spring in the huge Little South Mountain. As a D-rank beast, the thunder bear had his aura of deterrence, and no beast dared to approach within a few hundred meters of his cave. However, within a period of time after Li Yu finished off the thunder bear and left, he didn't expect that there would actually be a bold beast that came to his door. They probably thought that the thunder bear's aura had disappeared, so they wanted to come here to take advantage of the situation. Lu Yu took the little white fox and landed in front of the cave, striding into it. The cave was very large, the inner walls were left with traces of being bombarded, some places were scorched black, obviously struck by lightning. Lu Yu was a little surprised, from the look of this cave, one could understand that this thing was completely chiseled out by the thunder giant bear himself one by one, during which he didn't use his thunder talent much. Lu Yu shook his head and walked into it, and realized that the deepest part of the cave had actually carved out a huge stone bed, and on top of it, there was a huge hide, which appeared to be a cowhide. Still understands enjoyment. Lu Yu smiled, the cave that this thunder giant bear had so easily created now all belonged to him. For the next 10 days, Lu Yu planned to rest right here, stabilize his sea stage strength, and wait for the nearby spirit spring to appear. Lu Yu slightly stirred his wings and a curling wind appeared out of thin air, circling around the entire cave cleaning up all the garbage and odors in the cave and throwing them outside. After the little white fox got Lu Yu's permission, it jumped onto the stone bed with an excited face and rolled around on top of the cowhide, looking very happy. Lu Yu also walked onto the stone bed, intending to take a rest. 
Since he was reborn, he was either fighting or on the way to find evolution points, he never took a good rest, and now he can be considered to be secretly idle. The little white fox jumped over and gave Lu Yu a back rub, very good behavior. I have to say, this little white fox in the future, even if you do not go to be a demon emperor, find a place to give people a massage is also a good choice. The little white fox's spiritual energy is more delicate, in the process of her back and shoulder massage, the spiritual energy will then enter the surface layer of Lu Yu's body, helping to relax Lu Yu's muscles, so that Lu Yu can feel comfortable. It had to be said that it was worth it to accept this little brother. Right at this moment, a loud noise came, causing the little white fox to become alert as she raised her head to look at the entrance of the cave. A few moments later, a ferocious beast that was huge in size, but appeared to be a calf broke in. This calf was one of the ferocious beasts that had previously intruded into the thunder giant bear's territory, and did not expect that it would actually dare to break into the cave, even though Luyu had hidden his aura, the little white fox's aura was not hidden. The little white fox is a de-order beast, and this calf is only a district de-order beast, how dare you? Luyu moved his wings with the intention of killing this uninvited guest, but he didn't realize that the little white fox suddenly jumped out and blocked in front of Luyu. The little white fox whimpered a few times towards Luyu, and Luyu also understood her thoughts. All right, this ferocious beast will be taken care of by you. Since the little white fox took the initiative to jump out and wanted to test his strength, Lu Yu naturally would not refuse. What was the point of having a little brother if everything had to be solved by the boss? After the little white fox got the go ahead, excitedly jumped to the front of the calf, his eyes flashed a pink light, shooting straight into the calf's eyes. The calf's forward momentum was simply unable to dodge, directly hit by the pink light. The next moment, the pink light directly enveloped the calf's whole body originally clear calf's eyes suddenly a haze. The little white fox saw the situation, paw towards the wall not far away a finger, the calf immediately forced a change of direction, towards the direction of the little white fox pointing rushed over, to the wall in front of them ignored, ruthlessly mounted on it. Boom! Although this bull calf was only an E-stage ferocious beast, its strength was surprisingly large, and under one collision, since it knocked a large pit out of the wall, along with it, the entire cave shook a few times. The little white fox looked at Lu Yu with some embarrassment, she just wanted to take care of the whole calf, but she didn't expect to almost step on the cave. Lu Yu shook his head and said that it didn't matter, anyway, this cave was not excavated by him, and it couldn't be brought for a long time, so it didn't hurt to destroy it. What he cared more about was the little white fox's ability, and this handful of illusions really surprised him. The little white fox is not like him, after using evolution points or spirit fruits to evolve, it is directly the peak of the strength, just promoted to the D rank of the strength of the little white fox is not much stronger than the E rank. And this E-order calf's strength is obviously at the peak of the E-order, in comparison, the strength gap between the two is not very big. But in a single glance, the little white fox directly controlled the calf. At this moment, the calf was injured and fell to the ground, and then climbed up and stood obediently on the side, which also shows that even if it receives damage, the illusion control will not be lifted. From this, it could be seen that after this little white fox was promoted to the D rank, the illusion technique alone, had also improved a lot. After the little white fox took care of the calf, it ran to Lu Yu's side and chirped, by waving its paw in a gesture. Lu Yu also understood what the little white fox was thinking. This little calf had been completely controlled by the little white fox, so the little white fox wanted to leave the calf behind and give Lu Yu his service. Lu Yu pondered for a moment, he was now at the sea stage and possessed the ability to protect himself, it was time to think about establishing a force, after all, in the memories of his previous life, there were very few powerful demon kings and demon emperors who were alone. This was an era of great struggle, everything was up for grabs. Ground, evolutionary resources, heavenly treasures, etc. To become stronger, one of these things was indispensable. But the power of one person was limited after all, so establishing forces to fight for it was definitely the most effective. Thinking like this, Lu Yu nodded and agreed to the request of the little white fox. The little white fox was immediately overjoyed, commanding her first little brother to move a large stone to fill the large pit at the entrance of the cave that had been punched out by Lu Yu, having a great deal of fun. Lu Yu ignored the little white fox and stayed quietly in the cave to stabilize his realm. Time passed two days, this day completely, a Kamu filled with anxiety came from far away. Seemingly influenced by this sound, the controlled calf regained its clarity for a moment and let out an aggrieved cry. The little white fox angrily resumed exerting control over it while Lu Yu opened his eyes. A D-stage ferocious beast was storming towards the cave. Its appearance was, quite literally, the same as that of a calf. The ferocious beast was large, with a pair of hideous bull horns that seemed like they were going to pierce the sky, and its body exuded a powerful aura, and although it was only a D-stage, its aura had vaguely reached its peak, and it was not far from the C-stage. Lu Yu was somewhat interested. This large and small, obviously mother and child ferocious beasts, actually flush with ferocious beasts, the grade is not low. 
Obviously, the bloodline talent of these two cows was not low. Hee <laughs> hee, it's true that when you fall asleep, someone sends a pillow off, just wanting to collect a few juniors, someone actually sends them to the door, not bad. In the next instant, Li Yu rose up in a heck of a way, his strong aura rose up to the sky and pressed straight towards that ferocious beast. Boom! The giant bull's forward momentum was instantly curbed by the impact of this aura, and some more fear was added to a pair of angry eyes. As one of the D-stage overlords on this little south mountain, the giant bull naturally understood that this place was the territory of the thunder giant bear. Although it had lost to the thunder giant bear in several previous battles, it was not afraid of the thunder giant bear. It was fine if it didn't provoke it on weekdays, but now that its own son had actually been captured in the thunder giant bear's lair, it made the giant bull unable to tolerate it. We are all D-stage ferocious beasts, why can you bully me? Thus, the giant bull came in a rage, intending to settle the score with the thunder giant bear, but it didn't realize that the place had long since changed owners. As for the old rival thunder giant bear, it had already turned into flying dust. The giant bull felt the pressure of heaven and earth oppression from Lu Yu, as if what was in front of it was not a golden rock, but a demon god, causing it to choke a little. If it was an ordinary time, it was afraid that it would turn its head and run, staying one more second was irresponsible for its own life. But at this moment, it did feel its son's breath in the cave. Fearful eyes once again firm, not waiting for Lu Yu to make a move, the giant bull erupted out of the whole body's spiritual energy, a pair of bull horns on his head instantly erupted a burst of flame, the flame burned, attached to the top of the bull horns, and then rushed straight toward Lu Yu, to use the bull's horns to top the Lu Yu to fly in general. Seeing this, Lu Yu immediately intended to fight hard. I'm just kidding, C rank to fight D rank, still need what skills, go up and finished. How can a flying dragon ride a face and lose? Skills are useless, Lu Yu all rely on their own speed, instantly appeared in front of the giant bull, facing the bull's horns as a claw swing out. The sight of the small white fox saw, cannot help but exclaimed. The little white fox had felt a strong pressure from the giant bull, and it was obvious that the little white fox that had just been promoted to the D stage was far from being a match for the giant bull at the peak of the D stage, and could only bully the E stage calf. Now, she saw that Lu Yu actually used his claws and the giant bull's horns to fight hard, which took her to her toes to know what the result would be. The little white fox couldn't figure out why Lu Yu had suddenly gotten sick and had to use his shortcomings to attack the enemy's strengths, but at this moment, it was too late to stop him. The little white fox ran his entire body's spiritual energy, intending to interfere with the giant bull with his illusions, lest Lu Yu be seriously injured. Boom! A loud bang came from the little white fox, and before the little white fox could prepare her own illusion technique, Lu Yu and the giant bull had already collided together. The huge collision created a strong aftershock that surged in all directions, stirring up a cloud of dust. When the smoke and dust cleared, the little white fox nervously looked over, afraid to see Lu Yu. Looked over, afraid to see Lu Yu injured. When it saw clearly, it opened its small mouth wide with a shocked expression. Only to see Lu Yu waving his wings, leisurely hanging in the air, the distant ground, the giant bull is lying in the distant big hole, his whole body covered with wounds, dying. The bull's horns that were previously burning with flames had also become pitch black at this moment, as if they were burnt. Hiss. The little white fox could not help but suck in a breath of cool air. It knew that Lu Yu was strong, but it didn't expect Lu Yu to be so powerful to this extent. Submit, or die. Lu Yu flew in front of the giant bull and sent a mental force over. Generally speaking, ferocious beasts below the sea rank had no way to speak, but were able to utilize their spiritual power for simple communication. The giant bull opened its eyes, the intense pain all over its body made it look at Lu Yu with fear in its eyes. It really didn't expect that its own existence at the peak of the D rank, facing Lu Yu, would actually be killed in a second with a single move. The spiritual power that came like a huge wave had shattered all its pride. Feeling Lu Yu's spiritual power, the giant bull did not have any thoughts of resisting at all, but it was a little hesitant, its eyes looking at the cave behind Lu Yu, obviously worried about its son. Seeing this, Lu Yu immediately allowed the little white fox to walk out with the calf. Seeing his son being controlled by the little white fox as if he was a puppet, the giant bull's eyes instantly turned red. Although it was now heavily injured and completely devoid of fighting strength, it still had the courage to fight for its life in the face of Lu Yu and little white fox who had turned its son into a godless puppet. Your son is fine, as long as you submit, I won't harm your son. Lu Yu said indifferently, then waved his hand and dispelled the illusion on the little calf. The little calf immediately recovered its sanity, looked around in some bewilderment, and after seeing the giant bull, it hurriedly pounced over, as if it was concerned about how its own mother could be injured. The giant cow saw her son recover, was overjoyed, carefully examined, found that it was really as Lu Yu said, her son had not been hurt, then she was relieved. The giant bull lowered its head towards Lu Yu, signaling that it was willing to submit. Lu Yu nodded in satisfaction. Right at this moment, the panel suddenly jumped out. Congratulations to the host for opening the power information panel, may I ask if I want to view it? 
Lu Yu was stunned and hastily chose to view it. Name, Lu Yu. Rank, C rank. Name of power, none. Area of influence, Shaanan Mountain, current area of influence map can be viewed. Subordinate, Giant Bull, D rank. Powerpoints, 345 points. Lu Yu carefully studied it and realized that he had actually developed a new function of the panel by accepting a junior. The power panel. As long as Lu Yu continued to expand his sphere of influence and take in some powerful subordinates, he would be able to gain power points himself. These power points could be used to enhance the strength of his subordinates, remodel their talents, and also be able to open the power mall to purchase various powerful props after gathering 1000 power points. Although you can't use the power points to directly enhance your strength, the role of the power points is not small. Not to mention the fact that power was a part of one's own strength, but just speaking of this power mall, the props inside could be used to completely grow Lu Yu's own strength. This panel is forcing himself to attack the city and crack the land to seal the king. Lu Yu kept pondering in his heart and muttered on his mouth. With this thought, looking at the giant bull in front of him that had been severely injured by himself, Lu Yu pondered for a moment and directly spent 50 power points, choosing to heal the giant bull. In an instant, a white light emerged from Lu Yu's body and landed on the giant bull. Under the effect of this white light, the wounds on the giant bull's body continued to heal, and in just three breaths, the severely injured giant bull became alive as if it hadn't been injured. Although the previous battle, Lu Yu out of the idea of receiving a little brother, has intentionally stay hand, which did not kill the giant bull in seconds. But under the disparity of rank, just one move, also let the giant bull seriously injured completely lost the ability to fight. Although the deer rank beasts themselves have not bad recovery ability, but this kind of heavy injury, want to completely recover, at least need a month or two of time. Now that the giant bull saw that Lu Yu just waved his wings, and then a light flashed by, and it completely recovered from its injuries, this was simply more shocking to it than a move that seriously injured it. Mu. The giant bull got up and its huge body bowed down towards Lu Yu, its eyes filled with awe. Lu Yu was very satisfied in his heart that 50 power points had such a good effect. Although this power point could not allow himself to enhance his strength, it could be used to heal his own injuries, which was also considered an additional layer of protection. Seeing that the power panel had not yet included the little white fox, Li Yu immediately turned around and said, Little white fox, are you willing to submit to my command? Although the small white fox of the D stage could not speak, it completely understood what Li Yu said, and its small head immediately nodded, learning from the giant bull and generally bending down to show its submission. Congratulations on gaining the allegiance of the nine tailed demon fox, D rank, gaining 203 power points. Currently remaining power points, 498 points. Seeing the panel prompt, Lu Yu nodded his head in satisfaction, and in the next moment, a prompt appeared in front of Lu Yu once again. Touring the territory can gain a large number of power points. Lu Yu's eyes lit up, it was obvious that the number of power points gained after subjugating a subordinate was the same as the evolution points gained from directly looting the other party, so the 345 points from before were entirely the power points gained after subjugating the giant bull. In other words, although the panel stated that his sphere of influence was the Little South Mountain, he had yet to patrol it, so naturally he could not obtain the relevant power points. What else was there to say, with power points being so useful, naturally more was better. You guys stand guard here, Giant Bull you are responsible for filling in the pits caused by the battle just now and restoring the environment of this place. Lu Yu instructed, and then he was about to spread his wings to patrol the territory. Karakiri. Karakiri. Seeing this, the little white fox hurriedly called out and ran over to keep Lu Yu's paw, requesting Lu Yu to bring her along. Seeing this, Lu Yu couldn't help but smile and fulfill the little white fox's request. Grabbing the little white fox, Lu Yu directly recovered his body of more than a hundred meters, transforming into a huge, golden-winged rock as he flew towards the distance. In Lu Yu's spiritual sense, he found quite a few F-rank and E-rank ferocious beasts in the surroundings, and although these ferocious beasts didn't dare to come too close to the caves, there were quite a few of them spread out on this little southern mountain. If it were in the past, Lu Yu would naturally take the idea that a mosquito's leg is meat even if it's small, and directly turn them into evolution points as nourishment on his way to the top. But now, since he had decided to establish a force and treat the little south mountain as his own sphere of influence, he naturally couldn't act like this. Otherwise, if he killed all the beasts in his territory, he wouldn't be able to occupy any more territory. Lu Yu released his aura without any concealment, his body flew over the place, covering the sky and the sun, all the ferocious beasts were shocked by Lu Yu's powerful aura, crouching on the ground, trembling. Every time he flew over a place, Lu Yu would use his breath to leave a mark on the place, indicating that these territories belonged to him. In the worldview of the ferocious beasts, the strongest was honored. Even though Lu Yu was doing it very recklessly, no ferocious beasts jumped out to resist, allowing Lu Yu to directly seize his original sphere of influence. There was no way around it. Those who could become murderers naturally did not have a low IQ. 
Lu Yu's bright sea stage aura was shocking, who dared to show disrespect? Wasn't this like beating a lantern in the toilet, looking for death? As Lu Yu continued to patrol his range of strength, the power points on the panel grew and soon came to 600 points. The reason why Little South Mountain was called Little South Mountain was because it wasn't a big place and only consisted of a mere five peaks. Lu Yu would give 100 power points for every peak he visited. Calculated this way, that is, will be five peaks all sweep, at most can only get 500 points, adding up to only 998 points, just missing two points of power points to reach 1000 in order to open the power mall. It seems that we still need to find a lucky audience to accept ah. Lu Yu pondered in his heart, and then his spiritual sense spread out in all directions, targeting to find deranked beasts. Just now, Lu Yu had already tried, that little calf followed the giant bull when it expressed its submission, but the power panel didn't reward itself with power points, nor did it include the calf. Out of caution, Lu Yu had just found an E-ranked beast to submit to, and the panel still didn't respond. Lu Yu then determined that the power panel requirements were relatively high, and only beasts of D-rank and above could be included. De-order a moment, the panel said what kind of garbage is this? The Sea Order's spiritual sense was fully extended, and it was completely enough to cover the entire Little South Mountain. Thus Lu Yu found four whole D-stage auras. One of them was clearly a giant bull, while the other three were spread across different mountain peaks. Obviously, the entire little southern mountain, together with the previous thunder giant bear, there were a total of five D-stage ferocious beasts, each dominating five peaks. Very well. I come, I conquer. Lu Yu didn't hesitate and directly charged towards the closest D-stage ferocious beast. With his C-step speed coupled with the wind spirit power control talent, Lu Yu's speed had already reached a very fast point, that is, he could rank at the top of the entire C-step. A few moments later, Lu Yu's huge body came to the top of a mountain, where an eagle with a wingspan of more than 30 meters was perched, which was clearly a D-rank beast. At this moment, the eagle's wings were wrapped tightly around itself, looking at Lu Yu's eyes filled with fear. This makes Lu Yu cannot help but be stunned, this eagle's aura is not less than a giant bull, but at this moment there is absolutely no courage to strike at himself, as if he has met a natural enemy in general. Lu Yu didn't think much about it and directly asked, Are you willing to submit to my command? Hearing this, the male eagle was like an amnesty and hurriedly nodded its head, crouching down to show its submission. Seeing this, the little white fox couldn't help but skim his lips, and in his heart, he somewhat looked down on this male eagle. We are all ferocious beasts, in the first aura recovery to reach the level of D-stage, naturally have their own pride. Surrendering as a little brother without being able to fight is not a disgrace, but not having the courage to engage in battle is really a disgrace. The little white fox saw that this eagle surrendered before the battle, and in his heart, he looked down on the other side for a few points. But the little white fox does not know is that the eagle heart bitter ah. Although it is only D stage, but the strength is not bad, unusual a C stage beast, even if it cannot fight, but it will not be afraid. However, when facing Lu Yu, it felt a bloodline suppression. It was as if Lu Yu was born to be its master, making it completely unable to raise the courage to fight. Congratulations on gaining the allegiance of the Xianwing Eagle, rank D, gaining 314 power points. Currently remaining power points, 914 points. Lu Yu's power points instantly soared to 914 points, with less than 100 points left before opening the power mall. Follow me. With a single command, Lu Yu turned around and flew in the direction of the next D-stage fierce beast Sora. The Xianwing Eagle sensed that the aura from Lu Yu had disappeared, and only then did it let out a sigh of relief, and hurriedly spread its wings and flew up following behind Lu Yu's butt. Compared to Lu Yu's beautiful golden feathers, the Xianwing Eagle's black feathers looked a bit ugly. In order to take care of the Xianwing Eagle's speed, Lu Yu deliberately flew slower. After a while, Lu Yu came to a puddle. Lu Yu was about to open his mouth, but the Xianwing Eagle, who had followed Lu Yu all the way, seemed to understand Lu Yu's intentions. Out of their newly recognized boss in front of the performance, immediately towards Lu Yu called a few times, requesting to fight. Lu Yu saw the situation then also nodded, just now this Xian winged eagle surrendered too quickly, he is now still do not know each other's ability it, now he wants to fight, Lu Yu naturally not impossible. The so-called boss something, little brother negative its labor. Collecting a little brother is not to do the job? Lu Yu directly flew to the side, his body shrinking, intending to watch the Xian winged eagle perform. The Xian winged eagle that got the go-ahead flew directly over the puddle, and under the wave of the wings, a boulder not far away was driven by the spiritual power and shot directly towards the puddle. Bang! In the next moment, a green liquid jetted out from the puddle and directly hit the top of the stone. Lu Yu could see clearly that this green liquid possessed strong corrosiveness, and the moment it touched the stone, it corroded and melted the entire stone, dissipating into the air. Croak! With a frog's cry, a huge toad that was almost 10 meters long jumped out from the puddle. Xianwing Eagle chirped, condescendingly stated, 
I newly recognized a big brother, extremely powerful, now look up to you, intend to also accept you as a little brother, still not fast head to worship? The toad was infuriated by the Xianwing eagle, opened his mouth and spat out countless green mists, which soon spread over the entire puddle of water, coming towards the Xianwing eagle. These mists spread out, the surrounding plants withered and died in an instant, thus showing the strong toxicity of this mist. In the face of the same level of opponent's skill, the Xianwing eagle naturally did not dare to resist, after all, its poison resistance is not high. The Xianwing eagle immediately raised its stature to get out of the fog's range of influence, and then between its wings, a dragon scroll appeared out of thin air and swept towards the toad. Lu Yu was first a little surprised, and thought that this Xianwing eagle, like himself, possessed the talent to control wind spirit power, but after feeling it carefully, he found that although this dragon scroll did mobilize wind spirit power, the way it was used was very crude. This should be the Xianwing eagle's skill, with the effect of summoning a tornado or something like that, rather than a direct control of wind spiritual power. Among the ferocious beasts, different ranks had different requirements. Generally speaking, E-rank beasts comprehend a skill. At the D-rank, it would master two skills. These were automatically comprehended during the evolutionary process, depending on the ferocious beast. At this moment, the Xianwing Eagle and this Toad are both at D-rank, both of which were of the D-stage, each possessed at least two skills. The Toad opening its mouth and spitting out poisonous mist and the Xianwing Eagle summoning a tornado were certainly one of them. Under the sweep of the tornado, the poisonous mist was instantly swept away and was directly swept into the tornado, which in turn swept towards the toad. This was clearly being restrained. If the giant bull was here, facing the toad's poisonous mist, it would definitely be at its wit's end. The toad stepped back and directly leapt up to avoid the dragon scroll, then opened its mouth, a foul smell came from the toad's tongue directly toward the Xianwing eagle. Under the impact of this tongue, just like a cannonball, the Xianwing eagle spread its wings and flew to avoid, but the tongue was turned out of thin air, towards the Xianwing eagle to chase over. Not only that, after changing direction, the speed of this tongue actually increased more than three times, under the steep change, the Shenwing Eagle was unable to avoid, and was directly hit. Bang! The tongue quickly elongated, directly tying up the Shenwing Eagle in five pieces. The toad's eyes lit up, its limbs plunged into the ground, using its tongue to bring the Shenwing Eagle towards itself and rolled over, looking at this, it seemed like it wanted to directly swallow the Shenwing Eagle into its mouth. This turn of events made Shenwing Eagle furious. Previously, he had fought with this toad and although he couldn't dry out the other party, under species restraint, he could completely suppress the other party. It was because of this certainty that Xianwing Eagle had taken the initiative to come forward, wanting to defeat the toad in a clean manner and perform in front of Lu Yu. But I didn't expect that this toad actually used a previously unused move this time, and under the change of heart, it directly rolled it, which didn't make it lose a lot of face. How can this still be tolerated? Xianwing Eagle was furious, all the spiritual energy erupted, the feathers around his body flashed a path of metaphysical light, turned into a sharp arrow, Xianwing Eagle's body rotated at high speed, directly turned into a mass of sword light, sharp feathers cut through the toad's tongue, instantly crushed the tongue wrapped around him, the furious Xianwing Eagle didn't have any more to hold back, directly bent down and rushed towards the toad, while the toad's tongue hadn't had time to retract, the two sharp claws directly grasped towards the toad. The poison sacks on the toad's back bulged up, and at the moment the Xianwing eagle approached, one by one, the poison sacks exploded, and a green venom shot out. Lu Yu, who was watching the battle from the side, could see clearly that the toxicity of these venomous liquids was more than ten times stronger than the previous poisonous mist, and if the Xianwing eagle was hit head-on, it was feared that it would be seriously injured. Xianwing eagle and toad fighting many times, for this kind of trick is naturally prepared, so not the slightest panic, only to see the Xianwing eagle's swooping body suddenly stopped and then directly pulled up, as if playing with the toad in general, so that all those venom fell into the air. The Xianwing Eagle smiled smugly, apart from the first battle, where he was caught off guard and suffered, every time he fought he was able to tease the toad, provoking it to waste its poison sacks, and this time was no exception. Perhaps it was because this toad was relatively stupid and fell for it every time. Lost poison sack attack toad is like a tiger without teeth, Xianwing Eagle once again summoned two tornadoes, Altogether towards the toad impact, in the moment the toad jumped up to avoid, Xianwing Eagle directly seized the opportunity, rushed over to the toad with a claw grabbed on the toad's body. Bang! The Xianwing Eagle's claw scratched a hideous wound on the toad's body while blasting it to the ground. The toad wailed and turned around to flee. If it was in the past, relying on this puddle filled with toxicity, Xianwing Eagle wouldn't dare to stop it, and could only still let the other party leave, or else force the other party to be anxious, and it was likely that he himself would be injured as well. But this time, with Lu Yu looking on, Xian Wing Eagle naturally wouldn't let it go. Xian Wing Eagle directly toward the toad rushed, close directly to the toad overturned, to prevent its escape back to the puddle. 
At the same time, the toad opened its mouth and sprayed out a venom, now the Xianwing eagle could not hide and gritted its teeth with the intention of resisting. Enough! Lu Yu faintly spoke, a spiritual barrier appeared in front of the Xianwing eagle, blocking this blow for him, and the Xianwing eagle hastily expressed his gratitude. If he didn't make a move, Xianwing eagle would definitely be injured, and at that time, he would still need to spend his own power points to heal him, which would be a complete waste. Lu Yu arrived in front of the toad and opened his mouth to ask, are you willing to submit to my command? In the face of Lu Yu's question, the injured toad opened his mouth and sprayed a poisonous liquid. Seeing that this toad actually dared to make a move against Lu Yu, the Xianwing eagle on the side was furious. Didn't this show that he was not doing his job well and in the end, he still needed Lu Yu to make a move to solve the problem? Damn toad. Xianwing eagle cursed in his heart. Facing the toad's venom, Lu Yu frowned, he did not have any effective means of poison resistance at the moment. Although this toad was only a small D-stage ferocious beast, if he was caught unawares and struck by its venom, it would also bring Lu Yu a little trouble. Majestic spiritual energy erupted from Lu Yu's body and pressed straight towards the toad. The spiritual energy was like substance, directly blasting the venom backwards and landing on the toad. Bang! The toad's body was blasted out and ruthlessly smashed on the ground not far away, the already injured toad completely dying. Seeing this scene, the little white fox glanced at the toad in disgust and rubbed against Lu Yu's wings. The little white fox has long been looking at that toad is not happy, ugly even if, the body is also strange and stinky, the little white fox is also worried that if Lu Yu will also take this toad as a subordinate, in the future will not have to see from time to time, disgusting death. Now Lu Yu ought to directly kill, but it is the small white fox's mind. On the side of the Shenwing eagle saw Lu Yu even skills are not used, directly killed, and his own fight with the toad, the heart was shocked, but also for their own early surrender behavior to celebrate, the heart for Lu Yu's awe has become more. Lu Yu did not pay attention to the inner drama of the little white fox and the Xianwing eagle, he opened the panel and directly chose to plunder. Congratulations on gaining 300 evolution points, current remaining evolution points, 669. Failed to extract the skill toxin immunity, does it cost evolution points to extract it again? Spend 100 evolution points, extraction success rate is 10%. Lu Yu was a bit surprised, just now he didn't hesitate to kill this poisonous toad directly. Naturally he was thinking about whether he could get some skills about poison, he didn't expect to get a shot in the arm, and the panel selected the skill toxin immunity. I was surprised to see that the skill toxin immunity was selected by the panel, confirming that it was the skill that Lu Yu wanted. However, it was obvious that Lu Yu's luck was limited, and he failed to extract it once again. It's a pity, it would be nice if this panel could add a little bit of luck, I was a non-competitor in my previous life, and it seems that I don't have much luck in this life either. Sighing, Lu Yu directly spent 600 evolution points to increase the extraction success rate to 60%. In Lu Yu's opinion, a 60% success rate didn't seem to be safe, but there was no way around it, right now, he only had 669 evolution points, so at most, he could only raise it to 60%. It seems that in the future, I need to have the sense to save a little more evolution points, otherwise if I encounter a powerful skill, but I don't have the evolution points to guarantee the extraction success rate, that would be bad luck. Looking at the panel displaying the words extracting, Lu Yu was a little nervous in his heart, fearing that he would fail again. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Toxin Immunity, LV1. Toxin Immunity, LV1, upgrade requires 10 evolution points immunizes any LV1 level toxin attack. The skill introduction was only a few short words, but it surprised Lu Yu. Strong. Too strong. This skill is simply heaven defying, LV1 level is able to immunize all LV1 level. Toxin attacks, then what about upgrading to LV2 level? Is it able to immunize all LV2 level toxin attacks? Somewhat excited, Lu Yu directly spent 10 evolution points to upgrade it. Toxin immunity, LV2, upgrade requires 100 evolution points immunizes any LV2 level toxin attack. Sure enough, this skill was invincible. If Lu Yu had enough evolution points to upgrade this skill to LV9 level, wouldn't he be directly immune to all poison attribute damage in this world? This is simply outrageous. Lu Yu closed the panel. He originally wanted to upgrade it to LV3, but naturally, he only had 59 evolution points left now, which was simply not enough. Let's go, to the next place. Lu Yu, who was in a good mood, didn't use his claws to grab the little white fox this time, but instead, he unprecedentedly moved the spiritual power to himself, then spread his wings and lifted up into the air, heading to the next deranked ferocious beast's location. Originally, Lu Yu was planning to take care of the remaining two deranked beasts in one breath, but he never thought that halfway there, Due to the fact that he was inspecting the territory, he gained power points, which just made his power points exceed 1000 points, and the power mall and the power panel was opened. Lu Yu couldn't help the curiosity in his heart and directly turned around and returned to the cave. At this time, the giant bull had already repaired the damage from the battle, and the large pit had been filled in. 
The giant bull and the Shen Wing Eagle obviously knew each other and were both a little surprised to see each other, not realizing that the other party had actually been subdued by Lu Yu as well. However, after a random thought, they also figured out that Lu Yu was so powerful that it was normal for him to take these old buddies from the past under his wing. Giant Bull, Shen Wing Eagle, the two of you team up and go bring the other two D-stage ferocious beasts, can you do it? Lu Yu directly dumped the task down. Shen Wing Eagle heard this and immediately jumped forward and stated, Boss don't worry, the two of us will join forces and will definitely bring that wolf and mountain piercing armor to you, boss. The giant bull also nodded. Alright, you guys set off. Lu Yu nodded, containing the location information of the other two ferocious beasts and sent it to the Shen Wing Eagle and the giant bull, and randomly sent the two away. Walking far away, the giant bull and Shen Wing Eagle looked at each other, both of them were a little shocked in their hearts, at this moment, Shen Wing Eagle sort of understood that he had stayed well at home, why would he be approached by Lu Yu? When he saw the giant ox before, he thought that it was the giant ox who had tipped him off, but now he understood. Lu Yu completely grasped the location of all the ferocious beasts in Little South Mountain, and this kind of power was simply appalling. In this situation, one could not afford to mess with or hide from them, there was nowhere to hide, one could only choose to submit and live or die. The Shen Wing Eagle wanted to say something, but the giant bull shook its head and walked straight forward. In the heart of the giant bull, since it has already submitted, of course, it will not have second thoughts, and will not feel that Lu Yu is powerful, what is wrong, the heart only hope that Lu Yu can be even more powerful, so that they can shelter them. The giant bull and the Shen Wing Eagle left, and the little white fox saw that Lu Yu didn't have time to play with her, so she took the little calf to play. Lu Yu opened his panel and directly clicked on the forces panel. Probably after Lu Yu's power points exceeded 1000, the power panel was upgraded, and the previously simple panel now had some more finishing touches. In the lower right corner, an icon appeared with the word mall written on it. Lu Yu clicked on it, and in a flash, a wide array of goods appeared in front of him. Bloodline Evolution Potion, after taking it, you will have the opportunity to evolve your bloodline once, available for C rank and below, price, 10,000 power points. Random Skill Extraction Scroll, after using it on the target, you can randomly copy one of each other's skills, and read the scroll to learn the skill, disposable item, available at C rank and below, price, 10,000 power points. Random Equipment Raffle Ticket, 4th grade, after use, randomly select a piece of 4th grade equipment, the equipment is suitable for C rank strength, price, 1,000 to 10,000 power points, the more power points spent, the stronger the equipment obtained. Advancement Potion, C rank, after using it on the target, it can raise the target's rank from D rank to C rank, price, 1,000 power points. Lu Yu's eyes widened in some disbelief. There was nothing fancy about the commodities inside this mall of power, each one was simple and crude. Bloodline evolution, advancement, skill learning, equipment and so on. As long as there are enough power points, Lu Yu can create a team of ancient bloodlines with SSS class level. If the evolution panel could make himself invincible in the world, then the power panel could make his power invincible in the world. Looking through the mall, Lu Yu found that the commodities in the mall were basically not that bad, except that each commodity was basically divided into classes, and the prices were different for commodities that were applicable to different classes. Take the bloodline evolution as an example, applicable to the C stage is 10,000 power points, applicable to the D stage is 5,000 power points, applicable to the E stage is 1,000 power points, applicable to the F stage is 100 power points, Basically is Lu Yu evolution to the evolution of this stage of the evolution of the points required 10 times. At the same time, the evolution of bloodlines of different orders would also have different effects, for example, 100 power points might allow a sparrow to turn into an eagle, 1000 points would allow a sparrow to turn into an eagle with a hint of a special attribute in its bloodline, 5000 points would allow a sparrow to turn into an eagle that was able to awaken a special attribute, and 10,000 points would allow a sparrow to turn into an eagle. As for the price of the advancement potion, it is the same as the evolution points required for Lu Yu's advancement, 10 power points for advancement to F, 100 power points for advancement to E, 500 power points for advancement to D, and 1000 power points for advancement to C. Lu Yu looked at this perfect mall and said, this is a perfect mall, but it is not a perfect mall. Lu Yu looked at this perfect mall and understood his requirements for finding a little brother in the future. Loyalty. As long as he was loyal to himself, even if it was an ordinary ant, Li Yu could spend power points to evolve it into a heaven-swallowing ant. Looking at his pitiful 1000 power points, Li Yu couldn't contain his curiosity and bought a random equipment drawing ticket. After Li Yu chose to use it, a raffle machine suddenly appeared on the panel and was constantly rotating. After carefully observing for a while, Li Yu found that the speed of rotation of this raffle machine is really too fast, simply cannot see what equipment inside, simply randomly shouted a stop. The raffle machine stopped at that sound, and a ring was displayed on the screen. 
White bone ring, for great low-grade jewelry, when worn, it can increase the speed of spiritual energy recovery, C rank 10%, D rank 50%, E rank 100%, C rank and below can be worn, over C rank is invalid. Lu Yu's eyes lit up, this effect was very good. In a battle of the same rank, spiritual power was one of the key points that could determine victory or defeat. Increasing the speed of spirit power recovery by 10%, this could play a very crucial role in the battle. Think about it, two equal rank fighting, one of them has been depleted of spiritual power, the other still has spiritual power, this is not directly divided into winners and losers? Lu Yu will wear it in his equipment column. According to the panel settings, everyone has six equipment columns, two weapons, two defense, two accessories, a total of six pieces of equipment can be equipped. Of course, this is only for the panel produced equipment limitations, the kind of self-built and innately formed completely unrestricted. There was no restriction at all. After wearing the white bone ring, Liu clearly felt that his spiritual energy recovery speed had increased significantly, and the spiritual energy he had consumed before was restored almost instantly. Stronger again, gorgeous. Closing the panel, Liu chose to take a good rest, so he closed his eyes and took a nap. However, Liu's spiritual sense followed the giant bull and the Xianling eagle to the territory of one of the D-stage fierce beasts, the double-headed wolf. This dual-headed wolf was not very big, only a circle larger than an ordinary wolf, like the size of a lion. Surprisingly, this beast actually had two heads. It had these two wolf heads growing on its neck, which were similar in appearance, the only difference being that the left wolf head had a red mark on its forehead, while the right wolf head had a blue mark on its forehead. Roar! The double-headed wolf sensed that the giant bull and the Shenwing eagle had come in unison, and immediately felt threatened, the two wolf heads looked at the giant bull and the Shenwing eagle respectively, and let out a low roar. The giant bull stared at the double-headed wolf, a hatred flashed in its eyes, it and the double-headed wolf had a grudge. Previously, not long after it had evolved to the D stage, its own son accidentally encountered the twin-headed wolf, if not for its timely rescue, it was feared that its own son would have long turned into a meal in the belly of the twin-headed wolf. After a battle, although the two-headed wolf was repelled, the giant ox was also injured, and it took a long time to heal. At this moment, enemies were naturally red in the face. The Xianwing Eagle called out, and communicated with the twin-headed wolf through spiritual power. The exchange between the two was very simple. Twin-headed wolf, you guys came together to deal with me? Xianwing Eagle, giant bull and I submitted to a powerful ferocious beast, recognizing him as our boss, now my boss asked us to come to subjugate you, you'd better submit directly, don't make us go through more trouble. Double-headed wolf, no way, I'd rather die than submit. Xianwing Hawk, giant bull, go. The giant bull nodded, its eyes then turned red as it directly mangled up. Xianwing Eagle also did not delay, directly flew high into the air, his wings incited, three tornadoes formed, attacking from three directions towards the twin-headed wolf. The three tornadoes plus the giant bull attacked from all four sides. Seeing this, the two-headed wolf hissed, the red imprinted wolf head immediately opened its mouth and spat out a ball of flame, impacting towards the giant bull, while the blue imprinted wolf head exhaled a burst of cold air, landing in the other three directions, forming three ice shields in an attempt to stop the tornadoes. The giant bull greeted the flames, not flinching at all, a light flashed above its double horns, its already sharp double horns became even sharper, and it hardened itself to carry the flames and rushed over, carrying out a reckless word to the end. Bang bang bang. The tornado was extremely fast, and in an instant, it impacted on top of the three ice shields. ka -ching. The not-so-thick ice shields received the tornado's bombardment and cracks appeared in an instant, and as the tornado continued to rotate, the cracks on the ice shield spread out, and finally shattered and exploded directly. At this moment, the double horns of the giant bull also came close, and the double-headed wolf was greatly alarmed. As a D-stage ferocious beast, it wouldn't be a whip against either of the giant bull and the Shanwing eagle alone, but now that it was being sandwiched by a joint attack, it instantly fell into a disadvantage. Too late to dodge, the dual-headed wolf could only utilize its spiritual power to form a spiritual shield in front of itself to fight it off. Boom! The giant bull's body was huge, and this impact cracked the sky and the earth. The spiritual shield in front of the dual-headed wolf was simply shattered at the touch of a button, and then the dual-headed wolf was blown away and fell hard to the ground. If it wasn't for the fact that at the critical moment, the blue imprinted wolf head spat out a mouthful of frost and interfered with the giant bull, and took the opportunity to deflect his body, then he would have been struck by the pair of hideous horns of the bull, and would have been seriously injured by that time, if not killed. Opportunity when the Xianwing eagle in the sky saw that the twin-headed wolf was injured, its eyes lit up and it rushed straight down, its claws grabbing towards the Xianwing eagle. At the same time, the Xianwing eagle's claws lingered above a blood-devouring aura. Obviously the Xianwing eagle also had the skill to strengthen its claws. Xianwing eagle instantly arrived, a pair of sharp claws grabbed at the neck and throat of the double-headed wolf. 
In the face of desperate situation, double-headed wolf four eyes all flashed a vicious color, regardless of the body of the spiritual power agitation, forcibly stimulate the spiritual power, the red seal wolf head sprayed a mouthful of flames, at the same time, the blue wolf head in the flames before the outbreak of the time, sprayed a wave of cold fog, but also will be the flame to the freeze. Cold fog formed inside a ball of ice a ball of flame is constantly expanding, in the way of the ice ball block, the flame began to be compressed in a limited space, at the same time the ice ball is also constantly consumed. Seeing this scene, the Xian Wing Eagle froze, he had never seen a flame that could still be frozen. Just when it froze, the double-headed wolf controlled the ice ball to directly blast over. The Xian Wing Eagle subconsciously grabbed both of its claws on top of the ice ball as a defense. Boom! This time, the ice ball exploded, and the flames that were compressed to the extreme erupted out, bombarding the Xian Wing Eagle that was caught off guard. The bombardment power of the flames was not bad, directly injuring the Xian Wing Eagle and knocking it back. The Xian Wing Eagle, whose feathers were scorched, controlled its form and looked at the two-headed wolf with eyes that flashed with a murderous intent. The double-headed wolf's critical opportunity erupted, and at this moment, temporarily blocked the operation of spiritual energy, and already had no combat power. Looking at the giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle who were still going to attack, the dual-headed wolf immediately let out a whine, indicating that it was willing to submit to the strongest. However, the giant bull already had a grudge against it, while the Xian Wing Eagle had just suffered a defeat, and actually turned a blind eye to the dual-headed wolf's surrender, launching an attack at the same time, intending to kill the dual-headed wolf. In the face of the giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle's attack, at this moment, the two-headed wolf does not have any power to fight back, can only close his eyes and wait for death, but in his heart, he is extremely unwilling. At this moment, the sky suddenly descended two thunderbolts, directly bombarded the giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle body, the two will be blown out, fell hard on the ground. The giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle spat out a mouthful of blood, obviously not lightly injured by this blow. As the two were in disbelief, an indifferent voice rang out. Bring back the twin-headed wolf. It was Lu Yu's voice. Upon hearing this, both the giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle lowered their heads and answered yes, with a flash of panic in their eyes. They had impulsively planned to directly get the dual-headed wolf killed and go back to say that the dual-headed wolf was unwilling to surrender and was killed by them, but they hadn't expected Lu Yu to actually be watching the entire time. This, the giant bull's somewhat sluggish brain still didn't know what was happening, although it didn't know why Lu Yu was striking out at it, but when it heard Lu Yu's voice, it still did as it was told and climbed up to take the twin-headed wolf back. The heart of the Shen Wing Eagle was terrified, it heard a hint of displeasure in Lu Yu's tone, it must be dissatisfied with what they did. However, the Xian Wing Eagle's heart is apprehensive, but there is nothing to do, can only follow the giant bull, jointly escorting the double-headed wolf back. Three ferocious beasts back to the entrance of the cave, different moods. In Xian Wing Eagle's apprehensive and double-headed wolf's nervous mood, Lu Yu slowly walked out. Lu Yu raised his eyebrows and said indifferently, I instructed the two of you to go forward to subdue the twin-headed wolf, and since it's already surrendered, why are you still attacking? The Xian Wing Eagle immediately slumped to the ground, whimpering that he was just confused for a moment and would never dare to do so again. Although the giant bull was naive, it wasn't stupid either, seeing Lu Yu angry, it also fell to the ground and begged for forgiveness. Lu Yu, ignored the two and looked at the Xian Wing Eagle and asked, are you willing to submit to me? Although it didn't put up a fight, the dual-headed wolf was completely able to feel the powerful aura on Lu Yu's body, which made it unable to bring up the idea of resistance at all, so it immediately bowed down, indicating that it was willing to submit. Congratulations on subjugating the dual-headed wolf, rank D, gaining 340 power points, current remaining power points, 440 points. As his subordinates, the giant bull and the Xian Wing Eagle traveled to the peak where the twin-headed wolf was located, so naturally, they were considered to be patrolling the territory for Lu Yu, so Lu Yu gained 100 power points, and together with what he gained from the subjugation of the twin-headed wolf, he was once again close to 500 power points. Only after subjugating the Xian Wing Eagle did Lu Yu faintly speak, I'm accepting you as subordinates, naturally I'll shelter you, and I won't forget you when I have benefits in the future, the only thing I ask of you is, to do as you're told. When I say do something, you guys have to do it, and when I say don't do something, you guys can't do anything. This thunder discipline is considered a punishment, remembering that it's the first offense, I'll spare you, if there's a next time, and you dare to disobey my orders, then just go and die, do you hear me? Lu Yu's words were plain, as if he was talking about something small, but when he heard the ears of the three ferocious beasts, it was like a thunderbolt from heaven, coupled with the powerful aura emanating from Lu Yu's body, it made the three of them tremble, and bowed down to show that they understood. Lu Yu saw this, then satisfied nodded his head, these beasts are so, attempt to let them really loyal is impossible, beasts in the bone is not what abide by the order of the existence. So what Lu Yu has to do is to show his power, to show his right to kill them, to tell them that they must obey, and if they don't, they will die. Only then could he ensure that these ferocious beasts would truly submit. 
Seeing that Liu Yu seemed to have lost his temper, the Shenwing Eagle cautiously stated that he knew his mistake and was willing to go and bring the last deranked beast, the Pangolin armor, to be subdued. Liu Yu shook his head and said, no need. Just as the Shenwing Eagle was puzzled, Liu Yu looked at the empty space not far away and faintly said, if you don't come out again, then you'll die. As the words fell, the clearing suddenly rumbled, then cracked open into a hole, and a figure crawled out from it. The Shenwing Eagle was surprised, because this figure was the Pangolin armor. Without Liu Yu needing to say much, the mountain-piercing armor directly walked to Liu Yu's side and bent down to show its submission. At the same time, a panel prompt appeared. Congratulations on subjugating the Pangolin armor, D-rank, gained power points, 290 points, current remaining power points, 630 points. Since then, the five ferocious beasts in Little South Mountain other than the thunder giant bear, one died and four submitted, and the entire Little South Mountain had completely become Lu Yu's territory. Given Lu Yu's own preference, he felt that the names of these four little brothers were a bit too simple, so he renamed them, respectively. War Mangy Bull, Xian Feather Divine Eagle, Ice Flame Two-Headed Wolf, and Earthshaking Armored Beast. These four ferocious beasts were naturally ecstatic about their new names, and one by one, they bowed down in front of Lu Yu. Lu Yu was satisfied, as long as they were loyal, Lu Yu with the power panel would sooner or later one day make their strength match the current bullish name. After sending the Xian Feather Divine Eagle to patrol the Earthshaking Armor Beast's territory, Li Yu smoothly gained the last 100 power points, bringing the power points to 730. At the same time, in the laboratory, countless people in white coats were busy. As the instrument in the very center of the lab turned on, Zhao Lao excitedly stepped forward and took out a potion glowing with blue light from the instrument, hurriedly turned around and walked to the training ground at the back of the lab, found Su Jingwa who was training, and opened his mouth. General Su, the second generation gene potion has been successfully developed. When Su Jingwa heard this, he was instantly ecstatic, his eyes fixed on the potion in Zhao Lao's hands, his voice carrying a tremor. Is this the second generation gene potion? How effective is it? Zhao Lao handed the potion in his hand to Su Jingwa and said, tests have already been done, this time, the success rate of the injection of the gene potion has been increased to 80%, and after the injection is successful, the strength of the warrior will be increased even more at least five times that of the first generation of the gene potion before. Su Jingwa's eyes lit up. After having the gene potion, the Academy of Sciences had divided the levels in response to the strength of the ferocious beasts that had been discovered so far. Ferocious beasts that had experienced their first evolution were of the first rank, ferocious beasts that had experienced their second evolution were of the second rank, and so on. After injecting the first generation of gene potion, the average warrior could reach the level of the first order, and for warriors like Su Jingwa who were already very powerful, after injecting the gene potion, their strength could reach the level of one step short of the second order. Now the second generation of genetic agents out, its effect is actually five times more than the first generation, that is not to say, that is, ordinary warriors use, can also have the strength of the second order, if similar to as powerful warriors injected, for fear that will directly reach the third order it. Not waiting for Su Jingwei to react, Zhao Lao looked at him and excitedly said, most importantly, General Su, the second generation of gene potion has been improved, it will not damage the injector's lifespan anymore, and we predict that warriors like you who have been injected with the first generation of gene potion, and injected with the second generation again, it is possible to make up for the lifespan that has been damaged before. Su Jingwei clutched the gene potion in his hand and burst into tears. Since the last great war, after the superiors saw the role of genetic warriors, they ordered to gather all their strength to collect spirit fruits and make the first generation of genetic potions. After such a long period of time, there were already more than a thousand first generation genetic warriors in existence. These warriors were willing to bear the cost of having their lifespan reduced to 30 years old, dedicating themselves to being the forerunner of humanity. Now, with the second generation genetic potion, these warriors could all be saved Ah, Elder Zhao, the second generation gene potion, does it also require spirit fruits? Elder Zhao shook his head, the second generation genetic potion has been improved, apart from being able to utilize spirit fruits to create it, it can also be made by extracting the spiritual energy from amongst the ferocious beasts, only that the current technological means are not advanced enough, and it requires a large number of ferocious beasts of the same rank to extract a portion of the spiritual energy that would be sufficient to create the second generation genetic potion. Su Jingwa nodded and said, good, I'll immediately report this information to my superiors, don't worry, we'll definitely cooperate with you fully and provide enough corpses of ferocious beasts. A brilliant light flashed in Su Jingwa's eyes. Previously, when collecting spirit fruits, the most important thing was chance, so these genetic warriors of theirs were rarely able to be put to use, now that a large amount of ferocious beast meat was needed, then they would be of use. Next, Su Jingwa received the injection of the second generation gene potion. There were no accidents, and a success rate of 80% was already high enough. 
After the injection was completed, Su Jingwa felt that the power in his body had increased by more than 10 times. After testing, at this moment, his combat power was already completely comparable to that of a vicious beast that had evolved three times. A ferocious beast that had evolved three times, he was a solid third-ranked powerhouse, comparing to the deranked ferocious beasts among ferocious beasts. Most importantly, at this moment, he suddenly comprehended a skill, an extremely powerful skill. Military soul, leading an army in battle can increase the combat power of your subordinates by 10% across the board. Currently, the maximum number of people to lead is 1,000. After adapting to his strength, Su Jingwa led his 10 second order genetic warriors who had been injected with the second generation genetic potion and the remaining 990 first order genetic warriors on the trip. It was imperative to hunt down enough ferocious beasts on this trip, firstly, for the sake of creating the raw materials for the second generation genetic potion, and secondly, for the sake of revenge. Previously, after the first recovery of Aura, unarmed humans were mercilessly hunted by the ferocious beasts, and now that humans also possessed great power, they naturally would not forget their previous hatred. After careful consideration, Su Jingwa chose the target of his expedition to be the Shaonan Mountain outside of Jiangzhou City. According to the intelligence, a large number of ferocious beasts had been migrating to the Shaonan Mountain recently, and the exact reason was unknown. Therefore, Su Jingwa also planned to go and join in the fun. Depart. With an order, more than a thousand heavily armed genetic warriors headed towards the Little South Mountain under his leadership. At this moment, Little South Mountain. Standing at the top of the cave, Liu looked at the open space not far away, his heart vaguely excited. There was less than an hour to go before the second aura recovery. As long as the second aura revival started, the spirit pool that Liu Yu had been longing for would be thoroughly brewed under the cleansing of the heaven and earth's aura and appear in the world. At that time, relying on this spirit pool, Liu Yu had a great certainty that he would directly advance to rank B, maintaining his leading edge. Right at this moment, a figure flew over, and it was none other than his own henchman, the Xian Yu Divine Eagle. The Xian Yu Divine Eagle chirped towards Liu Yu and reported the situation. Earlier, after Liu Yu had subdued these four ferocious beasts, he dispatched them back to their respective peaks. The terrain of the Little South Mountain was very simple, the cave Liu Yu was in was in the very center, and the Xian Yu Divine Eagle's peaks surrounded them on all sides. The reason for sending them back to their peaks was so that they could watch over the four sides, and if any ferocious beasts came, they would still be able to inform them in advance. Of course, with Liu Yu's current strength, this notification was solely so that Liu Yu wouldn't miss the D-stage ferocious beasts that might come. Now, according to the news brought by the Xian Feather Divine Eagle, the entire little southern mountain had seen a number of E-rank and F-rank ferocious beasts come in the last few days, and the number of ferocious beasts in the entire little southern mountain had increased by almost three times. Liu Yu heard this and his heart was enlightened. Fierce beasts were the most sensitive to changes in aura, and now that the second aura revival was approaching, especially because the Little South Mountain possessed the spirit pool that was about to come out, so relatively speaking, the Little South Mountain's aura was a little more dense, and would naturally attract more fierce beasts. Pass the order down, guard the surroundings, no trespassing to kill low-ranked ferocious beasts, if you see D-ranked ferocious beasts, strike them all together. The Xian Yu Divine Eagle was ordered to leave, Li Yu then called the Little White Fox. Since the Little Calf followed the War Mangled Bull to leave, the Little White Fox lost the object of play, bored and stayed in the cave every day making Liu Yu a little helpless. At the same time, he was also a little skeptical as to whether or not this little white fox was the same demon emperor that he remembered from his previous life. To be able to become a demon emperor, in addition to being gifted with a strong bloodline, one also needs to work hard, and now the little white fox eats and sleeps every day. Whether there is any growth in strength is not known, but the weight is increasing with each passing day. Next, will soon be the second aura recovery, remember to be attentive, it is best to be able to take advantage of this opportunity, a leap to the sea stage is, understand? The little white fox seemed to understand and nodded, then suddenly widened his eyes, staring at the empty space behind Liu Yu, and called out eagerly. Liu Yu turned around and saw that above the open space, a crack had silently appeared, and a dense to the extreme aura was gushing out from the crack. A second aura recovery. Liu Yu was pleasantly surprised at the sight. The spirit pool had taken shape. The second spiritual qi recovery had begun. In an instant, the winds rose, lightning flashed and thunder roared, the sky turned from bright to dark, and various colors of aurora borealis appeared above the black sky, for a moment, it was like the end of the world, and as if heaven and earth were reopening. Liu Yu looked at the little white fox beside him who had already passed out, slightly surprised. According to the memories of his previous life, from the second aura recovery, all creatures would pass out at the beginning of the aura recovery, and only those whose strength exceeded the strength limit of the last aura recovery would be able to stay awake. In the past life, there has not been a creature that can do beyond the limit, until the fourth aura recovery, a fierce beast with a flood fey bloodline against the heavens, a move beyond the limit, which discovered the secret of the aura recovery. 
At the time when the world is undergoing aura recovery, if one is not strong enough to pass out, he or she will be nourished by the aura and passively evolve to enhance his or her realm. If one was able to stay awake while the aura was being revived, one would be able to observe the embodiment of the laws of the world and comprehend the power of the origin. The limit of strength for the first aura revival was rank D, and now Liu Yu was the only one in the world who had surpassed the limit of rank D and had reached rank C. Therefore, he was the only one who could have the opportunity to observe the world laws during the second aura revival. At this moment, in the sky, in the darkness of the night, the flickering aurora of various colors was the manifestation of the power of the laws. Lu Yu hurriedly immersed his mind and felt it with his heart. At a glance, the various colors of the aurora borealis were full of mysterious arcana. The laws of fire. The law of water. The laws of power. The laws of space. A powerful law origin was displayed in front of Lu Yu without the slightest concealment. Lu Yu sunk his mind into his senses. Subsequently, he realized an embarrassing thing, that is, he couldn't read it. Although all of these law origins were displayed without any concealment, the current Lu Yu was only a tiny C rank, and he was completely too weak to comprehend the laws. Only the cyan-colored law of wind and the law of thunder with electricity among them, Lu Yu was able to read a little bit of the skin. He thought that it was because he had the law of wind and the law of thunder. Lu Yu had no choice but to comprehend the laws of wind and the laws of thunder, expecting to gain something. Under Lu Yu's subconscious comprehension, his proficiency in the two talents of wind spiritual power control and thunder control continued to rise, and many ways of utilizing wind spiritual power and thunder appeared in his mind. In this state of subconscious comprehension, Li Yu completely forgot about the passage of time. Ten days passed quickly. The aurora between heaven and earth instantly disappeared and light was restored. Suddenly, an aura rose from beside Lu Yu, waking him up from his state of comprehension. Lu Yu looked sideways, only to see the little white fox ticket early in the air, a strange light from surrounding her body. A sea stage aura emanated from her body. With the second aura revival, little white fox had actually been promoted to sea rank. This wave was really unexpected but it made sense if you thought about it. After all, the little white fox had the strength to evolve into a SS rank demon emperor. After all, the little white fox had the strength to evolve into a SS rank demon emperor, so it was only natural that it would evolve to C rank in the second aura recovery. Lu Yu retracted his envious gaze, this kind of his god feeds the food, he has no way to compare. A hangdog like himself could only work hard to save up his evolution points. Turning his head to look at his long for spirit pool, which was still a little short of being completely formed, Liu couldn't help but open the panel. He remembered that during the process of aura recovery, the panel had appeared with many message prompts, but he was comprehending the world origin, so he didn't have the time to check it out. Congratulations on experiencing the second aura recovery, gained 5000 evolution points, current remaining evolution points 5056. The first message directly made Liu Yu's eyes widen. Currently, there was no growth in his strength, and he had thought that he hadn't gained anything from the aura recovery, but he hadn't expected that it was actually waiting for him here a whole 5,000 evolution points off. This was enough evolution points for Liu Yu to evolve from D stage to C stage 5 whole times. Just now, Liu Yu was still envious of the little white fox being fed by the heavens, but now Liu Yu was in a calmer state of mind. After all, under rounding up, Liu Yu had been fed a whole 5 times. Now that he was only 5,000 evolution points away from being able to evolve to be rank, the future was promising. Afterwards, Liu Yu continued to check, and the next notification almost didn't shock Liu Yu's jaw. Congratulations on the inclusion of the world origin, the panel has opened the world origin comprehension module, you can spend evolution points to comprehend the designated direct origin. World origin enlightenment. This panel has gone against the heavens and can actually include world origin. It can even spend evolution points to comprehend world origin. Doesn't this mean that as long as Liu Yu had enough evolution points, he could experience the origin manifestation of aura recovery at any time? After opening the panel and checking it out, Li Yu found that by spending 10,000 evolution points, he would be able to have an opportunity to comprehend the origin once. World Origin Comprehension Designate a world origin for comprehension, 100% comprehension of that world origin. In other words, 10,000 evolution points to be able to comprehend an origin, it was like giving it away for nothing. Li Yu could only say that he was not ashamed of being a hangman. When the time comes to save up enough evolution points and comprehend a large number of world origins, when fighting with someone, he can directly use the world origin to smash the other party to death. Lu Yu thought that the previous panel was already heaven-defying enough, but he didn't expect the current panel to be even more heaven-defying, worthy of being the golden finger of his rebirth. After all, he didn't have enough evolution points to use this function. Open the panel interface. Name, Lu Yu. Rank, C rank, evolution points required for upgrade, 0 slash 10000 evolution points. Lifespan, 1 slash 3000 years. 
Skills, Blade Assault, LV3, Coal Ice Stab, LV3, Golden Body, LV2, Thousand Birds, LV3, Shadow Attack, LV3, Toxin Immunity, LV2. Equipment, White Bone Ring. Talent, Wine Psychic Mastery, Intermediate, Lightning Control, Intermediate. Evolution Points. After 10 days of Luyu's comprehension, the proficiency of both talents had increased significantly, from beginner to intermediate, Liu tested it out and found that after the proficiency was increased, it was much more comfortable to use. Whether it was the power, the level of mastery of the details, or the way of using it, there was a significant increase. To put it simply, if Liu was able to produce a killing power of 10 when he mobilized wine spirit power with one spirit power before, he could now produce a killing power of over 30 with one spirit power. The overall power had increased by at least three times. Lu Yu beautifully closed the panel when he heard a soft voice calling out. Brother! Lu Yu turned his head and saw an elegant white fox looking at him. It was the little white fox. The second aura recovery had allowed the little white fox to successfully leap from D stage to C stage, and now she had just finished evolving. Although the little white fox wasn't the type to evolve in size, compared to before, the current little white fox was a circle larger and was about the size of a normal adult fox. Her entire body didn't have a single stray color, and her body was white with silky fur. The most attractive thing was her eyes. Light blue light, like the stars in the sky, looking at her eyes, one would realize that there seemed to be a whirlpool in her eyes, like she wanted to suck people in. Seeing Luyu looking at her out of his mind, the little white fox raised his front paw and patted Luyu, tilting his head and speaking, brother? It had to be said that the voice of the little white fox was really nice to listen to. Lu Yu intuitively evaluated it as a human soul and immediately returned to his senses. You've evolved successfully? You're now at the same sea stage as me? Lu Yu looked at the little white fox and uttered a clear and cold voice. At this moment, Lu Yu could not say that he was elated, but was more of a grouch. The little white fox was after all a ferocious beast, for ferocious beasts, there was no such thing as loyalty and commitment, there was only the weak and the strong. Previously, the little white fox was willing to submit, purely because Lu Yu's strength far exceeded hers. Although now Liu asked himself that he could easily defeat the little white fox, but after all, the two were already at the same level of existence, the little white fox was likely to disobey and then rebel, which would be quite troublesome. Seeing the little white fox nodding, staring at himself with a curious face, Liu thought for a moment and simply opened his mouth directly, before you submitted to me, now you and I are both of C rank, are you still willing to submit? The little white fox was stunned, then nodded, and said, I know that my brother is stronger than me, I am willing to honor my brother as the king. Saying this, the little white fox even lowered its head to indicate its willingness to submit. Liu Yu then nodded with satisfaction and patted the other party's small head with his wings, since you are willing to honor me as the king, why are you calling brother? The little white fox looked at Liu Yu and said, I remember my mother told me that in the world of humans, when you meet someone who is willing to protect you, you have to call your brother, and brother you protected me and saved me before, now that I can spit out human words, I naturally have to call my brother. Your mother? Do you know where your mother is? Do you have other clansmen? Lu Yu suddenly remembered that in his previous life, the Nine-Tailed Demon Emperor had a clan of Nine-Tailed Demon Foxes under his command, which were powerful, if he knew the location, he could have completely taken them under his command to cultivate them early on. The little white fox shook his head and said, Mother had passed away a long time ago, and then I was alone out there, and I don't remember where the clan is. Alright, then you should rest for a while and stabilize your realm. Lu Yu nodded his head and pacified the little white fox who was a bit emotionally down at the mention of his mother then turned his head, his eyes staring tightly at the spirit pool not far away. At the moment, the rich spiritual chi was spreading out and vast, and although Lu Yu was still some distance away from the spiritual pool, he could also feel his body absorbing the spiritual chi continuously. On the panel, his evolution points were also rising bit by bit, and the speed was not slow. Right at this moment, four familiar auras came toward this. It was Lu Yu's four subordinates. It was precisely Lu Yu's four subordinates. The four came and glanced at each other, all of them seemed to be a little surprised, and then when they saw the little white fox not far away emitting a powerful aura, each of them trembled a little. Lu Yu had evolved through evolution points and had just been promoted to the C stage, so he was able to control his strength perfectly, so he would normally keep his aura under control. However, little white fox had just been promoted and was not in perfect control of her own strength, causing her C stage aura to overflow, directly pressurizing the four war mangy bulls a little out of breath. Lu Yu's afterglow saw this scene and casually struck out a spiritual force, blocking the little white fox's aura up, causing the four to breathe a sigh of relief. What is it? Lu Yu opened his mouth and asked. The four looked at each other and each reported back. It turned out that the four people were spread out in four directions, and in the midst of the second aura recovery, although they hadn't been able to advance to the C stage, they had gained benefits, and one by one, their strength had increased greatly. 
After the end of the aura recovery, they sensed a powerful aura coming towards their direction, the aura was exactly the same as the aura belonging to the sea stage on Lu Yu, so they rushed to come and report. A bit interesting. Lu Yu's gaze condensed slightly when he heard about this. Brother, the ones who came to attack should be the same sea stage ferocious beasts as us, they must be scheming for brother's treasures, don't worry brother, I won't let them succeed. The little white fox on the side heard the words and immediately opened his mouth, his body's chi rolling and tumbling, if not for Lu Yu's isolation, he was afraid that he would have instantly overwhelmed the four on the ground, unable to get up. Although the little white fox couldn't speak before, her intelligence was still there. She clearly knew that Lu Yu had stayed in the little south mountain for more than ten days just for this spirit pond, and in her opinion, this treasure was Lu Yu's, and if someone came to rob it, then he would blow that person away. The seemingly gentle little white fox now had a violent expression on her face which surprised Lu Yu a little. There's no need to worry, with me here, no one who comes will be able to snatch it. Lu Yu lightly spoke, and when the little white fox heard this, she immediately collected her expression and nodded, relaxing as she began to stabilize her strength. She believed in Lu Yu, believed in Lu Yu's strength, no matter who came, it was useless. However, the war Mangnyu and the few of them were a bit at a loss for words, although Lu Yu's strength was stronger than theirs, but the ones that were coming were also Sirank beasts, and there was more than one of them, there were two or three of them in each direction, adding up to a minimum of eight Sirank beasts. Lu Yu alone, can win? Xianya Divine Eagle's mind is alive, he knows very well that as Lu Yu's subordinates, if Lu Yu loses at that time, they definitely won't be able to survive, so he can't help but say, there are too many people now, why don't we pull out first, and then come back to clean up the mess after those beasts kill each other. At this moment, the spirit pool has been completely revealed, basically taking shape, Lu Yu directly said, don't worry, come if you are useless, you guys first stand by the side, just rest assured. Since Lu Yu had said so, even if they had other ideas, they didn't dare to say it again, they could only listen to Lu Yu's order to stand aside and wait up apprehensively. Rumble. After a while, the sky collapsed and the spirit pool finally took shape. A small pool with a diameter of about 3 meters appeared in front of it, filled with liquid, with mist rising above it. Within this pool was spiritual chi that was so dense that it was liquefied. Even though Lu Yu and the others were only standing on one side, they could feel the cleansing of the aura. The war mangy bulls were even able to feel that their strengths were all slowly growing, and one by one, they looked at the spirit pool with a greedy intent flashing through their eyes, especially the Xian feather divine eagle, it was even about to be unable to hold back from making a move. Right at this moment, the earth-shaking armored beast suddenly extended its claws and grabbed the Xian Yu divine eagle, waking the latter up. It was only then that the Xian Yu divine eagle reacted to the fact that he had just been eroded by the aura, and nearly grabbed it, simply seeking death. Although Lu Yu's back was turned to the fore, these small actions were all seen by him inside his spiritual sense, and his heart couldn't help but be moved, and he was thinking about the pandolin armor that had taken the initiative to surrender. Ordinary ferocious beasts, who could hold back their desires in front of the spirit pool? C-rank ones couldn't, but this ordinary D-rank ferocious beast, the earth-shaking armor beast, was able to remain expressionless, saying that he didn't have a secret, Liu didn't believe it. Boom! A majestic aura erupted from Liu's body, mobilizing the wind spirit power between heaven and earth, transforming it into a cover that directly covered the spirit pool, preventing the spirit chi in the spirit pool from dissipating. This was the performance of Lu Yu's talent wine spirit power control after it was raised to the middle stage. If it was placed at the beginning stage, Lu Yu would definitely not be able to do this. Putting the suspicion of the earth-shaking armor beast in his heart to rest for now, Lu Yu couldn't wait to walk into the spirit pool. When Lu Yu's body was completely submerged by the spirit pool, Lu Yu felt an endless amount of aura crazily surging into his body and at the same time, the panel's reminder message crazily swiped the screen. Congratulations on obtaining 100 evolution points, current remaining evolution points are 5,300 points. Congratulations on gaining 100 evolution points, current remaining evolution points are 5,400. Congratulations on gaining 100 evolution points, the current remaining evolution points are 5,500. Congratulations on gaining 100 evolution points, currently 5,600 evolution points remain. Congratulations on gaining 100 evolution points, current remaining evolution points are 5,700. With an average of 100 evolution points a second, in just 10 seconds, the evolution points directly increased by a whole 1,000 points. At this speed, in another 40 seconds, Lu Yu would be able to gather enough evolution points to advance to B rank. Cool. Lu Yu's entire body felt refreshed, as if he had reached his peak. However, although the evolution points were growing crazily, the spirit liquid in the spirit pool was also disappearing with the naked eye. In just a minute's time, half of the spirit liquid in the spirit pool had disappeared, and at that moment, the growth rate of evolution points had also slowed down. Congratulations on obtaining 50 evolution points, current remaining evolution points are 11,300. 
Congratulations on gaining 50 evolution points. Current remaining evolution points are 11,350. At this moment, only half of the originally filled spirit pool remained, and the rising aura dissipated without a trace. This scene not only shocked the four war mangy bulls, even the little white fox was a little surprised. As a Sirank beast, the little white fox naturally understood that the speed of a Sirank beast's normal absorption of spiritual chi was far less than Lu Yu's speed. If he were to be replaced by the little white fox, he would have absorbed so much spiritual liquid in less than a minute, and would have been afraid that he would have been directly propped up. However, the incredible scene just appeared. This made the little white fox position Lu Yu even higher in his heart. Noticing the change in the rate of increase of evolution points, Lu Yu frowned and thought for a moment before immediately stepping out of the spirit pool. The valuable thing about this spirit pool wasn't just that it could provide a large amount of spirit liquid, the most important thing was that it was renewable, and after consuming the spirit liquid for a period of time, it would be able to reappear. So now Lu Yu intends to stop, don't directly to the spirit pool suck dry, by the time the damage cannot be regenerated, then Lu Yu will have to cry. Walking out of the spirit pool, Li Yu directly struck out a spiritual force to close the entire spirit pool, avoiding the leakage of spiritual chi. Just then, a powerful aura came from all directions. In Lu Yu's spiritual sense, the auras of ten entire sea stage fierce beasts came crashing in. The little white fox stood up, she also felt the incoming aura and her face became a little serious. Lu Yu's face was calm and he stood in place and waited. After a few moments, the first aura transformed into streams of light and appeared in front of Lu Yu, it was a red bird that looked like an eagle, its feathers were red, just like coals of fire. The fire bird came here, its eyes staring straight at the spirit pool, flashing agreed. In the next instant, a massive male lion also hurriedly came, looking at the little white fox and the fire bird near the spirit pool and letting out a roar in scorn. Subsequently, the remaining eight ferocious beasts came one after another. Adding the little white fox to the field, there were eleven sea stage ferocious beasts, their auras mingled in one place, and the sky and earth changed color. The reason why there were eleven of them was because Lu Yu's aura was completely restrained, and in the eyes of the other beasts, Lu Yu was just an ordinary and weak beast. Therefore, the ten ferocious beasts coincidentally focused their gazes on the little white fox. What do you guys want to do? The little white fox was stared at by so many ferocious beasts of the same rank, and spoke somewhat nervously. The firebird was the first to say, let out the spirit pool and spare your life. The little white fox gasped, on what grounds, we discovered this place first, of course it belongs to us, are you guys here to rob it? Rob? Little fox, you can't say that, this spirit pond is a natural formation, it's not like you carved it out, so what makes you say it's yours, moreover, we were just slow in coming, how can we say that it belongs to you just because you found it? Ask the big guys, who agreed that this spirit pool belongs to you, an alpaca on the side said slowly. That's right, this treasure belongs to everyone, how can it be left to you alone? A crocodile also spoke up. Quickly get out of the way, the big guys will fight, whoever wins will be the one who gets it. The male lion opened its mouth full of wariness. The little white fox was a bit overwhelmed by the aggressiveness of so many sea stage ferocious beasts at the same time, and couldn't help but look at Lu Yu. What's the point of looking at this little bird? The aura on his body is if not audible, do you still expect him to help you? A weasel opened its mouth and mocked. Hearing this, the fire bird on the side was a bit displeased with the weasel's words, but didn't say anything. Right at this moment, a clear and cold voice rang out, what did you call me? Weasel froze, and then his face became gloomy. Among the ferocious beasts, there was a clear distinction between the strong and the weak, and there was a strict hierarchy. This weasel didn't detect a sea stage aura from Lu Yu, so in its opinion, Li Yu was just a low stage ferocious beast that didn't deserve to speak to him at all. Most importantly, Li Yu didn't even look at it when he opened his mouth, which made it feel completely insulted and became furious. In this situation, the weasel seemed to have overlooked the fact that only a sea stage fierce beast could speak. Old me called you a little bird. Bang! Before the weasel could finish speaking, Lu Yu's figure disappeared in place, and in the next moment, the weasel's body was blasted out and smashed hard against the distant stone wall. Looking for death. This turn of events directly stunned the remaining nine ferocious beasts. One must know that the weasel was a sea stage ferocious beast just like them, but it was actually sent flying out in one go. What kind of strength was this? Most importantly, Lu Yu's speed was so fast that they couldn't react at all. A question surfaced in the minds of the nine C-rank beasts, if Lu Yu's target had been himself, would he have been able to dodge it? The answer was, no. How could they dodge when they couldn't even see? Seeing the weasel slowly climb up and look at himself with a face of fear, Lu Yu sighed in his heart. C-stage ferocious beasts were different in the end. Just now, although Lu Yu did not use any skills and relied solely on his own spiritual energy to explode, the power was also very impressive. A random D-rank beast would have been killed in seconds. But if it was SC rank, it would only injure the weasel. 
Lu Yu looked around the circle, the remaining nine C-rank beasts did not dare to utter a single word, each looking at Lu Yu with scorn in their eyes. A C-rank weasel that could fly away with a single move, and before that it concealed all the C-rank beasts, making them unable to detect Lu Yu's true strength, just by virtue of these two, it exceeded all the beasts present. The little white fox looked at Lu Yu, who had shocked the eight parties as soon as he appeared on the stage, his eyes were filled with excitement, and the four D-rank subordinates on the side also had more confidence in Lu Yu at this moment. I'll ask you again, what did you just call me? Lu Yu looked at the weasel and opened his mouth indifferently, a pair of sharp eyes seemed to pierce into the weasel's ferocious beast as if they were sharp blades. Although he knew that Lu Yu and it were the same sea stage ferocious beast, the weasel was intimidated by Lu Yu's powerful aura when it faced him, and did not dare to face Lu Yu directly at all. Right at this moment, the firebird closest to the spirit pool looked sideways and saw the spirit liquid that had been consumed in general, and suddenly let out an ear cry, how is the spirit liquid left at such a small amount? The silence on the field was broken, apart from the weasel that was stared at by Lu Yu, the remaining few ferocious beasts were attracted by the firebird and turned their heads towards the spirit pool, and when they saw that the spirit liquid was actually only half of what was left, each one of them became a little angry. Didn't they rush here after completing their promotion just for this heaven and earth wonder spirit pool? As a result, now only half of it was left, who could bear this? The firebird couldn't help but speak, the spiritual liquid inside this spiritual pool, is it you who used it? Lu Yu turned his head to look at the firebird, I'm the one who used it, what are you going to do about it? Seeing Lu Yu being so arrogant, the firebird said angrily, the spiritual liquids inside this spiritual pool are all precious and incomparable existences, you actually wasted so much of it, simply damned. In the firebird's opinion, within such a short period of time, it was impossible for Lu Yu to really absorb so much spiritual liquid, it must be a stray beast with no bloodline inheritance, not knowing what kind of luck actually evolved to the sea stage, and in the face of the precious spiritual liquid, it didn't know the correct way to utilize it, it must have been a blind mess, wasting this great treasure. If not, how could one consume so much spiritual liquid in such a short period of time? My own things, I can use as much as I want, what does it have to do with you guys? Lu Yu coldly snorted in disdain. How dare you? The wonders of heaven and earth are everyone's, how can they be considered your own? Hearing the words of the firebird, the weasel, who had slightly eased his spirit, also began to fan the flames, even if you are strong, so what? There are ten of us, just you, and this little fox beside you, as well as those four losers, can they still be our opponents? If you are sensible, hurry up and hand over the spirit pool and get lost. Hearing the weasel's words, the eyes of these few ferocious beasts who were a bit torn by the fear of Lu Yu's strength suddenly lit up. Right, even if Lu Yu's strength is strong, now there are ten C-rank beasts present, while Lu Yu's side is only himself and the fox, plus four D-rank losers at the end of the day. Even if Lu Yu can fight, can he still fight ten of them? Everyone was a C-rank beast, they didn't believe that Lu Yu could be so powerful that he could go against the heavens. That's right, hand over the spirit pool, get lost now and wheel. Not care about the fact that you wasted so much spirit liquid. If you're still insensitive, I'll pluck your bird feathers and roast them for dinner. As if everyone opening their mouths together could bring them strength, several ferocious beasts clamored, while one by one releasing their auras, the auras of ten sea stage ferocious beasts joined together in one place and pressed towards Lu Yu. Seeing this, the little white fox immediately took two steps forward, wanting to help Lu Yu resist the pressure of these auras. However, ten ferocious beasts of the same rank gathered in one place, and the aura that they jointly pressed over was not idle. Even if the little white fox's qualifications were heaven-defying and she had the stature of a SS rank demon emperor, it would still be useless, after all, she only had the strength of a C-rank at the moment. The shocking chi pressure ground little white fox's originally rosy little face turned pale, although she gritted her teeth and fought hard, it was still useless, she was still pushed by this strong chi to keep retreating. Alright, you retreat first, leave these trash to me. Just when the little white fox could not hold on any longer, Lu Yu's gentle voice rang out, and at the same time, one of Lu Yu's feathered wings opened up, stopping in front of the little white fox, resisting a shocking aura for him. How is it possible? Seeing their ten sea stage ferocious beasts joining hands with their chi oppression, actually being easily blocked by Lu Yu, and looking at Lu Yu's appearance, it seemed that it didn't cause any pressure on him at all in general, which caused the crowd of ferocious beasts to widen their eyes. Since you guys are looking for death, it's not my fault. Lu Yu snorted coldly after placing the little white fox properly. In the next instant, the skill opened. Thousand birds. In an instant, ten doppelgangers directly appeared between the flashes of Lu Yu's silhouette, each of them faintly exuding an aura of C-rank. This scene directly stunned the crowd of ferocious beasts. What kind of skill was this? According to reason, after Lu Yu's skill thousand birds was executed, he would split into a maximum of ten doppelgangers, and each doppelganger would only have at most 50% of the strength of the main body. But the Lu Yu at this moment was far more powerful than imagined. Even if he only had half of his strength, 
it was still a C-stage primary existence. Make a move, I don't believe all these figures are real. The firebird was the most resourceful, and immediately opened her mouth, then with a flash of fire on her body, she also separated into two doppelgangers, and the three firebirds headed towards one of Lu Yu's doppelgangers in unison. The rest of the ferocious beasts woke up when they heard the words of the firebirds. One by one, they all felt that Lu Yu was just bluffing, and that out of these ten doppelgangers, they were afraid that only one or two of them were real. It was impossible for there to be skills so perverse that a C-stage fierce beast would be able to split into ten doppelgangers with the same C-stage strength. Each of the ten ferocious beasts sought out one of the doppelgangers and launched an attack. One by one, powerful skills were unleashed, literally blossoming with colorful light. Lu Yu, who was located in the very center, could not help but let out a cold smile when he saw this. These ferocious beasts knew nothing about his power. The skills unfolded once again. Shadow Attack in an instant, each of the ten doppelgangers had each separated into three figures, and on the field, forty of Lu Yu's doppelgangers had appeared. This scene directly stunned the ferocious beasts. Originally, each beast had found a doppelganger, just ten against ten, but now Lu Yu had directly turned into forty, how could this be organized? Just as they were hesitant to know which of their doppelgangers to attack, Lu Yu once again unleashed his skill. Cold Ice Stab Each doppelganger struck out several ice-cold spikes, attacking the fan in front of them. In a split second, it was like an icy sky in snowy land, filled with endless ice spikes. What was the scene of 40 Liu releasing the skill ice cold spikes at the same time? If one had to describe it, it would be the legendary forbidden spell, icy sky and snow. The entire world was covered in endless cold ice spikes. Bang bang bang. Although three-fourths of the ice spikes were released by shadows and were false, the remaining one-fourth each hit their targets, making them unavoidable. The ten ferocious beasts were hit one after another. With 300% damage, not a single beast was spared. Among them, the powerful Firebird and Lion barely relied on their spiritual power to resist most of the damage, in addition, there was only a tortoise-like beast, body flashed a yellow light into a tortoise shell appearance, resisting most of the damage. In addition, the other seven beasts were injured and fell to the ground under this move, and the weaker weasel was even more seriously injured, and was directly frozen into an ice sculpture. How is it possible, how could you be so powerful? The Firebird, who had gone all out to ward off the damage, looked at Lu Yu and spoke with a shocked expression. Lu Yu waved his wings, and in a flash, all the doppelgangers disappeared into thin air, leaving only Lu Yu's main body standing elegantly in the very center, dashing in unrestrained. Lu Yu ignored the Firebird's shock, looked around at the beasts and said indifferently, You have intruded into my territory for no reason, your offense is unforgivable, now I'll give you two choices, die, or submit to me. The moment these words came out, the faces of all the ferocious beasts became very ugly. We are all C-rank beasts, they admit that they are not as skilled as others, at most, he will return home and give up the spirit pool to Liu Yu, but now Liu Yu actually wants them to submit, this is simply outrageous. As a C-stage ferocious beast, at the moment, the strength is completely top of the line, who doesn't want to take over the mountain as the king is the boss, but instead goes to give others as a little brother? Cough cough. I admit that your strength is so powerful that it shocks me, I am willing to bow down, I am willing to withdraw from this battle, I won't fight for this spirit pool. The weasel that had managed to get out of the ice sculpture was completely terrified by Lu Yu, both paws arched and turned around to leave after admitting defeat. Can't you understand words? Lu Yu's voice became cold, his figure instantly disappeared and chased towards the weasel. I said, you only have two choices, submit or die, no right to leave. Looking at Lu Yu attacking, coupled with the hypnotic voice in his ears, the weasel immediately stood still, crouching his head and lifting his tail, a yellow smelly smoke rushed towards Lu Yu behind him. This smoke should be the skill of the weasel, it was incredibly stinky and spread at an extreme speed, instantly enveloping a large area of space. Hey, hey, you've been tricked. No matter how powerful you are, if you're hit by little master's poisonous fog, you'll be poisoned to death in an instant. At this moment, the weasel didn't have the appearance of the previous hasty escape, and stood still watching Lu Yu being flooded by the poisonous mist, arrogantly mocking. Brother! The little white fox was shocked at his words and called out before rushing towards Lu Yu's direction. Right at this moment, the ferocious beast on the side roared angrily and rushed towards the little white fox, instantly launching an attack on the little white fox. Unable to do anything about it, the little white fox could only fight with the male lion. The little white fox had just been promoted, and with the addition of a strength that favored illusory techniques, this white fox could only fight with the lion. Art of a kind of close quarters attack, at this moment by the male lion was forced to close combat, completely not a rival, just a hand to hand fell into the wind. Just in the crowd of uncertainty, guess Lu Yu was not really by the weasel under the poison death, suddenly a tornado appeared out of thin air, the poisonous fog in the sky under the tornado swept quickly dissipated, revealing Lu Yu's silhouette. Hairless. Impossible. You were hit head-on by my poisonous mist, how could you be fine? 
The weasel's laughter came to an abrupt end as he looked at Lu Yu with disbelief in his eyes. As the existence with the lowest strength amongst the ten ferocious beasts, after being injured by Lu Yu twice, Weasel dared to be the first one to jump out and escape, naturally, he had his own certainty. The source of his confidence was naturally this talent-like poisonous mist. It was extremely fast to execute, had an extremely wide attack range, and was extremely toxic. Weasel was confident that as long as his strength did not exceed rank C, if he was hit head-on by his own poisonous mist, even if he did not die, he would be seriously injured. In order to have a chance to hit Lu Yu, Weasel even put on a play, which gave him the chance to hit Lu Yu. The development of things are in his plan, no defense Lu Yu directly hit, but out of his surprise, was hit Lu Yu actually unharmed, how is this possible? Showing the figure of Lu Yu's face as usual, in the eyes of others is still so unfathomable, but only Lu Yu himself knows, just how dangerous. To put it bluntly, just now, Lu Yu chased over here because he wanted to finish off the Weasel to establish his authority. Lu Yu didn't put the weakest weasel in his eyes and didn't have any defense at all. So just now, Lu Yu was caught off guard and was hit, nearly flipping the car. If Lu Yu didn't happen to have a toxin immunity skill, he would have been seriously injured at this moment. The weasel's poisonous mist was a killer, the LV2 toxin immunity couldn't handle it, but Lu Yu upgraded his toxin immunity skill to LV4 in the nick of time, which immunized him against the toxicity of the poisonous mist, and prevented him from rolling over. Toxin Immunity, LV4, Upgrade requires 10,000 evolution points immunizes any LV4 level toxin attack. Spending a whole 1100 evolution points to upgrade the skill of Toxin Immunity to LV4 was a big expense, but the effect was as powerful as ever. Lu Yu secretly reminded himself in his heart, remembering this lesson, even if his strength, with the help of the panel, was the crown of the entire C rank, he still couldn't take it lightly when it came to a battle, or else there was a chance that he might tip over in the gutter. At this moment, the weasel was trembling all over, now it was at the end of its tether, completely at its wit's end. Seriously injured, he faced the powerful Lu Yu, his heart was only left with fear and trepidation. However, the current Lu Yu did not have the time to pay attention to the weasel, in Lu Yu's spiritual sense, the little white fox was worried about his safety, fighting with the male lion, and had fallen into a crisis. How could this Lu Yu allow? Without any hesitation, he directly launched his skill. Sharp Blade Assault Lu Yu's figure instantly disappeared, instantly moving in front of the little white fox in the nick of time, and the lion's bloody mouth bit over towards Lu Yu. Lu Yu's face was as normal, and in an instant, five attacks erupted. Rumble. In this attack, Lu Yu used the thunderbolt control that had risen to the middle rank, and with each of his attacks, it was accompanied by a thunderbolt that struck the male lion. After the sharp blade assault skill was activated, each attack dealt 200% damage. What was the concept of Lu Yu's double damage? With just a single thunderbolt falling, the originally majestic male lion was blasted to the ground. In the next instant, Lu Yu's claws directly grabbed onto the lion's body, scratching out a blood scar that was deep enough to be seen on the bone. Afterwards, Lu Yu directly sent him flying, hitting the remaining four attacks on him in the air. For thunderbolts plus four attacks, after the end of the skill, the male lion collapsed to the ground with a loud thud, the originally magnificent body was now only a white bone. Powerful. Overbearing. Terrifying. This was the impression that the rest of the ferocious beasts had of Lu Yu. Judging by its aura, the lion was the strongest beast among the ten beasts that had attacked, except for the firebird. However, when the male lion faced Lu Yu alone, it didn't even last a single move and was directly killed in seconds. This kind of strength, strong and absolute. Most importantly, Lu Yu is not only powerful, but also ruthless. Just look at what happened to the male lion. It's a complete skinning of a living being. As C-rank ferocious beasts, everyone could naturally see clearly that Lu Yu's attack was just too fast, so much so that the male lion could not even die in time. It was only when Lu Yu's attack ended and the lion completely turned into white bones that it completely died. What kind of cruelty was this? After killing the male lion, Lu Yu was completely like nothing, not even looking at the white bones and pile of flesh and blood, turned his head to look at the little white fox and asked with concern, Are you alright? Are you hurt? The little white fox was obviously also shocked by Lu Yu's tactics, but then reacted. A pair of fox eyes curved into the moon as she shook her head and said, Thank you brother, I'm fine. Lu Yu nodded and turned to stare at the weasel. It was time to deal with him now. Meeting Lu Yu's gaze, the weasel didn't hesitate for a second and flopped down on the ground, his body trembling, completely expressing his submission. Spare my life, I am willing to submit. Please spare me. The weasel was directly scared by Lu Yu and urinated, a smell of urine came from it. Lu Yu frowned in disgust, then said, I gave you a chance. Since you weren't willing to submit just now, you might as well go to hell. Saying that, Li Yu directly unleashed his spiritual power to mobilize the power of lightning in heaven and earth, transforming into thunder, which brazenly chopped down in the nine heavens, landing directly on the weasel. Rumble. Thunder after thunder struck the weasel's body, 
and in full view of everyone, the weasel was directly chopped to death. Lu Yu turned back, looked at each of the dumbfounded ferocious beasts, looked around the circle, and directly opened his mouth. Now, I'll give you one last chance to choose, submit, or die. The attack of all the ferocious beasts was easily broken by Lu Yu, the domineering lion was lynched, and the cunning weasel was directly killed by the thunderbolt. At this moment, Lu Yu with such a strong momentum to force the question, the presence of the beasts have been silent and dare not speak out. My brother asked you? Why don't you make a sound, is it possible that you are mute? The little white fox saw the cold scene, immediately walked up and opened his mouth. At this point, it seems that silence does not solve the problem. The firebird pondered for a while, and spoke tentatively, This strong man, I admit that your strength far exceeds mine, I am not your opponent, even if it is all the ferocious beasts present together, they are also not your opponent. The firebird said, paused, seemed to be a bit hesitant, but still opened his mouth and said, We are all sea stage fierce beasts, our skills are inferior to others, but you are forcing us to submit to you, but it's a bit too much, why don't we do it this way? I'm willing to use my inheritance and the cultivation method with you, as an exchange, how about today's matter is written off? Hearing the words of the firebird, Lu Yu was a bit puzzled. What is called the cultivation method in the inheritance? Could it be that this firebird has a great origin, and has had some strange encounters to find a way to cultivate ferocious beasts? However, to Lu Yu's surprise, the firebird had found a way to cultivate the beast. However, to Lu Yu's surprise, after the firebird finished speaking, the rest of the ferocious beasts seemed to have found a way to save their lives as if they had found a way to save their lives, one by one, their eyes lit up and they opened their mouths to say, I'm also willing to use the cultivation method from the inheritance to hand it over to you, I only beg you to spare me. That's right, I'm also willing. We are all willing, how about using the method of inheritance in exchange for today's matter to be written off? All the ferocious beasts opened their mouths, which made Lu Yu a little confused. What's going on? Is the cultivation method a cabbage? Why does everyone have it? Moreover, what was the cultivation method? In his previous life, Lu Yu had never heard that there was such a thing as a cultivation method amongst the beasts. At this time, the little white fox saw Lu Yu did not say anything, his eyes turned, and immediately said in a fox-like manner, Are you guys afraid that you are not joking? Although this cultivation method is valuable, as long as it is promoted to the sea stage, that ferocious beast will not have an inherited cultivation method? When little white fox said this, Liu Yu silently said in his heart, I don't have one. However, at this moment, Liu Yu was also a little confused as to what exactly this cultivation method was, and since the little white fox took the initiative to speak for him, and in his words, he was still quite knowledgeable about the cultivation method, then Liu Yu naturally would not interrupt the little white fox. The cultivation method is something in our bloodline inheritance, the more noble and powerful the bloodline is, the more powerful the bloodline inheritance will be, so to you guys, the cultivation method is very precious, however, to my brother, it is completely worthless. Don't forget, my brother is so powerful, his bloodline is definitely noble and powerful to the extreme, naturally when he was promoted to C stage, the bloodline inheritance he obtained is also definitely extremely profound, since he has an even more profound cultivation method, how could my brother look at your things, you guys want to use something useless in my brother's eyes as an exchange, aren't you just talking nonsense? Listening to the words of the little white fox, the silent Lu Yu also somewhat understood what this cultivation method was. Although Lu Yu was somewhat curious about what a cultivation method belonging to a ferocious beast was like, the little white fox was right, for Lu Yu, the so-called cultivation method was completely useless. Lu Yu's source of power was evolution points, as long as Lu Yu obtained enough evolution points, then he could become stronger, and there was no need for any cultivation method. Seeing that Lu Yu did not refute Little White Fox's words, which meant that he had acquiesced to Little White Fox's statement, the Firebird's face became a little ugly. So, there's no way to talk about this matter? Do you really want to drive us to extinction? My brother didn't say that. My brother just said that as long as you guys are willing to submit to my brother, then you can live. The Little White Fox said, Humph, we are all sea stage ferocious beasts, being willing to hand over the cultivation method is already the greatest sincerity, how could we possibly submit to someone of the same stage? If you have to be like this, then I would rather die than be humiliated. The firebird simply swung straight for the fences, his eyes staring at Lu Yu, always on guard against Lu Yu striking out instantly after being enraged. They were all very clear now that there was absolutely no possibility of escape in front of Lu Yu, and if they were unwilling to submit, they could only let go of the fight. After all, the ferocious beasts that were able to advance to the sea stage at the time of the second aura revival, there was one that counted, all of them were gifted, and naturally possessed their own pride. Not all ferocious beasts were able to face a ferocious beast of the same rank like a weasel and beg for mercy on their knees, willingly submitting. Oh, so, I'm a sea rank and you're of the same rank, so you'd rather die than submit, right? Without waiting for the crowd of ferocious beasts to open their mouths, Liu faintly said, What if I'm B rank? What if I am B rank? Would you be willing to submit? Hearing this, all the ferocious beasts froze. 
Even the little white fox turned its head to look at Lu Yu and blinked, somewhat confused as to what Lu Yu meant. What do you mean? The firebird asked. I said, if I stand on the ground and enter the B rank, would you be willing to submit to me? Fine, if you break through to B stage right now in front of me, I will only look up to you in this life. If I succeed in advancing, you'll submit to me, if I fail, I'll let you go, is that a deal? It's a deal. After getting the promise from the firebird, Liu smiled, he wanted these words. He had seen it before, this firebird was stronger than all the ferocious beasts, and its origin must be extraordinary, so under his careful recollection, he remembered that in his previous life, it was rumored that there was a firebird whose bloodline had returned to its ancestor, and it had directly turned into a phoenix. Thinking about it, the firebird in front of Lu Yu must be that phoenix from his previous life. It was because of this that Lu Yu was unwilling to let go of such a potential subordinate, spending time and effort to make the firebird submit itself. The rest of you ferocious beasts, do you mean the same thing? Lu Yu looked at the rest of the seven ferocious beasts and said indifferently, these ferocious beasts were just additions in Lu Yu's opinion it was best if they were willing to submit, if they weren't, then it would be better to become their own evolution points. The seven ferocious beasts glanced at each other, and all felt that Lu Yu was just bragging, achieving B rank on the ground was completely impossible, so they all nodded their heads. Very well. Lu Yu spread his wings and flew above the cave, and said to the firebird, I hope that none of the fierce beasts present will escape after my advancement. The firebird understood Lu Yu's meaning and spoke directly, yes, I will wait here, and I will not let any of the ferocious beasts leave before you finish, but if you fail, I also hope that you will keep your promise and let me go. Good. Lu Yu answered, then said to the little white fox, protect me. Okay, brother. Although the little white fox couldn't quite understand exactly why Lu Yu would have the confidence to advance to B stage, she believed in him. After the explanation, Lu Yu did not hesitate and directly opened the panel, consuming 10,000 evolution points to choose to evolve. Evolving from C stage to B stage required a whole 10,000 evolution points, and at this moment, Lu Yu, after absorbing half of the spirit pool spirit liquid, just happened to have 10,250 evolution points. Boom! The moment the entire 10,000 evolution points were deducted, Lu Yu's body erupted with an overwhelmingly strong aura, which spread out and directly suppressed all the ferocious beasts present on the ground, crouching their heads in fear. At this moment, the firebird's eyes were wide open, looking at Lu Yu with disbelief in his eyes. How was this possible? According to her bloodline inheritance, before the second great change of heaven and earth, her realm could only be at the highest level of D rank. It was only after the second great change of heaven and earth that she had successfully advanced to the C rank. It was thought that Lu Yu was the same. Although Lu Yu's strength was a little too strong, actually being able to suppress the joint efforts of ten ferocious beasts of the same rank, the firebird had never thought that Lu Yu's strength could actually reach the B rank. It was important to realize that the second aura recovery had just ended, and the shackles of the sea step strength between heaven and earth had just been lifted, so at this time, Lu Yu was actually trying to break through the B step. At this time, the firebird was well aware of the significance of breaking through the B stage. This meant that at least before the second aura recovery, Lu Yu's strength was already at the peak of the sea rank. He had broken through the yoke of heaven and earth. The firebird looked at Lu Yu with a blaze in her eyes. As a top bloodline, she hadn't been able to break through the heaven and earth yoke, but Lu Yu had done it, didn't that mean that Lu Yu's bloodline was far beyond hers? Thoughts were flying in the firebird's mind, but the little white fox didn't think too much about it, in her mind, it was inevitable that Lu Yu was powerful, there was no need to be surprised at all, the little white fox just looked on with adoring eyes. Rumble. Right at this moment, the sky changed dramatically, then it was cloudy, as if it was the end of the world. Thunder clouds rose in all directions and converged above Lu Yu's head, forming a calamity cloud that spread for a hundred miles. The apocalypse was upon us. This was the price of breaking through the yoke of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth had rules, currently the heaven and earth shackles could only allow for the existence of the C rank, but Lu Yu was trying to forcefully break through to the B rank, which completely exceeded the limitations that heaven and earth could accommodate, this was breaking the rules. Those who broke the rules would definitely be punished. That was why Lu Yu's breakthrough had attracted the heavenly tribulation. Only by surviving the heavenly tribulation would Lu Yu be able to successfully break through to the B rank, if he couldn't, he would be left in the dust. Pity. Right at this moment, the firebird that was originally filled with blazing eyes shook its head inside, turning around to leave. Stop. Where are you going? Didn't you promise my brother that you would absolutely not leave before his breakthrough? Are you not going to go back on your word? The little white fox who saw the heavenly tribulation coming was already worried about Lu Yu, and now that she saw that the firebird was actually leaving, she immediately opened her mouth to stop it. I didn't go back on my word, but now there is no longer a need to stay. Your brother went against the heavens and attracted the heavenly tribulation, he's already bound to die, and it's not likely that we'll still get caught in the wave if we stay. Impossible. The firebird has not yet finished, 
the little white fox will open his mouth to interrupt, looking at the firebird said, how is the heavenly tribulation, my brother will certainly cross the tribulation peacefully, since you have promised my brother, then you are not allowed to leave. The little white fox's eyes were unusually firm, implying the intention to strike at the drop of a hat. The firebird was somewhat speechless at the little white fox's inexplicable confidence, but now that the heavenly tribulation was on the horizon, she didn't dare to use her spiritual energy, or else she would be finished if she attracted a heavenly tribulation attack. Thus, the eight ferocious beasts including the firebird looked at the little white fox and could only stay helplessly. This was the horizontal ones fearing for their lives. Rumble. The robbery cloud was finished brewing and was about to fall. Lu Yu, who was currently suspended in the air with his eyes closed, was also a little puzzled in his heart. This heavenly calamity was something completely unexpected to him. In his previous life, his strength was low, and although he had heard that some powerful beasts would encounter a thunderbolt when they broke through, he had never seen it before, so it was really a blind spot in his knowledge. He was completely unclear as to why he would attract a heavenly tribulation for a simple breakthrough. Could it be that his bloodline had evolved to a top level and that was why he had attracted the heavenly tribulation? Lu Yu was puzzled in his heart, but since things had come to this, there was no other way. Taking a deep breath, Lu Yu gathered all of his spiritual energy and dealt with the heavenly tribulation with all his might. To be honest, Lu Yu did not have the slightest bit of certainty about surviving the heavenly tribulation. Boom! Right at this moment, a finger-thin heavenly thunderbolt blasted down, heading straight towards Lu Yu. Little White Fox's heart clenched up, I slowly are worried. At this moment she has no energy to even look at the firebird and others are not going to leave. And the firebird and the others at this moment also do not have the mind to leave, completely shocked by the heavenly tribulation. Lu Yu was about to blast his spiritual power out when a reminder rang in his ears. Heavenly tribulation detected, shield on. Heavenly tribulation detected, shield on. In the next instant, a golden light erupted from Lu Yu's body, transforming into a ball of light that directly covered Lu Yu. What's that? The firebird exclaimed in shock. The golden light shroud appeared extremely abruptly, and the firebird didn't even detect any fluctuation of spiritual energy before that shroud appeared. This meant that either this shroud was not pulled by spiritual energy at all, or Lu Yu's strength had become so powerful that the firebird could not see the operation of spiritual energy at all. Bang! In an instant, the lightning blasted down, directly onto the golden shield. Lu Yu was a little nervous, he didn't know if this very thin-looking shield could actually block the powerful thunderbolt, so his entire body's spiritual energy was ready to explode once the shield couldn't hold it back and he would resist. However, the next moment the thunder dissipated without a trace, but the golden light shield was fine at all, as stable as MT. Tai. Suffering a heavenly tribulation lightning strike, for the golden light shield, it was as if it was a breeze blowing on his face, no change at all. Please put the host at ease, the shield will resist all the heavenly tribulation, keeping the host safe from harm. Just as Lu Yu was shocked, the panel's prompt appeared again. This time Lu Yu was completely relieved, it could be said that even if he didn't trust himself, he would not trust the panel, the panel was his biggest card. Rumble. Once the heavenly tribulation started, it was immortal. Those immortal cultivation novels depicted that the heavenly tribulation descended one by one, giving the person crossing the tribulation a lot of preparation time, which was complete bullshit. No one would leave the opponent time to prepare when attacking, nor would the heavens. The heavenly tribulation fell one after another, as if it was the end of the world. The power of each thunderbolt that descended was randomized, some were as thin as a finger, while others were as thick as an elephant's leg. Looking at Lu Yu, who was in the midst of the heavenly tribulation, leisurely as if he was not under any pressure, the gaze of the firebird and the others went from shock to numbness to fervor. When Lu Yu had displayed the strength of 1 to 10, they were only afraid, but not convinced. When Lu Yu displayed the strength to break through the B rank, they were incredulous. Until now, after Lu Yu displayed the strength to regard the heavenly tribulation as nothing, they were all convinced, heartily convinced. The Firebird and the others were also looking forward to this moment, looking forward to Lu Yu successfully passing through the thunder tribulation and becoming a B rank ferocious beast. Lu Yu had said that when the time came, he would accept them as his little brothers. Recognizing the only B rank ferocious beast under the sky as their boss, they only felt excited. Rumble. The lightning tribulation lasted for 10 whole minutes, and within this 10-minute period, hundreds of thunderbolts descended, with the weakest of them being able to directly turn D-rank beasts into ashes, and the strongest, even being able to turn A-rank beasts into ashes. Lu Yu looked at the gradually dispersing thunderclouds and let out a sigh of relief in his heart. Without the panel's golden light shield, facing the thunder tribulation at this moment without any preparation, he would not have had any possibility of surviving it at all. Fortunately, the panel was powerful enough. However, this time, the thunder tribulation had given Lu Yu, who was gradually drifting away, a blow to the head. His current strength, although it could be said that he was the best among all the ferocious beasts, 
he was not a completely invincible existence. In this world, there are still existences that can threaten him. Therefore, in the future, we should be cautious or else we are afraid that we will be overturned. Congratulations to the host for successfully passing through the heavenly tribulation and being promoted to be rank. The moment the heavenly tribulation dissipated, the panel's prompt jumped out, and at the same time, a strong aura erupted from Lu Yu's body. This was the mightiness that belonged to the B rank. Feeling the powerful force within his body, Lu Yu's heart was a little puzzled, because logically speaking, a B stage fierce beast should at least comprehend an origin and evolve a corresponding skill from that origin. However, the current Lu Yu did not have a complete comprehension of the origin, let alone a skill of his own from the origin. Right at this moment, the panel's prompt jumped out. Congratulations to the host for successfully advancing to the B rank and obtaining an opportunity to fully comprehend the origin, and it has been detected that the host is currently mastering the wind talent and the thunder talent, so the host can choose one of them to fully comprehend. Looking at the panel that suddenly popped up, Lu Yu smiled. As expected of his own golden finger, it was really as strong as it was. Isn't this getting on the bus first and making up the ticket later? Everyone else comprehended the origin first, and evolved their skills after numerous times of activating the origin before finally advancing to B rank. If they couldn't comprehend the origin or evolve their skills, they would have no chance with the B rank in this life, but Lu Yu is doing the opposite. Shaking his head, he pressed down the excitement in his heart a little and focused on the panel. Wind origin and thunder origin. The choices given by the panel were completely referenced based on the talents he currently possessed. Luckily, he had previously obtained the talent of thunder control, or else he probably wouldn't have had a choice but to choose the wind system. And now, without even hesitating, Lu Yu directly chose the thunder system origin. It wasn't that the wind origin wasn't strong. It was just that based on Lu Yu's experience of using it, it was obvious that the thunder system's increase in combat power was relatively large. By choosing the thunder system, then the skills evolved would presumably be based on killing power. The wind system is just the opposite. The wind system is more inclined to gain effect. The effective killing power is relatively weak. If he chose the wind system, it was estimated that the evolved skills would not satisfy Lu Yu. I choose to comprehend the lightning system origin. Lu Yu made his choice. In an instant, everything in front of Lu Yu's eyes stopped as the shock on the firebird's face and the delight on the little white fox's face froze on their faces. Space and time froze. At this moment, the entire world pressed the pause button. Then, Lu Yu's eyes went black, and when he regained his vision again, he had already arrived in another world. This world was filled with countless thunder. It varied from ordinary thunder and lightning, to the powerful nine heavenly thunder, world-destroying demonic thunder, thunder of heaven and earth, and so on. Thunder pools, thunder forests, thunder lands, everything in the entire world was made up of thunder. And at this moment, Li Yu had also transformed into a thunderbolt, wandering in the world of thunder and lightning. At the same time, Lu Yu's mind was constantly flooded with all sorts of information about thunder and lightning, and when he had completely mastered the thunder he had transformed into at the moment, he would turn into an even more powerful thunder again. Step by step, he would ascend. All the 10,000 thunders in this world were experienced by Lu Yu one by one. Time seemed to have lost its meaning, Lu Yu didn't even know exactly how long had passed. Perhaps it was a thousand years, perhaps 10,000 years, or even a hundred thousand years. Lu Yu had completely transformed into thunder at this moment. Right after Lu Yu had mastered the last thunder, the world in front of him suddenly collapsed and turned into a bubble. Congratulations to the host for successfully mastering the thunder origin, please choose one of the following skills as your origin skill. Thunder Roar. Thunder Descends. Transform Thunder with Body. The three skills were displayed in front of Lu Yu, who carefully checked the introductions of the three skills. Thunder Roar, LV1 transforms spiritual energy into thunder and strikes a target, dealing 500% damage to the enemy for a short period of time, with a paralyzing effect. Thunder Descent, LV1 summons thunder to descend, covering a circle centered on itself and within a diameter of 10 meters, dealing 200% damage to all objects within the circle, and with a paralyzing effect. Transform Thunder with Body, LV1 transforms the entire body's spiritual energy into thunder and lightning, enchanting oneself increasing speed to 200%, attack power to 200%, reaction ability to 200%, and any of one's own attacks can be accompanied by a paralyzing effect. This state continuously consumes spiritual energy, when spiritual energy is exhausted, the gain state is lifted. Three skills, three directions. Simply put, it's a single strong attack skill, a group damage, and a status increase. Although they were different directions, each skill was very powerful. The single body can deal 5 times the damage, the group range is 10 meters in diameter with double damage, and the increased skill can directly double Lu Yu's speed attack power reaction ability. It could be said that each of these three skills, Lu Yu wanted. However, comprehending the origin only allows Lu Yu to choose one. 
Giving up on the idea of wanting them all, Liu Yu pondered for a while and finally decided to choose the group ranged damage Thunderfall. Currently, Liu Yu's skills were already quite a few, of which, Sharp Blade Assault and Shadow Attack worked in tandem with each other, and were already able to allow Liu Yu to deal enough single damage. For group damage, although Liu Yu has Cold Ice Spike and Thousand Birds, the former is only able to inflict damage on enemies within a fan-shaped area in front of him, while the latter can only be split, both have their own shortcomings. In Liu Yu's plan, he needed to collect evolution points as soon as possible, so the Thunder Descent skill, which cleared small monsters, was what Liu Yu needed the most today. The promotion from C rank to B rank had cost Liu Yu 10,000 evolution points, and now he only had a pitiful 250 evolution points left. After days of hard work, he had returned to the pre-liberation era. Liu Yu was somewhat helpless, but he still spent 110 evolution points to raise his newly acquired skill Thunder Descent to LV3. Thunder Descent, LV3 summons Thunder to descend, covering a range of 100 meters in diameter with himself as the center of the circle, inflicting 300% damage to local objects within the range, and with a paralyzing effect. Tough. The LV3 level Thunder Descent had its range directly increased to a 100 meter range, and it could designate enemy objects within the range, completely avoiding accidental injuries, while the damage had also been increased to 300%. With Lu Yu's current rank and strength, there were basically no ferocious beasts that could withstand Lu Yu's tripled attacks. It could be said that the skill of clearing small monsters was basically a screen clearing skill for some time to come. Closing the panel, Lu Yu then focused on the firebirds and other ferocious beasts not far away. As Lu Yu approached, the little white fox was the first to come up and said in surprise, Brother, you managed to break through? Lu Yu nodded his head and swung his wings to pat the little white fox's head and said, Of course. Wonderful. Let me tell you, just now, they said that they would wait for you to break through, but they ended up intending to leave when you crossed the tribulation, saying that you definitely didn't have the means to cross the lightning tribulation, but I don't believe them, in my heart brother you can definitely succeed. The little white fox excitedly spoke. The little white fox in this life had met Liu Yu early and avoided a lot of fights, so her mind was naturally a bit more childish, but she was also very clear in her heart about the meaning that Liu Yu being able to succeed in breaking through to the beast age in this current time period represented. The little white fox firmly believed that in the current time period, Liu was definitely the first existence in this world to break through to be rank. After calming the little white fox's agitated emotions, Liu landed his gaze on the firebird. Now, are you willing to submit? When the firebird heard this, a complex color flashed in her gaze. Ever since the revival of the heaven and earth aura, she had awakened her top-level bloodline, and she had asked herself that with her bloodline, she was definitely a first-class existence in this world, and was definitely chasing after the pinnacle. As a result, she did not expect that the road of chasing the peak had just begun, but actually met her Waterloo. Ten to one was suppressed by Lu Yu, not to mention, at this moment also according to the previous promise, submit to Lu Yu. The development of things was completely contrary to what she wanted to think about. Seeing that the firebird did not speak, Lu Yu slightly frowned and faintly said, are you going to go back on your word? With Lu Yu's words, a pressure belonging to a B-stage ferocious beast spread out, directly pressing towards the firebird and the other ferocious beasts. For the seven ferocious beasts that had just broken through to the sea stage, and whose strength at the moment was at best considered to be at the early stage of the sea stage, Liu belonging to the B stage ferocious beasts was completely overmodeled, directly pressurizing them to the point that they were lying on the ground gasping for air, and in a short moment, they had already felt the threat of death. We are willing to submit. The seven ferocious beasts simply didn't have the energy to look at the firebird's reaction at this moment, and at the moment of life and death, they chose to submit. Fierce beasts, the strong were honored, and expressing their submission to the strong was not at all shameful. Hearing their words, Liu Yu snorted coldly and withdrew the pressure on them, a pair of sharp eyes staring at the firebird. The firebird's strength could be described as a mid-sea stage, but it still wasn't enough to face Liu Yu. I am willing to honor you. Perhaps forced by the powerful pressure, or perhaps Liu Yu's strength had convinced the firebird, the firebird spoke with difficulty. Good. Liu Yu's eyes lit up and he immediately withdrew his mighty pressure. Your choice to submit to me today is definitely the rightest decision you have ever made in this life. The seven ferocious beasts looked at Lu Yu, their eyes filled with blazing heat, they were already convinced of Lu Yu. The firebird was noncommittal and suddenly opened its mouth to ask, Venerable Lord, it is said that when you break through the beast stage, you will definitely comprehend an origin power, I wonder what origin you have comprehended? The firebird was really curious, so it asked without thinking, but the firebird regretted it after the words were spoken. For ferocious beasts, whether it was a skill or talent, or the power of the origin, it was all very secretive, asking it directly like she did was really presumptuous. My subordinate made a slip of the tongue, please punish your holiness. The firebird substituted his identity very quickly, and immediately apologized after reacting. There is no harm, since you all submit to me, 
then in the future you will be my own family, if you want to know I will tell you, what this reverend has comprehended, for the thunder origin, and, this father has also comprehended a powerful skill from it, saying that, Li Yu mobilized his own spiritual energy, which boiled and hooked up with the power of thunder and lightning scattered in the world, gathering the two together, thunder descending, after Lu Yu broke through the B stage, the spiritual energy in his body was more than 10 times more powerful than before. If Lu Yu's spiritual energy was just a river before, it was now a large lake. The vast spiritual energy boiled and pulled the world's thunder and lightning power to gather in one place. Skill. Thunderfall. In an instant, with Lu Yu as the center of the circle, the sky within a radius of a hundred meters quickly gathered a thundercloud with flashes of electricity. At this moment, the firebird and the other ferocious beasts looked up at the sky, their faces changing greatly. They were able to clearly feel that a power not weaker than the previous thunder tribulation was brewing in the thunderclouds above their heads. Once this powerful energy blasted down, none of them would be able to escape. The firebird's heart spat madly, which person after crossing the thunder tribulation, turned the tribulation into their own skills ah, there is no mistake ah. Lu Yu was already powerful and invincible, and now he actually turned the lightning tribulation into his own skill. How can he let others play? Just as the firebird's mind was breaking up, the thunder in the thunderclouds suddenly erupted. In an instant, countless streaks of lightning exploded out from the thunderclouds and blasted towards the bottom. Looking closely, these thunderlights were densely packed, there was not a single gap at all, being within the range of the thunderclouds, it was impossible to have any space to dodge, apart from hard resistance, there was no other way. Just as the firebird and others were scared pale, those thunderlights were like they had eyes, they went around them and flowed elsewhere. Rumble. Rumble. Thunder washed the ground. Lu Yu waved his hand and instantly all the thunderlights and thunderclouds dissipated into thin air. It was only for such a short time, and even Lu Yu had cancelled the skill midway, but just the aftermath of the skill had destroyed everything within the entire diameter of a hundred meters, leaving only the cratered earth. The firebird and the others were dumbstruck, while Lu Yu's face remained unchanged, his heart was shocked. He had just broken through the B stage, and he didn't know much about his own strength, he had just simply activated his skills, and he didn't expect that just the aftermath would produce such a powerful force. Lu Yu was a little excited in his heart, the power of thunder descent just now had not even been utilized one-tenth, if he had exploded with all his might and catalyzed thunder descent with all his might, how powerful of a damage would it have inflicted? At this moment, Lu Yu only wanted to say, I am invincible, you are free to do as you please, your holiness is mighty. The seven ferocious beasts all bowed down in unison, each one looking at Lu Yu with eyes filled with fervor, itching to turn itself into a pendant on Lu Yu's leg. Your holiness, now that heaven and earth have just changed for the second time, you already have the strength of beast age, definitely one of the strongest fierce beasts in this world, together with our help, our strength is already considered to be at the top, I suggest that we should take advantage of this opportunity to expand the scope of our power, recruit more fierce beasts, and set up a force, what do you think? The firebird stepped forward and opened his mouth in a deep voice to suggest. Lu Yu smiled faintly, he had to say that this suggestion of the firebird could be said to be, deep in his mind. Nowadays, he only had a hundred or so evolution points left, plus the opening of the power panel required him to earn power points, so expanding outwards with his men was a complete must. Not bad, you're right, nowadays our forces, we are definitely at the top, we must strike out quickly and bring Jiangzhou under our control at the shortest possible speed. Lu Yu pondered for a little while and then set his goal. Firebird, you'll be responsible for the specific program, I only have one request, all the enemies that stand in our way, kill them all, and all the objects that can be subdued, all of them will be included within our forces. Yes, the Firebird's eyes lit up when he heard this. Firebird was originally a very ambitious and capable existence, originally she had planned to fight her own forces, but she did not expect to sink before she could get out, and had no choice but to submit to Lu Yu. I thought that after becoming Lu Yu's subordinate, I would have to listen to Lu Yu's orders and everything, and not be free, but I didn't realize that at the beginning, Lu Yu gave her a great deal of freedom. This made the Firebird's loyalty to Lu Yu increase rapidly. After receiving the order, the Firebird left with the seven ferocious beasts, and a moment later, Lu Yu saw that the seven ferocious beasts were divided into three teams and headed in three directions, while the Firebird was in charge of one direction all by herself. Attacking from all sides, not bad. Seeing that the Firebird was very reliable, Lu Yu nodded and brought the little white fox to the vicinity of the spirit pond. Brother, I want to go too. Lu Yu had originally thought of bringing the little white fox to soak in the spirit pool to stabilize his strength after his breakthrough, and secondly, to sort of boost the little white fox's strength. After all, to say who Lu Yu trusted the most right now, it was undoubtedly the little white fox. But the strength of the little white fox, not to mention the firebird, is that the seven beasts to take out a random, can beat the little white fox. I have to say, follow Lu Yu, small white fox although free from a lot of danger in fight, 
but her strength growth is also much slower, if it is the previous life, at the moment the small white fox is afraid to be able to rival the firebird, so in order for the little white fox to grow up early, Li Yu then planned to focus on cultivating it. Unexpectedly, before Lu Yu even opened his mouth, the little white fox pouted and opened his mouth. Where do you want to go? If they can do things for brother, I can also do things for brother, brother, let me go too, I will definitely be able to occupy a large area of land for you, and then find a lot of ferocious beasts for you to use as subordinates. The little white fox looked at Lu Yu, his eyes filled with determination. Lu Yu shook his head and laughed, patting the little white fox's head and asked, Why do you suddenly think like this? Why do you have to go with them to work hard? Is it not good to accompany me? But, I also want to be useful and share for my brother. Seeing little white fox's little expression of blaming himself for being useless, Liu smiled faintly and opened up, Little white, why do you think so? You have to know that the only one I trust the most, brother, is you, so how could I let you do those simple things? Brother I have an important mission for you. What mission? Shabai asked as his eyes lit up at the words. Think about it, brother I'm going to work hard on my cultivation, striving to ascend to a stronger rank, then I will naturally have very little time to manage those ferocious beasts, at this time, there is a need to have a very trustworthy person, to watch over those ferocious beasts for me, to ensure that they won't revolt, you say, besides you, who else can I ask to help me? The little white fox was thoughtful, brother, I understand, I will definitely not let you down. Be good, if you want to share my worries, you must first have the strength to overpower those ferocious beasts, so now, remove distractions and work hard to improve your strength. Good. The little white fox nodded, then listened to Lu Yu's instructions and jumped into the spirit pool. Looking at the little white fox that jumped into the spirit pool for cultivation, the war mangy bull, Xian feather divine eagle, ice flame dual headed wolf, and earth shaking armored beast that were on the side of the room, which acted as a backdrop, had envy filling their eyes. However, they didn't dare to say anything. After all, in the battle just now, as D stage strength, they could not even participate in the battle, not to mention helping Lu Yu, and could only watch from afar. On the contrary, Little White Fox, not only had she broken through to the sea stage, but despite her lack of strength, she still insisted on standing by Lu Yu's side to face those enemies together, and it was only right that she should be enjoying the baptism of the spirit pool at this moment. Lu Yu glanced at the four of them and said indifferently, why don't you roll over? When the four of them heard this, they immediately ran over to obey, we are not strong enough, please chastise your holiness. Chastisement? The enemy invaded, not only did you and the others not resist, but instead hid far away, to the point of making this honorable lord protect you in turn, then what use do I have for you? Lu Yu snorted coldly, revealing a little bit of mighty pressure that directly pressed on the four people. Although this bit of pressure was less than 1%, Liu was a B-rank beast, and this alone had already made the four tremble with fear, smelling the threat of death. We know that we are wrong, please forgive us, your holiness. Seeing that the four people admitted their mistakes with a good attitude, Liu withdrew his pressure, this time, it's just a matter of time, but if there's a next time, before killing the incoming enemy, I will definitely take your heads and sacrifice them to the flag. Lu Yu's tone was calm, but it was filled with killing intent. However, this matter was also indeed quite breathless. Although their strength, indeed, was not a match for the firebird and the others, but where was there a subordinate who hid and let the boss protect him? Was it Lu Yu who had found a few juniors, or were they the ones who had found Lu Yu as a bodyguard? If they hid when they encountered an enemy that they couldn't defeat and let Lu Yu protect them, then it would be fine if these juniors didn't want them. Alright, now I'll give you guys a chance to turn the tables, one person, one direction, attack on all sides, give me firm control of Little South Mountain, I can feel that the next period of time, Little South Mountain will be very lively. After Lu Yu said that, he waved his hand and let the four people leave. Although the strength of these four people was only at the D rank, but anyhow, they had also been in the Little South Mountain for some time and had some powerful demon kings under their hands, so it was considered to be a good idea to assign these things to them. After handling things, Lu Yu also entered the spirit pool to start stabilizing his realm. Lu Yu and the spirit pool did not actively absorb the spirit chi in the spirit pool, otherwise with her current beast age physique, she was afraid that she would be able to suck the entire spirit pool dry in minutes. North of Little South Mountain, the firebird spread its wings and flew high above the sky, and in its sharp gaze, it flashed past a tiny silhouette, like ants surging towards the Little South Mountain. The firebird sensed very clearly that these figures were all ferocious beasts that had sensed the aura of the spiritual pool of the Little South Mountain after the second aura revival and wanted to go in search of a chance. However, in the face of this surging beast dynasty, the firebird only laughed coldly. The world had changed greatly, and this moment was a time of great struggle, only by constantly occupying the first opportunity could one occupy the head resources of this world. Like these weak beasts below, they can only be discarded products in the flood of the times, eating shit can't even catch up with the heat, let alone grabbing resources. Let alone grabbing resources. 
The Firebird flew straight towards the downtown area of Zhengzhou City, not paying any attention to the ferocious beasts below. After all, the Sirank beasts in Zhengzhou City were almost ten of them, two of which were killed by Lu Yu, and the remaining eight were subdued by Lu Yu, so there were no D-rank or above in the vicinity of Zhengzhou. Among the ferocious beasts below, those belonging to the D-rank were few and far between, and they simply couldn't raise the interest of the Firebird. She now had only one goal in mind, and that was the city of Zhengzhou. Previously, Lu Yu had allowed them to control Zhengzhou City, but how could the ambitious Firebird be willing to be a puppet fighter that only did what it was told? Even if they were subservient to Lu Yu, they still had to show their roles and utilize their own initiative. Therefore, she had just used her overwhelming strength to force the remaining seven ferocious beasts to move forward in the other three directions, so that they would go to make a front stop and explore the situation, while she was only rushing to Zhengzhou City to complete the task that Lu Yu had explained to her. After she took control of Zhengzhou, it was estimated that the seven ferocious beasts had also sent the news back, and she was bound to go there personally at that time. Just a small Zhengzhou city, how could it be worthy of their eight C-rank fierce beasts and Lu Yu's status as a B-rank fierce beast? The speed of the Firebird was very fast, sweeping through the air in just an instant. Among the group that she considered to be mole crickets, Su Jingwa seemed to sense something and immediately had many warriors take cover and looked up into the sky. The existence of the Firebird was simply not something that Su Ai Jingwa could spy on, so Su Jingwa didn't see anything. Commander, what's wrong? The deputy asked softly. In the deputy's opinion, the team that had gathered 10 second-order genetic warriors as well as 990 first-order genetic warriors was strong, but along the way, Su Jingguo was becoming more and more cautious, which made the deputy very puzzled. Su Jingguo shook his head and did not explain too much, only the sense of crisis that lingered in his heart was vaguely getting stronger. This was an ability that Su Jingguo suddenly possessed after awakening a skill that belonged to him, being able to roughly feel the crisis. The more he walked towards Shaonan Mountain, the sense of crisis in his heart grew stronger and stronger. Looking at the Shaonan Mountain that was close at hand, it was like a lurking beast that chose to devour people. In this instant, Su Jingwa actually had the urge to turn his head and leave Little South Mountain, far away. Taking a deep breath, Su Jingwa suppressed the thought of fleeing in his heart. At this moment, it was a time of crisis for mankind, and the Scientific Research Institute was still waiting for them to bring back more corpses of ferocious beasts, so how could he back off just because of some sense of crisis? Besides, as the old saying goes, a crisis is also an opportunity, as long as it is disposed of properly, the stronger the sense of crisis, the more lucrative the rewards it represents. Let everyone be more vigilant. Su Jingbo opened his mouth, but before he could finish his words, he was interrupted by a cry of alarm. Enemy attack. Su Jingbo hurriedly looked towards the direction where the sound came from, only to see three huge boars rampaging into the group. These three boars already had the strength of the Yi rank, it was not something that those F-rank first-rank genetic warriors could easily withstand, in just a few breaths, there were a few people who were knocked away and fell hard on the ground, it looked like they would not be able to survive. Bold. Su Jingwa's eyes were red. These warriors were all elites who had gone through the screening of genetic potions and eventually survived, not expecting to be killed by three boars in a sneak attack before they even participated in the battle. Su Jingwa was just about to make a move when he saw the second-order genetic warriors and the team charging straight at the three boars. Second order genetic warriors, similar to Su Jingwa who could reach D order strength, were completely unique, and the rest were all E order strength. Ten people surrounded the three boars, and the battle erupted in an instant. Su Jingwa put aside the anger in his heart and didn't make a move, but only looked at the ten people attacking the three boars with full concentration. Although those who were able to become genetic warriors were all elites, but after all, the injection time was too short, many people had not fully adapted to their strength, and only seven or eight out of ten of their strength could be utilized. Therefore, now was a good opportunity to practice, and Su Jingwa naturally would not intervene. The ten second order fighters were still a bit rusty at first, and didn't work well together, and even in one or two moments, they were nearly injured by the boar seizing the opportunity. However, all of them were also elite fighters before, and quickly familiarized themselves with the new fighting pattern. A few moments later, three boars were finished off without any danger. Su Jingwa breathed a sigh of relief and was somewhat relieved in his heart. Pass the order down, have the logistics people bring back the fallen fighters for a proper burial, and send these three boars to the research center. After the battle was over, although the three E-rank ferocious beast corpses were worth rejoicing over as trophies, everyone was not happy. This was because there were a full nine warriors who had just been sacrificed under the boar's sneak attack. Cheer up and keep going. Seeing that everyone was a bit sad, Su Jingguo opened his mouth to say something to comfort them, but in the end, he simply gave the order. The group moved forward in silence. As they got closer and closer to the little southern mountain, the number of ferocious beasts they encountered increased. However, with the previous experience, the group's vigilance was extremely high, and there were basically no incidents of being sneak attacked. 
It was not until they had killed a total of 132 F rank beasts and 17 E rank beasts that the entire group encountered the first D rank beast that had appeared on this trip. It was a large goat. Goats were originally herbivores, their character was not docile, but they did not have any active aggressiveness. However, the goat in front of them, which exuded a D-stage aura, had red eyes, and a pair of eyes with a murderous aura staring at their party. In front of the goat, there was the corpse of a wolf, which had been disemboweled, and was in an extremely miserable state of death. Obviously, this wolf only had the strength of E-step, bumping into the hands of this D-step goat, and was directly abused. And now, the next target of the tyrannical goat was these human genetic warriors. Without the slightest hesitation, Su Jingwa directly came to the forefront of the group, his eyes tightly staring at the goat. Nearly a thousand people, other than him, no one was a match for the goat. The goat let out a low roar and charged straight towards Su Jingwa. Skill. Military soul. Su Jingwa didn't dare to be careless and directly used the only skill that belonged to him. In a flash, a light erupted from Su Jingwa's body, covering all the warriors. Battle. 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 The entire army was as if they had taken stimulants, and one by one, their combat power was enhanced by 10%. Among them, naturally, Su Jingwa, who was the commander, was also included. Su Jingwa, who had received the enhancement, took a deep breath and blasted out a fist towards the goat. At the same time, the rest of the fighters retreated and formed a circle formation to encircle the goat and Su Jingwa, and then one by one, they all escaped with their specialized thermal weapons and started shooting at the goat. Since they had formed a circle, at any given moment, there was always someone who could. To go around Su Jingwa's position to shoot towards the goats, although this weapon did not cause serious damage to the goats, the goats that were attacked would always be affected. Su Jingwa's strength was not bad, he was able to fight the goat with his own strength alone, and with the help of the fighters, he directly pressed the goat to the ground. The goat was furious and wanted to go and finish off the warriors who were interfering with him, but he was dragged down by Su Jingwa to death. As time passed a little, the wounds on the goat's body became more and more numerous, and its breath gradually withered. At the end of the day, Su Jingwa saw his chance and punched out, directly blasting the goat to the ground. Winner! The commander is mighty! We've killed a D-stage ferocious beast! The surrounding warriors watched as the goat's breath dissipated, and each of them blared and shouted in excitement. This was entirely the first time that humans had killed a D-ranked ferocious beast since they had been fighting against ferocious beasts for such a long time. Looking at the cheering crowd, Su Jingwa also breathed a sigh of relief, his heart somewhat agitated, he also did not expect that he would actually be able to hunt and kill a deranked ferocious beast, even though this ferocious beast seemed to have fought a great battle before and still had wounds on its body. Pass the order to send this goat's corpse and that wolf's corpse back to the institute immediately. Su Jingwa immediately spoke. Boom. The words had just fallen, before anyone could accept the order, suddenly a figure descended from the sky and landed beside the goat, and under the incitement of its wings, everyone present immediately tumbled over, even Su Jingwa had difficulty resisting, directly taking three steps back in a row. Su Jingwa looked with a horrified expression, only to see that what appeared on the field was a giant eagle that emitted a powerful aura. At this moment, Su Jingwa was in a bit of a trance, in a trance he seemed to see that golden-colored eagle. Climbing to his feet, Su Jingwa's face was extremely serious, he was able to feel the powerful aura emanating from the Xin Yu Divine Eagle, it was an aura that belonged to the D-stage, and it was several times more powerful than the goat from before. Initially, he was not an opponent at all. The Shen Yu Divine Eagle was very satisfied with the fearful expressions of these people when they faced him, which allowed him to slightly ease the panic in his heart after watching Lu Yu fight with ten C-rank beasts. Facing the human beings who were like enemies, the Shen Yu Divine Eagle didn't put the slightest bit in its eyes, spreading its wings and directly rushing towards Su Jingwa. Su Jingwa wanted to resist, but because of the huge difference in strength, he was defeated by the Shen Yu Divine Eagle in a single move. Seeing the Xian Yu Divine Eagle's sharp claws with cold light is only three inches away from his own throat, Su Jingwa sighed in his heart, my life is over. However, in the next instant, the severe pain Su Jingwa had imagined did not come, instead, he felt his shoulder being grabbed, and in the next moment, his entire body was carried up into the air. Commander was captured. Save the commander. For a moment, the human warriors were in chaos, some wanted to rush up to save Su Jingwa, but the Xian Feather Divine Eagle snorted disdainfully and coldly, and under the incitement of its wings, it directly blew over everyone. In the next instant, the Xin Feather Divine Eagle took Su Jingguo and flew up into the sky with its wings, and its figure disappeared in a matter of moments. Vice Commander, what should we do? The warriors were a bit flustered, and one by one, they all landed their eyes on the Vice Commander. The Deputy Commander took a deep breath and said, All first rank warriors, return to the Institute with the corpses of the goat and the wolf, and the rest of the second rank warriors will join me and go after Commander Su. Yes. Su Jingwa who was led by Xian Yu Divine Eagle was puzzled in his heart, not knowing where the other party was going to take himself to, during which he was still thinking of resisting, 
but he couldn't escape Xian Yu Divine Eagle's control at all. After a while, the Xian Yu Divine Eagle brought Su Jingguo down. Su Jingguo looked around and saw a familiar figure. Commander Su Wright, do you want to talk about a business with me? Lu Yu spoke faintly. Su Jingguo's pupils shrunk slightly. Even he who had experienced great storms was shocked beyond words at this moment. The ferocious beast actually spoke. This simply overturned Su Jingguo's three views. Although humans had anticipated the matter of ferocious beasts possessing super high IQs and powerful strengths after they evolved, they had not expected that one day, ferocious beasts would actually open their mouths to speak. Commander Su, there's no need to be nervous, I think, you should recognize me, we should have met quite a few times. Facing the dumbfounded Su Jingwa, Lu Yu spoke once again. Lu Yu also knew very well in his heart that the shock caused by humans in the last life after they first discovered that ferocious beasts could actually speak was also subversive. A moment later, Su Jingwa, who had finally eased his mind, took a deep breath and said, This Mr. Golden Eagle, I don't know what kind of business you want to do with me when you send someone to capture me? An appreciation flashed in Lu Yu's eyes. He had thought that Su Jingwa's acceptance should be able to accept conversations with ferocious beasts, but he had still underestimated the other party's acceptance. In just a few moments, he was actually able to calm down. Not only was he able to communicate with Lu Yu, but he was also able to calmly continue Lu Yu's topic. There's no rush, although it's a bit presumptuous to invite you here as Commander Su out of necessity, I do so with sincerity. In order to show my sincerity, I am willing to tell you something first, something about the revival of the heaven and earth's aura and the great change in the ferocious beasts, I wonder if you, Commander Su, would be interested? Hearing Lu Yu's words, the eyes of Su Jingwa, who had already forced himself to calm down, lit up. At this moment, although his safety was uncertain, being captured by the fierce beast Xian Feather Divine Eagle, facing Lu Yu, a fierce beast whose strength could not be seen at all, it could be said that he was in incomparable danger. At this moment, Su Jingwu was completely prepared to make a sacrifice. Now that he had the opportunity to probe for some news, he naturally could not miss it. If Mr. Golden Eagle is willing to tell me, I am naturally all ears. Su Jingwu cupped his fists and said. Lu Yu nodded, then waved his wings, and all of a sudden, a spiritual force erupted, directly blasting on a stone not far away. Su Jingwu was startled, he thought that Lu Yu was temperamental and was going to make a move to kill him. At the same time, he also felt the powerful aura of a spiritual chi that Lu Yu had casually struck. If this spiritual power were to bombard him, he was afraid that it would instantly reduce him to nothingness. However, it was such a powerful spiritual energy that after it blasted onto that ordinary boulder, Su Jingwa's eyes widened as a delicate chair appeared directly on top of that boulder, and there were even carved patterns on it. Breaking that boulder with a single strike was simple, but to do so showed that the control of spiritual energy was already so powerful that Su Jingwa could not comprehend it. Commander Su, please take a seat. Lu Yu said indifferently. Su Jingwa thanked him and then sat down. First of all, I would like to tell you, Commander Su, that there is no need to call me Mr. Golden Eagle, I have given myself a human name called Lu Yu, and you can address me by that name. After Lu Yu sent the Xin Feather Divine Eagle away, he spoke to Su Jingwa alone, and he opened his mouth to say his name. The thing called name was not important in the Fierce Beast realm, where Fierce Beasts valued titles more. But when you get along with humans, you naturally need a name. Of course, a name was needed. Lu Yu? Good name. Su Jingwa said politely. Commander Su is too kind. Let's talk first. How do you think about the world after the aura recovery? Hearing Lu Yu's words, Su Jingwa's mind flashed to the human beings who were massacred by the ferocious beasts after the aura recovery, and he instantly clenched his fists as he struck at his comrades who had died in these several battles with the ferocious beasts. Seeing that Su Jingwa did not say a word, Lu Yu opened his own mouth. Before the recovery of Aura, human beings were the masters of this planet, standing at the peak of the world, deciding the fate of the animals recklessly, but after the recovery of Aura, the ferocious beasts mutated, the power of human beings in front of the powerful ferocious beasts is not worth mentioning, I am afraid that the casualties of human beings should be quite a lot in such a short period of time. Su Jingwa suddenly stood up and said with a straight face, that's right, since the appearance of the fierce beasts, human beings have suffered heavy damages under the massacre of the fierce beasts, but we human beings will not be defeated by the fierce beasts, even though we human beings are not able to obtain the fierce beast-like power amidst the recovery of the spiritual chi, we will not yield to the fierce beasts, and we will keep on resisting until human beings are able to resist the fierce beasts' power. Mr. Lu, what exactly are you looking for me for? Tell me straight, if you want to be detrimental to humans through me, then you are playing the wrong game, you might as well just kill me directly, no need to waste time. Seeing Su Jingwa suddenly agitated, Lu Yu but went forward, with spiritual power to Su Jingwa pressed back to the chair, spoke, there is no need to be agitated, you have to know that the ferocious beasts are not all the same, not all ferocious beasts, will be the enemy of human beings. There are certainly ferocious beasts that massacre humans after obtaining power, 
but there are also ferocious beasts like me that maintain goodwill towards humans, commanders who should still remember, right, I have saved many humans many times. Hearing this, Su Jinhua calmed down. Indeed, Lu Yu's words were right, there were so many ferocious beasts under the sky, not all of them were hostile to humans, there were also some of them, which had no feelings towards humans, as long as humans did not take the initiative to harass them, the other party would not strike out at them. Similarly, then there might also be fierce beasts that maintained goodwill towards humans, such as Lu Yu. Mr. Lu has previously made many moves, so I, Su, would like to thank you here. Commander Su is polite, what I want to tell Commander Su is that nowadays, the heaven and earth have changed greatly, although humans have not gained great power from it, it doesn't mean that humans have been abandoned by the heaven and earth, humans still possess great potential, that's why I'm looking for you to come here, to talk about a business deal with you humans. Please also be straightforward, Mr. Lu, what kind of business do you want to do with us? I want, Zhang Zhou City. No way. When Su Jinghua heard Lu Yu's request, he immediately rejected it out of hand. Just kidding, Zhangzhou City was not a small city, it was a city with a permanent population of more than 10 million people, how could such a huge city be handed over to a ferocious beast, even if this ferocious beast didn't seem to have any malicious intent? Commander Su doesn't need to be nervous, listen to me first. Nowadays, the ferocious beasts are all starting to mutate and evolve one by one, and out of instinct, when they are strong to a certain extent, they will start to occupy territory. And I, today's strength is already B rank, such strength, occupying the entire Jiangzhou city, no one or ferocious beasts can stop me, but I do not want to cause you humans to die or be injured, so I hope to pass some peaceful means. Before Lu Yu could finish his sentence, Su Jinghua interrupted, Mr. Lu, I admit that your strength is indeed very strong, however, as a beast age powerhouse as you said, could you have ever heard that we humans have a powerful weapon called a nuclear bomb? Under nuclear leveling, all beings are equal. Lu Yu's face did not change at all when he heard this. Nuclear bombs, as humanity's top killing weapon, brought humanity an infinite bottom line. It was the same in the previous life, although after the recovery of Aura, human beings were always at a disadvantage when facing powerful beasts, but human beings actually looked down on beasts at all in their hearts, believing that when push came to shove, they would directly nuke the level, and no matter what kind of beasts they were, they would all have to kneel down. However, this idea was soon broken, the appearance of the first B-rank beasts, so that humans know how naive this idea in the end. B-rank, can already completely get rid of the threat of nuclear bombs. In his previous life, that B-rank beast had attacked humanity head-on, and humanity had directly dropped a nuclear level under heavy damage. The beast was obviously not clear about what nuclear leveling was, and was directly hit head-on, but the nuclear leveling that was carried out at a huge cost did not manage to finish off the B-order beast, but only wounded it. After that, but all B-rank beasts, will not be positive nuclear bomb, they have the sense to dodge the case, no more nuclear leveling can be hit positively. Thus the biggest bottom of the human heart was completely shattered, and only then did the human race begin to fall into a panic under the rule of ferocious beasts. Facts proved that there was no way for the nuclear level to cause damage to the B-rank beasts. It was because of this that Lu Yu sought out Su Jinghua after the B-stage to begin the first contact with humans. Commander Su, I'm well aware of the power of the nuclear flat, but do you think that it can really help me? Lu Yu let out a light laugh, seeing Su Jingwa's disbelieving expression, he did not say anything, directly intending to show his power with his actions. In the next instant, the thunder descent under the full force outburst unfolded. Although it was only a single shot, the heavenly might contained within it was so vast that it directly frightened Su Jingwa. I think that Commander Su was in a high position, so he should be clear about the power of the nuclear flat, so that instant just now, how does Commander Su feel it compares to the nuclear flat? Su Jingguo was in a bit of a trance, in that instant, what he felt was far more than just a life and death crisis, but a kind of trembling that originated from his soul. He had once been the one to face a nuclear level straight on, and was well aware of its power, but in this instant, he felt the same pressure that suffocated people. Su Jingguo did not have the time to judge who was stronger or weaker than the nuclear flat, but he knew very well that if Lu Yu ran to Jiangzhou City and used this move, no one in Jiangzhou City would be able to survive. Taking a deep breath, Su Jingguo opened his mouth, Mr. Lu, I admit that you are very strong, but it is impossible for us to hand over Jiangzhou City to a ferocious beast like you, humans can never submit, and will never accept slavery, so I advise you to put this idea to rest. Lu Yu saw that this Su Jingguo was not getting any more oil and salt, so he simply said directly, don't worry, I am not interested in enslaving you humans, what I need is just for everyone in Jiangzhou City to declare their submission to me, while I will shelter Jiangzhou City from other fierce beasts. Understanding Su Jingwa's stubborn thoughts, Lu Yu simply did not let him open his mouth to refuse, and directly said, you don't have to refuse either, I believe that whether it's a yes or a no, in reality, you can't make the decision at all, so you just need to report my sincerity truthfully, and let the one who can make the decision, people to think about it. 
After saying that, Liu directly called the Xin Yu Divine Eagle and instructed, the ten warriors under Commander Su's command are coming in this direction, find a few of your men and bring them to Jiangzhou City, and remember, you have to personally send Commander Su back. Mr. Liu. Su Xingwa still wanted to declare that the human beings would absolutely not submit, but Liu Yu was not happy to listen at all and directly asked the Xin Yu Divine Eagle to take him away. Looking at Su Jingwa who was forced to take him away, Li Yu smiled faintly, Commander Su, you have to know that you are not the only one amongst the humans, often more people, who are greedy, are unlikely to refuse me, I look forward to you coming again. On the other hand, the Xin Feather Divine Eagle took Su Jingwa away from where Li Yu was and came to his previous territory, casually calling out ten flying birds of varying species, each and every one of them a peak East Age existence. With its minions in tow, the Xin Feather Divine Eagle quickly found the Vice Commander and the other ten people who had come to look for Su Jingwa. Commander, are you all right? The vice commander called out excitedly when he saw Su Jingwa, and then saw the Xian Yu Divine Eagle and the Ten Minions, and immediately acted as if they were enemies. Especially when he saw that it was Su Jingwa who came with Xian Yu Divine Eagle and the others, the vice commander's heart even wondered for a split second if Su Jingwa had defected to the enemy. Enemy attack, prepare for battle. The vice commander couldn't think too long, looking at the ten E-ranked fierce beasts rushing over, he immediately gave a near cry. Su Jingbo understood that these ferocious beasts were not hostile, they were only here to send them back to Jiangzhou, fearing that the warriors would be injured under the battle with them, he immediately spoke, do not resist, they have no malicious intent. However, at this moment, the vice commander and the other ten were tacitly not listening to Su Jingbo's words, and the battle instantly erupted. The ten ferocious beasts were all at the peak of E-step, on the contrary, the ten warriors were only at the beginning of E-step, the battle was completely crushing, and it was over right at the beginning. The end result was that the ten warriors were listlessly grabbed by the ten warriors and flew towards Jungjo after the Xian Yu Divine Eagle. Meanwhile, the deputy commander and the others looked at Su Jingwa with eyes that were clearly not quite right. A few moments later, when Su Jingwa and the others arrived in Jungjo City, they saw a scene that made them tremble with fear. A huge flying bird with flames burning on its body galloped in the sky above Jungjo City, and underneath it were countless loaded warriors, as if they were on the verge of an enemy. Seeing this, Su Jingwei immediately struggled up, intending to go to support it immediately, but under the control of the Xuanfei Divine Eagle, there was no way to escape. Just as he was worried, he realized that the Xian Feather Divine Eagle gave a light cry towards that flame flaming bird, and then that flame bird actually collected the flames on its own body and flew over. You're that little eagle under the Venerable Lord's command? What are you doing here? What's going on with these people? The fire bird asked with some curiosity at the sight. The Xian Feather Divine Eagle was obviously a bit scared when facing the Sea Stage Firebird, and immediately told the Firebird what Liu had said, the Firebird sniffed and looked at Su Jingwa disdainfully, your holiness is too high on these human beings, if you want to rule over the city of Jiangzhou, why would you need their consent, see, just now, if it wasn't for the instructions of your holiness, I would have completely been able to burn the city of Jiangzhou directly into ashes, however, since Venerable Lord has orders, then I naturally won't disobey them. Saying that, the Firebird stared at Su Jingwa and said, Humans, since Exalted Lord is willing to play with you, then I hope that you won't be ungrateful, if you dare to reject Exalted Lord's good intentions and annoy Exalted Lord, I'll definitely incinerate your Jiangzhou city to the ground. Su Jingwa hadn't seen the Firebird before, but the aura it displayed was too terrifying, like a fiery cloud that burned the heavens, and just by being close to it, one could feel a scorching hot aura coming from it. It was hard to imagine what kind of terrifying killing power it would cause once it struck. Whether it was himself or the entire Jiangzhou city, I'm afraid it would be plunged into a sea of fire. Fortunately, this firebird should be completely obedient to Lu Yu. After threatening himself, it gradually gathered its breath and did not strike at the warriors poised below. I will wait here for your news, your holiness patience is limited, this matter will be confirmed as soon as possible, otherwise everyone in Jiangzhou city will be killed without pardon. The firebird finally said coldly before signaling the Xian Feather Divine Eagle to bring Su Jingguo and the others into Jiangzhou city as soon as possible. Working for Lu Yu for the first time, the Firebird naturally hoped to gain Lu Yu's attention, so its words were very heavy and did not give Su Jingguo and the others the slightest bit of face. After all, it was the best of the sea stage ferocious beasts, and if it wasn't for Lu Yu's orders, she wouldn't even look at these people in the eye. The Firebird's domineering and cold attitude made Su Jingguo's internal pressure a few times heavier. The pressure that Lu Yu had brought to him before had already made his heart feel like it was weighing down a huge stone and now this firebird under Lu Yu's command was also unimaginably powerful, and even extremely murderous. He couldn't help but think of Lu Yu's confidence when he faced his mention of nuclear bombs, as well as that sky-destroying running thunder, if he didn't follow Lu Yu's wishes, he didn't even dare to continue imagining it. It was also at this moment that the Xian Feather Divine Eagle violently lifted its wings and drifted down to Jiangzhou City with Su Jingguo and the others, not intending to delay for even a moment. What a terrifying aura! 
another bird of prey has come, on guard. The many warriors who already had their hearts in their throats subconsciously gripped the firearms in their hands, and there were also quite a few warriors who squinted one eye and shouldered their bazookas to aim at the Xianyu Divine Eagle. As long as the commanding ambassador gave the order, they would quickly launch an attack. Wait. The people amongst the eagle's claws seemed to be Commander Su and the others. The deputy commanding envoy, Dojin, who was responsible for commanding all the warriors in this place suddenly had his pupils shrink slightly, and a slight look of dismay appeared on his face. Su Jingguo was his superior, and was also a genetic warrior that they knew had been injected with genetic potions twice, and his strength had already undergone a qualitative change long ago, and was enough to fight against the ferocious beasts. But now, he, along with those genetic warriors, seemed to have been captured alive by this flying eagle that kept approaching over. Under the shocked gazes of Zhoujin and the others, the Xin Feather Divine Eagle that was about to land opened its sharp claws and threw Su Jingguo and the others to the ground. General Su, is it really you guys? Getting closer, Zhoujin confirmed more and more that these people were Su Jingguo and the others, rushing up to them and surveying their bodies with concern. What's going on with this ferocious beast? The other warriors quickly gathered around Su Jingguo and the others, looking at the Xian Feather Divine Eagle with a wary expression. This Xian Feather Divine Eagle was just above their heads, and the oppressive feeling that came to their faces was like releasing a silver needle into their scalps, causing their palms holding their weapons to sweat. As the warriors stationed at the city gates these days, it wasn't that they hadn't seen ferocious beasts before, however, the fear that this ferocious beast brought them an unprecedented amount of fear. Looking at Zhoujin and the other's wary expressions, Su Jingguo was worried that their outbursts had angered the Xian Feather Divine Eagle, and quickly spoke, this fierce beast won't strike out at us for the time being, he's just sending us back. Zhoujin and the others were stunned, they had only heard of ferocious beasts feeding on people and causing many plagues everywhere, what did this ferocious beast mean by sending them back? However, they all trusted Commander Su, and it was also true that this fierce beast did not look hostile, it just looked down on them from above. This matter is a long story. First follow me to see the city chief, the sky of Jiangzhou city, may have to change. Su Jingguo didn't say anything more, his face was unprecedentedly grave. Because regardless of whether or not the top agreed to Lu Yu's request, Jiangzhou city would never be calm again. Zhou Jin is still the first time to see such a look from Su Jingguo's face, inwardly immediately have a bad feeling. However, seeing that Su Jingguo did not intend to go into details, he did not pursue the matter and immediately took Su Jin over to the underground fortress where the head of the city was located. Nowadays, the ferocious beasts were getting more and more rampant, and for the sake of safety period, the underground fortresses in many places were also activated. What did you say? The fierce beasts want to rule Jiangzhou city? Inside the underground fortress, a middle-aged man with white hair, stared at Su Jingguo in front of him with wide eyes full of shock, wondering if he had heard something wrong. The ferocious beasts had actually coveted Jiangzhou city, making them cede it to them? Even though the aura was reviving nowadays and all sorts of light and strange things were springing up, this was still one of the things he found most absurd. Li Chanan's reaction was completely within Su Jingwa's expectations, and he could understand the city head's feelings at this moment. When he heard Liu Yu mention this matter at that time, it was also like a dream. However, unlike Li Chanan, the city head, he had seen how powerful Liu Yu was. Whether it was his aura or the thunder that roamed the sky, it had left an indelible impression on him. Liu Yu's power was beyond his imagination. Su Jingguo sighed, his brows furrowed deeply, I know that this matter is unthinkable, but this is a request made by that ferocious beast that claims to have been Lu Yu, his strength is unfathomable, the two ferocious beasts that have just circled around Jiangzhou city are also ferocious beasts under his command, the immediate task now must be to notify the state elder and the others, and discuss countermeasures. Looking at Su Jingguo's serious and even slightly despairing expression, Li Chang'an felt more than a hint of horror in his heart. He was well aware of Su Jingguo's power being the only person who had injected genetic potions twice and awakened his supernatural abilities at the moment. It could be said that he was currently the strongest person amongst humans, yet every time he mentioned Lu Yu, there was clearly an undisguised scorn and fear in his eyes. Most importantly, through this matter, the ferocious beasts had not only awakened a powerful strength in the aura recovery, but also awakened a not-so-low level of intelligence. If the ferocious beasts were simply powerful, it was fine, after all, since ancient times, humans were not the most powerful animals, but rather relied on their intelligence to win, creating a variety of weapons to deal with various situations. But if the ferocious beasts had also awakened their intelligence, together with their powerful strength, it would simply be like a tiger with wings. These days he had specialized in understanding the ferocious beasts, most of the ferocious beasts were still ferocious and murderous, acting according to their instincts, without much wisdom. However, if that Lu Yu really had not low intelligence, then this matter would be even more tricky. Even though that Lu Yu mentioned that he would not strike at the people in the city, he did not trust the assurance of a ferocious beast. However, when he thought of the video footage transmitted by Zhou Jin, who was stationed at the entrance of the city not long ago, 
he felt a tingle in his scalp. That crimson firebird hovering over Jiangzhou city had brought the fear of doom to everyone in the city just by cruising around for a week. Even more so, it made him cringe in his bones, and he hastily mobilized all of his armed forces and gathered outside the city to prevent the ferocious beast from attacking. And looking at Su Jingua, that ferocious beast that was so powerful that it exceeded his cognizance was still just a member of Lu Yu's command. How powerful would the fierce beast that called itself Lu Yu be? After all, the point that the weak is strong and the strong eats the strong, amongst the ferocious beasts is even more reflected Lingli, without absolute strength, it must be impossible to bring these ferocious beasts under his command. The more he thought about it, the more uneasily Chang'an's heart became, and after pondering for a long time with his brows locked tightly, he didn't think of any countermeasures. They knew too little about the fierce beasts, and even less about the fierce beasts being as powerful as they were. General Su Yu have worked hard all the way back, first sit down and rest, I will immediately report this situation up, at that time the state elders side should quickly contact you. In the end he decided to report this matter up. At present the strength of strong and not low IQ ferocious beasts, take the initiative to contact them, this is still the first time he knows of, the impact is far reaching, and he cannot deal with it. However, the recovery of aura and the awakening of ferocious beasts had already been the most concerned and emphasized matter in the whole country. The state elders side should make an assessment based on the strength and threat of the ferocious beasts. Su Jingwa nodded and seemed to have thought of something, adding, when you report back, mention in passing that the ferocious beast seems to know a lot about nuclear bombs, and doesn't look afraid at all. Upon hearing this, Li Chang'an froze slightly, then his face became even more grave. That Lu Yu had a not so low level of intelligence, it shouldn't be making empty promises, if it was true that even nuclear bombs didn't work on him, Li Chang'an couldn't continue to imagine it. At that moment, he picked up the red phone on his office work as fast as he could and respectfully called it. And Su Jingwa, after a little thought, hurriedly took out his cell phone, and sent all the recent video screens about Lu Yu, all organized and processed, one handle to Li Chang'an. He is not the first time to see Lu Yu, can be said to have witnessed the growth of Lu Yu all the way, just did not expect his growth speed fast to the point of unbelievable. Kyoto, inside the Great Hall. Most of the country's top talents from all walks of life, as well as big names that were important to the country, had gathered here. There were also quite a few experts and scholars who couldn't make it here in time to participate in this conference through video. Through satellite observation, the number of ferocious beasts within the waters of the East Sea has skyrocketed tenfold, the sea level has risen as a result, and many people in the coastal areas have been attacked by ferocious beasts, and the warriors, bathed in blood, are powerless to resist, and are retreating. The number of ferocious beasts in the major inland regions has increased significantly, and their strength has also changed qualitatively, according to the preliminary research of the relevant scholars, for the time being, according to the difficulty in dealing with the ferocious beasts, the ferocious beasts are categorized into nine grades, from the lowest level of the F order to the highest level of the SSS order. Currently, conventional weapons can only deal with F rank beasts, and heavy weapons can barely deal with A rank beasts. Rises, the difficulty of dealing with ferocious beasts, regardless of any weapon, rises greatly. According to the experts' speculations, if the aura outbreak continues and the ferocious beasts continue to grow, I'm afraid that at the later stage, even our most powerful weapon, the nuclear bomb, will not be able to harm the ferocious beasts. Listening to the news collected and reported by many experts and scholars, the faces of everyone in the Great Hall became increasingly ugly. Previously, during the first aura recovery, they weren't that worried, after all, most of those ferocious beasts could be solved with hot or heavy weapons. Although there was a threat, and it had caused an unintelligible level of chaos in various places, at that time, they still felt that it could be controlled, and they had also stabilized people's hearts through live broadcasts. However, as they began to take on clearing out the ferocious beasts everywhere, they gradually realized that something was wrong. As time passed, fewer and fewer ferocious beasts could be killed by them with hot and heavy weapons, and the casualties of the warriors in charge of the purges became heavier and heavier. Especially after the second aura eruption not long ago, the news coming from all over the world were almost all clear calls for help as well as ferocious beasts rioting, and conventional weapons were already difficult to inflict damage on the ferocious beasts. By this point, they all panicked and wanted to brainstorm and discuss countermeasures at this conference. The beasts are growing too fast, if this continues, it won't be long until the end of mankind. Sitting in the first place, a Zhangshan suit of Li Guolao, ignoring the following discussion of the crowd, he flipped through the secretary urgently brought over the documents, already full of wrinkles on the face, first more than a touch of joy, but soon replaced by more wrinkles. Gentlemen. Elderly gently clapped his palms, signaling the crowd to be quiet. Immediately, everyone in the assembly hall stopped talking and looked up at him, immediately getting a bad feeling in their hearts when they saw the unmistakable sorrow between his brows. After everyone quieted down, Li Guolao raised the urgent document in his hand and, 
News has just come in from Jiangzhou City, Elder Zhao, who studies biological science, has researched the second generation of the gene potion and has conducted experiments on General Su and the others, clearly showing that it is able to further enhance the strength of our warriors, roughly comparable to East Age demonic beasts, and that there has been a qualitative leap in both safety and reliability. Hearing this, the crowd, who had just been heavily worried, couldn't help but show a look of ecstasy on their faces. Elder Zhao has developed a second generation gene potion so quickly, and it's also comparable to we rank demonic beasts, Elder Zhao is truly a blessing for my Huaxia. However, we can't be too happy too early, the demonic beasts are still continuing to grow, there are already D-ranked demonic beasts appearing one after another all over the place, there are even extremely rare C-ranked demonic beasts, the research of the gene potion needs to be further accelerated. Many people were relieved, the development of the gene potion allowed them all to see the hope of fighting against the demonic beasts. Only, there were many others who looked at Elder Li's still serious demeanor, and their hearts were still tense. Elder Zhao has made a great achievement for my Huaxia, and has also found a new path for my Huaxia, this is a good thing. It's just that Jiangzhou city is being targeted by the ferocious beasts, Li Guolao's tone was heavy. Then the news that Lu Yu wanted Jiangzhou city as a stronghold, as mentioned by Li Chanan, was slowly spoken, most of which were Sujing was original words. On the large screen inside the assembly hall, a video screenshot of Lu Yu flying high in the air also surfaced with it, his golden feathered wings taking up most of the screen, bringing about a sense of oppression that was full of pressure. A mere ferocious beast also wants my human city. As soon as many generals heard what Guolao Li had said, they got up and stood up in a huff, slapping the table in front of them, and said with determination, Zhangzhou city must not be handed over to that ferocious beast, even if the strength of that beast is unfathomable, so what? Nowadays, we also have genetic potions, if we intensify our research, we can't say that we will be able to create a third generation of potions that will be enough to fight against it. Their attitude was very resolute, even if nowadays the ferocious beasts are rebelling all over the place, and it has already begun to be difficult to calm down, but the practice of giving the city to the ferocious beasts is something that they can't accept. Many of the researchers present were calmer, and after realizing that Lu Yu could spit out human words, and even that the ferocious beasts under his command could also spit out human words, extremely unpleasant thoughts welled up in their hearts. According to their previous speculation and research on ferocious beasts, ferocious beasts that could spit out human words were not only mentally intelligent, but their strength was even more terrifying, reaching at least C stage. The current second generation gene potion could at most produce E class, or second class, gene warriors, and there was an unimaginably huge gap between them and the C class. They were, at the moment, still far from being able to fight against such a ferocious beast. Furthermore, the fact that Gualali took the initiative to mention this matter, and did not veto or approve of it, further indicated that this matter was not simple, and must not be simply agreed or rejected. Gualao, is there any relevant information on that ferocious beast? An academician pushed the thick lens that was set on his nose and inquired. The fact that that ferocious beast took the initiative to find Su Jingwa to mention this matter indicated that it did not intend to take it by force, and that he might not be that hostile to the human race. On the contrary, at a time when their human race was weak, flipping out with that fierce beast with unfathomable strength would not only be extremely dangerous for Jiangzhou city, it would also cut off the opportunity to further understand the fierce beast. Li Guolao nodded slightly, he had also thought of this point before, and immediately had the secretary behind him click on the video and do the explanation. The information about this their demonic beast is very comprehensive in our current database, when the aura first erupted, it was once captured by the live broadcast, it was very powerful, and several subsequent live broadcasts have also captured his figure. The video screen played in chronological order, almost all of which were images of Lu Yu striking out and cleanly exterminating other demonic beasts. Gorgeous ice crystals, ghostly figures, and terrifying killing power. Flashed by one by one, hitting the heart. Even if the crowd present had already seen many images of demonic beasts killing each other, or warriors fighting against demonic beasts, but none of them were as shocking as Lu Yu's strikes. Every time he struck, he was ruthless and decisive, his moves were deadly, powerful and dazzling, and no beasts could make it past a single move in his hands, especially those beasts that the warriors tried their best to eliminate were as weak as ants in front of Lu Yu. Most importantly, the interval between each video screen wasn't long, yet it could be clearly seen that the Lu Yu in each video was much stronger than the last. The rate of improvement was quite astonishing, and it would not be an exaggeration to describe it as increasing with each passing day. This information basically ends before the second aura eruption, according to the current situation, demonic beasts with very high talent, after the second aura eruption, their strength will be raised by a large realm, and this golden eagle very clearly informed to Sue that his strength has already reached the B stage, and even if it's a nuclear bomb, at most, it can only injure him. After the secretary finished speaking in a low voice, everyone's hearts instantly set off waves of shock. 
They had already listened to those researchers who had categorized the demonic beasts into nine ranks, and the current E-rank demonic beasts made them burnt out, and conventional weapons were almost impossible to fight against them. Not to mention the D-order and C-order demonic beasts, they were dominating everywhere, and they could do nothing about it, rockets and armor-piercing bullets hitting them were just like scratching an itch. Rockets and armor-piercing bullets on them were just like scratching an itch, causing no damage. This demonic beast was actually of D-rank. Previously, they only had a vague concept of this level of demonic beasts, if the nuclear bombs could not be killed, how terrifying would it be? And then, many of their gazes fell on Elder Wu, they wanted to know if nuclear bombs were useful against B-ranked demonic beasts, or not. From their gazes, Wu Lao had understood the question they wanted to ask, he was slightly silent for a while, seemingly recalling and confirming, and only after a moment did he open his mouths. Currently, within the global scope, only C-rank ferocious beasts have been observed for the time being, and according to our satellite observation, almost all of the C-rank demonic beasts, as long as they don't get injured to their weak points, they can almost always recover, and their defense power is extremely astonishing. Whether it's in the extremely cold north, or in the scorching hot volcanic lava, there are traces of C-rank demonic beasts observed, not only do they have a strong physique, but they also have mastery of unimaginable abilities, B-rank demonic beasts, which are stronger than the C-rank demonic beasts by a large realm, are very likely to resist nuclear bombs and not die. Saying this, he did not continue. Because the power of the nuclear bomb was certainly enormous, but B-rank demonic beasts all had their own powerful means, and it was absolutely irrational to be blindly confident in the nuclear bomb. Not to mention that the nuclear bomb was already the last card, once it was used, it would cause irreversible changes to the environment, so it absolutely could not be used until it was absolutely necessary. When the others heard this, their faces suddenly became as gloomy as water, especially those officers who had previously vetoed handing over Zhengzhou city to Lu Yu. The reason why they were so adamant was that on one hand, they naturally didn't trust Lu Yu and didn't want to cede the land, and on the other hand, they had always used the nuclear bomb as their last card in their hearts. If there was really a falling out and Lu Yu made a move against Zhengzhou city, the big deal was that the fish died and the net was broken in the end. But if the fish death net is not broken, the nuclear bomb does not work. Many of the standing officers had an unsteady body and wobbled and fell into their chairs. Other researchers and academicians were also talking to each other, pondering this approach, no one wanted to give Zhengzhou city to Lu Yu, but his strength was too strong, making them even think about the pros and cons of giving Zhengzhou city to Lu Yu. Su, you are the only one who has seen Lu Yu with your own eyes, in your opinion, is it possible to agree to his request? Elderly, who had been silent all this time, looked at Su Jingwa's face that appeared on the big screen and inquired with a gloomy expression. His heart couldn't decide what to do, Zhangzhou City was home to millions of people, one careless decision and their lives would be in danger, he had to be responsible for those people. Su Jingwa had already thought about this issue on his way back, he just didn't expect that a big shot like Li Guolao would personally ask for his opinion. And everyone in the assembly, all of whom are known as big shots, are also looking at themselves at the moment, with either confusion, or watching, or pondering, complexity to the extreme in their eyes. His own words, I am afraid that he will decide the attitude of many people. He took a deep breath and spoke out his suggestion very directly, elder statesman, in my humble opinion, Zhangzhou City can be ceded to Liu. The large conference room was quiet for a while before it was broken by Guolali's inquiry, why? He had heard of Su Jingwa and knew that when the first batch of genetic agents came out, he took the lead in injecting as a test subject, and later on injected the second batch of genetic agents, and was the most powerful existence among the genetic warriors. Such a person was definitely someone who loved his country and his soldiers, but this choice of his was not in line with his character and identity. Under the gaze of the crowd, Su Jingwa explained, Elder statesmen and academicians may not know that although Lu Yu is a powerful fierce beast, from the relevant records, he has hardly ever made a move against our human race, and he even made a move to save us previously. This time, he wants to occupy Jiangzhou City, he even took the initiative to contact me, so it can be seen that he is not hostile to our human race, otherwise, not to mention his unfathomable strength, the two fierce beasts that are currently hovering over Jiangzhou City are enough to turn Jiangzhou City into a piece of rubble. As he said this, the picture on the big screen was transferred to the surveillance equipment in Jiangzhou City. The camera was aimed at the high sky with a clear blue sky, where two huge-sized ferocious beasts were flying with their wings, emitting a demonic aura of pressure that made the sky start to have dark clouds converging. C-rank, that head of fire-red ferocious beast, at least C-rank demonic beast, the breath is so terrifying. The other demonic beast is also by no means generalized, at least it is the best of the D-rank demonic beasts. The major chiefs and researchers who specialized in studying ferocious beasts had eyes as sharp as eagles, and after seeing the firebird and the Xi'an feather divine eagle, their complexions became even more ugly. Even though their current strength was far from being able to compare with the ferocious beasts, 
they had surveillance all over the place and major satellites above the space, and understood the ferocious beast's strength and overall division very clearly. A sea-stage demonic beast definitely had the ability to overthrow a city like Zhengzhou City. The people's color changes were all taken in by Su Jinghua, he clenched his fist and continued. Instead of being forcibly captured by Lu Yu with the ferocious beasts under his command, with the people of Zhengzhou City and our warriors dying and being injured, it would be better to surrender it to Lu Yu. Although it was a bit humiliating to do so, the situation forced it, and it was definitely the best choice. The others naturally understood this reasoning as well, and after the scene was silent for a while, a military chief suppressed the fire in his heart and asked, If we back down this time and give Zhengzhou City to Lu Yu, will he still give an inch? If other ferocious beasts follow suit, how should we respond? What will the people of Zhengzhou City think? This series of questions deeply pierced the hearts of many chiefs, who not long ago had openly stated that these ferocious beasts were not enough for them to suppress, but now they are facing the situation of giving Zhengzhou City away. First of all, in terms of the current situation and what Liu said, he should be the only B-stage ferocious beast, and breaking through from the C-stage to the B-stage is also very difficult for ferocious beasts. If the gene potion continues to be developed and strengthens our understanding of the ferocious beasts, we should have some backbone to deal with the C-stage ferocious beasts thereafter. Not to mention that Liu Yu has already said that he won't harm the ordinary people in the city, with his strength today, there's no need to deceive us. If the citizens of Jiangzhou City are unwilling to remain in the city, we'll coordinate the transfer of this part of the population and let them leave. One by one, Su Jinghua explained and spoke his mind. Many of the chiefs, academicians, and others present also began to whisper and exchange their views and opinions. Jiangzhou City was definitely not a large area for China, but the significance of this move was too great. The discussion went on for about 10 minutes or so. Elder Wu braced his aged body and stood up, looking at Su Jinghua, he spoke, I agree with Chief Su's idea, it is not appropriate to make an enemy of Lu Yu nowadays, why don't we let go of our bets, and with the power of Lu Yu's ferocious beasts that he already has under his command, Jiangzhou City may be safer on the contrary. We can even take this opportunity to try and further cooperate with Lu Yu to speed up our understanding of the fierce beasts, as well as our research on genetic potions. The other researchers couldn't help but nod slightly, recognizing Elder Wu's idea. According to their research, most of the ferocious beasts did not have spiritual intelligence and mostly relied on their instincts to kill each other, while the ferocious beasts that did have spiritual intelligence, each of them were so high up in the hierarchy that they did not even have them in their eyes, and only treated them as food. Fierce beasts like Lu Yu, who had strength and little hostility towards the human race, were extremely rare, and cooperating with him was definitely too much better than treating him as an opponent. The military, which had always been resolute, had also loosened up in their thoughts. Nowadays, their strength was far inferior to the fierce beasts, and if they wanted to defeat the fierce beasts, they had to understand them first. If they could figure out how the ferocious beasts practiced, or the way they improved, they might be able to be as powerful as the ferocious beasts. Although it was a big risk, the situation was becoming less and less optimistic. They were already on the verge of a desperate path. It was conceivable that the fierce beasts in the future would only grow stronger and stronger, and once they fell behind the fierce beasts, they were bound to fall behind every step of the way and it would be difficult to turn the situation around again. All right, the situation is urgent, this matter will be decided by a show of hands, those who agree to let out of Zhangzhou City raise their hands, those who do not raise their hands are considered to be against. Li Guolao saw that the discussion was almost over, and slowly opened his mouth. Even though he had some thoughts in his mind, he didn't directly say them out though, but decided to vote by a show of hands. Wu Lao and the other researchers were the first to raise their hands when they heard this. The major heads of the military glanced at each other, and finally looked at the firm-eyed Su Jinghua, still choosing to raise their hands. Risk and opportunity coexisted, and they decided to take a chance. About two-thirds of the people approve, this matter is settled. Elder Li announced the final result with a hammer blow. Afterward, he looked at Su Jinghua with a grave expression and said, Head Su, this matter still needs to work hard for you to communicate with Lu Yu, if Lu Yu has any other requirements, they can all be recorded, and by the way, we can see if he is interested in cooperating with us, and we can tell him that if he cooperates with us, we can give the best conditions. Su Zhengwei nodded his head heavily, I will communicate with Lu Yu as soon as possible, I will surely live up to Elder State's trust. Little South Mountain. At the edge of the spirit pond, the rich spiritual chi churned incessantly, like a mist in the early morning, hazily surrounding Lu Yu's body. Lu Yu did not absorb this spiritual chi, but instead used the panel to plunder the corpses of the ferocious beasts that were being sent in a steady stream by the seven ferocious beasts, constantly acquiring evolution points. Congratulations on obtaining 15 evolution points. Congratulations on obtaining 60 evolution points. Congratulations on gaining 35 evolution points. Current evolution points, 1566. After the seven ferocious beasts submitted, 
they were very honest and strictly followed his instructions, on the one hand, they continued to expand their sphere of influence, subjugating all the other ferocious beasts along the way and incorporating them into the force. On the other hand, he also mercilessly eliminated all the ferocious beasts that were not willing to submit. When the corpses of these beasts had accumulated to a certain level, they quickly returned and sent them to Lu Yu. After all, the corpses of these ferocious beasts were proof that they had done their best to carry out Lu Yu's orders. Although they had already submitted to Lu Yu now, they all knew clearly that with Lu Yu's strength and potential, there were bound to be more ferocious beasts submitting to his feet in the future, so the only way to get Lu Yu's attention and help was to show more loyalty while they were still here. Having a powerful beast escorting and instructing him would undoubtedly be much better than practicing alone. Not to mention that this spirit pond has also been occupied by Lu Yu, so as long as they do their work seriously, they might be able to enjoy a bit of it themselves as well. These little thoughts of theirs, Lu Yu could see them at a glance, and this was something he was happy to see. These ferocious beasts were imploding on each other in order to better do things for themselves. Since with these fierce beasts acting separately according to their own orders, the sphere of influence was expanding very quickly, and the power points within the system kept growing moment by moment. As for the corpses of the ferocious beasts they brought with them, even though they weren't very strong, most of them were of E or F rank, and didn't transform many evolution points. However, a mosquito was still meat, not to mention the extremely large number. From the time they started to act until now, not too long had passed, and they had already contributed more than a thousand points, which was considered to have restored some of the evolution points that had been spent on promoting from C rank to B rank. It's just that to advance from B to a rank, one would need to spend a hundred thousand evolution points, so these thousand evolution points of his were not worth mentioning. However, Lu Yu was not in a great hurry, after all, until now, there should only be one B-rank beast, and he had already stood at the peak of this era, and it would take some time for other beasts to catch up. Of course, he didn't have the slightest idea of carelessness or relaxation, he knew very well that those powerful ferocious beasts, no matter whether it was their bloodline talent or chi, were terrifying to the point of being unimaginable, and even if he had the system to add to his strength, he couldn't take it lightly. It was only that the current Shaonan mountain and the surrounding powerful ferocious beasts were either dead in their hands or had already submitted. What a hunt high-level ferocious beasts, obtain a large number of evolution points and powerful skills, there is no way for the time being, need to wait for a period of time, B-rank ferocious beasts have sprung up, only then is the best time to wield the scythe. At the moment, it was better to send out the ferocious beasts under his command to expand his territory and provide ferocious beast corpses and this required giving them some sweeteners to better motivate them, which meant that a large amount of power points were needed. Lu Yu did not believe in absolute loyalty, but believed in absolute strength and absolute benefits. A big stick and a carrot was the best technique to imperialize. The more loyal beasts under his command, the more power points he had, and the larger the territory, the more power points he could provide. Zhangzhou City had a population of millions, and was close to the Xiaonan Mountain, so after occupying it, he would certainly gain a large number of power points, and when he was rewarded for his achievements, his morale would certainly be high. The most crucial thing was that in his memory, Zhangzhou City was not simple. At the time when the human race was losing under the attack of the ferocious beasts, the city of Zhangzhou underwent a mutation, and there were ancient martial arts and the cultivation method of the human race spread out. It made it possible for the human race to raise their strength through cultivation in addition to having genetic potions to raise their strength. Nay, the ferocious beasts had already advanced their cultivation for several years, and powerful ferocious beasts were coming out all over the place, so the human race had accumulated a lot of weight and was ultimately powerless to return to the heavens. If he occupied Zhangzhou City in advance, then the key to the rise and fall of the human race would be held in his palm. Also when Lu Yu was planning to take a look at the little white fox's cultivation progress, he suddenly had a heartbeat and looked towards the distant sky. Your holiness, Su Zhengui is here. The firebird rushed at the forefront, her voice carrying a few hints of excitement and thrill, while the, behind her, the Xian feathered divine eagle followed closely with Su Zhengui captured in its talons, and soon arrived at the cave entrance. All come in. Lu Yu spoke indifferently. The firebird, Xian feathered divine eagle and Su Zhengui, who had just landed on the ground, quickly entered into the cave. Although it wasn't the first time they had seen Lu Yu, the feeling of powerlessness that they felt when facing him still hadn't been cut down by half, but instead had become even more intense. How, have you made a decision? Lu Yu looked at him calmly, from the reaction of Su Jingguo when he returned here, he knew that this matter was in all likelihood a success. Of course, even if the human race was short-sighted and disagreed, it didn't matter, it was just a slight waste of time. Lu Yu's lofty eyes caused the pressure on Su Jingguo's heart to increase even more, as if in front of him, there was no way to utter a word of refusal. He straightened his clothes and fixed his mind, Mr. Lu, the idea you mentioned about wanting to notify Jiangzhou City, the state elder and the others agreed to it, they only hope that Mr. Lu will let go of those people who do not want to continue to stay in Jiangzhou City. 
Lu Yu nodded his head in agreement after a little thought. He wanted Jiangzhou City, and the main thing he wanted was Jiangzhou City as a territory and resources. Those human races he didn't care about, not to mention that he knew very well that with the growing power of the ferocious beasts, the human races would be losing ground, and all the major cities would gradually become a paradise for the ferocious beasts. Jiangzhou City was truly as stable as Mount Taishan with himself at the helm, and it wouldn't be so easy for others to enter the city afterward. Lu Yu directly agreed, which caused Su Jingguo to faintly stare, then subconsciously sighed in relief. He was worried that Lu Yu was eyeing the people of Jiangzhou City by claiming it, after all, the powerful ferocious beasts in many places were completely ferocious and ferocious as they fed on the human race. Even if Lu Yu had made it clear before that he had little interest in the human race, he knew the people, not to mention a ferocious beast. But if Lu Yu let those who were willing to leave within the city leave, then this showed that Lu Yu might really have little interest in their human race. This is the current map of Jiangzhou City, this area, from now on, will all belong to Mr. Lu. After that, Su Jingwa fished out a map from his bosom and handed it to Lu Yu, and with a solemn expression, he bowed. I hope that Mr. Lu will treat Jiangzhou City well in the future, and if you have any needs in the future, you can also speak up as soon as possible, if we can help Mr. Lu, we will definitely do our best. Lu Yu nodded, when there is a need, we will look for you guys. Although the human race was not strong, but the technology they possessed, the various resources, and the various aspects of intelligence that the satellites could provide were still valued by Lu Yu. If he wanted to search for beast age or more powerful fierce beasts, as well as news on spiritual medicines in the future, he wouldn't have to look for them in the east and west, and could completely let the human race find them through satellite observation or other methods. If the ferocious beasts under his command were injured, he could also let the human race take action to heal them as soon as possible. But he had no intention of cooperating with the human race for the time being, anyway, the one in a hurry was them and not himself, delaying it would be beneficial to himself instead. Firebird, notify down, except for leaving a sea stage ferocious beast here to guard the spirit pool, the other ferocious beasts, rush to Jiangzhou City as much as possible, remember to manage the ferocious beasts under your command, Jiangzhou City will be our own turf from now on, and will not be allowed to destroy it at will. Lu Su thought about it and opened his mouth to command. In addition, those human races in Jiangzhou City, as long as they abide by the rules, they are also not allowed to do anything to them. If Jiangzhou City wanted to function normally, it still needed those human races. The Firebird frowned slightly, not being allowed to destroy Jiangzhou City, this she could understand, but not being able to strike at the human race, she was somewhat unable to accept it. The human race was weak but ants, only worthy of being their food. When he first proposed to occupy Jiangzhou City, it was with the idea of captivating the human race. It was just that he did not expect Lu Yu to disallow strikes against them. What, you have an opinion? Lu Yu coldly glanced at the Firebird. In an instant, the Firebird only felt an unprecedented pressure, squeezing towards him from all directions, and he tried his best to resist, which in turn triggered an increasingly terrifying pressure. She hastily collected her breath and obediently said, Your Holiness orders must have Your Holiness intentions, I will pass on this order and urge them to strictly carry it out, those who dare to disobey will be killed without pardon. After she finished saying this, only then did she feel that the pressure that pressed on her body that was like an abyss like a prison, disappeared without a trace, the only thing that was left were the bones in her whole body that were about to fall apart, confirming that the previous pressure was there. Go down, this thing is done well less than your reward. Lu Yu casually waved his hand. The firebird immediately lifted its wings and left, announcing this order. Mr. Lu is highly righteous. As for Su Jingguo in the cave, he was undoubtedly extremely satisfied with these two orders from Lu Yu and bowed deeply to him. He knew very well that if these two rules could be maintained, not only were they not allowed to worry about Jiangzhou City anymore, it was even more indicative that there was a great possibility of cooperation between them and Lu Yu. At the same time, he noticed even more that Lu Yu had completely suppressed the firebird simply by emitting his breath. This made him feel more and more that ceding Jiangzhou City to Lu Yu was the best choice. The Firebird was a sea-stage ferocious beast powerful enough to exterminate counties and destroy cities, yet in front of Lu Yu, it was like a mole cricket, without the slightest room for resistance. Even a sea-stage demonic beast was so unbearable, he couldn't imagine how unbearable he and the other genetic displays, which were already the ultimate hope in the eyes of the other races, were. Let's go, take him along to Jiangzhou City. Lu Yu glanced at Su Jingwa and rushed towards Jiangzhou City with his wings. Jiangzhou City was a large area, and after occupying it, not only would he gain a large amount of power points, but the power mall would also unlock more goodies. This was what Lu Yu was looking forward to. At this moment, with the release of an official message from Jiangzhou City, all places, especially Jiangzhou City, directly boiled up. Whether it was online or offline, everyone went crazy discussing this matter. Holy shit, was the Jiangzhou City website hacked? Ceding Jiangzhou City to the rule of a ferocious beast, what an absurd order. 
This world is simply completely messed up. Am I crazy or is this world crazy? How can Jiangzhou City be ceded to a ferocious beast? Wasn't it said before that the fierce beast was insufficient and could be resisted? How come in the blink of an eye, a research decision was made to cede Jiangzhou City to a ferocious beast? Everyone didn't believe this was true. Although they also knew that the ferocious beasts were ravaging all over the place relieving more and more, this kind of in practice of giving the city to a ferocious beast was generally unacceptable to them. Everyone in Jiangzhou City even used all their connections to contact those officials. All the people in Jiangzhou City even used all their connections to contact those officials to confirm if this news was true. No one thought that it was a good thing for the beasts to rule over them. Once this matter was true, being in Jiangzhou City would be no different from being in hell. As the head of Jiangzhou City, Li Chang'an's phone was almost bursting with calls from all over the place, making his cell phone ring without stopping. Outside the bunker, it was even jammed with reporters and citizens, clamoring to see the city head and asking if the news was true or false. Even though Li Chang'an had long predicted that it would be such a chaotic situation, his heart was still touched fiercely. He was of course unwilling to cede Jiangzhou City to the ferocious beast, but he also knew the terrifying nature of that ferocious beast, and he also knew that the above had their considerations and arrangements. This matter had already been settled, no one was powerless to change it, and all of them could only try to accept it. City head, the unified launch inside the bunker has been set up. Soon, the secretary hurriedly pushed open the door and rushed over, he was holding thick information in his hands, a thin layer of sweat had already covered his forehead and he was busy. I know. After taking a deep breath, Li Chan'an got up and walked towards the launch site. The launch party inside the bunker was set up in a very simple manner, a table, a microphone, and a camera. None of the reporters outside were let in, the only ones gathered around were many Jiangzhou city officials inside the bunker. City chief. When Li Chang'an arrived, everyone made way for him, with a more or less confused look on their faces. Although they had gotten the news that there would be another appointment, yet Jiangzhou City was after all the place they had worked for many years, not to mention that the future of Jiangzhou City was stormy, and where to go in the future, none of them knew. Li Chang'an nodded to them and then walked up to the conference table, his eyes firmly looking at the illuminated camera. Fellow citizens of Jiangzhou City, I am the city head, Li Chang'an. Everyone be quiet for now, city head Li is holding a conference, he will definitely make this matter clear at the conference. That's right, we have to trust City Headley, he will definitely look out for us and won't harm us. The people of Jiangzhou City, who were originally in chaos, quickly all quieted down, although they already had a very bad premonition in their hearts when things had developed to this point. However, there was still a fluke in their hearts, no one was willing to live in a city under the notice of a ferocious beast. Even if they weren't the people of Jiangzhou City, they were still paying close attention to the direction of this matter. Nowadays, there was no sign of official statements, so they could only get the latest news from the side of City Headley. First of all, regarding the news that Jiangzhou City will be divided into a ferocious beast ruled area in the future, I can clearly inform you all that this is true. I know that it must be hard for you all to understand, but that fierce beast is too strong, it's already so strong that we are powerless to fight it, and our previous judgment of the fierce beast was wrong. Nowadays, the only way to avoid the Holy Spirit from being coated in charcoal is to give up Jiangzhou City to him, in addition, I also know that you all are worried about being afraid of the Fierce Beast, I have received the latest news from my side, that Fierce Beast has agreed to the departure of the people who do not wish to stay in Jiangzhou City, he will not block them, nor will he harm the people who continue to stay in Jiangzhou City. Any people who wish to leave, there are already special trains and other means of transportation rushing here, so you can pack up and leave as soon as possible. I will continue to stay here and cope with you all. Li Chan'an's words added fuel to the already boiling Jiangzhou city, and the entire China shook. Because of his conference, he first confirmed one thing. Jiangzhou city would indeed be divided into a specialized area notified by the ferocious beasts, and everyone in Jiangzhou city would become under the rule of the ferocious beasts. Moreover, there was nothing that Huaxia could do about it, and the only solution was to say that those who were unwilling to remain here could leave. But there are millions of people in Jiangzhou city, how can so many people be evacuated in a short period of time? Not to mention that Jiangzhou City is the place where their ancestors have been living for generations, is it a place where they can just leave? Most importantly, after the evacuation, where else can they go? According to the news they recently saw on the internet, there were strong ferocious beasts popping up everywhere in Blue Star, wreaking havoc on one side, and the military had gradually become powerless to resist under the ferocious beasts' attack. It could be said that there was no longer any place in Blue Star that was safe. Secondly, Huaxia has made such a major concession to the ferocious beast this time, if this ferocious beast gives an inch, or other ferocious beasts have followed suit, they no longer dare to continue imagining downwards. Definitely can't set this precedent, we are Jiangzhou City's people in life and Jiangzhou City's ghosts in death, we mustn't give Jiangzhou City away. That's right, Jiangzhou City can't be ceded to the demonic beasts, if the people from the military don't make a move, we will make a move ourselves, 
and we will never let the ferocious beast set foot in Jiangzhou city for half a step. Many of the citizens of Jiangzhou were agitated and full of rage, with no intention of retreating or leaving. As these people of Jiangzhou city stepped forward, more people began to respond. After all, they had deeply experienced the ferocity and coldness of the ferocious beasts through the major video sites and live broadcasts. Many hot friends and relatives had been devoured by the ferocious beasts, this was already a blood feud, and now that there was a way for them to fall under the rule of the ferocious beasts, they said nothing. Of course not everyone is completely on the side of resistance, the official several times has spoken, which shows that this matter is definitely not so simple as they think. Moreover, City Headley had mentioned very seriously that the reason why he had ceded Jiangzhou City was because the fierce beasts were too powerful. In other words, the officials had probably tried everything they could think of and were unable to fight the fierce beast. It could only be forced to choose this somewhat humiliating way, which was also for their consideration, to fight for a way to live. All, quite a few of the more sensible citizens began to pacify those who were agitated. Gentlemen calm down some, it's best for us to either stay here or evacuate as soon as possible according to the official way, if the ferocious beasts die here, wouldn't City Headley's move for them to give up on Jiangzhou City this time be meaningless? Now that Elder Zhao has already researched a gene potion, as long as we live, even if it's somewhat humiliating to live, we definitely have a chance to turn around in the future, definitely don't act recklessly now. However, no matter how much these people tried to comfort them, the crowd's ignited emotions were never able to ease down. Many of them had already returned home, taking out kitchen knives, sticks, etc. With the appearance that they would fight to the death in Jiangzhou City even if they died, Jiangzhou City was their roots, their home, how could they give it up to the demonic beasts, and decided to fight to the death. The situation in the city is getting more and more chaotic, those rich and powerful tycoons are organizing their finances as fast as they can and then slipping away. Fierce beasts of the powerful and threat, these rich and powerful people more clear, also more fear, think or 36 plans to go for the best plan, if you do not leave as soon as possible, when the beasts feel here, afraid of wanting to leave again are difficult. After all, the beast in their hearts, there is no credibility to speak of. For a time, the entire Jiangzhou city was in chaos. There were those who fled here, those who fought to the death and didn't retreat, and those who watched anxiously. Overall, the people who decided to stay and fight against the ferocious beasts were still the most numerous. They had already begun to converge in groups, and it looked like they were making a great deal of noise. The other Chinese people outside the city were closely watching this unprecedented event through various live broadcasts and videos. Although we are not from Jiangzhou City, we are also considered neighbors with Jiangzhou City. If Jiangzhou City falls into the paradise of the ferocious beasts, these cities where we are located, I'm afraid that they will also be gradually annexed, the lips will die and we will also go over to fight the ferocious beasts to the death. Various remarks fermented and boiled on the internet. Li Chanan was also aware of the emotions and attitudes of the city's hits through his secretary's summaries, and continuously spoke at the conference to comfort those citizens. He was undoubtedly more aware of the reason behind this decision than these citizens at the top. Once these citizens angered Lu Yu, it could easily lead to a large-scale conflict occurring. In the end, Jiangzhou City would most likely be annihilated by Lu Yu's annoyance, which was definitely not an outcome he was willing to see. However, Li Chang'an's bitter explanations at the press conference and his speech was dry, but no one paid much attention to him, and the people who should have gathered at the edge of Jiangzhou City were still gathering. Soon after, the edge of Jiangzhou City has been densely Jiangzhou citizens converge, all kinds of fortifications, also when tightly prepared. However, this situation did not last long, suddenly someone realized that not far away in the sky, there was a crimson shadow that was getting closer and closer to Jiangzhou City. A fire cloud? Nope. It's that huge fire bird from before. Quite a few people exclaimed out in shock as they recognized the leading fire bird, and their complexions grew more and more unsightly. After all, her entire body was crimson red, and wherever she passed, she spilled down waves of scorching hot air, just like discussing a small sun skimming across the sky. The aura she released was too terrifying. Anyone who had seen her almost remembered it vividly, unable to forget it. That ferocious beast seems to be coming to take over Jiangzhou City. Be on guard. Be on guard. Jiangzhou City is ours, not the fierce beasts. Today, we are united in our hatred and united as one, we will definitely be able to repel the fierce beast. Some of the old men at the head, trembling and holding their walking sticks and other weapons, stared at the firebird, as if waiting for it to get a little closer, they would take the lead in attacking. And the many viewers who were paying close attention to this matter through the live broadcast also held their breath, their eyes staring at the image on their cell phone screens without blinking. Is this the dreadfulness of a sea-stage ferocious beast? Even through the screen, one can feel the heat wave pounding on their face in a trance. Demonic beasts that can reach sea-stage nowadays are extremely rare, and every head is a vicious character. Although I don't want to admit it, but if there is no strong support from the military, even if hundreds of people in Jiangzhou City converge together to strike, in front of it, it's nothing more than a rabble. 
With so many people standing up, it is impossible for the military to be indifferent, and it will never be possible for that ferocious beast to take down Zhengzhou city with ease. Although most people knew that without the military's hot weapons, even a million people would be hard-pressed to do much damage to a C-stage ferocious beast. However, the indomitable, never-retreating aura of so many people converging here still affected them. A few moments later, as the figure of the firebird became clearer and clearer in everyone's eyes, they suddenly noticed that behind her, there was another terrifying beast with an even more astonishing size and wingspan. The reason why it was said to be a giant beast was because his wingspan was about 20 meters long, covering the sky and the sun, impossible to see the end at a glance, like a golden cloud, blocking a large portion of the light emitted by the blazing sun. Especially every feather on his body is golden, as if carved out of gold, radiating an unspeakable toughness and dominance. It was as if he was born a king. It was the very center of this heaven and earth. Everyone's gazes subconsciously converged on him, and just by seeing him for the first time, many of those who were not of a good nature were in a trance for a moment, and even had the urge to kneel down and bow to him. Even though most of them didn't recognize Lu Yu, his appearance caused the fear of the strong in their bones to be silently aroused. In an instant, those who were originally clamoring to drive the ferocious beasts out of Jiangzhou City were quiet, their hearts covered with a thick layer of shadow. Is he the fierce beast commander behind the firebird? Li Chagan and the others, who had already rushed to the edge of Jiangzhou City, had their mouths slightly open, their faces filled with shock. He had seen Lu Yu's figure through a video before, but the shocking feeling of seeing it on the video and seeing it in reality were completely different. Even if he didn't understand the ferocious beasts that profoundly, he could still very emotionally feel the domineering aura of his body that pressed down on heaven and earth. Especially as he got closer and closer to Jiangzhou City, that aura was even more terrifying completely overriding the firebird, and the air became slightly agitated. B stage. Is this the dreadfulness of a B rank beast? Just the aura it gave off made them almost unable to resist. Under the gaze of the shocked crowd, Liu slightly lifted his wings, and like a flash of thunder, he had already reached the sky above the edge of Jiangzhou City, looking down on the densely packed crowd below. Looking at the appearance of these people holding kitchen knives and slates, they were not here to welcome themselves, but Liu Yu did not care. In the early stage of the speed of aura, the human race was not worth mentioning and could only be reduced to food, although some powerful characters appeared in the later stage, but by that time, his own strength had definitely increased to an unfathomable level. Nowadays, there was absolutely no need to take care of them, it was better to turn Jiangzhou City into his own sphere of influence and increase his power points, that was the most important thing. So Lu Yu just scanned them and continued to fly towards the center of Jiangzhou City. But just at this moment, a sudden change occurred. After many people came back to their senses from their shock, they looked at Lu Yu, who swept past above their heads with a look of disgust, and quickly felt out the homemade artillery they had made these days, aiming it to fire a cannon at Lu Yu. This is our territory. Ferocious beasts die for me. Rumble. The roar of the artillery rang out, and a blackish projectile accompanied by intense flames rushed against the sky, straight towards Lu Yu. The change over here came very suddenly, instantly waking up the crowd that still appeared to be in a state of stagnation. All of them immediately followed the sound of the artillery and looked over. Lu Yu's complexion had a hint of coldness. It looked like he was still a little too gentle with these people in the city. Only by letting them know what true fear was would they be convinced and fear themselves as if they were gods. The artillery left long white trails in the air, and when Lu Yu was about to strike, the firebird's eyes chilled, hissed violently, and rushed directly to Lu Yu's side, engulfing the artillery in a single bite. Bang! A slight muffled sound came out, and that fire cannon burst apart inside the firebird's body yet it didn't make any waves, as if it had just burped after eating its fill. Seeing this scene, the man who fired the fire cannon was already numb, his hands and feet were cold, and he fell into deep despair. This artillery was specially prepared by him to fight against the ferocious beasts, it was the strong steel that was blown apart, but there was no way to hurt the flesh and blood of the firebird. The other people around the man, after being shocked, have taken out sniper rifles and bazookas in disbelief, aiming at the firebird. But this time, before they could strike, an enraged voice came out from the firebird's mouth. Dare to take a shot at his eminence, looking for death. Before the words fell, they saw her violently open her large mouth, and flames as hot as magma erupted out of her mouth, forming a long fire dragon that sprayed heavily onto the ground. The man and the hundreds of people around him were immediately involved in a sea of fire, and after struggling in pain for a moment, all that was left was a cloud of ashes floating in the wind, with no bones left behind. This scene directly stunned countless people. Immediately afterward, uneasiness, panic, anger, and other emotions surged in the hearts of the people. Just a ferocious beast under Lu Yu's command was terrifying to such an extent. Once he was allowed to successfully grasp Jiangzhou City, what awaited him would definitely be an unimaginable doom. 
especially those figures struggling in the sea of fire before, the terrified screams, the heat waves that were just out of reach, the scenes that were like hell, deeply sub-excited them, making them fearful, and even more so, making them angry. The ferocious beasts are brutal, today, even if we die here, we can't let them enter the city. Defend our country, the time has come to avenge our compatriots. In an instant, because the man and hundreds of citizens died tragically in front of their eyes, the citizens who had converged here, one after another, let out roars of rage, their eyes bloodshot as they stared at Liu Yu and the Firebird. By killing them, the crisis in Jiangzhou City would be lifted. Work together and kill them. I will recommend Xin Yuan with my blood. A stone stirred up a thousand waves, not knowing who was the first to strike, all kinds of homemade weapons, artillery, bows and arrows and so on, a brain was used by them, heading straight towards Liu Yu and the other ferocious beasts. Seeing this scene, whether it was Su Jingguo who was tackled by the Xin Yu Divine Eagle, or Li Chang'an who had rushed to the edge of Jiangzhou City, all of them were filled with panic, while at the same time being at a loss as to how to deal with it. They knew too well that this level of attack would not even count as scratching an itch for Liu Yu, and would only deeply enrage him, ultimately bringing about unimaginable evil consequences. Your Holiness, these people are too disrespectful to you, why don't we kill them all? Anyway, this Jiangzhou City will be your territory afterward, and these humans won't be of much use other than as food. The Firebird overlooked the attack of the crowd below, and his face could not help but flash through a flash of intense killing intent. The Xian Feathered Divine Eagle also nodded its head repeatedly, very much in agreement. In their opinion, Liu had already given them a great deal of preferential treatment, seeing as how these people not only didn't know how to be thankful, but also dared to strike at them, it was simply unforgivable. Liu Yu did not answer their questions, only that thunder began to flicker in his eyes, and his cold and merciless voice, resounding between this heaven and earth. Thunder! Descend! When the heavens and earth were filled with Lu Yu's voice, an aura that crushed everything and looked down upon the world spread silently to every corner of the sky and underground of Jiangzhou City. Above the sky, dark clouds covered the sky, and there were constant flashes of thunder, tearing the dimmer and dimmer sky into a bright gap. All the people in the lower part of the city were all looking up at the sky at this moment. Lu Yu's golden body became the only unchanging light in the dimmer heaven and earth. Their hearts were instantly enveloped in a huge pressure that was difficult to clarify, as if they were burdened with a huge mountain, unable to move. Those weaker strength of the old and sick, body is shivering, when the first cannot withstand the more and more terrible layway, half kneeling on the ground, cannot straighten up. Immediately followed by those youths, their whole body bones were creaking, seemingly to be forced to be broken, becoming a puddle of flesh in the thunder power. Compared to these ordinary people, the few who had already become genetic warriors lasted the longest under the thunderbolt. However, the difference was not too great, just a few breaths past, of the huge Jiangzhou city, are in Luyu's breath shroud range, and all people whether willing or unwilling, have been forcibly suppressed kneeling on the ground, cannot move. And this wave of thunder might didn't show signs of stopping, instead it intensified. Especially the thunder that was churning in the sky, like thousands of silver snakes dancing wildly, it seemed that as long as Luyu's thought fell, he could turn Jiangzhou city into a ruin. Is this, this the terror of a B-rank murderer? It's unimaginable, it's simply like a god. It's as if the entire Jiangzhou city is under the control of his mighty pressure, and his fate is completely in his hands. Fortunately I have left early, if continue where, when it is god life and death is hard to predict. I now somewhat understand why the officials want to see Jiangzhou city to these ferocious beasts, rather than fighting a battle with heavy losses but no chance of winning, it's better to see Jiangzhou city. Now that Golden Eagle should be enraged, the situation is extremely bad, once the thunder falls, I'm afraid that 9 out of 10 people in Jiangzhou city will die. What now? Although some of the people in Jiangzhou City have left, there are still millions of people. Many of the people watching the live broadcast directly panicked. Liu Yu's power was far beyond their expectations, even if they had seen too many videos of murderers committing evil or making waves in this internet era. However, compared to Liu Yu's methods, it was like the light of a glowing fire compared to the white moon, there was no comparison at all. They could not think of any remedies for the fury of such a demon king. The people of Jiangzhou City, who were suppressed by the thunder might and kneeling on the ground, also did not think of any countermeasures, no matter how they struggled, it was all just futile. Instead, the thunder became more and more terrifying, causing a strong regret to well up in their hearts. If they had known that this beast was terrifying to such an extent, they would not have gathered here to resist Lu Yu, and now that they had calmed down and carefully imagined it, there. Now that they have calmed down and carefully imagined it, their actions are simply too crazy. Seeing the thunder in the sky is about to fall, anxiously Chanan, bang bang kowtow, even if his forehead is already bloody, he did not stop. He himself could die, but the people of Jiangzhou City could not die, Jiangzhou City could not perish on this. Mr. 
Lu, I was originally the city head of Jiangzhou City, Li Chanan, for today's offense to you, these people already know that they are wrong, I hope that you will be magnanimous and let them go, in order to show your sincerity, you can make a request, we will definitely do our best to fulfill it for you. Li Chang'an knew very well that it wasn't easy to make Lu Yu stop, so he directly made a condition as an indemnity. Lu Yu was already going to catalyze the thunder and make everyone remember what would happen if they angered him, but Li Chang'an had piqued his interest. He intended to make Zhangzhou City his home base, and for the various tasks involved, he naturally needed the help of a seasoned person. Little White Fox was in seclusion, and even though his strength had increased after his release, he didn't have much experience in management, and he needed to specialize in cultivating and accumulating some experience. If this fellow was there to assist and instruct from the side, he should be able to grow faster. Being stared at by Lu Yu's gaze, Li Chang'an seemed to understand something, and hurriedly opened his mouth to speak of the value he possessed. Mr. Lu is new to the city, he shouldn't know much about Jiangzhou City, if you don't mind, I can follow Mr. Lu around and make a slight contribution to Mr. Lu's management of Jiangzhou City. If Mr. Lu has any subsequent questions or requests, Mr. Li will also answer them together with General Su or convey them to the top. Seeing that Li Chang'an had some eyesight, and that the subsequent planning and ruling of Jiangzhou City did require Li Chang'an, especially which of the requirements he mentioned, looking at his decisive look, he was afraid that he had already communicated with the higher-ups. Compared to killing the people of Jiangzhou City, this request was undoubtedly more to Lu Yu's liking. At that moment, he gradually collected his own aura. The thunder that raged in the sky began to converge, the big dense dark clouds with gradually dispersed and were pierced by bright rays of light, emitting a warm glow. Thunder descending, was withdrawn by Lu Yu. However, the majesty of the thunder descent was too strong, and many people had not reflected on it up to this moment. In the future, those who dare to provoke this father and make trouble again will be killed without pardon. It wasn't until Lu Yu's voice filled with warnings rang out that they were pulled back into the present world, their bodies subconsciously trembling. After Lu Yu finished speaking, he no longer paid any attention to them, and just held a single claw in a false grip, ingesting Li Chang'an into his claw and bringing him to the very center of Jiangzhou City. After Lu Yu left, many people slowly stood up as if they had regained their lives, and their clothes were already wet with sweat, as if they had just been fished out of the water. What's more, even, legs are weak, a short period of time simply cannot stand up, pupil depth, the residual Lu Yu figure as if it has been engraved in the bottom of the heart, can never be forgotten. And watch this time in the live broadcast of the people, there is only one thought in the heart, very lucky, they are not in the city of Zhengzhou. Otherwise, they also have to follow them as well, in the ghost gate on a walk. Good thing that everything is not dangerous, this thing is also so past. Now should think about the problem is, how to live in the future in this place where the beasts stand. After all, Lu Yu had the opportunity to kill them, but did not do it, so it can be seen that what he said about not taking action against them should be true. Zhangzhou City was not as dangerous as they had imagined, and many people breathed a sigh of relief. But soon, along with the resurfacing of more and more ferocious beast figures in the sky, their fallen hearts came back into their throats. On the horizon where the sky meets the earth, ferocious beasts, like a steel tidal wave, rushed over in unison, their numbers were abnormally large, and their races were all kinds of strange. Under their trampling, that is, far away from each other, the ground was shaking, rubble and dust undulating up and down, as if an earthquake had occurred. And in the sky above them, dense swarms of ferocious beasts were also emerging, although the aura emitted was far less powerful than that of Lu Yu and the Firebird, but the numbers were astonishing, setting off countless chaotic currents in the air. Wave after wave seemed endless. Is this Lu Yu's full strength? Not only is he himself a Birank fierce beast, these fierce beasts under his command are even more endless, both in terms of quality and quantity, they are beyond imagination. It was only at this moment that the majority of the people profoundly understood their insignificance. Not to mention in front of Lu Yu, even picking a random fierce beast in the beast tide was an existence that they could not cope with. While sighing, their hearts were filled with utter despair. Lu Yu's strength and power was so strong that it would be very difficult for China to raise the strength of its nation. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to have much hostility towards us, and it's also good to see that Li's city chief and the officials attach great importance to us. It was only now that many people understood why the officials had ceded Jiangzhou City to the fierce beast. If they really made a mess and ended up in an uncontrollable situation, the ones who would end up dying miserably would definitely be them. In front of Lu Yu's absolute strength, they had no choice. I'm really envious of those ferocious beasts, when will we be able to have strength comparable to that of a ferocious beast? We can only look forward to those scientific research experts, researching a more powerful genetic potion as soon as possible, although it's a bit tough, as long as we live, the genetic potion will definitely be researched. This time, Li Yu showed up and struck out, it was a great blow to all of them, and at the same time, it also inspired the desire for power in their bones. 
With so many ferocious beasts entering Zhengzhou City, Zhengzhou City will have to become a living hell in the future, I'm afraid. People from other places saw the mass entry of ferocious beasts into the city through the live broadcast, and immediately had a miserable look on their faces, only feeling that their future was dark. After all, although Lu Yu was powerful, he was only a fierce beast at best. The words of a beast are not always trustworthy, and even if his words are trustworthy, not all of the beasts under his command will follow his orders. Once they disobeyed him, there would be no way for those in the city to survive. So more people contacted their relatives in Zhengzhou city, hoping that they would leave as soon as possible and not stay in that place of wrongdoing. At the same time, under the leadership of Li Chanan, Lu Yu, who had shrunk in size, entered the bunker. This one bunker, which was a hundred meters deep underground, was originally designed to resist nuclear radiation, and because of the sudden appearance of the ferocious beasts, it was put to urgent use, and was currently the core hub of Zhengzhou city. Although this one doomsday bunker is not very large in area, but it determines all kinds of decisions on the future direction of Jiangzhou City, many of the top management of Jiangzhou City are all working here. There is a surveillance room here that can view all the surveillance in Jiangzhou City, and satellite phones that can contact every organization and grassroots organization in Jiangzhou City. While walking, Li Chanan gave Lu Yu an introduction of the Jiangzhou City, the situation of Jiangzhou City and the role and function played by each area. When the time came, he would look at Lu Yu's opinion to make more changes. Lu Yu was quite satisfied with the layout and functions of this place. However, ferocious beasts were after all different from humans, and the current him had already transferred all the ferocious beasts to Jiangzhou City, so for the time being, there was no place for them to rest. Currently that area of Jiangzhou City is relatively empty and less crowded? Lu Yu inquired, this matter was currently a top priority. After all, these ferocious beasts eating, drinking, and pulling themselves up all needed to be planned out for them by themselves in order for no chaos to occur. Li Chang'an also clearly understood this, and walked over to a map of Jiangzhou City. Currently, the majority of the people in the rich area have already left, and there are villas there that aren't very densely populated, with better environments and not many people, which can house some of the ferocious beasts. Other than that, the fringe areas of Jiangzhou City, which are also less populated, can all house some of the fierce beasts, so that no matter if they are going out, or that they are guarding Jiangzhou City, they are all more favorable. As for what the ferocious beasts need to eat every day, Mr. Lu can collect and hand it over to me, I'll go and arrange it right away, and try to be self-sufficient within Jiangzhou City, and if there's not enough in Jiangzhou City, you can transfer some over to other places. Li Chang'an had already considered these issues before, and said them one after another to Lu Yu, asking for his opinion. Lu Yu was quite satisfied with this, just do what you said, maintain order in Jiangzhou City, if you buy from outside Jiangzhou, you will use the tax revenue within Jiangzhou City to offset the bill, and will not take advantage of you. After saying that, Li Yu looked at the firebird following behind him again. In addition, you will take some of the ferocious beasts out to patrol the territory every day, and hunt some ferocious beasts along the way, so for the time being, stabilize the situation, and progress slowly and gradually. The firebird nodded repeatedly, Jiangzhou City was a large area, and there were many resources within, it was best to completely digest Jiangzhou City before further expanding its power. Otherwise, the foundation would be unstable and chaos would easily occur. Alright, the situation is roughly settled, you all go down and do your own business. Lu Yu waved his hand, signaling them to leave. Firebird and Li Chang'an immediately nodded and turned around to leave, hotly starting to busy themselves. Lu Yu, on the other hand, also focused his attention on the system interface at this time. Just now, the system's power mall had an additional quest. The starting point of everything, to establish a power of one's own, one first needs a stable and strong foundation. Mission objective, using the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation attached to the system as the foundation, establish a formation that covers Jiangzhou City, the formation can draw on the spiritual chi of heaven and earth, and can defend against the invasion of foreign enemies, it can be used to attack or endure. Mission reward, upon completion of this mission, the Mall of Power opens up to higher permissions and higher level goods, and comes with 100,000 power points, as well as an opportunity to evolve a random part once, which is comparable to an A-ranked random part after evolution. After reading the system tasks and rewards, Lu Yu's eyes immediately glowed slightly. The drawing of the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was already in his mind, although it was extremely complicated, but with a first glance, he understood the power of this formation, and even if he didn't have any system rewards, he would set it up. After all, once this formation is established, the huge Jiangzhou city will be like a huge spiritual pool, there will be a constant flow of spiritual qi coming in, which will be very beneficial to cultivation. Moreover, some of the formation nodes with unusually dense spiritual qi could also be used as medicinal fields to grow spiritual medicines. The key was that this formation could also be used to defend against the enemy, even if an A-rank demonic beast wanted to break through after it was established, it would take some time. What's more, this formation can also be upgraded and expanded directly through power points. 
it can be said to be a permanent solution. If there was a formation as a shelter, even if there were any emergencies in the future, one's lair would still be as solid as a rock and would not be destroyed. After all, according to Lu Yu's memories, the late stage of the aura recovery was not just an increase in aura, but some terrifying existences that were strong enough to exterminate the world were also gradually awakening from their slumber, and they needed to prepare for it early. Not to mention that after completing this power mission, the rewards gained are also extremely heartwarming to Lu Yu. Not only would the Mall of Power open up to higher permissions and higher level goods, it would also come with 100,000 power points, as well as the opportunity to evolve a random part once to reach a comparable A rank. If the gap between the C rank and the B rank was already impossible to cross by any means, then the gap between the B rank and the A rank was already impossible to cross by any means. If the gap between C and B rank is already impossible to cross by any means, then the gap between B rank and A rank is a world of difference. Once one steps into A rank, any thermal weapons of Blue Star, including nuclear bombs and more powerful hydrogen bombs, will not be able to cause any damage to it. It can be said that to enter into the A class, even if it is really entered into the level of transcendental beings, even in his previous life, there were very few ferocious beasts that were able to enter the A stage, and all of them were the hegemony of a country or even several countries, standing proudly in the world, and were the top of the blue star's strongest. If his body parts could step into the A rank, even if only partially, then when fighting against other B rank beasts, he would have a card that other beasts could not fight against. At the time when Lu Yu was quite excited and looking forward to it in his heart, the system's prompting sound suddenly rang out at this time. Congratulations to the host for completely controlling Zhangzhou City, the sphere of influence has grown tremendously, rewarded with 50,000 power points. Lu Yu was instantly bright and extremely surprised. When he first wanted to take down Zhangzhou City, it was because he valued the fact that Zhangzhou City had a large area, and after taking it down, the amount of power points he could obtain must be quite a lot. He just didn't expect that it was actually 50,000 power points, this time, occupying Zhangzhou City, it was really a big profit. However, soon after, a trace of disappointment flashed across his face. Although there were quite a lot of power points, the power store had not been upgraded, and the things that could be bought at the moment were not much different from before. To him, who had already broken through to the B-class level, there was little appeal. Just on second thought, he clicked on the power shop again, his eyes focusing on the advancement potion and random equipment drawing ticket. Advancement potion, C rank, after using it on a target, it can raise the target's rank from D rank to C rank, price, 1000 power points. Random equipment raffle ticket, 4th grade, after using it, randomly select a 4th grade equipment which is suitable for C rank strength, price, 1000 to 10,000 power points, the more power points spent, the stronger the equipment obtained. These two things were of no use out to him right now. However, they were extremely helpful to the Firebird and the Xuanfei Divine Eagle, after all, most of their strength was at the C rank level. The Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Array needs to be set up as soon as possible, before once again, let's give them a boost, with their strength raised, it will be of great benefit to the array set up. Lu Yu pondered for a moment and decided to use these 50,000 power points on the ferocious beasts under his command first, he could not use let the horse run and not give the horse grass to eat. The best means was to use both grace and mercy. When? Immediately, Li Yu called the Xin Tian Divine Eagle at the first moment and asked him to summon the Firebird and the other eight sea stage ferocious beasts, as well as the War Mangnio, Ice Flame Dual Headed Wolf, and the Earth Shaking Armor beasts that had followed him before. Not long afterward, inside a conference room deep inside the bunker, Lu Yu, who had shrunk in size, stood on the first seat, scanning the Firebirds and other ferocious beasts that had arrived one after another in front of him, and nodded his head in a rather satisfied manner. In addition to the little white fox that was still in the spirit pool for closed door training, these 12 beasts were the strongest fighting force under his command, and their breaths were all very powerful, with the weakest being the best of the D rank. Not counting his own B rank existence, together they were a rather amazing force. While Liu Yu was sizing them up, most of these 12 ferocious beasts were very apprehensive in their hearts, Liu Yu seldom gathered them together, and this time, when Zhangzhou City was first settled, and they were summoned at this juncture, they all vaguely felt that this summoning was extraordinary. Calling you all here today, there are mainly two things. Lu Yu slowly opened his mouth at this time. Firstly, I have seen all of your performances these days, whether it is expanding our sphere of influence in Little South Mountain or occupying Jiangzhou City, you have all been considered to be doing your duty. Today is to reward you for your performances, as I have said, follow me well, and there will be no shortage of benefits for you. Hearing this, the faces of the Firebird and the others were all slightly happy, and they all looked up at Lu Yu. Although they were willing to bow down to Liu Yu because they were intimidated by his powerful strength, they hadn't been without the idea of obtaining some benefits from Liu Yu. Just as quickly, their brows furrowed slightly again, as they really couldn't figure out what Liu Yu would take to give them a reward? 
The spiritual chi in the spiritual pool had been absorbed by him for most of the time, and now the little remaining spiritual chi was being absorbed by the little white fox all the time, so if they wanted to absorb it again, they would have to wait for at least a month to pass, and they would still need to take turns lining up. Apart from the reward for practicing in the spirit pool, they didn't understand what Lu Yu had that could be taken as a reward? Letting them be the overlord of a certain area in Zhangzhou City? It wasn't like they could raise their strength or do whatever they wanted, they had little interest. Of course, although they were suspicious in their hearts, they didn't show much on their faces, Lu Yu's current strength was beyond their reach, even if it was just a vain reward, they had to accept it with a smile. To be able to break through to the C stage, their spiritual intelligence is not low, and they also play a set of human feelings. These beasts of the heart, Lu Yu know clearly, the heart and mind, directly in the power mall to use 8 random equipment raffle tickets. Because there were only 50,000 power points, Lu Yu didn't pull the full amount, and each random equipment raffle ticket only consumed 5,000 power points. With the deduction of 40,000 power points, a raffle machine suddenly appeared on Lu Yu's system panel, which was constantly rotating. Then the system's prompts were constantly ringing out. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the flame pendant, 4th grade medium order jewelry, which can increase the power of fire aura attacks by 50%, 100%, and 200% for C order, C order and below, and not valid for more than C order. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the white bone stick, weighing 3000 kilograms, when used, it can increase the power of fire aura attacks by 50%, 100%, 200%, C rank and below, invalid for C rank and below. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the round crystal shield, grade 4 medium level defense, which can be fully activated to transform into a 10 meter giant shield that can withstand all attacks coming from the front and continuously cut down its power. The raffle machine rotated 8 times in a row, and in Lu Yu's system space, there were also 8 more 4th grade medium grade spiritual weapons, which were much more powerful than the white bone ring that was drawn out with 1000 power points, both in terms of its usage and its attributes, but the clear ones were all ineffective against C rank and above. Even if Lu Yu's B rank had already mastered the origin ability, it was normal that these spirit weapons would not be able to take effect. However, it was still slightly regrettable to have this many spirit weapons in front of him but unable to use them. Spitting silently in his heart, Lu Yu's gaze fell on the firebird first. Whether it was her strength or her contribution these days, she was considered the biggest, so he immediately took the flame pendant out of the system space. As the blazing flame pendant was exposed in the air, a hot fire aura immediately surrounded it, forming a dense haze that looked incomparably gorgeous, like the evening glow of dusk. The breathing of the firebird and the other ferocious beasts quickened, their eyes all being attracted to the flame pendant. Although they couldn't recognize the flame pendant, the fire aura surrounding it was simply too dense. As long as they brought it with them, according to its characteristic of gathering spiritual chi, their cultivation speed would definitely increase a lot. Especially the firebird that stood at the front of all the ferocious beasts, a pair of eyes had already looked at it with rapt attention, wishing to directly drill into the flame pendant. Among the eight C-stage ferocious beasts, she was the only one who was a fire aura ferocious beast, so her sense of the pendant was even more profound. The rich fire aura that flowed around the pendant, as well as the subtle light patterns that flowed through the music inside it, was a great temptation to both of them, as if they were born to build it for themselves. If it wasn't for the fact that Lu Yu's strength was too strong and she was afraid of it in her bones, I'm afraid that she wouldn't be able to resist making a move to grab it at this time. Soon, the firebird throat rolled, some stuttering request, your honor. This, this thing can give subordinates to see it. Just take a look at it from a close distance. So fitting for their own things, the desire in the heart of the firebird has long been unlimitedly stretched. The other ferocious beasts were also salivating at the sight, although this pendant was of fire attribute, not quite compatible with them, but at the first sight of the pendant, they instinctively wanted to snatch it into their hands. This is definitely a rare treasure. Li Yu smiled faintly when he saw their eager looks, knowing that these ferocious beasts were being held in a death grip by the fourth grade middle rank spirit weapon. Of course, this was also very normal, after all, with the help of a fourth grade middle rank spirit weapon, their cultivation and fighting could be greatly improved. Li Yu waved the flame pendant in front of the firebird's eyes, if you're satisfied with this thing, this is today's reward for you. Satisfied. Satisfied. I'm very satisfied. The firebird's eyes shook along with the pendant, and he couldn't help but nod his head repeatedly, before reacting and looking at Lu Yu incredulously. Your holiness, really, really rewarded me with this treasure? Although he didn't know what this thing was, it was definitely worth a lot. Lu Yu smiled and directly hung the flame pendant on the neck of the firebird. It's good that you're satisfied, this flame pendant was originally prepared for you, from now on, it belongs to you. When the flame pendant appeared around her neck, the firebird felt that the passage of time, seemed to have become much slower, and her perception of the fire aura instantly improved tremendously, as if she was bathed in a flame cloud, 
and the fire aura in her body then became much more violent, like a suppressed volcano, ready to erupt at any time. Compared to watching from afar before and truly feeling the enhancement of the flame pendant on herself, the firebird was more and more shocked that with the help of this pendant, her fighting strength and cultivation speed would increase by several percent. Her original strength was already one of the best amongst the sea steps, and with this flame pendant that fit her perfectly, she vaguely felt that she now had the qualifications to be the strongest under the B steps. The other ferocious beasts in this place all sensed the rapid increase in the firebird's aura, as if her strength had suddenly risen tremendously, bringing them a much stronger sense of oppression. Their faces instantly became even more jealous. The firebird's strength was already extremely strong, and although they were both sea borrowed fierce beasts, they had suppressed them and now her strength had risen once again under the enhancement of the flame pendant. They couldn't even entertain the idea of challenging her. Your holiness, this reward is too precious. The firebird took a deep breath and in turn became terrified. The reward that Liu Yu had taken out gave her a feeling of being overwhelmed. If I say it's given to you, then you deserve this reward, cultivate well in the future, do your work well, and don't let down my expectations of you, Liu Yu said very seriously. When the firebird heard this, hot tears welled up in her eyes, eventually she nodded heavily towards Lu Yu, thank you for the reward, your eminence, in the future, little fire will not live up to today's gift, will not live up to today's favor. The eyes of the other ferocious beasts were sour with envy and jealousy. Such a precious thing as the flame pendant was actually given to the firebird by Lu Yu, and they wanted it too much. Immediately, they all resolved fiercely inwardly that they must follow Lu Yu and do well, after all, if his holiness could also reward himself with a treasure. While they were thinking prettily, Li Yu called out another ferocious beast behind the firebird. Golden ape, you have obliterated a lot of ferocious beasts these days, you have contributed a lot, today this white bone great rod, will be given to you last time. Lu Yu's words just fell, in front of him was a white bone big stick emerged, emitting a powerful aura that pressured the void. The other ferocious beasts that were almost soaking in vinegar had stared at the white bone big stick. Although the breath of this white bone big stick and the flame pendant is very different but the two bring them that kind of desire feeling, there is not much difference, this is definitely another piece of unimaginable treasure. When the golden ape saw that big stick, his eyes directly looked straight, his wide palms rubbing back and forth, still unable to suppress the emotions within. He is considered to be the closest to the human race, a golden hair, strength, the body of the sword and spear, has always been, the battle of the eight sides, few enemies, but he always felt that he almost what? Now at the time of seeing the white bone big stick, he snapped out of it. The feeling of incompleteness that has been welling up in his heart, said that it is because of the difference between a weapon that is handy, or rather, the difference between a stick. This white bone great rod will definitely be able to assist you and bring your strength to the next level. Lu Yu also did not talk nonsense, and with a movement of his mind, he sent the rod to the golden ape's hands. The moment the golden ape held the rod, his entire essence instantly soared, and the ground under his feet was even more deeply sunken at this moment. He handily waved the big stick in his hand, whistling wind, an unspeakable arrogance of the air, from his heart emerges. It seems that heaven and earth in his own eyes have become small and unbearable. The crowd looked at the golden ape, only to feel that he has been low profile, as with the white bone stick open the shackles of the heart, that the sky and the earth, the only domineering, let them all for the heart trembles. Your holiness. In the future, I, the golden ape, swear here, in this life, only your head, except for you, all those who do not comply with my wishes, kill without pardon. The golden ape held his white bone great stick and half kneeled in front of Lu Yu, like a god of war. Lu Yu was extremely satisfied with his current state, the white bone great rod had not only boosted his strength, it had also united his essence and spirit, his strength had skyrocketed, I'm afraid that he was strong enough to fight against the firebird. The key was that from him, Lu Yu felt a true heartfelt submission, unlike before when he was forced to submit simply because of absolute strength suppression. If it was according to the previous situation, once he was not strong enough, it was highly likely that he would be the first to jump out as a rebel. Of course, with Lu Yu's strength now, even if they had gotten spirit weapons to boost their strength, he was not afraid in the slightest, after all, the gap between the B rank and the C rank was too big to be compensated for by simply using spirit weapons. Not to mention that these spiritual weapons were produced by the system, even if they were refined by them, as long as Lu Yu had a thought, they would be out of their control and return to their side. As for the other ferocious beasts looking at the great enhancement that the golden ape monkey had received because of the white bone great rod, they all stared at Lu Yu with fiery eyes, their faces filled with thirst, and they hated to pour out their hearts and lungs to Lu Yu and show their loyalty. Looking at them jumping up and down, Lu Yu couldn't help but laugh, then dryly coughed twice and seriously said, What's the rush? I have also seen the contribution that you have made, and I will not be able to do without your rewards. This round crystal shield is a defense spirit weapon, I see it is very suitable for you. The Xian Shui turtle that was stared at by Lu Yu, excitedly stretched his neck, then used the fastest speed in his life and rushed to Lu Yu in a flash, grabbing the ground with his head to thank him. 
Time rushed by, and after half an hour, the reward for the 8th sea stage ferocious beasts came to a complete end. At this moment, they were completely immersed in the spirit weapons given to Lu Yu, their faces mesmerized and in love. This time, Lu Yu's luck in the lottery was good, and most of the 8 spirit weapons fit them extremely well, which was considered to have raised their strength to a new level. The War Mangnyo, Xuanfei Divine Eagle, Ice Flame Dual-Headed Wolf, and Earth-Shaking Armored Beast behind them were envious but also a bit lost. They were considered to be the earliest ferocious beasts to follow by Lu Yu's side besides the little white fox, but now that there were more and more submissive fierce beast powerhouses around Lu Yu, they all had a feeling of being sidelined. Even though they had already developed a sense of crisis within them, fearing that Lu Yu would abandon them and no longer need them, whether it was when they were expanding the chassis of the Little South Mountain or when they were collecting and paying off the city of Zhengzhou, they had all worked extremely hard. However, by the looks of it, their strength hadn't reached the sea stage, and they didn't fall into Lu Yu's eyes, so in all likelihood, they wouldn't have a share in this reward. The four beasts looked at each other and saw the determination and firmness in each other's eyes. If they were sea beasts themselves, Lu Yu's reward of spiritual weapons would definitely have a part for them. Now that they were already among the best of the D rank, as long as they rose to the occasion, they would be the best of the best. As long as they rise to the occasion and take advantage of the second aura outbreak, they still have a chance to break through to the C stage. At that time, they would be able to return to Lu Yu's sight. As the four ferocious beasts made up their minds, they suddenly heard Lu Yu's voice ringing out at this moment, War Mangy Bull, Xian Feather Divine Eagle, Ice Flame Dual-Headed Wolf, and Earth-Shaking Armored Beast, you guys step out. The four-headed ferocious beasts were slightly stunned, their current names were given to them by Lu Yu, they originally thought that Lu Yu had forgotten, but it looked like Lu Yu had not forgotten himself. At this moment, the four-headed ferocious beasts had a feeling of tears, even if there wasn't any reward today, but Lu Yu so and so had forgotten himself, this was even a great reward for them. Looking at the four ferocious beasts that walked up with their heads lowered, Lu Yu sighed slightly, from them, he could no longer see their previous spiritedness. You guys have followed me for the earliest time, even though your strength has fallen behind a bit now, but as I said before, as long as you guys follow me, in the future I will make you worthy of the name I gave you. Lu Yu's meaningful voice made the four ferocious beasts' body and mind tremble fiercely, all sorts of complicated emotions surged within them, and for a moment, they did not know how to express themselves. Although your strength is no longer considered top-notch, but you have been diligent recently, so you should also be rewarded. When the four ferocious beasts heard this, they all raised their heads and looked at Lu Yu with surprise. Lu Yu waved his hand, and the four bottles of advancement potion that he had purchased from the system mall immediately surfaced in front of them. Advancement Potion, Rank C, after using it on a target, it can raise the target's rank from Rank D to Rank C. Price, 1000 Power Points. These four ferocious beasts were already the best of the D-stage ferocious beasts, and their bloodline was also different, far exceeding the average ferocious beasts, yet compared to the Firebird and the others who had already broken through to the C-stage ferocious beasts, they could only be considered average. So there was a delay in breaking through to C-stage, but if they were given some more time, Li Yu could be sure that they could break through but a slow step is a slow step. By raising their strength to C rank as soon as possible, they would be able to follow up with a better chance of impacting B rank and even higher realms. Looking at the sealed glass bottles suspended in front of them, the four ferocious beasts looked at me and me, flabbergasted. Although they vaguely sensed that the potion inside this glass bottle was extremely helpful, they were not clear as to what exactly it did. Li Yu didn't explain too much, he just spoke faintly, you guys take it, this will allow you to step into the C stage as soon as possible. When these words came out, not to mention the four ferocious beasts were shocked speechless, it was the firebird and the other ferocious beasts immersed in the spiritual weapons that turned their heads to look at Lu Yu, only to feel their heads buzzing. The difficulty of breaking through the C stage, every beast that breaks through to the C stage, all know it well, not only need a lot of accumulation, killing, in the breakthrough is also prone to encounter bottlenecks. Excluding a few ferocious beasts such as the firebird and golden ape with special bloodlines, many ferocious beasts did not break through at once. But now, the potion that Lu Yu had taken out mentioned that it could allow them to step into the C stage as soon as possible. Although they weren't sure how likely it was, if this was true, I was afraid that it would set off shockwaves in the fierce beast world from now on. After all, C order beasts are currently the absolute top of the strongest, in addition to Lu Yu, this monster was the first to break through the B order, the other beasts that are not in the C order struggling? The potion that could help break through the C rank, once known by the other beasts, would certainly come over to snatch it like crazy. They were even certain that even if the aura continued to recover on a large scale, the vast majority of ferocious beasts would still not be able to break through the C rank. The Xianyu Divine Eagle and the other four beasts were looking at them with fiery eyes, the potion looked extremely extraordinary, and now Liu even mentioned that after taking it, it could help them break through from the D rank to the C rank. Judging from the fact that Liu had taken out so many powerful and subtle spirit weapons, this potion was definitely real. 
He himself was expected to break through to the sea stage and stand at the top of the pyramid of the current many ferocious beasts. The four fierce beasts urged their spiritual chi with great care and removed the stopper of the medicinal bottle. Immediately, an extremely special medicinal fragrance escaped from the mouth of the bottle, like a blooming jasmine flower, overflowing with fragrance. The four ferocious beasts were leaning very close, and just by inhaling on some of it, the aura in their bodies was surging and their blood veins were boiling. The bottleneck that had been blocking in front of them was also starting to loosen up. This made the four murderers even more excited, and immediately, they gulped down the potion in one gulp. Then, they tried their best to absorb the medicinal power contained in the potion and transformed it into their limbs and bones. Lu Yu's gaze also fell on the Xian Yu Divine Eagle at this moment, wondering what reaction they would have after taking it. After all, this, advancement potion, rank C, it was also the first time he had given it to other ferocious beasts. Under Lu Yu's gaze, the bodies of the four ferocious beasts trembled slightly, and soon there were special changes. Firstly, the Shin Feather Divine Eagle's feathers were expanding at a speed visible to the naked eye, and its feathers, which were as sharp as knives, were even entwined with aura, and when it shivered like a wave of water, it emitted a burst of destructive aura that cut through everything, disturbing the air and distorting it and splitting it. The earth-shaking armored beast beside the Shin Yu Divine Eagle, on the other hand, the change was relatively bizarre. Instead of expanding, his figure was shrinking, and the thick armor on his back was withering a little bit, as if it was absorbing all the nutrients, drying up and cracking. Finally, like the withered leaves scattered to the ground, revealing the new armor coalesced again, glowing with a ghostly black light, vaguely visible in the very center of the armor, there is a twisted rune, as if it was born to grow there, revealing an inexplicable antiquity and subtlety. On top of that, the twin keely in front of him were much more rounded, like two heavy hammers, distorting the light that shone through, seemingly unusually heavy. Lu Yu was even more concerned about the metamorphosis of the earth-shaking armored beast, from his contact with this ferocious beast, he was the most special existence among the four ferocious beasts. Although his strength was not strong, he always seemed to be able to avoid evil and foresee something. Now that he had undergone a metamorphosis, he looked even more extraordinary. And almost at the same moment, the bodies of the War Mangyu and the Ice Flame dual-headed wolf also underwent different degrees of change. The war mangy bull had almost doubled in size, its spine protruding like a mountain peak, and its strong muscles were as tired as bricks and stones, making the tough cowhide's corners clear, like a mass of muscular monsters. The pair of horns were even bigger, like a round of curved moon carved out of stubborn stone, emitting a gust of oppression. Ice flame double-headed wolf's two heads are even more huge, the top of the head is like a dull hair like prominent hair, has been transformed into light blue flame, radiating hot fire, but bring Lu Yu's sense of God feels a few points of icy cold piercing the bone. With the end of the metamorphosis of the four beasts, from the first metamorphosis completed Xian Yu Divine Eagle, their breath skyrocketed. Starting from the Xian Yu Divine Eagle which was the first to complete its metamorphosis, their breath skyrocketed all the way, breaking through from the D stage to the C stage as if it were a crackerjack, and their powerful breath rushed into the sky, which was the earth's fortress that couldn't stop it in the slightest. The aura was shocking. As this aura struck, the firebird, golden ape and other ferocious beasts narrowed their eyes slightly, all revealing a strong look of shock. What kind of potion is this, it's too awesome. Even though the Xian Feather Divine Eagle and the other four ferocious beasts were not poorly endowed, wanting to break through to the sea stage was not something that easy. But right now, this potion that Lu Yu took out directly helped them break through instantly. Everything looked as if it was just a matter of time. But the more so, the more shocked they were. According to their bloodline memories, they knew that although there were ways in the world to forcibly break through realms, there was bound to be damage to the body in the future. But this potion of Lu Yu's did not make them feel the slightest bit of any side effects on their bodies. Compared to the shock of the firebird and other ferocious beasts, the many human races in Jiangzhou city at this moment were even more horrified as their cold hairs exploded, their faces horrified as they stopped what they were doing, and they almost knelt down on the ground amidst the horrifying pressure that the Xin Feather Divine Eagle released like a torrent sweeping over them. This, this, is a terrifying aura. Has another ferocious beast broken through to rank C? This must be it, only a C-stage ferocious beast breaking through can exhibit such an astonishing aura. Almost everyone in the city was talking. More and more fierce beasts had made breakthroughs during this aura outbreak, and they had learned more and more about the various fierce beasts. Especially after Lu Yu led an army of fierce beasts and occupied the city of Zhengzhou, they were constantly supplementing their knowledge of fierce beasts. Knowing that this aura was definitely the moment of the breakthrough of a C-stage ferocious beast, it escaped. The aura of breakthrough seems to have come from the direction of the bunker, can it be that there is another ferocious beast under Lu Yu's command that has made a breakthrough? No way, I've heard that there are already 8 C stage ferocious beasts under Lu Yu's command, and now there's one more? In many places, a C rank beast is a well-deserved absolute hegemon, and in a large area, it can be called the strongest, and now if there is one more under Lu Yu's command, is it possible that we will have to live under the rule of the beasts forever? 
Many of the citizens who were in the city were bombarded with a feeling of darkness within their hearts. They had already fallen into a dark moment once before when Liu Yu had displayed a move powerful enough to exterminate the entire city, and had managed to pull through, deciding to endure the humiliation with a view to the future. As a result, the strength of the ferocious beast had increased again? Wait, it seems like there are more breaths erupting, and there are ferocious beasts breaking through the sea rank again. No, it's not just two heads. Three heads. Four heads. I didn't feel it wrong, right? Just how many ferocious beasts have broken through to sea rank? After the earth-shaking armor beast's aura of their breakthrough spread rapidly, the residents of the city were gradually shocked to the point of numbness, with only one thought within their hearts that, to what extent was this ferocious beast force formed by Lu Yu terrifying? Not counting Lu Yu's terrifyingly perverted strength, together with these four beasts that had just broken through to the sea stage, wouldn't that mean that there were already 12 sea stage beasts under Lu Yu's command? 12 sea rank beasts. This kind of horrifying thing that could not even be dreamt of had actually happened. What grass? Zhangzhou City definitely can't continue to stay, these ferocious beasts are too terrifying. The stronger Lu Yu and the ferocious beasts under his command are, the less we have a way to live, if we don't leave before then, in the future, not only us, but our descendants are afraid that we will also become slaves in their keeping forever. As the Xianyu Divine Eagle and their aura gradually converged, the people of Zhangzhou City, who were oppressed by the aura of the four fierce beasts, all wiped their heads full of sweat before deciding to flee from this place regardless of everything. After all, the ferocious beasts are not human, even if the ferocious nature at this time temporarily converges. however, once the ferocious beasts change their ways, how can they have life in the city? After all, under the powerful strength of Lu Yu, they want to escape at that time, but it is a fool's errand. The news of the Xianyu Divine Eagle and the other four beasts breaking through to the sea stage was also known to the top management at the first time. For a time, the higher-ups were shaken, and people were on tenterhooks. Elderly, who was in the middle of dealing with things, hurriedly summoned all the ministries to discuss this event that was horrifying enough to be called appalling. For ferocious beasts breaking through at the same time, can it be that Lu Yu has mastered some way to make ferocious beasts break through? Some of the executives in charge of scientific research work speculated with chills running down their backs. One or two ferocious beasts breaking through together would be just fine, however, this time, four ferocious beasts broke through almost simultaneously, or broke through to the top of the current ferocious beasts, the C rank. If they said it was a coincidence, none of them would believe it. Or perhaps Lu Yu obtained some heavenly material which made them break through, Lu Yu is a golden eagle, what could he have done to make them break through to C rank? The other higher-ups retorted, and then got a bit weak when they said, of course, we can't rule out this possibility. After all, Lu Yu was the only B-stage ferocious beast that they had clearly identified, so what means an undercurrents he had, they did not dare to be sure and guaranteed. Many of those who participated in this meeting constantly wiped the cold sweat that emerged from their foreheads as a wave of fear ran through their hearts. Previously, they had tried to fight Lu Yu stubbornly to the end, although they were afraid of Lu Yu's monolithic strength later on and chose to compromise. Now that they thought about it carefully, in addition to his strength being too powerful to fight against, he might also possess unimaginable abilities. Fighting against him was simply like flying into a flame and taking their own lives, especially with the latest information they had learned, Lu Yu should have eight C-rank ferocious beasts under his command. Now that four more C-rank fierce beasts had been born, there were twelve C-rank fierce beasts under his command, and even the several fierce beast nests that they had focused on observing were barely comparable to him. More and more were becoming more and more alarmed, the stronger Lu Yu was, the more pressure they had on their shoulders. Elderly took a deep breath and said seriously. Nowadays, we must speed up the research and development of genetic potions, this is the only chance we have at the moment to counteract the ferocious beasts, raise the nation's efforts to do this matter. In addition, try to find other ways to fight against the ferocious beasts, since the ferocious beasts can ferocious beast aura to become stronger, we are also as a member of the blue star, we should also be able to be strengthened through the aura, it's just that we may not have found the doorway for the time being. Hearing elderly say this, the others nodded their heads. Nowadays, the third generation of genetic potions was already under intense development. Researchers from all over the world were sharing information and data, and they were doing their best to provide the needed ferocious beast carcasses, elixirs, and so on. As for the second point mentioned by elderly, they had also asked those historians and cultural relic scientists to rummage through the ancient books, trying to find traces of relying on aura cultivation. As for Lu Yu's side, the best thing to do at the moment can only be to not provoke him and try to stabilize him by all means. Elderly pondered for a moment before adding. In addition, Leli Chang'an and the others pay attention, besides keeping an eye on Lu Yu's situation at all times, if Lu Yu mentions any requirements, try to fulfill them as much as possible if you can. Even if it's a very excessive request, for the sake of the greater good, it's still possible to break our wrists, there's not much time left for us. Speaking later, although Elder Li's face was ugly, his tone was very serious and decisive. 
When the others heard this, their hearts thumped inwardly and their moods became heavier, but they also understood that Elderly was doing this for the sake of the greater good. After all, today's Lu Yu and the ferocious beasts under his command were becoming more and more powerful. Especially that last sentence of his, there is not much time left for us, was like a heavy hammer that ruthlessly hit them in the heart. As the top management, the news of ferocious beasts rising up everywhere and preying on the murderous races was becoming more and more frequent. However, in the face of fierce beast attacks, their means were becoming more and more powerless. Many cities and scenic spots that were close to famous mountains and rivers had completely fallen, becoming a paradise for ferocious beasts. Apart from that, the situation in the other countries of the Blue Planet was also not optimistic. Quite a few smaller countries were being completely occupied by the ferocious beasts, and the people in various parts of the country were not happy, becoming food for the ferocious beasts to feed on. And there are also many countries, such as island countries, stick countries, etc. In order to be able to continue, in order to suppress the ambition in the heart, choose to those strong c rank ferocious beasts to surrender, become a slave of the ferocious beasts, at the mercy of the ferocious beasts to drive, even if they let them take the initiative to send their nationals to feast on, they do not bring the slightest hesitation. This, in turn, had brought them a lot of peace, while they seemed to have been given some sort of dharma that they could cultivate by the fierce beasts, and their strength skyrocketed. The time left for them, truly not much already. Zhangzhou City, inside the bunker. As the aura of the Xian Feather Divine Eagle stabilized, they felt the raging pangs of aura within their bodies and slowly opened their eyes, all of them excitedly grateful and appreciative. Many thanks for your honor's help. We will follow each other in life and death in the future, if we violate this oath, the ghosts and gods of heaven and earth will be executed together. Seeing this, Lu Yu also looked at them with a surprised expression. The oath seems to have no use, however, as his cultivation becomes more and more profound, the more clear, once the oath is violated, the heart must be born within the heart of the devil, in the sense of the origin of the Tao, will be difficult, and even the death of the Tao. The Xian Yu Divine Eagle had broken through to the sea stage, and although they hadn't begun to comprehend the origin, they should have had a premonition of it. However, they still made such a vow, so it was evident that they were truly returning to the fold. The other ferocious beasts, such as the Firebird, were surprised by the four ferocious beasts' determination, while at the same time feeling that there was a hint of shamelessness on their part. After all, apart from the overwhelmingly ferocious beasts that lived in groups, all of them were high-minded and proud, wanting to make them sincerely submit was definitely not an easy thing to do. They had actually used the method of making an oath to curry the favor and attention of their honors. Immediately, the Firebird and the others also bent down in submission and made an oath that they were willing to follow Lu Yu's left and right for all eternity. The spiritual weapons and potions that Lu Yu had taken out were definitely extremely rare things, and they asked themselves that if they had such good things, they would definitely not be willing to take them out. But not only did he take out so many at once, the key was that he was also willing to spend on them. With Lu Yu's strength and mystery, there must be even greater benefits to following him, compared to practicing alone, following Lu Yu was simply like being hung up. Therefore, the sooner they showed their loyalty, the sooner they could draw Lu Yu's attention and concern. The twelve C-rank beasts were all happy to obey, Lu Yu instantly felt an inexplicable sublimation in himself, and the golden feathers on his body were even more brilliant and eye-catching. Lu Yu was quite happy and swept a glance at them, saying, Alright, I understand all of your intentions, now that we are in the midst of an eventful autumn, the subsequent aura will continue to erupt, if we want to stand undefeated at the pinnacle in the future as well, we need to start preparing now. The many ferocious beasts looked at Lu Yu and all nodded their heads. Cultivating to the sea stage, they had a faint sense of the origin, and also vaguely felt that this aura outbreak was another new beginning, and that they must not stop their cultivation there. They relied on this aura outbreak to make a breakthrough, other gifted ferocious beasts might have already begun to impact the bee stage, and there might even be a heaven's destiny son who had already grown to the bee stage like your holiness. If they were to remain stagnant, they would certainly be left far behind by other ferocious beasts in the future which was absolutely unacceptable to these ferocious beasts who were high-minded and proud. Since Lu Yu had mentioned making early preparations, he might have already had some sort of plan. Instantly, they looked at him with fiery eyes. And Lu Yu spoke up at that moment, I broke through the bee stage and stumbled upon an array formation, once I set it up, Zhangzhou City will be as solid as a golden soup, and it will be difficult for other ferocious beasts to invade, on top of that, and most importantly, the nine heavens gathering array can gather the spiritual chi of the heavens and the earth and turn the whole of Zhangzhou City into a cultivation sanctuary, no less than cultivating amidst the spirit pools. Hearing this, the firebird and the other ferocious beasts immediately became excited. Even though they hadn't practiced in the spirit pool yet, the richness of the spiritual chi within the spirit pool was something they were all very greedy for right now. It was just that the size of the spirit pool was too small, and once the spirit liquid within the spirit pool was absorbed, it would take some time to accumulate. 
If they could turn all of Jiangzhou City into an environment like the Spirit Pond where the rich spiritual chi of heaven and earth converged, they were confident that, relying on their own talents, they would be able to impact the beast age and the field market in the days to come, and thus lead the way in the general environment of the recovery of spiritual chi step by step. However, as they looked at Lu Yu's gloomy expression, they vaguely understood that the so-called Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was definitely not that easy to set up. But if it was really able to gather the spiritual chi of heaven and earth on a large scale, even if it was difficult to build, they were willing to spend the time to do so, after all, it would allow them to follow up their cultivation too much faster. And the fact is also true, Lu Yu especially studied, although the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation is powerful, but it is not easy to build, it is mainly divided into three parts, the formation base, the formation eye, and the core of the formation. The foundation part, can use a large number of ferocious beasts bones to set up, and then to runes will be the power of the bones fusion, into the foundation of the formation. Formation I and the core of the formation is required, respectively, gathering spirit stone and purple Xi'an crystal. These two things, Liu has never heard of in his previous life, only the system mission mentioned some key information, and gave the image, the specific place where these things exist, Liu is now also confused. He first gave those ferocious beasts a brief explanation of the circumstances of setting up the array and then used his divine sense to transmit the information and images of the spirit gathering stone and the purple Xi'an crystal into their minds. The twelve ferocious beasts discussed in whispers and quickly quieted down, and the firebird stepped forward and spoke. Your holiness, although there are a lot of fierce beast corpses and bones needed for the foundation of the formation, nowadays, the fierce beasts are becoming more and more numerous and stronger, so it's not a problem for us to put our hands on it together, and it won't take long for us to get it all together. It's just that the spirit gathering stones and purple shin crystals that you mentioned, we don't have any impression of them, but if we release all the fierce beasts that we control under our command, and search them on a large scale, we should be able to find some clues. Search, we should be able to find some clues. The other ferocious beasts nodded after the firebird finished speaking. As long as the spirit gathering stone and purple shin crystal really existed, with the fierce beasts under their command adding up to close to 100,000, they would be able to inquire about something anyways. Alright, this matter is settled, you guys act separately, each of you hunt and kill the nearby ferocious beasts, send the corpses of the ferocious beasts to the city and I will handle them, as for the spirit gathering stone and purple shin crystal, you guys will release all the ferocious beasts under your command, and collectively scout for me, and those who find the relevant information will be heavily rewarded. Lu Yu didn't have any other better methods for the time being and swept a glance at the crowd, announcing the final order. Don't worry, your holiness, we will definitely do our best to live up to your holiness orders. After the firebird and the other ferocious beasts saluted towards Lu Yu, they quickly left the bunker and scrambled to take action. Regardless of the longing for the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation or Lu Yu's rewards, they could all look forward to it, and at the same time, they also wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to further gain Lu Yu's goodwill and recognition. After the ferocious beasts left, Lu Yu pondered for a while and directly went to Li Chanan's office on the side. Currently, the little white fox was still in seclusion, and some of the affairs of Jiangzhou City, Li Yu temporarily handed over to Li Chang'an to handle. He had been the head of Jiangzhou City before, so he must be able to handle these matters with ease. Although Lu Yu wanted to establish a force, he did not want to manage it, and only wanted to be a hands-off boss. Li Chang'an, who was dealing with documents in his office, suddenly felt the figure of an additional golden eagle in front of him when he looked up again. Even though Lu Yu had already collected most of his aura, the obscure aura that surrounded him still made him depressed inside. Especially when he looked at Lu Yu, he would always feel that the golden light on Lu Yu's body grew brighter and brighter, and his every move carried an inexplicable majesty, as if he was a born king who was gradually revealing his world-shaking radiance. Mr. Lu. After Li Chang'an reacted, he quickly got up and respectfully gave Lu Yu a salute. Through the city's affairs that he had handled these days, Lu Yu had a near-absolute binding power over the ferocious beasts under his command, and indeed did not allow the ferocious beasts under his command to slaughter the citizens. This made him relieved, and his impression of Lu Yu had changed greatly. From the looks of it, Lu Yu seemed to be only interested in the territory of Jiangzhou City. It's just that an existence like Lu Yu would never come to himself for no reason, and he suddenly came over now. Thinking about the fact that after the breakthrough of the Xian Yu Divine Eagle and other ferocious beasts, most of the people of Jiangzhou City were evacuating regardless of the situation, he was at a loss as to how to deal with it, when Lu Yu suddenly came over. Could it be that Lu Yu had come for this matter? Li Chang'an thumped inwardly, even though Lu Yu mentioned that he would not prohibit the citizens of Jiangzhou City from leaving, if too many people left, some of the basic operations of Jiangzhou City could not be maintained. Li Guolao and other Chinese senior, let himself must stabilize Lu Yu, and gave himself great authority, if Lu Yu because of this matter anger, he and China cannot afford. So, without waiting for Lu Yu to open his mouth, Li Chang'an directly opened his mouth to save the day. Mr. 
Lu, although the current loss of citizens in the city is relatively serious, but you can rest assured that there will be no problems with the functioning of Jiangzhou city, and I will also immediately transfer some citizens from other places. Lu Yu directly waved his hand, unconcerned, those who want to leave let them go as soon as possible, no need to pay attention to it, not to mention don't transfer people over, I came to look for you, mainly there are two things, need you to look for them. Compared to the ferocious beast's carpet search, Lu Yu, who was a human being in his previous life, knows very well that the high-tech satellites of human beings as well as the intelligence system can search in a larger range, and the possibility of finding the two things is also greater. Since he had this condition, Lu Yu of course had to utilize it. I wonder which two items Mr. Lu is looking for? Li Chang'an subconsciously inquired with some apprehension as he let out a sigh of relief. Lu Yu's eyes flashed with golden light and Li Chang'an was first a little confused before more news and images related to the gathering spirit stone and purple shin crystal appeared in his mind. After Li Chang'an came back to his senses, he looked at Lu Yu's figure with more and more horror, this means of adding information directly to his memory was simply divine. Was this the means of a B-rank fierce beast? He took a deep breath and forced himself to calm down before recalling in his mind if he had ever seen either of these things. However, he repeated his recollection for a long time, but he didn't have any impression. Mr. Lu, I haven't seen these two items before, they look very unusual, but please don't worry, I'll relay it to the intelligence officers and have them use all means to search for you. Although he wasn't sure what these two things were for, but seeing Lu Yu attaching such importance to them, Li Chang'an didn't dare to take them lightly. He had previously been thinking about how he could convince Lu Yu to cooperate with them. After all, Lu Yu is too powerful, and if they could cooperate with him, it would definitely be of great benefit to Hua Xia. But also because Lu Yu was too powerful, what right did they have in Hua Xia to cooperate with Lu Yu? Right now, Lu Yu is obviously very attached to the spirit gathering stone and purple Xi'an crystal, and once they helped him, they might be able to find that glimmer of cooperation. Lu Yu nodded, as soon as possible, if I can find them within a month, I can fulfill a reasonable request of yours. Although he could force Hua Xia to search for him, yet compared to forcing, luring was undoubtedly a better choice, which would make Hua Xia help him search seriously at any cost. And it was true, as soon as he heard Lu Yu say this, Li Chang'an looked up sharply at him, unable to believe if he had heard something wrong. As long as he found these two things, Li Yu could actually fulfill a reasonable request for himself? The more he came into contact with Lu Yu, the more he understood the terror of Lu Yu and the power of those ferocious beasts under his command. It could be said that this reasonable request was almost equivalent to a wish. In an instant, Li Chan'an bent down and saluted, patting his chest. Don't worry Mr. Lu, your business is my business. As long as there are these two things within the range of the Blue Star if there are any, there will definitely be relevant news coming in within a month. This time Hua Xia will lift up the strength of the country to search for Mr. Lu. You go, with this matter as the main focus, the matter of Jiangzhou City can be put down for the time being. Lu Yu said, and then dashed away from this office, and began to perceive the runes of the Nine Heavens Gathering Spirit Formation. This was the extremely crucial formation rune that needed to be inscribed on the head of the fierce beast bone. The current him was still learning without a clue, if he didn't speed up the progress of his sensing, even if the materials were collected, the formation would still not be able to be set up. At the same time, when Li Chang'an informed Lu Yu and the others about Lu Yu as fast as he could, their eyes reddened slightly with excitement. Lu Yu, this thick thigh, they had a chance to hug it. Command down, apart from the work related to the genetic potion development that cannot be stopped, all other work will be downgraded in importance, and the search for the spirit gathering stone and purple Xi'an crystal will be the top priority, and if anyone is able to find them, they will be the country's meritorious servant. Li Guolao quickly gave the order. Then the major official organizations in Huaxia directly boiled. Taking off. Finding the two things that matched the picture, surprisingly, one could directly become a minister of national merit? If it wasn't for the orders that were passed down from layer to layer, they would have completely disbelieved that this was true. After all, the title of national minister of merit was too rare and precious, not only would one's own future life be worry-free and protected by Huaxia, but one would also be able to bless future generations. Countless people tended to rush for it, yet only in times of war, this and the title might be awarded to specific people. Now all that was needed was to find these two things. In addition to all levels of official organizations in China began to work overtime to keep busy, that is, foreign countries have been in chaos, extremely dangerous, China still sent a large number of manpower, to search. Quite a feeling of not stopping until you find it. Woo woo. A fully loaded train rushed out from the city of Zhengzhou. Whether inside or outside the car, it was crowded with people and luggage, rather like the scene of the Three Kingdoms. Luckily, I caught this train and left Jiangzhou City, whoever loves to stay in that place can stay, those ferocious beasts will continue the hobnob, and in the future, I may not know what will become of it. Yes, 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 I heard that not long ago, they rushed to the outside of the city on a large scale, massacring other ferocious beasts, the scene was a bloody. 
The ferocious beasts in Jiangzhou City are getting more and more numerous and stronger, it definitely won't be that easy to leave that purgatory in the future. Whatever, we escaped anyway, let's prepare for a new life. The people on the train were all very glad that they had left Jiangzhou City alive, the discussion was very loud, and all the descendants were in a state of harmony, with a face looking forward to a new life. But just at this time, the speeding train suddenly shook violently, some people who did not have a firm grip, in this vibration directly fell on both sides of the tracks, fell covered in blood, let out a scream, the air filled with a bloody and tragic flavor. The crowd on the train has not yet reacted to what happened, because of the violent impact and stopped the train, once again came a burst of vibration. This time, the crowd was able to see the direction of the locomotive from which the vibration came from, and then their faces all revealed a strong color of horror. Only to see that there was a giant lizard, spitting long snake letters, from the bottom of the railroad tracks quickly climbed out. The speeding locomotive was the one that had been completely flattened into a twisted piece of iron because of the impact on it. It was the subsequent several carriages that were also twisted by the impact, and almost all of the people inside the carriages died tragically, and the bright red blood dyed the carriages and the ground red. That giant lizard sniffing the air the smell of blood, scarlet eyes more deep a few points, his long tongue a roll, along with the several carriages, together with him to pull into the mouth, eat 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 you up. For a time, the sound of iron being squeezed, the sound of bones breaking, the sound of terrified screams, tore through the sky. The ferocious beast is here to kill, this ferocious beast must be at least C rank, it's too huge, too terrifying. Run, run, if you don't leave, it'll be too late. Run separately, run separately. Forcing back the feeling of vomiting, the crowd fled the train in panic, pushing down the guardrails on both sides and scattering in all directions like crazy. The horror of the ferocious beast had already penetrated deep into their bones, not to mention this huge lizard, that is, the train in front of it, all seemed much smaller. If they didn't leave again, they were afraid that they would be swallowed by him. At the thought of the image of being swallowed by the giant lizard, they couldn't help but shiver coldly and darted away to escape at a faster speed. That giant lizard didn't chase after them, it just drew out its tail below the ground, and threw the small lizards that were densely crawling all over his giant tail, in all directions. Then it continued to eat the several scrapped carriages and the corpses that filled them all by itself. Bang bang bang! The small lizards that were thrown out by the giant lizard, fell as intensively as rain, and after rolling around in the air for a few times, they landed heavily on the ground, smashing a large pit on the ground. Although it is a small lizard, but that is just for the giant lizards, their size is 3 meters, like a crocodile. Opening their big mouths full of sharp teeth, they spat out their long tongues, tearing the nearest human race, no matter how they struggled, how they attacked their long tongues, how they hissed and screamed, all to no avail. They could only watch themselves being eaten into the giant lizard's mouth little by little, and in the end the sharp fangs fell down like a gate knife, blood spurted out, and their memories and sight were confused. Cackle cackle cackle. Eating crunchy bone-like sounds came out from the mouths of those small lizards. Whether it was the hard skulls or the iron weapons that some of them were carrying, none of them were able to stop the little lizards from chewing. They were soon eaten without any crumbs left, and then continued to rush towards the next person. Many people turned around to see this scene and their scalps exploded. Even though they had long known about the brutality of the ferocious beasts, seeing with their own eyes that their relatives who had been laughing and smiling before, and their companions who had been sitting together before, had just fallen into the mouths of the ferocious beasts, it still caused their spirits to twist. Quickly! Request for support. Request for backup. The train crew members who were still alive, while fleeing in terror, hurriedly fumbled for their phones, then pressed a red button and dialed. Headquarters, headquarters. I'm the T999 train crew, we've been attacked by a ferocious beast, the train is severely damaged, and most of the passengers are being hunted by the ferocious beast. Requesting for support. The headquarters personnel on the other end of the phone, his face instantly turned pale, but as the time of ferocious beast attacks had been increasing lately, he still quickly stabilized his mind and asked for crucial information, and, where has the train traveled to? What ferocious beasts attacked you? What was the strength? How many in number? However, his questions were not answered, and he only heard on the other side of the microphone, a terrified scream that, don't, don't come over, don't you come over, no. With a cackle, there was the sound of a sharp electric current, and the phone was forced to hang up. This happened from time to time, and many of the stewards who called for assistance were killed in the mouths of the ferocious beasts. Those ferocious beasts eat eat, feel not addicted, and even like shivering like spicy noodles, directly will a passenger, he swallowed into the stomach. The scene was bloody, like a scene from the depths of hell. It's not that they didn't resist, but the small lizards have thick skin and flesh, no matter whether it's a gun or a sharp blade, they can't do any damage to them, at most, they just leave some white spots on their ideas. As for escape, their speed is far from being able to compare with the small lizards, the speed of the small lizards is almost three times that of theirs, and their long tongues are both soft and tough, and they can extend forward about 10 meters. 
In just a few dozen breaths, thousands of people have become the small lizard's stomach food, and after devouring those passengers, their size became even larger, and their aura was even more ferocious, and their originally greenish-colored skin had already been dyed red with blood. Quickly take me away, take me away, I'll give you guys. Money, I have plenty of money. A rich man dressed in expensive clothes who really couldn't run, panting, looked around at the fleeing passengers, trying to get them to take him away. However everyone was already immersed in the fear of death, and didn't pay any attention to him at all, just stifling himself and running, regretting that his parents didn't give him a pair of wings. Also at the moment he stopped, the little lizard that came running wildly on all four feet, its gaze fixed viciously on the rich man. Don't come over, I'm the original Jiangzhou City's top 10 ranked tycoon Zhao Xian, if you let me go. I'll give you more meat than you can eat in this lifetime when I get back. Even though he knew that this was talking to a cow, Zhao Xian still shouted in terror, this was the only thing he could do at the moment. The ferocious beast sized up the big-bellied Zhao Xian, seemingly satisfied, and its long scarlet tongue violently jutted over. Zhao Xian's eyes were almost glazed over, his heart thumping, only feeling that he was afraid of dying here today. Whoosh! Also at this moment, the sound of breaking air came, a series of dense bullets blasted on top of the long tongue, instantly piercing through the long tongue that came barreling over and shattering it, blood froth splattering. The blood of the ferocious beast stained his face, Zhao Xian's body shivered, his forehead was covered in cold sweat, and his entire body looked like he had just been fished out of the water. Immediately afterward, he jerked his head up to look, only to see a helicopter, flying towards here from afar, and in the left and right directions of the cabin, there were machine gunners firing. It seemed as if he himself had been saved by them. It's our reinforcements, we're saved. Everyone else noticed the helicopters hovering in the sky at this time, and as if their desperate hearts were ignited, they let out cheers. Those who obviously couldn't run but were still holding on strongly also panted and slowed down their pace. These lizard ferocious beasts were very brutal, but they all had strong confidence in the reinforcements and the Chinese warriors. After all, they had seen that quite a few of the lizards had turned into puddles of flesh under the machine gun blasts, showing that hot weapons were still extremely lethal to them. However, the faces of the warriors on the helicopter, especially those genetic warriors, did not relax in the slightest, and most of these ferocious beasts are the weakest F-class ferocious beasts, and there are quite a few E-class ferocious beasts, but it always feels so simple, that huge lizard is a C-class ferocious beast. No matter what, these ferocious beasts must be stopped first, we'll use our firepower to support and suppress these ferocious beasts, so that the others can leave this place as soon as possible. After a short deliberation, they made a decision, the machine gun spat out crimson flames, and countless powerful bullets were declared, forcing back the small lizards that were approaching. Saved. Zhao Xian and the others were relieved at this moment, it looked like with these helicopters escorting them, those lizards would not be able to approach again. However, as soon as such thoughts were born in their hearts, they saw those small lizards retreating, and that sea stage giant lizard, rushing towards the helicopters. With every step he ran, the earth trembled, and anyone who was standing was almost shaken to the ground, their faces becoming terrified. It was this giant lizard that had stopped the train, and it was also this giant lizard that had thrown the densely packed small lizards scattering in all directions. He could be said to be the root cause of this calamity, but his aura was also powerful to the point of being terrifying, on par with the sea stage ferocious beasts they remembered. It was almost confirmed that this giant lizard was definitely the leader of this lizard race, and a sea stage ferocious beast that was making its presence felt everywhere without being able to resist it. Zhao Xian and the others had stayed within Zhangzhou City for many days and had sensed the aura of different levels of ferocious beasts. Only a sea rank beast would bring them a suffocating sense of oppression. Also at the moment when the giant lizard rushed explosively, the numerous helicopters hovering above the sky were immediately affected by the agitated aura, their fuselages swaying unsteadily from side to side, and the rotation of their propellers slowing down quite a bit. All alert! The pilot of the aircraft shouted out with a panicked face, while gripping the joystick tightly, slowly stabilizing the helicopter. As military personnel, they were all too aware of the ferocious and terrifying ferocity of the ferocious beasts. Especially the ferocious beasts that had already broken through to the sea stage were like a nightmare for humans, wherever they went, they brought up a gust of bloody wind and rain, and many of their comrades had died in the hands of the ferocious beasts. Concentrate firepower, attack this giant lizard together, we can't let him get any closer, or none of the people here will survive. The squad leader who was in charge of commanding the scene, staring at the giant lizard with a burning gaze, pressed the fire button first, accompanied by a burst of muttering sound, the arm-thick armor-piercing bullets fell onto the giant lizard's body. These armor-piercing bullets have been specially designed to easily penetrate a steel wall in front of them, and are specially designed to deal with ferocious beasts with amazing defensive strength. Then, the C-rank ferocious beasts had already exceeded the killing range of the human race's thermal weapons by too much. The giant lizard didn't even pay attention to those oncoming armor-piercing bullets, the scarlet and sticky long tongue was rolled, 
and those people who were shot to the ground only felt their whole body heat up, and then their bodies were uncontrollably glued to the giant lizard's mouth, and became the delicious food for him to have a full meal. At this time, the amazing power of the armor-piercing bullet came late, bombarded the giant lizard body, erupted a muffled sound, stirring up a succession of chaotic ripples. The noise came quickly and dissipated quickly. After the chaotic smoke drifted away, even though those pilots had already anticipated this scene, their hearts were still filled with despair and fear. The lizard's body surface was full of thick scales, like impenetrable heavy armor, armor-piercing bullets fell on it, and the special tip was directly flattened, and the bullet body was twisted and dented, like a lump of mud, sliding down from the scales. Damn it, it really doesn't work? Attacking this giant lizard has no effect, why don't we attack those less powerful lizards and divert this giant lizard's attention, or else then the hundreds of thousands of people here won't be enough for him to eat in a few bites. The captain who had given the order earlier, immediately changed his strategy, switched his guns and launched a merciless strafing of those small lizard laws. When they had just remotely rescued Zhao Xian and the others, they had once launched an attack on those small lizardfa. The small lizards were not strong, they should be the offspring of giant lizards, most of them were currently in their infancy, so the guns and artillery could still be of great use. Just their only uncertainty was whether the giant lizard cared about his offspring, if he continued to launch attacks on the crowd without paying attention, their strategy of surrounding the lizard to save Zhao would seem meaningless. As soon as such thoughts emerged in their minds, the giant lizard seemed to have sensed their thoughts. Its long giant tail swept out towards the many helicopters, its speed was so fast that it broke the sound barrier, leaving a series of sonic booms in the air. A series of sonic booms. The numerous pilots were simply too late to make any reaction, and could only look at the giant tail as it attacked, an endless sense of death welling up in their hearts, making their entire bodies glow as if they were frozen by the cold. No! In the horrified gazes of the people here, the helicopters burst into the air as much as they could almost the moment the giant tail swept by. The debris of different sizes splashed and shot in all directions, and a faint mist of blood appeared in the air. The helicopter was solved, the long and narrow face of the giant lizard had a comfortable color. Without this annoying fly, the meal of himself and his grandchildren finally did not need to be disturbed. Different from the lizard's comfort, Zhao Xian and the others were completely stagnant, their hands and feet were cold and scary, and many of them even forgot to escape at this time. Those helicopters that came voluntarily made the hope of living strong in their hearts. But this hope in front of the ferocious beast, simply not worth mentioning, was mercilessly and cruelly shredded by him. Without these helicopters to cover them, an unprecedented despair and powerlessness arose within them. The images of the lizards ferociously devouring their human compatriots became clearer and clearer in his brain ha, huh? and even the faces of those devoured human beings turned into themselves in a trance. At this moment, Zhao Axian's fists subconsciously clenched. He had never wanted to live like this before. Nor had he ever hated his own cowardice and weakness like this. If he had absolute strength, this tragedy would not have happened today, and he would have been able to live well in this world. At the same time, he was incredibly remorseful of why he was so hot-headed and left Zhengzhou. If he hadn't left, he should be living peacefully in Jiangzhou city right now, instead of becoming food for these ferocious beasts to devour wantonly. However, there were not so many ifs in the world. A roar from a lizard pulled everyone back to the present world. Without the cover of the helicopter, those lizards that had previously cowered and dared not come forward, swung their bodies from side to side at a much faster speed, pouncing towards them at an extremely astonishing speed. They are more bloodthirsty, and from the large pit dug out by the giant lizard, more powerful lizards crawled out, as if you ought together to enjoy such a blood orgy. Bang! In many people are powerless to close their eyes, waiting for the arrival of death, a huge golden figure suddenly fell from the sky, with a whistling sound of the wind, heavily smashed in the dense lizard group. The reaction speed of the lizard group was very open, quickly scattered in all directions, instinctively wanting to avoid the falling shadow of the golden figure. But they were still one step too slow, the golden figure fell like a meteor, smashing down on the many lizards, causing them to break their bones and tendons under the irresistible pressure, emitting agonizing screams. More than a few were crushed into meat cakes and died violently on the spot. Even the lizards next to the figure were affected. With the golden figure falling as the core, the earth was sunken and cracked, stretching out dense cracks like a spider's web, and then this huge force further pushed the plane to undulate like water waves, drowning the giant lizards under the soil layer. This scene came extremely suddenly, not only did the numerous frenzied lizards freeze, but Zhao Xian and the others, who were still despairing inside, also opened their eyes and looked at the gigantic figure with its back to them. After looking at that figure, many people's bodies trembled, the pressure that permeated from his body caused a strong sense of familiarity to well up in their hearts. Golden Ape, is it possible that he is that sea-stage fierce beast under Lu Yu's command? Both the aura and appearance are the same as the Golden Ape Monkey, but I remember that the Golden Ape Monkey didn't have any weapons in its hands. Why is this Golden Ape Monkey holding a stick? With his strength, 
he should be able to fight against the giant lizard, if they kill each other, we might be able to survive today. Anyone who was still alive was discussing this matter, their eyes glowing slightly. They knew very well that most ferocious beasts, if they saw each other, nine times out of ten they would attack each other until one side died or admitted defeat. If this golden ape fought with the giant lizard in a bloodbath, they would see that they would also be able to take advantage of this opportunity and escape as soon as possible. In their perception, the breath of the golden ape monkey than the giant lizard to bring their blood, more oppressive, seems to be a lot stronger than the giant lizard. In their expectant gazes, the giant lizard showed its teeth and stared at the golden ape, its gaze so cold that it seemed to be able to freeze the air. Then the strong aura emanating from the golden ape monkey's body made him quite scornful, instinctively suppressing the urge to strike and taking the initiative to open his mouth to question. We have no grievances with you, what are you doing striking out at my descendants? Can it be that you, a sea-stage ferocious beast, have become the lackey of these humans? Speaking later, the giant lizard's face added a touch of intense mockery. After all, the spiritual intelligence of a sea-stage ferocious beast was already very high, and its already high-minded and proud heart was even more pretentious, looking down on other ferocious beasts, not to mention the human race that was only worthy of being food. If this were to be spread out, the golden ape would definitely become the laughingstock of other ferocious beasts. In the face of the giant lizard's mockery, as well as his aggressive gaze, the golden ape almost ignored it, and only surveyed the giant lizard and the densely packed lizards around him with a rather satisfied expression. Your holiness needs a large number of corpses of ferocious beasts, your strength is good and your number is quite large, you can barely be used, now be good and wait for death. The giant lizard angrily roared at the golden ape, arrogant, when my giant lizard lineage is so easy to bully. Although he is a little afraid of the strength of the golden monkey, but we are the same sea stage, the strength gap is not to the point of heaven and earth, want to kill themselves, but it is a fool's errand. Golden monkey does not talk nonsense with him, the first towards the giant lizard rushed, white bone stick in his hand was swung by him, like a pillar in the sky, in the void left countless residual shadow, stirring up the wind and clouds. The giant lizard saw the golden ape have a hand in a word, roared after, strong with corrosive saliva was his mouth sprayed out, the air was corroded nuisance, bubbling out of the intense witness, such as being corrosive penetration. They're really fighting, we're saved. A frontal battle between sea rank ferocious beasts, such a rare thing to see, it has actually erupted before our eyes. We'd better take this opportunity to retreat quickly, they are not oil-saving lamps, not to mention how horrible the battle wave is, our small body is involved in it, absolutely dead, not to mention that no matter who wins or loses in the end, I'm afraid there is no good fruit for us to eat. For a while after their analysis, many people retreated at the fastest speed. And their every move had been ignored by the golden ape as well as the giant lizard, at this moment, they only had each other's silhouettes in their eyes. The golden ape directly swung the white bone big stick, a forceful gesture, the saliva with strong corrosive forcefully dispersed, and then the might did not reduce all the way across, and the air blew out a vacuum scratches. The giant lizard frowned, his saliva was steel, stubborn stone and bone that could easily corrode, but it didn't have half the effect on that white bone big stick. This made him feel more and more that this golden ape was unfathomable. He didn't dare to be careless, but he no longer had time to dodge this rod, and could only catalyze the scales on his back, and the rich aura surrounded it, emitting an indestructible aura. A loud boom came out, the golden ape's white bone great stick came into contact with the scales on its back, and the two very different auras were also at that moment, each bursting out with amazing power. Compared to the unrelenting dominance of the golden ape monkey, the giant lizard's aura was much more feminine, carrying a slight devouring power as it attempted to absorb all of the golden ape monkey's power. However, he had underestimated the strength of the golden ape monkey too much, and after a moment of stalemate between the two, the scales on his back instantly dented. The golden ape monkey was an extremely powerful existence amongst the sea rank beasts, and with the addition of the white bone rod, it was impossible for this giant lizard to be his opponent. The next moment, the golden monkey feet violently stepped on the ground, the white bone big stick violently shocked wildly, surging out of the second more violent power, pouring on the back of the giant lizard. The scales of the giant lizard had already been sunken and cracked, at this moment, the skin was even more directly cracked, blood splattered everywhere, and the bones of the spine of the back were exposed, and fine cracks appeared. Back almost broken pain, let the giant lizard if you wanna go crazy, large body crazy swing, will be surrounded by lizards mistakenly injured a lot of lizards, where he is the ground is enough to sink a few meters deep. This stick in about to exhaustion, the sound of the giant lizard's whole body bones breaking more intensive, the hope of the crisis so that the giant lizard can only catalyze the aura, in the back of the explosion, forcibly forced back the golden ape's white bone big stick. He, on the other hand, stormed back tens of meters in the opposite direction, his body covered in blood, looking even more hideous and ferocious. The crowd that had already retreated looked back from time to time, and after seeing the giant lizard being knocked away by the golden ape monkey's rod, their faces all showed a look of shock to the extreme. 
The dreadfulness of the giant lizard, they had already seen it before, all kinds of hot weapons could only be considered as scratching an itch for him, and his defense power far exceeded their imagination. However, this is such a C-rank beast, but by the same C-rank golden ape this fat beat, does not seem to have any power of resistance. To what extent was the strength of this golden monkey strong? As far as they knew, this golden ape was only one of the many C-rank beasts under Lu Yu's command, and I'm afraid that his strength, and the strength of the other beasts, was even more appalling. Other giant lizards in the vicinity of the golden ape is also alarmed back a few steps, their spiritual intelligence is not high, but whether it is the golden ape more and more thick breath, or from the giant lizards where empathy perceived pain and scruples, let or else to the golden ape shot, and belongs to the most shocked, or out to fight with the golden ape giant lizard. He broke through the sea stage time is not short, and these days through a large number of blood food, the strength is increasing day by day, originally also thought of hunting other sea stage ferocious beasts, the result of the first sea stage ferocious beasts encountered the golden apes, so that he is a little autistic. Why is he so powerful to such an unbelievable extent, as if he has already stepped into the level of the peak of the C rank, and is expected to impact the B rank? A stick did not kill the giant lizard, the golden ape did not half hesitate, the figure is like a ghost-like flash, reappeared, directly toward the giant lizard head a stick, this time out than before that time more ferocious. After all, after this test, he has felt the strength of the giant lizard, in the C-class is not weak, but compared with himself, but still far from it. This stick attack, somehow give the giant lizard a feeling of avoidance, as far as Aha and Wana seem to be locked by the will of heaven, and then how to escape or will be hit by a stick. This is the white bone big stick to give him the skill, will be a hit, as long as the realm is not too big a gap, this stick will lock each other, with each other and move, there is no way to dodge, and it will also cause three times the damage, is a small mountain blocked in front of him, in this stick have to be ashes under the smoke. I admit that you have a few means, but in this place is not just me a ferocious beast only, my children and grandchildren are enough to eat you up. Anticipating that it would not be able to dodge this strike, the giant lizard did not choose to dodge, but instead roared, mobilizing the other ferocious beasts to kill together. There was no denying that the golden ape was also in existence with thick skin and flesh, but more ants bite more elephants, the other small lizards were not strong, but they had good teeth, and the population was huge. Like a torrent of lizards coming from all directions, the golden ape is not alarmed, on the contrary, it is more excited. He himself was extremely warlike, after being under Lu Yu's command, he rarely had time to get his hands dirty, and now that it was hard to catch a chance, he was planning to relax more. In addition, the most important thing was that the more lizards there were, the bigger the corpses of the ferocious beasts were, although they were all the lowest level ferocious beasts, according to Lu Yu's requirements, regardless of strength, as long as they were ferocious beasts corpses and bones, they were. By obliterating so many lizards, one could definitely crush the other ferocious beasts and become the leader in accomplishing this character. Then let you quietly whether your descendants are powerful, or this white bone big stick of mine is powerful. The golden ape laughed coldly, ignoring those small lizards for the time being, firstly, he would strike, heavily knocking on top of the giant lizard's head, even though the giant lizard mobilized the vast majority of the aura defense in his body, preparing for a defensive counterattack. But the impact of this stick is too strong, his generation was hit by the dizzy, cannot find the north. The golden ape, on the other hand, took advantage of the situation and added all the period and aura in his body to his right arm, and his innate skill, God's right arm, was unleashed. In an instant, his right arm swelled up like a balloon, his muscles rippled up like a taut bowstring, waiting for a certain moment to instantly explode. The rest of his body, on the other hand, was rapidly drying up, forming a diametrically opposed scene with his right arm, looking extremely incongruous, but the aura was enough to exterminate the world in general. His right hand swung up the white bone great stick, towards the giant lizard's spinal bones that had already been shattered and cracked once again fell. The giant lizard a moment ago also because of the heart of the blow hit the head, fainting, and so just reacted, the golden ape's white bone big stick, has killed. And this power, compared to the previous concentric strike, seems to be several times more powerful. The giant lizard immediately twisted his body uneasily, wanting to drill into the ground to avoid the front, but the injury on his back hurt him so much that it was difficult for him to take a step. When he was attacking and defending, the golden ape's great stick was strong-willed and irresistible, and it fell with a loud bang, smashing the giant lizard's spine directly, splattering thick plasma and scattering it everywhere. The unimaginable pain caused the giant lizard to roll its eyes, and then all of its memories were disorganized, and its breath fell to the bottom in a single breath. The sea stage giant lizard had fallen. The first time I saw the lizard, I saw the golden ape. After that, the golden ape did not have the slightest recuperation and continued to fight against the lizard army that had fallen into a state of madness because of the death of the giant lizard. Every stick he swept, have taken away a large number of lizard life, just like harvesting the life of the sickle, those lizards, even if they fall into madness, the strength of a great increase, but with the golden ape gap is still how much, but it is just a moth to the flame. 
Is that giant lizard just frosted? Isn't it said that it's almost difficult for a sea stage ferocious beast to kill another ferocious beast of the same realm? The crab looked shocked, the giant lizard that had been massacring and devouring their compatriots before was now nearly girded, brutal and bloody, but it made them cheer while being shocked. But soon, as more and more lizards were exterminated by the golden ape, many of those who were here thumped inwardly, looking at the red-eyed golden ape, worrying that he would strike out and kill himself. After all, after they left Jiangzhou City, they were no longer the people of Jiangzhou City, and even if Lu Yu followed the rules, they didn't have to follow the rule of not striking out at them. Just thinking about this made it even harder for them. Many of them were already kneeling on the ground, kowtowing and begging for mercy. Mr. Golden Ape, we don't have the slightest malicious intent, and we are able to escape today thanks to your help. If we are able to survive today, all of our family properties can be given to you as filial piety for your treasures. They chattered, resulting in the golden ape giving them a disgusted look. Although these people were quite numerous, they were weak beyond description, and their bones could not be used to set up formations at all. Killing them would just be a waste of time. All he wanted now was to turn back as soon as possible with the corpses of these ferocious beasts and get Luyu's praise while not losing to the other ferocious beasts. The scene of the golden ape destroying the giant lizard was also sent online by many people shooting videos, causing a great sensation and hot debate. In this is the might of the fierce beasts under Lu Yu's command? If the ferocious beasts in other places are of the same realm, they almost always end up in a lose-lose situation where no one can do anything about it, the golden ape has even broken this spell. I heard that in many places around Jiangzhou city, there are ferocious beasts under Lu Yu's command that are killing ferocious beasts, and it seems that there are other plans. Regardless of what plans they have, they didn't lay their hands on us for the time being, they only laid their hands on the ferocious beasts, and many times they indirectly went down on us, they still have to be thanked. That's right, I feel as if Lu Yu is not quite the same as the other ferocious beasts. He said anything online, but mostly relieved, after all, the lizards eat away their compatriots, when they saw this scene at that time, they were really eyeball to eyeball, they could not wait to rush into the middle of the screen, fight with those ferocious beasts and save them. Now that the golden ape had stepped in, this crisis had been resolved. Zhao Axian and others at the moment after stabilizing their minds, they face with a major choice. Continue to follow the original plan, leave Jiangzhou City, or turn back. Regardless of whether they originally intended to recognize, the farther away from Jiangzhou City, the more dangerous. On the contrary, the closer they were to Jiangzhou City, the safer they were. Jiangzhou City is certainly the ferocious beasts in control, but truly experienced this life and death crisis, they instead feel, return to Jiangzhou City, seems to be a better choice. After all, the ferocious beasts were raging everywhere and were getting more and more in their eyes. This train tragedy was likely to be repeated in the major cities in the future. When the Golden Ape brought the army of fierce beasts under his command and turned back with countless lizard corpses in great numbers, it again caused countless citizens in the city to cry out in alarm. After all, the news of the train leaving Jiangzhou City being attacked by the ferocious beasts was something they had previously viewed through various channels. The scene of that ferocious giant lizard, constantly devouring its human compatriots, had left them with an extremely deep psychological shadow. However, now, the lizards that had just been making a mess of things had become twisted corpses that were being sent into the city in a steady stream. This brought them a great shock. Even those who still held great opinions about Lu Yu's occupation of the city of Jiangzhou had some change of opinion about Lu Yu and these ferocious beasts that occupied Jiangzhou. Compared to those ferocious beasts, Lu Yu and the others had only occupied this territory and had never made a move against them. The gap was not generally large. Many of the citizens who were originally still hesitating to leave had completely made up their minds within themselves, even if there was a risk of ferocious breach of contract by staying within the city. However, compared to other places, where ferocious beasts would break out and kill the citizens at every turn, Jiangzhou City had almost never seen any ferocious beast attacks since Lu Yu took over. Staying in the city might even have a longer life. The golden ape ignored the gazes of these citizens and sent the corpse of the fierce beast master to the square outside the bunker at the first opportunity. At this time, the square outside the bunker already had piles of corpses of fierce beasts sent from various places. As for Lu Yu, he had also come to his senses from the state of comprehending formation patterns. Even though the Nine Heavens spirit gathering formation was very subtle, he was now at least a B-stage fierce beast, a fierce beast powerhouse who had sensed the existence of the origin force. Sensing the formation was also quite handy, and he had already traced and mastered it. Just mastering the formation pattern was just the beginning. The next step was to inscribe these formation patterns in the bones of the ferocious beasts. This was a very detailed and time-consuming task, because currently only he had reached the B rank, with the strength and talent of the other beasts, he was unable to understand the formation pattern thoroughly, and this matter could only be handled by him. When Lu Yu lifted his wings and appeared in the middle of the square, the golden apes and other ferocious beasts were all bagging towards him, extremely excited, as if they were seeing an omnipotent god. 
Not bad, it's only been a day that has passed, and you guys have brought so many ferocious beast corpses and bones. Lu Yu nodded to the golden ape and other ferocious beasts with satisfaction. This square was about a hundred meters long and wide, and was previously a tarmac for parking airplanes, but now it was completely filled with corpses of ferocious beasts. It could be seen that they were all acting diligently after he had given the order. Receiving the affirmation from Whisperer, the golden ape couldn't help but have a heartfelt smile on his face, just like a small child receiving a compliment from his parents. You guys continue, there are still a lot of ferocious beast corpse bones needed, after the formation is established, your cultivation speed will surely accelerate drastically, and we will become the most powerful force on the blue planet at that time as well. Lu Yu said in the end, and gave the golden apes and monkeys some more chicken blood. Although after the formation was established, those ferocious beasts sect above the blue planet who were exceptionally gifted and had deep chances would probably break through the beast stage one after another. However, with the support of the formation, it would be difficult for several B-rank beasts to break through the defense of the formation. To break through the defense of the formation, and may even be wiped out by the formation here. Blue Star first force well. The golden ape heard, immediately full of yearning. Ever since the arrogance surged within him, his obsession with being number one in the world had grown deeper and deeper, even though his own strength might never be able to catch up with Lu Yu. However, following under Lu Yu's banner and establishing the number one power in the world this was also extremely good. From now on, there would be them bullying others, but no others bullying them. After the golden apes excitedly left Zhangzhou city again to search for other ferocious beasts, Lu Yu also looked at the ferocious beast corpses in front of him. Since only the bones of ferocious beasts were needed to lay out the foundation of the formation, the flesh and blood of these ferocious beasts should also be able to be partially absorbed and converted into evolution points. Li Yu tried lifting his sharp claws and aimed at the corpse of the nearest ferocious beast that was closest to him, slowly urging the system to absorb it. Congratulations on obtaining 50 evolution points. After absorbing the corpse of the ferocious beast down to its bones, Li Yu stopped, and in his system, there were 50 more evolution points. This idea of his own was completely feasible. Although the number of evolution points harvested each time was not much, if this accumulation of small amounts went on, when the formation route was refined, it should be possible to accumulate tens of thousands of evolution points. After the birth of a B-rank beast, he should be able to attempt to impact the A-rank by hunting some of them. Immediately, Li Yu first took the corpses of the ferocious beasts in the square and absorbed them into skeletons, and then only then did he start branding the bones with formation patterns. The formation pattern showed a milky white color, like a twisted Yin and Yang Taiji and after eyeing it for a long time, he even felt that the fixed formation pattern, as if it was alive, was slowly rotating. Brother, are you setting up a formation? As Lu Yu laid out a small corner of the formation, a familiar voice suddenly rang in his ears. Lu Yu inclined his head to look, and a small, snow-white, furry white fox stood beside him. Her aura was extremely obscure, it was that he had just failed to notice the appearance of the little white fox because he was focused on inscribing the formation. Of course, this was also related to the strength of the little white fox at this time, in addition to his lack of attention. After absorbing the spirit liquid in the spirit pond, although she had not broken through to the B stage, she had already reached the peak C stage level, and her aura seemed to have completely melted into the heavens and the earth, and she could barely be perceived. Not bad, it looks like you've gained a lot from practicing in the middle of the spirit pool. Lu Yu looked the little white fox up and down and smiled faintly. The little white fox's bloodline was special, and the skills she had mastered were even more quite bizarre and powerful and her spiritual intelligence was extremely high, so now that she was out of the gate, many of her own things could be left to her to deal with. After all, compared to Li Chanan, he naturally trusted the little white fox more. The little white fox mischievously gulped his tongue and gratefully said, it is some gains, and I have to thank brother for letting me enter the spirit pool to cultivate, otherwise there is no way for me to grow to this point. After that, he looked at the bones covered with array patterns in front of Lu Yu and inquired curiously. I just heard that brother is planning to set up a formation to use Zhangzhou city as a stronghold, is this the same formation that brother is setting up right now? She had been in seclusion for quite some time, and now that she had come out of seclusion, she was eager to help Lu Yu with what she could earlier. Lu Yu nodded his head and was about to open his mouth to let her take over Li Chang'an's governance of Zhangzhou city, but he saw the little white fox carefully looking at the formation for a while and seemed to be enlightened. Brother, this formation pattern is very subtle looking, it contains great power, it's just that brother inscribing the formation pattern like this takes too long, it's not as good as inscribing the formation on a large scale, it's fast and good. Lu Yu was stunned, he was also thinking of inscribing formations on a large scale before, after all, it was too boring, the key was that he could not do it for the time being with his current power. The little white fox said so, could it be that she could do it? Thinking of this, Lu Yu immediately temporarily stopped continuing to inscribe formation patterns and looked at little white fox rather expectantly. Being stared at by Lu Yu with such a gaze, the little white fox immediately reacted, tilting her head with some pride. 
Brother, our nine-tailed fox's divine sense far exceeds that of other ferocious beasts, and we are naturally affinity to formations, so I can help brother inscribe this formation pattern. Hearing this, Lu Yu instantly became excited, he had been inscribing formation patterns for half a day already, although his speed was not too slow, but he did not want to continue doing this kind of boring thing. Good, you will first comprehend this formation pattern recently, and the foundation of the formation will be given to you in the future. The little white fox just wanted to nod his head, but soon thought of something else and said with a slight frown, I can inscribe the formation pattern, but the formation that brother wants to set up is quite unusual, the overall control still needs to be done by brother. Lu Yu thought for a moment, and then he directly transmitted the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation to the little white fox's divine sense. The little white fox had absolute trust in Lu Yu, so it didn't resist Lu Yu's divine sense, and silently accepted all the information he passed over. Although the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was very subtle, it was not something that an ordinary C-rank beast could understand. However, the little white fox was exceptionally gifted and her divine sense was not much different from Lu Yu's of beast age, and after Lu Yu transmitted the formation to her, she immediately fell into a deep level of enlightenment. Obviously, her enlightenment in this area was quite impressive, a few points stronger than even the beast age Lu Yu. This made Lu Yu inwardly feel even more emotional, worthy of being a terrifying existence that would grow into a SS rank 9 tail demon fox in the future. At the C rank, she had already shown her talent in divine sense and enlightenment, and when she broke through the B rank, she was afraid that her divine sense would undergo a qualitative change. After silently completing the senses of the formation that Lu Yu had transmitted over, the little white fox opened her autumn watery eyes and looked tenderly at Lu Yu in front of her. Although the little white fox was in the form of a fox, this kind of demeanor was so charming that it was Lu Yu who looked dumbfounded for a moment. Brother, this nine heaven spirit gathering array is too marvelous, brother really has the help of the heavens, once the array is set up, we will also have a base to stand on. The little white fox was unusually excited as she rubbed her head against Lu's feathered wings. She had already felt the extraordinary nature of the formation from the formation pattern before, and now that she had perceived the formation in detail, the subtlety of the formation was even more enlightening, and she felt more and more that the formation was like a perfect match made in heaven. Lu Yu smiled and did not say anything, this is a system product and the root of this mission, naturally it is quite uncomplicated. It was just that he didn't know a lot about formations, but looking at the nine-tailed fox's rare and shocked appearance, this formation should be a lot more powerful than what he had imagined. Well, it's good that you understand the importance of formations to us, I'll take care of all the corpses of those ferocious beasts, you just take care of the formation. The little white fox nodded obediently. Nowadays, although they were the topmost existence amongst the ferocious beasts, but now that the spiritual chi in the heavens and earth was becoming more and more dense, the breakthroughs to the B. Rank ferocious beasts would become more and more numerous, and the nine heavens spirit gathering formation could be used for both attacking and receiving, so it was too necessary to build it while it was still there. Honorable Lord. Suddenly, as Lu Yu was preparing to dispose of the corpses of the other fierce beasts, the voice of the Xian Feather Divine Eagle suddenly rang out. Your Holiness, just now, the fierce beasts under your command have probed that many citizens who left Jiangzhou City earlier are turning back and were stopped by the fierce beasts guarding the city gates, and Li Chang'an is also asking for your opinion on whether to let them in. The Xian Yu Divine Eagle did not have any good feelings towards the human race, if it was not for Lu Yu's order, he would have already torn those human races into dregs. Those citizens of Jiangzhou City who had left, now feeling that it was too dangerous outside, wanted to continue back again, this kind of disgusting thing, Xian Yu Divine Eagle was extremely angry just thinking about it, so the first time he gave a report to Lu Yu, asking how to deal with it. When Lu Yu heard this, his face immediately took on an extra touch of coldness, Zhangzhou City is not a place where they can enter if they want to and leave if they want to. If it wasn't for the fact that the human race was in the late stages of the aura recovery and had a rising momentum, Li Yu felt that he might need to utilize them in the later stages and be lenient with them, but if they really thought they were benevolent or easy to bully, then they could only seek their own death. Command down, once they leave Jiangzhou City, they will no longer be from Jiangzhou City and are not allowed to enter with them. If they want to enter Jiangzhou City to live again, it's not completely impossible, they need to pay a certain fee, if they were a person from Jiangzhou City before, they only need to pay $500,000, if they weren't, they'll pay $1 million. Zhangzhou City was a special place, Li Yu still wanted to maintain a certain amount of population, but all he wanted was some high-quality humans, so that after the subsequent formations were set up, as well as the strange changes in Zhangzhou City and the appearance of the ancient relics of the human race, there would be more people in Zhangzhou City who could embark on the path of practicing the Kung Fu. Now, whether it was the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation or the Zhangzhou City Mutation, it would take a certain amount of time, so he wasn't in a hurry. On the contrary, now that the ferocious beasts are getting more and more serious, the ones who are anxious are those so-called human elites, even if they need to pay a certain price, 
but with their capital and considerations, they will definitely join in without hesitation. The Xianyu Divine Eagle didn't know what Lu Yu had in mind, but he absolutely trusted Lu Yu, so he quickly lifted his wings and left, conveying this order. If you want to enter the city to live again, you need to pay half a million dollars? Why don't you go and rob it? Many of the people who had turned back from various places saw the notice posted at the entrance of the city guarded by the ferocious beasts, and their faces instantly turned blue, complaining about the dissatisfaction in their hearts. Half a million dollars was not a small amount for any ordinary family in Jiangzhou City, and it was still half a million dollars for one person, so if there were several people in the family, it would be astronomical. Most of them simply couldn't take it out. We already know it's wrong. We were from Jiangzhou City before, you guys see if you can be accommodating, we promise, we will work diligently in Jiangzhou City. Many people looked at the ferocious beasts stationed here, trying to convince them to let themselves in. However, the ferocious beasts here were not spiritually intelligent enough, and would only strictly carry out the orders passed down by Lu Yu. Even if these people talked nonsense, no ferocious beasts paid them any attention and only looked around at the people surrounding this place with a wary expression. The indifference of the ferocious beasts caused fire to rise in the hearts of many people, but the ferocious beasts were not powerful, ferocious people, so they only dared to whisper, but no one dared to barge in. It's fine that you guys were from Jiangzhou City before, but if you're not from Jiangzhou City, you still need a million dollars. Paying so much money to enter, do you really think we have to enter? Without any way out, they could only say as if they were gambling. And amongst the crowd, Zhao Xian and other original tycoons of Jiangzhou City, after a brief hesitation, still chose to compromise and took the initiative to come forward, handing a bank card to the guarding ferocious beasts. Outside the demonic beasts are getting more and more ferocious, Lu Yu is certainly a ferocious beast, but nowadays the rights and customs are collapsing, strength is honored, if there is no strong background, strong strength, it is simply impossible to survive. Jiangzhou City, which had Lu Yu and many C-rank ferocious beasts sitting on it, was definitely the safest place at the moment. Even if they paid some price for it, they felt it was worth it. After all, they had just tried their best to live and die, and did not want to experience the tragedy again. The ferocious beasts that were responsible for guarding the place glanced at Zhao Xian and the others and took the bank cards, then some bank staff arranged by Li Chang'an immediately walked to the entrance of the city and began to take charge of transferring money and registering. They really are, it's just a city ruled by ferocious beasts, they still spend so much money to enter, their brains are broken. Many people looked at the backs of Qian Xian and the others, all incredulous. Forget it, it's not like Jiangzhou City has to go in, doing business with the ferocious beasts is tantamount to seeking the skin of a tiger, they don't even know when they choose to flip out. That's right, and now the officials are already researching gene potions, when the time comes for the gene potions to be promoted, our strength will skyrocket, won't there be a time for these ferocious beasts to be arrogant? Most people patted their asses and chose to leave. And there were still quite a few people who looked at the blood-colored announcement and couldn't wait to give themselves a slap or two, they could verbally follow and show their disdain for Jiangzhou City. However, they knew very well in their hearts that the research and development of genetic potions definitely could not be accomplished overnight, and the ferocious beasts were really proliferating on a daily basis, and their strength was continuing to rise. Even if an extremely powerful genetic potion was developed in the future, the probability was that they would have already died by that time and the ferocious beasts would have definitely evolved to a more powerful realm. Hey, leaving the city once, now it's good, can't go back. Some timid women, crying and wiping their tears, regretting inwardly, they didn't want to experience another tragedy like the train incident. However, according to the latest news they searched for, some weak countries have even been exterminated by the ferocious beasts, completely reduced to the ferocious beast paradise. And those countries that cooperate with the beasts, such as the island country and the stick country, seem to have exchanged for peace, but it is extremely humiliating peace, the beasts will be dedicated to the beasts more important than their own parents, to meet all the perverted fetishes of the beasts, completely reduced to the beasts of the accomplices. In those countries living in the people, every day to get fear, do not know whether they can still see the sun tomorrow. After all, those ferocious beasts feed on human beings, once chosen to become the food of the ferocious beasts, that kind of torture waiting for death, no one wants to experience. Meanwhile, in a canyon in Tianzhu Mountain, a head of ferocious beasts converged from all directions, most of their auras were in a sorry state, and many of them still had injuries on their bodies, and their spirits were depressed. And at the center of their convergence, there were four huge sea-stage ferocious beasts with horrifying auras. They were half squatting on a low rocky peak, all of them were rare earth demon fey, their bodies showing a thick earthy yellow color, covered with this layer of hair, with double horns on their heads, resembling humanoid forms, with hideous faces and fangs in their mouths. The ferocious beasts that fled looked at them, as if they had found their backbone, each emitting either a low, terrified, or angry beast roar, seemingly accusing something. After listening for a moment, the four earth demon beasts quickly looked at the direction of Jiangzhou city from afar, 
and there was killing intent like magma surging in their scarlet eyes. As it spread out, the ground immediately cracked with a dark and deep crack. Those fellows really don't know how to be respectful. Do they really think that our earth demon beast clan is so easy to bully? Not only do they casually wade into my heavenly pillar mountains territory, the ferocious beasts in my heavenly pillar mountains range also dare to wantonly slaughter them. The smallest of the four earth devils, the one with the smallest size, clenched its house-sized fist and squeezed it, gritting its teeth. The ferocious beasts extremely valued their own chassis, the Tianju mountain orientation, was the Jiangshan that their earth demon clan had fought for, making their sphere of influence, which had previously been peaceful and uneventful. However, with the rise of those ferocious beasts within the Shan'an mountain in Jiangzhou city, they unexpectedly did not abide by the rules at all, and did not give their earth demon clan any face at all. Not only did they invade from all assuredly, they also slaughtered their ferocious beasts repeatedly. Second brother, if we don't take this revenge, what kind of prestige do we still have in Tianju mountain to speak of, if we let our big brother who was in seclusion know about it, we'll be even more unable to take it in our pockets. One of the earth devils, whose body was covered with scorch marks, followed and said angrily. He was the fourth of the five earth devil brothers, and was also the first earth devil to fight against those invading ferocious beasts. However, the strength of that invading firebird was too terrifying, and after he made contact with it at that time, he realized that he was not an opponent at all, and if it wasn't for the fact that his earth escape was extremely powerful, he was afraid that he would have already died in the midst of that blazing fire. Although he survived and almost recovered from his injuries, the scars left by that flame could never remain on his body, like a great shame, making him want to go crazy. Fourth brother is right, if we continue to indulge those ferocious beasts, I'm afraid that Tianju Mountain will be divided into their spheres of influence. The female earth devil with a slightly concave figure said with a charming and icy voice. She was the third ranked existence amongst the earth devils, and was also the earth devil who knew the most about those invading beasts. Apart from the fire bird that had injured old four, there was also a two-headed wolf and a savage bull. These three ferocious beasts were all C-rank ferocious beasts, extremely strong, definitely a gang, attacking Tianju Mountain one after another, and wherever they saw a ferocious beast, they directly struck out to kill it, viciously and incomparably. Then they have been staring at the second brother, is the four earth demons in the reminder of the most massive existence, looking at the other three earth demons killing intent, but he has a few hesitation. It wasn't that he was afraid of the invading ferocious beasts, but nowadays, his elder brother was in seclusion to impact the B-rank. At this critical moment, he didn't want to stir up trouble and affect his big brother's closure. He knew very well that when his big brother finished his retreat and stepped into the B-rank, then those invading beasts were nothing more than clowns. With big brother's talent, there will definitely be no accidents in the retreat, on the contrary, if we join hands to kill those three C-stage ferocious beasts, not only will we be able to stabilize the reputation of our earth demon clan, but also which C-stage ferocious beasts there are will be able to help big brother, and it will be even easier to make a breakthrough. The smallest sized earth demon, Old Five squinted his eyes and said seriously. When their four earth devils join hands, that was one plus one was far greater than two, and the strength that could be erupted could definitely crush those three C-stage ferocious beasts. Alright, let's strike together, remember to fight quickly so that no other ferocious beasts interfere with big brother's seclusion. The second oldest scanned his oldest brother and sister, and then glanced at the other ferocious beasts that had fled here, and finally nodded, deciding to hunt down those three invading C-rank ferocious beasts. The four earth demons glanced at each other, their legs trembling madly. They had been talking tough before, but when they truly faced a B-rank beast, they did not have a single ounce of confidence. Previously, when they faced the half-footed earth demon beast Big Brother who had stepped into the B-rank, they were all suppressed without the power to fight back, and a beast that had truly stepped into the B-rank was definitely even more powerful by more than 10 times. This senior, this is just a misunderstanding, don't worry, Tianju Mountain you and these ferocious beasts under your command can enter and exit at will. In addition, if you still need to hunt ferocious beasts, we are also able to prepare them on your behalf. Lao Air stepped forward and spoke respectfully. After determining that Lu Yu was unbeatable, he immediately decided to endure the humiliation, after all, this was at the critical point of his big brother's breakthrough. To provoke a B-stage ferocious beast at this time was not only foolish, but also a proper death wish. On the contrary, as long as Lu Yu was held back, when his big brother successfully broke through the B-rank, there would be no part of Lu Yu's authority. And as long as Lu Yu, the B-rank beast, was not able to make a move, the firebirds and other beasts were not in their sights at all. In the face of the deference shown by the oldest two, Li Yu just smiled coldly. Misunderstanding or not, willful or not, I need a large number of corpses and bones right now, so your corpses and bones will stay here to atone for your sins. These four ferocious beasts didn't seem to be sincere at first glance, and even injured the firebird in them, Li Yu wouldn't give them any courtesy, his icy gaze pressed down on them like a heavy hammer. The moment Lu Yu displayed his killing intent, a bad feeling surged within the four earth devils at the same time. 
we respect you as a senior, don't you honor us by refusing to drink? The oldest four had a fiery temper and immediately reddened their necks when they realized that Lu Yu might not let them go. As an earth demon who was used to rampaging in Tianzhu Mountain, he already lacked respect for other ferocious beasts, not to mention Lu Yu's attitude was so bad. So what if it's a beast age ferocious beast? If we join forces together, we may not be unable to fight. The oldest among them, the land demon with a delicate and undulating figure, directly and decisively roared. After saying that, she was the first to catalyze the aura in her body, and the earth all began to change with the flow of aura in her body. Old 5 and Old 4 didn't hesitate for a second, and followed by activating the aura in their bodies. Only Old 2, who was well aware of the power of the beast age ferocious beasts, did not make the first move, however, after a short period of contemplation, his koi eyes immediately became firm. Seeing Lu Yu's appearance, today will definitely not let himself go, the way to beg and plead, is simply not feasible. At that moment, he also followed the other three earth demons, together mobilizing spiritual chi, renounced to form some kind of resonance with each other, making their breath have been greatly enhanced. The way the four earth demons struck out together was comical and ridiculous when it fell in Lu Yu's eyes. The gap between C-rank and B-rank was a huge chasm that they couldn't imagine, and even if they joined forces, they were still over not just the earth. The firebird and the other two beasts were looking at Lu Yu with anticipation, these beasts had attacked and assassinated them, and they remembered this revenge in their hearts. Now that his holiness has taken action, they will not be able to survive. When they subconsciously showed smiles on their faces, they suddenly saw that they had been attacked by Lu Yu. When they subconsciously showed a smile on their faces, they suddenly saw that the earth under Lu Yu's feet suddenly sunk a bit, and the compacted masonry-like soil strangely softened into a muddy pond. Immediately after, a thick need to embrace the stone pillars, such as bamboo shoots like breaking out of the ground, will Lu Yu surrounded in which, from a distance, the stone column looks like a big hand, and chi around the aura, there was a moment of stagnation. This is the earth demon's powerful bloodline skill, the hand of the earth. With an extremely strong ability to confine and bind, even B-rank ferocious beasts could be briefly bound, which could buy them some time to retreat. Although on the surface, they were clamoring to fight Lu Yu, in reality, they all knew clearly that fighting Lu Yu was just a mantis, and they were just trying to mislead Lu Yu. Lu Yu didn't care about their inner thoughts, in front of absolute strength, these calculations were nothing but futile. However, the skills that these four earth demons had performed together had aroused Lu Yu's interest. These four earth demons were clearly only sea stage beasts, but after they joined forces, they had actually mobilized a trace of the origin of the earth. To be able to perceive and manipulate a portion of the Earth's origin at the sea stage, the skill of Earth's hand, was quite not simple, and the bloodline of these fellows was also extraordinary. Immediately afterward, Lu Yu became even more excited. The more powerful and special their bloodline was, the more evolution points they could obtain, and even take this powerful skill of theirs for themselves. After making a decision in his heart, Lu Yu's sharp claws swung down towards the pillar. The sharp sharp claws flashed with cold light, the void was torn apart like white paper, and the stone pillar condensed by the earth demon's heart blood immediately issued a piercing friction sound, sparks splattered in all directions, but it did not collapse, only that the stone pillar was left with half-cracked claw marks on top. The aura of the cage, the hand of the earth, also fell to an extreme point. Lu Yu lightly eeped, apparently did not expect the hand of the earth this cage, so sturdy, is his own sharp claws, actually cannot break it down. But that was all. His complexion slightly condensed, his wings were like two long knives that could split mountains, instantly landing on the stone pillar that was not full of cracks. Bang! With a dream, the stone pillar that had resisted Lu Yu's two attacks eventually collapsed and crumbled into a pile of rubble. The four earth demons that were escaping, before they had the chance to escape for a little while longer, the moment the hand of the earth was broken open, they were bloodied and their escape was slowed down. At the end of the four earth devils, the oldest and weakest of the four, old five, even stopped his escape, his face was frighteningly pale as if all of his chi and blood had been drained away in an instant. Old Five. A grief-stricken voice came out from the mouths of the other three earth demons, and they stopped at once, looking back at Old Five. In their perceptions, Old Five's aura dissipated at that moment just now, he had definitely failed to carry the earth hand's backlash and died a violent death. The hand of the earth was a powerful bloodline skill that they needed to join forces with in order to perform, although it had the confining power of sealing off ferocious beasts, however, the consumption of one's own aura and chi and blood was also extremely terrifying and once it was defeated, the amount they had to endure was also very high. Once they were defeated, the backlash they endured was also not small, with minor injuries and serious injuries, or a direct violent death like old fives. The next moment, they chose someone to kill them. In the next moment, their devouring gazes landed on Lu Yu, who had broken through the hand of the earth. They were the ones who sensed Lu Yu's powerful strength, and that was why they used the hand of the earth, which they had hardly ever used before. However, they did not expect that the strength of the B-rank beast was even more terrifying than they had imagined. Not only did the hand of the earth barely imprison him, 
but the backlash also came much more violently, causing them all to suffer a strong backlash. F asterisk CK, fight this guy and avenge old five. Old four's head was so angry that it was smoking, and he slapped his chest in fury as he exploded towards Lu Yu. As a C-stage ferocious beast, he also had his own dignity and bloodlust. Old five had been killed and his enemy was right in front of him, he couldn't bear it and had to make Lu Yu pay the price. Old four's impulsive appearance caused old two to force himself to calm down, raising his hand to stop him, and, you guys go quickly, I'll hold him back, now is not the time to avenge old five, there will be plenty of chances to escape from here later. He had already noticed that Lu Yu's aura had locked them down, if they didn't leave again, when they really couldn't leave. Old four lets quickly retreat. This revenge is temporarily written down, in the coming day it will be returned a hundredfold. Lao San swore and opened her mouth, then at a faster speed, pulled Lao Si to flee together. She was very self-aware and knew that she absolutely couldn't get tough with Lu Yu right now and could only think long term. As for the oldest two, this was also violently heading in the opposite direction of their escape, rushing towards Lu Yu without any hesitation, intending to buy time for them to escape. Wanting to escape from the hands of a B-rank murderer, if one did not pay some price, it was simply something that could not be done. As the oldest two rushed at him like a death squad, Lu Yu simply moved his mind. The thousand birds were instantly unleashed. Three silhouettes that were just like him emerged out of thin air and rushed in three directions, charging forward at speeds that were imperceptible to their naked eyes. The second oldest roared, his body expanding dramatically, as if transforming into an impenetrable stone wall, intending to block the three thousand birds' figures. However, he was completely no match for Lu Yu. That stone wall was instantly pierced through just as soon as it came into contact with the thousand birds. The one thousand birds figure that went straight towards him even went straight through his brow, piercing through a hole the size of a bowl. The second brother was directly obliterated by Lu Yu. Second brother. The remaining two earth demon beasts, their eyes cracked as they looked back at the fallen figure of the second brother, only feeling that the sky had collapsed. The legs that were running away also felt like they were filled with lead, unable to move the slightest bit, the only thing left in their minds was the instinctive desire to obliterate Lu Yu. Exalted Lord's strength is worthy of being a B-stage powerhouse that far exceeds C-stage, that most powerful fierce beast even took only one move to exterminate. The Firebird and the other fierce beasts were shocked. Although they knew that Lu Yu was powerful, they didn't expect him to be powerful to such an extent, this earth demon beast that was called Second Brother was clearly the most powerful existence among these four earth demon beasts. Facing him alone, is the strongest strength of the Firebird, are not absolutely put I battle and win, but in front of Lu Yu, a move can be easily wiped out. Still alive in the heart of the two earth devils are filled with killing intent, intends to die with Lu Yu, directly towards the amount of Lu Yu rushed over, the body of the Aura Mania, as if to directly burst open, and Lu Yu with the end of the world. Carved Worm Skill also dare to show off. Lu Yu shook his head disdainfully, the figure of the thousand birds rushing towards them suddenly flashed, and before the two earth demon beasts could react to anything, their heads directly fell down, and their eyes, which were extremely wide, could only be powerlessly closed. At this point, the four C-stage earth devils were all killed by Lu Yu, easily wiping out the four earth devils. Lu Yu is just like he had done in trivial matter and did not put it on his mind. As the only B-rank beast today, hunting and killing low-grade beasts really didn't give him any sense of accomplishment. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 850 evolution points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 900 evolution points. As Lu Yu's ears rang with the system's prompts, the evolution points in Lu Yu's system interface also came to a wave of soaring, reaching 10,000 points. Compared to when he absorbed the corpses of the many ferocious beasts, it was an unknown amount faster. As expected, absorbing the corpses of the stronger beasts was the fastest way to gain evolution points. Lu Yu sighed inwardly, otherwise, if he wanted to gather 100,000 evolution points and break through to the A rank, there would be a longer road to travel. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Earth Hand. Suddenly, the system once again sounded a prompt, causing Lu Yu's face to take on an extra touch of joy before he hurriedly looked at the system interface. Earth's hand, LV1 consumes a large amount of spiritual energy, mobilizes the power of the earth, condenses a solid cage, the cage is extremely strong, once imprisoned, it is difficult to escape, and comes with the effect of suppressing aura, the lower the realm the more pronounced the effect of using it, the higher the realm the more pronounced the effect of using it, the more pronounced the effect of using it. After reading the introduction, Liu is even more satisfied with this earth demon clan's skill. Before the four earth demon beasts join hands to cast, it was he who was imprisoned in place for a split second, if they were all of rank B, or if he was still at rank C. If he wanted to break through this D, he would be able to do so, but he would not be able to do so. After wanting to break through this great emperor, it was definitely not an easy thing to do. Using it to bind the enemy was of great use and was a means that Lu Yu was currently lacking. My subordinates are incompetent, I'm sorry to trouble your holiness to help. 
The firebird and the other ferocious beasts walked over, half kneeling on the ground in gratitude. If Lu Yu so and so had arrived in time to help, they would have definitely perished here today. Lu Yu's wings vibrated, and a large amount of spiritual qi converged into their bodies, helping them recover from their injuries. All get up, properly recuperate the body, these four earth demons although the bloodline is special, but you are not weak, one-on-one -on -one situation, not weaker than them, after that be careful, if you encountered the beasts that can't be dealt with, try to save yourself, the rest to me. The firebird and other ferocious beasts nodded their heads, with Lu Yu's strength, if he said he was number one, who would dare to call him number two? At this time, the earth demon king, who was in seclusion deep under the ground of Tianzhu Mountain, as if he had been stimulated by something, violently opened his eyes, his bloodshot eyes, as if he wanted to look through the void and see what was happening above Tianzhu Mountain. Just now, he suddenly realized that his three younger brothers and one younger sister, their breath had dissipated one after another. Their five brothers were connected by blood, and could sense each other's vitality and breath. And now, they were dead, and also died almost at the same time. Extreme grief and indignation like a sword into his heart, his face distorted, the breath in his body extremely dramatic ups and downs, and then as if it broke through something, instantly rose up, rushed up to the sky, connecting the sky to the earth. For a time, the cave where he was in seclusion shook with it, and the ground shook. The terrifying aura of breaking through the beast stage raged wildly with him at the center. Under the influence of this aura, in the sky, thunder churned like divine punishment. And below the thunder, the endless stretch of earth rose and fell like waves against the sky, and the inexplicable aura was even more so in this instant, permeating all corners of the heavenly pillar mountain. Under this breath, the numerous ferocious beasts in Tianzhu Mountain's body involuntarily trembled, the fear originating from the depths of their bloodline made them throw themselves on the ground, expressing their submission in terror. Is this a breakthrough from a ferocious beast to be ranked not? The firebird and other ferocious beasts also looked unsightly. The terrifying pressure of this aura caused them to feel the pressure, and the aura in their bodies were all triggered and agitated, while at the same time they felt extremely familiar. This aura was clearly no different from Lu Yu's initial breakthrough to B stage. Moreover, this aura was extremely similar to the aura of the four-headed earth demon, and it seemed that the big brother they spoke of had successfully broken through to the B stage. Lu Yu also looked at this scene with interest. When that earth demon king's aura reached the B stage, the endless thunder in the sky descended constantly colliding with the earth manipulated by its earth origin. At first, the earth under the earth demon king's control was constantly shattered, completely crushed by the thunder, but as time passed, a gradual division was formed. Thunder's attacks on him were dissolved little by little. The earth demon king's stabilization at rank B was almost a foregone conclusion. Soon, hundreds of breaths later, the thunder clouds dispersed and light descended. Underneath the huge heavenly pillar mountain, a huge crack suddenly cracked out, and the earth demon king's huge, giant-like figure rushed out from the ground. He didn't even take the time to stabilize his aura, fearing that Lu Yu and the other ferocious beasts that had obliterated his family brothers had escaped from the place and swiftly reappeared out. Then immediately following their scent, he rushed to Lu Yu, staring at him with fury, itching to skin him now. He had managed to convince his siblings to join forces to help him, to build up his power and dominate the area, but now he had almost become a loner. And all of this pointed to Lu Yu, who was tainted with Lao heirs and their dead chi. Today, with your head, I will sacrifice my brothers. The earth demon king's voice, filled with fury, echoed unceasingly, carrying a strong intent of madness. Being stared at by the earth demon king full of killing intent, Lu Yu, instead of being fearful, became even more excited. Not bad, not bad, finally a beast age ferocious beast. Ever since he had broken through to be rank, he hadn't done his best to get his hands dirty. Now he was finally able to move his muscles properly. After all, B rank beasts were still too rare nowadays. And as this earth demon king was able to resist thunder, it was clear that not only was its talent powerful, but the skills and even the origin it possessed would be even more unusual. Of course, the most important thing was that the evolution points that these powerful beasts could provide were also extremely generous. It would allow him to accumulate evolution points and speed up a lot. Let me see just how much weight you have. In an instant, the rushing aura that Lu Yu had been suppressing within his body violently spread in all directions with him as the centerpiece, also erupting with the aura of a beast age ferocious beast. Boom boom boom. The two distinctly different ferocious beasts' breaths collided, and after producing several bursts one after another, they formed a sky-charging tornado that stirred the winds and clouds of the heavens and the earth, neither of them intending to take a step back. At the same time when the two of them were colliding their breaths, a terrifying storm was vaguely visible to China through the sky satellites. Warning. Warning. Large-scale energy fluctuation detected. Large-scale energy fluctuations detected. Will you launch a counterattack? Do we launch a counterattack? the staff inside the radiation well. Looking at the red warning on the screen in front of them, they were terrified and nervous. The place where they were now was a secret monitoring station. 
Once China suffered a terrifying attack, such as a nuclear or hydrogen bomb, or even more powerful weapons, they would be able to detect what the fluctuation originated from through the horrifying aftermath of the explosion, and at the same time activate the first procedure of counterattack. Now that the systems were alarming one after another, it meant that there was at least one abnormal energy fluctuation in China that was comparable to a small nuclear bomb. This was extremely unusual. Immediately, they mobilized their satellites to scout at the first opportunity. If they didn't respond to the system within a certain amount of time, the nuclear bomb would begin its final preparations before launching, which would then bring about irreparable consequences. After they urgently mobilized their satellites, they quickly locked onto the place of the abnormal energy fluctuations, Tianzhu Mountain. Just from the satellites, one could clearly see the surface of the blue star, with a clear mushroom cloud. It was just that there was no half anomalous radiation detected from where it was, only two ferocious beasts with sky high breaths were seen, each occupying half a step of the sky. They were the ones who had set off this abnormal fluctuation in energy statements. However, for two ferocious beasts to confront each other to create energy fluctuations comparable to a nuclear bomb still left them feeling unimaginable. The Golden Eagle, I remember. He seems to be called Lu Yu, and he's currently the only B-ranked ferocious beast in Huaxia. I'll go, so the ferocious beast that can confront Lu Yu and not fall behind is also a B-ranked ferocious beast? This should be the case, hurry up and inform us, we still seem to be too underestimating the beasts, just the B-rank has erupted into such a fluctuation of explosive strength, if it's an A-rank beast, or even a more powerful beast, how terrifying will it be? Many researchers were even more cautious. Just one Lu Yu made them anxious, if more B-rank ferocious beasts appeared, could China continue to survive? Apart from Huaxia, other countries were also detected through satellites and saw mushroom clouds comparable to nuclear bomb explosions. What is China doing? Dying with the ferocious beasts and dropping a nuclear bomb towards its own land? The personnel of the foreign research organization, after viewing the system warning, their pitch black pupils doubled in size, filled with dismay. But soon, the dismay was replaced by shock. They followed suit and let the star chain check the direction from which the fluctuations came from, and then they saw Luyu, as well as the Earth Demon King. How is it possible that two ferocious beasts caused this? If this is really the case, these two ferocious beasts are too terrifying, it's highly likely that they've surpassed the C rank and reached the B rank, and there's still two B rank ferocious beasts. Many foreign researchers had chills down their backs. Although they weren't Chinese, the ferocious beasts were getting stronger and stronger, and they had already focused their attention on the ferocious beasts. Whether the ferocious beasts were strong or not was closely related to them, and it was one of the things they valued the most right now. Right now, there was no sign of a B-rank fierce beast appearing anywhere else, yet not only had one appeared in Huaxia, but also two, which was undoubtedly an extremely unfavorable situation. This indicated that the fierce beasts would become even more powerful, so powerful that eventually nuclear weapons would be nothing more than waste, and they might be completely exterminated as well as ruled by the fierce beasts. And as the attention of all the countries was focused on Huaxia, on the battle between Lu Yu and the Earth Demon, they all struck out together, almost at the same time. Lu Yu directly lifted his wings forward and sprayed a mouthful of cold ice spit towards the Earth Demon King to try his strength. When Lu Yu opened his eagle's beak, the extremely cold spitting breath was like a huge white pillar of light gushing out towards the front, and wherever it passed, the moisture in the air froze and condensed into razor-sharp snowflakes that drifted down. The cold air that overflowed from the light column directly froze the surrounding earth, grass and trees, turning this place into an icy world without any heat, looking pale and spreading in all directions like a white monster. Roar! Facing Lu Yu's sudden attack, the Earth Demon King roared in anger. His big, thick hands pounded his feet and chest, making ear-splitting thumping noises, forming a wave of sound that disturbed the originally tranquil void. This golden eagle saw himself, instead of repenting for the sin of wiping out his siblings, he instead attacked himself as if provoking. His heart, which was already filled with anger and killing intent, once again set off shocking waves, his killing intent almost wanting to turn into substance. In this era where ferocious beasts did not trust each other and attacked each other, Bloodline was undoubtedly the most reassuring bond. Originally, with his current supreme strength of B-stage, together with the four C-stage Earth demons under his command that were connected by Bloodline, he was sufficient to dominate a party and even compete for the supreme throne. However, because of Lu Yu, not only did he become a loner, the grand blueprint he had planned before was mercilessly torn into pieces, making it difficult to realize any longer. The roar that tore his heart and lungs apart caused the void to continuously explode like crack silk, and agitated and splattered away. The cold ice shock released by Lu Yu, under the constant disturbance of this roar, quickly bent into a seven-twisted fluttering belt. Then the icicle could no longer maintain its original shape and continuously creaked and broke. After falling to the ground, the shattered icicle seemed to form a source of cold air, radiating a thick fog of cold air, the ice layer condensed into a thicker layer on the ground, and the range of the ice layer spread, was continuously expanding. 
The many ferocious beasts of Tianzhu Mountain were already shivering from the collision of Luyu and the Earth Demon King's breath. Now, whether it was the cold air or the sound waves spreading out, it was difficult for them to withstand. The ferocious beasts whose strength was below the E rank were either frozen by the morning mist like cold air, their fur covered with ice crystals, and they collapsed helplessly on the ground, shattering into a field of ice slag. Either they were shaken by the sound waves, bleeding from their seven orifices, their organs cracked, twitching their bodies and collapsing unwillingly. It was those ferocious beasts above the E rank that were all terrified, anxiously raising their hooves and stirring their wings, panicking and wanting to escape from here as soon as possible. They couldn't bear the aftermath of the battle that had just begun. If Lu Yu and the Earth Demon King were to fight to the point of immortality, disregarding all costs, even if they were just watching from afar, they could all be affected and die here. At this moment, Liu did not pay the slightest attention to those ferocious beasts around Tianzhu Mountain, and his gaze all landed on the approximately 10-meter Earth Demon King. Although he knew that once he stepped into the B rank, his strength would take a leap forward, but the fact that the cold ice impact did not cause any impact or damage to the Earth Demon King still made him look a little more grave. Immediately, Thousand Birds was unleashed. Spiritual Chi surged out from his body, manifesting ten doppelgangers that were identical to him, with huge wingspans that covered the sky, and dozens of pairs of sharp eagle eyes that completely locked the Earth Demon King's every move. Then these doppelgangers simultaneously lifted their wings and swooped down towards the Earth Demon King. These doppelgangers weren't just looking around, with half the strength of his main body, they could easily kill any Sirank beast. Now that the ten doppelgangers plus his main body had joined hands to strike, the sudden surge of oppression caused the ground to sink a lot. Great explosive stab. The anger and killing intent on the Earth Demon King's face reached some sort of peak at this moment, and a fist directly blasted out towards the sky, with real air explosions ringing out one after another, forming a huge circle that spread forward. The Earth seemed to be completely under his control, also at this time, surging, shooting out a channel against the sky and the thick ground thorns, through that air explosion ring, towards the dense figure in mid-air to kill. For the Earth Demon King who had already broken through the B stage, there were no beasts in this world that were his opponents and all beasts would submit to his feet. Lu Yu was even more so. The Earth Demon King's punch came extremely fast, that a ground thorn was the first to contact and collide with Lu Yu's doppelganger, sharp claws and stubborn stone-like ground thorns, constantly colliding with sparks. At the same time and the two closer and closer, the pressure to withstand more and more enormous up, and then burst at the same time. Amazing airwaves swept in all directions, like a giant bubble that was blown and inflated, crushing everything in the process of expansion, a hundred years of forests and trees were easily cut at the waist, that is, the earth was plowed out of the twisted grooves, covered with floating soil. This fluctuation has not yet subsided, the figure of the earth demon king has already disappeared in place, and when he reappeared, he was already in mid-air, holding an obsidian axe, heavily towards the spreading of wings and soaring Luyu, chopping the past. The power of an axe, enough to split mountains and break the sea forming a huge axe blade that stretches for dozens of meters, and the cold light that forces people to shine the sky and the earth in a white haze. Earth Demon King suddenly turned defense to attack very suddenly, see the firebird and other ferocious beasts that keep retreating, suddenly anxious inwardly, worried that Luyu was injured. At the time they exclaimed, reminding Luyu, the Earth Demon King relied on the amazing strength and explosion, the axe had already landed on Luyu's exposed lower abdomen, to split him in half. At such a distance, it was too late to make any evasion. However, not waiting for the Earth Demon King to show his joy, he suddenly realized that this axe had a feeling of falling short. This axe did not seem to fall on Lu Yu, his abdomen did not leave blood, like splitting in the air. Earth Demon King pupils shrinking, this chopping down an axe at this time completely exhausted, across the world of the axe blade splits down in the jungle below, the ground surface axe blade began to crack, formed a rise not simple huge gully. Then he violently realized that from other places, there were three more Lu Yu figures attacking, with the exact same breath as Lu Yu. It was that even with his wide, copper bell eyes, he was unable to gain insight into which of the figures was Lu Yu's true form. Such confusion only caused the Earth Demon King to hesitate for a split second, and a cruel color appeared on his face, which was full of horizontal flesh. Regardless of which of the three shadows Lu Yu was hiding in, it would be good to destroy them all. 3000 Axe Blades Thus, the obsidian battle axe in the Earth Demon King's hand was turned like a wheel, and a path of hair-blowing white practice leapt out from the axe blade, splitting into three strands with him at the center and densely rushing towards the three Lu Yu's shadows. Only, as these axe blades blasted into those three shadows, they surprisingly still passed right through the three shadows. However, in the Earth Demon King's perception, Lu Yu's aura was right here, and it was getting closer and closer. Stabbing. The sound of golden sculpted claws, like iron hooks, tearing away flesh and blood, suddenly rang out. The Earth Demon King only felt an unimaginable stabbing pain coming from his back, and blood spewed outward uncontrollably, and immediately afterward, the three Luyu shadows in front of him strangely dissipated and disappeared. 
Then the Earth Demon King suddenly reacted and turned his head to look, only to see which one of the silhouettes that had endured his axe before, appeared at his back, launching this fatal strike that almost pierced through his heart. Worthy of being a B-rank ferocious beast, it really isn't that easy to kill. Liu Yu stared at the Earth Demon King with some disappointment after using his system to absorb the blood and flesh in his hand. He had already used his single strongest skill, Sharp Blade Assault, but it still didn't pierce through the Earth Demon King's body, only bringing up a piece of flesh and blood, which made him marvel at the thick skin of this Earth Demon King. After all, after he used the shadow attack, splitting three shadows, true or false, to bait the Earth Demon King successfully. In order to deliver a fatal blow to him, he directly unleashed a sharp blade assault, unleashing this blow on him at a speed that he could not even perceive or react to. But the end result was that his flesh was too strong and he resisted it hard. For a B-rank ferocious beast, as long as it didn't suffer from fatal injuries, it could recover from missing limbs, let alone just having a piece of flesh torn from its back. At the same time, the Earth Demon King, who had almost gone mad from the stabbing pain coming from his back, turned around violently at a speed that was imperceptible to the naked eye, and his obsidian axe continued to slash down like a shadow. However, Liu Yu had managed to find this opportunity that was enough to exterminate the Earth Demon King, so he would not let him struggle. Immediately, the flashing thunder aura violently flew out from the feathers of his wings, forming two torrents of thunder, which nuisance converged on the Earth Demon King, generating hairs all over his body that stood on end, and from time to time, black smoke was emitted. Although this thunder did not cause any major damage to the Earth Demon King, but under the paralysis of the thunder, his just swift reaction immediately became slowed down, originally swinging the big axe that produced a residual shadow, also came to an abrupt end. Lu Yu's sharp claws once again surged forward, along the back of the earth demon king that had already been torn apart, penetrating even deeper into his body. The sharp claws gripped tightly, nearly churning all of his internal organs, leaving deep scratches and streams of blood. Suffering from this heavy injury, the Earth Demon King's eyes were bloodshot, and with strength surging out of nowhere, he retreated backward at a rapid pace, while the ground under his feet followed him as if he were shrinking into an inch, causing him to pull away from Luyu by tens of meters in a split second's effort. A move that freezes mountain ranges and a move that splits the Earth. Is this the terror of a B-rank ferocious beast? The executives of the various countries that were closely watching this great battle through satellites were all having trouble hiding the shock and fear in their hearts. Tianzhu Mountain was a large area comparable to some third-rate cities. Right now, during the battle between the two B-rank ferocious beasts, ice crystal fragments and rising cold air, cracks and depressions in the earth could be seen everywhere. The originally prosperous and lively jungle had become devastated and in a million pieces. It was hard to imagine that if they did everything they could to strike at the cities, which cities could resist their attack that could be called the destruction of everything. Such destructive power far surpassed the C-stage ferocious beasts they had locked and observed before. On top of that, they were horrified to discover. The Earth Demon King, who had been torn off his flesh and blood and heavily injured by Lu Yu, the Golden Eagle, after pulling away, the bloody hole in his back was healing at an astonishing speed. The broken bones are being reborn, and the hideous flesh and blood are writhing. The breath that has declined to the extreme is even soaring like a blazing fire, with a great tendency to make a comeback. Terrifying destructive power coupled with amazing recovery power. Simply monster? This damn guy, just how many skills does he have? While recovering from the injuries on his back, the Earth Demon King stared at Lu Yu in death, the shock in his heart even more intense than the other races. From the moment Lu Yu used cold ice shock, he had a vague feeling that something was wrong. After all, wasn't the Golden Eagle a ferocious beast gifted with wind spirit power? Cold ice, on the other hand, was a water spiritual force talent. But at that time, he didn't really care, the fact that a fierce beast might undergo a return to ancestry or a mutation after a breakthrough was common, but it was nothing to be surprised about. However, when Lu Yu used Thousand Birds and Shadow Attack next, the wrongness in his heart grew stronger. Especially after Lu Yu used the Sharp Blade Raid, paralyzing his body with Thunder Spirit power, making it almost impossible for him to defend or counterattack. Only then did he realize with horror that Lu Yu had actually mastered the skills of Water Spirit power, Wind Spirit power, and Thunder Spirit power. Not only were the numbers extremely high, but the spiritual chi mobilized was also unbelievable. Lu Yu had mutated during his breakthrough, but he hadn't changed like this. This is not a mutation, this is a perversion. You have to know, if a C-rank beast can master three skills, it's the best amongst C-rank beasts. Breaking through the B stage is only mastering some of the origin power, the skills still need to be followed up by their own enlightenment, and it is never possible to be as exaggerated as Lu Yu. However, the only thing that reassured him was that although the skills Lu Yu knew were many, they were vast but not refined. The power was ultimately limited and could not cause any fatal damage to himself. He had been caught off guard by Lu Yu's flurry of skills before, but he had carried through now and had all seen these skills he had cast with his own eyes. 
When he recovered, Liu Yu would be able to cast these means on himself again, and it would be twice as effective, and he would be on his own home turf next. The blood feud of four siblings being killed. The vengeance of being severely injured himself. He must be eaten alive in order to resolve this hatred. In the next moment, the earth demon king moved his shoulders, driving the flesh, bones, and fur on his back, and his face was filled with the color of bloodlust. A lot of fancy means, but that's all, next, it's my turn. A cold voice without a trace of emotion came out from the earth demon king's mouth. Earth armament. In an instant, the earth beneath his feet shook, and countless dark brown earth yellow chi converged from all parts of the underground like a stream of water. Along his top thighs, it stretched all the way upwards. Wherever the area was covered by the earth yellow chi, it was as if an impenetrable layer of battle armor had been put on him. At the same time, his aura was completely connected to the earth, rising geometrically, as if he had incarnated into the lord of this earth, reigning over the world. The affinity for this earth had reached an unprecedented height. Lu Yu was also quite surprised as he looked at the earth demon king who was wrapped in earth brown earth aura. He himself was earth aura affinity, and with the assistance of the earth armament, he had even produced some sort of qualitative change. It was Lu Yu who perceived a sense of oppression as well as an aura of danger from him. His strength, there was a qualitative change. This earth armament should be the most powerful means of this earth demon, as well as the power of the origin that he perceived. Even though he was in mid-air and Lu Yu did not touch the earth, he could still feel the roiling yellow sand that was constantly repelling him because of the earth demon king's will. When the earth demon king's aura became more and more terrifying, Li Yu did not intend to continue spending time with him, his body's aura vibrated and surged, and then he once again swooped over towards the earth demon king. This time Lu Yu's speed was even faster, the golden feathers and air friction gave birth to a dazzling light, just like a sun falling down, the earth demon king to perform the oppression brought by the earth armament, all to scatter away. Lu Yu chose to strike again, in the peak state of the earth demon king is also chose to take the initiative to strike, that a obsidian tomahawk above, is also covered with earth yellow gas, more heavy and simple, seems to be an axe down, mountains and rivers will be broken, thousand birds, cold ice impact, the two skills were combined by Lu Yu, and the roaming golden eagles released cold pillars of light that froze the void in the earth, even space and time seemed to flow slowly under the cold air, however, at this time, the earth demon king had already had a qualitative change compared to before, walking on the frigid earth, that kind of drilling and piercing coldness didn't manage to pierce through his armament, and was dispersed outside of his body by the earth yellow chi, unable to affect him in the slightest. In addition to that, the cold impact released by the densely packed golden eagle branches also failed to break through the earth demon king's defenses, and was easily resisted. It was Lu Yu's speed, which was comparable to that of traveling through the void, that was erupted by the blade assault, that once again launched a surprise attack on the earth demon king but also can only tear the earth martial arts dense, sharp claw tip, at most, deep into the skin an inch below the skin, bring up the splash of blood, and cannot be as before that, on the earth demon king to cause both physical and mental trauma. Even when Liu intended to launch this move multiple times, trying to break the surface with a point to break the armed state of the earth demon king, instead of being annoyed, the earth demon king revealed the idea that he had succeeded in his plot. His one big hand covered with yellow sand, without realizing it, had already clenched down towards Liu's probing sharp claws. Lu Yu is a bird of prey, and he is just a beast of prey, life and death battle, he does not have the right to control the air, the initiative is all on the side of Lu Yu, he can only be forced to choose to defend, attack and even chase. Therefore, his previous seemingly ferocious attack, in fact, is just to invite the king into the jar, waiting for Lu Yu to perform those skills again, to seize the cracks, a one-stroke annihilation. The earth demon king's big hand covered in yellow sand was getting bigger and bigger and more irresistible in Lu Yu's eyes, as if it was draped with some kind of mysterious power. It looks like not only is the strength of a beer-ranked ferocious beast extremely outstanding, the wisdom that was born out of it is not to be underestimated. Lu Yu had already reacted at this time that this was the Earth Demon King's calculation, and immediately swung his wings violently, the curling cold wind whistled, and Lu Yu instantly retreated and took to the air, pulling away from the Earth Demon King. The Earth Demon King's large hand that was holding down instantly fell short. At this current stage, being able to fly meant being invincible to a large extent. This could give Lu Yu a lot of room for error and a chance to test the waters. It was just that from his attack just now, the Earth Demon King was now completely ironclad, and the damage that his own various skills could inflict on him was limited. Although he still had the crushing thunder descent, which was powerful enough, the Earth Demon King had a deep comprehension of the origin of the Earth, and he was afraid that it had already reached an advanced level. Coupled with the fact that he had just made a breakthrough, he should have a great resistance to thunder, and it would be almost impossible to wipe him out with this move. Once he executed Thunder Descent, the aura in his body would be depleted by a large margin, which was not something he wanted to see. If he kept avoiding the fight and delayed it until the Earth Demon King disarmed the Earth Armament, he would strike again and would definitely be able to stabilize the victory. 
After all, although the earth armament was powerful, he could clearly feel that with the passage of time, the earth yellow aura that brought him a sense of oppression was wandering away and dissipating. This method was absolutely feasible and very secure. However, the earth demon king was the first B-rank murderer he had ever come into contact with and fought, and he did not want to use this slightly despicable method to win. In the future, there would be more and more B-rank murderers, and at the same time, because of the intensification of aura recovery, the overall strength of B-rank beasts would only get stronger and stronger, and their shortcomings would be even less easy to spot. This time he was able to win through trickery. What about afterward when he encountered a strong enemy, would he still be able to use this method? Liu slightly shook his head, the idea in his heart became firmer and firmer, wanting to step by step ascend to the supreme throne, the only way is to keep fighting and grow fast in the experience of blood and fire. While Liu was flying high in the sky with his wings, the earth demon king slowly raised his head and opened his mouth to mock, is this the power of your attack? It's just tickling me. Keep running, keep running, you don't deserve to be called a B-rank beast. I think you're better off calling yourself the shame of B-order beasts. Luyu was high up in the sky, apart from the obsidian axe which could be attacked under imperial motion, his other attacks could hardly do much to Luyu high up in the sky. So taunting Luyu, letting him take the initiative and then waiting for an opportunity to destroy him was the best choice. He knew very well that ferocious beasts all had their own arrogance, and with this kind of taunting, it was impossible for Luyu to remain indifferent. In fact, almost at the moment when the Earth Demon King opened his mouth, Luyu, who had firmly resolved his inner thoughts, had already swooped down and attacked the Earth Demon King again. This scene fell in the eyes of the Earth Demon King, undoubtedly his own ridicule played a role, his heart ecstasy, the earth under his feet like mud began to soften. When Luyu was attacking and killing, that was when the mud swamp would coat him, and at that time, Luyu's flying ability, which he should be proud of, would be restricted. Once Liu lost his flying ability, he would be nothing more than a walking chicken in the eyes of the Earth Demon King, and could easily be killed. When the two were getting closer, Liu once again spewed out a white cold ice spit, the moisture in the air condensed, forming dense ice cones that covered the sky, and then fell down like raindrops, covering an extremely wide range that could not be avoided. Still using this trick, looks like you're at your wit's end. The Earth Demon King sneered disdainfully, after all, he had already seen Liu perform this move twice, and it was simply unable to cause any damage to himself nor was it enough to freeze himself. The current Lu Yu was merely incapable of raging after being provoked by himself. In this situation, he was more than certain to trap Lu Yu with the mud swamp and then annihilate him in one fell swoop. Is that so? Lu Yu indifferently looked at the Earth Demon King as the roiling ice cones blasted down at a much faster pace, both the cold aura and the killing intent contained in the ice cones skyrocketed. This scene fell into the eyes of the Earth Demon King, and the cold smile on his face was first frozen by the ice crystals condensed by the cold chi, and immediately after, the cold chi spread rapidly with his cheeks as the center. The icy cold air made his body shiver, even with the shelter of the earth and yellow chi, the suddenly even colder cold air and ice cones still caught him off guard and he was quickly frozen up. Splendid ice crystals drifted down from the sky like withered leaves, and when they landed on the suddenly frozen earth demon king's body, they immediately silently scratched out one dent after another on its frozen surface. This move performed by Lu Yu, although it looked like it was still ice shock. However, it was actually a brand new cold ice impact that he had spent 1000 evolution points to upgrade to LV4. Compared to the previous LV3, the LV4 ice shock, not only did the range continue to increase, but also whether it was the cold air, or condensed ice cones, the lethality was even more amazing. Even the B-rank beasts that had mastered a certain amount of origin power and were difficult to control could also be forcibly frozen for a moment, so it could be said that the power had completed a qualitative leap. If the Earth Demon King had been fully defending himself, he would have been able to resist, but he was too careless, and after being frozen, the ice cones in the sky also fell at a much faster speed, fiercely blasting on the Earth Demon King's body, splattering out countless irregular pieces of ice. The Earth Demon King's body was instantly riddled with holes. The numbness and stiffness of the body being frozen, the strong sense of danger that welled up inside, and the pain of the body being shattered, were like sharp knives that madly stimulated the Earth Demon King. The Earth Demon King's eyes were blood red, and the earth armor covering his surface once again flowed like yellow sand, melting the ice on his body surface and repairing his body that was frostbitten or shattered. Lu Yu's attack did not stop here, he spent 1000 evolution points to upgrade his 1000 birds in shadow attack, and they came one after another. Compared to the previous 1000 birds, the number of doppelgangers didn't change, it was still 10 doppelgangers, but the power contained in the 10 doppelgangers was raised even a notch. If before, these detachments were barely able to break through the defense of the B-rank ferocious beasts, then now, these detachments completely broke through. It was the Earth Demon King, who was covered by the Earth Armament, that was also being machined up to his chest under the successive blasts from the Thousand Birds, and the Earth Yellow Chi was being consumed extremely quickly. As for Shadow Attack, when it was upgraded to LV4, it underwent a major change, 
with an additional hint of void origin. No longer were there three shadows floating around that could change positions with the shadows, but rather Lu Yu's figure and aura, for a short period of time, hid in the void, unable to be perceived or locked, as if disappearing out of thin air. Then he quickly lurks around the target, and then launches a fatal strike, which will inevitably triple in power and cause a bludgeon. This skill could be called an assassination divine skill. When the Earth Demon King was being bombarded by a thousand birds, Liu had already arrived behind him, and then waved his single wing, like a large knife covered with serrated teeth, tearing a huge wound on his back that was deep enough to be seen from the bone. The Earth Demon King looked completely dumbfounded at this time, it was the lingering pain in his back that didn't make him come back to his senses in the first place. He really couldn't think of a way to understand why the skills that Liu had performed could make a qualitative leap in such a short period of time. Those previous skills, at most, only caused his armed state self to have some superficial injuries, but now all the means that Liu was casting appeared to be no different from the previous skills. However, the power had increased several times, and even changed qualitatively, and surprisingly, all of them were able to pose a threat of death to his own. The Earth Demon King was internally, heart burst with confusion and horror. The metamorphosis of so many skills could never be the result of an epiphany. Could it be that he had pretended to be a pig to eat a tiger before? Deliberately not releasing the power of his skills to the extreme? Can this also seems to be impossible to say? Just as the Earth Demon King's CPU was about to dry up, he quickly shook his head and calmed down as much as possible, pondering over countermeasures. After all, the strength that Liu was now displaying still made him smell a strong aura of death. Earth armament was his strongest tool, both offensive and defensive, but the consumption of aura was also quite horrifying. Even if he broke through to be rank, he would not be able to maintain such a state for a long time. Not to mention that under the consumption of Lu Yu's various skills, the time that earth armament could be performed was even shorter. You forced me to do this, so I'll use this final strike, which has yet to be fully realized, to send you on your way. The moment the earth demon king made his decision, he successively stepped down on the earth, earth, and rock splattered, sinking deep beneath the ground as if he had taken a horse stance. Then the entire earth seemed to be pulled by him, converging like flowing water and forcefully attaching itself to his body. His sturdy body, which was already about 10 meters, was even soaring all the way up to about 100 meters at this moment, like a huge mountain, collapsing the ground and casting boundless shadows, bringing a strong sense of oppression to everything in the surrounding area. Can die in my hands, you are very lucky, feel the land hundreds of millions of years of accumulated anger. Unprecedented crazy voice rang out, that huge figure that passed through the sky, violently folded his hands together, and with unimaginable speed, confined Liu Yu between his hands, not giving Liu Yu the slightest possibility of escaping at all. As early as when the Earth Demon King's body rose up like a mountain, Liu Yu had a premonition that something was not good, although he knew what means the Earth Demon King had executed, this gigantic figure had mobilized almost all of the Earth Demon King's origin power in his perception. Powerful and chaotic. This should be the last strike of the Earth Demon King. Liu Yu tried to lift his wings to escape, but it was as if he was caught in some kind of illusion, no matter which direction he flew towards, east, west, south, north or south, he would end up returning to the center point of that huge palm. At that moment, the Earth Demon King, whose forehead was covered with sweat and whose robust body was shivering, held on to his last breath, stabilized his figure, and then closed his hands heavily, and an unimaginable pressure crushed towards Liu Yu, who was sandwiched in the center of his palm. For a moment, Liu Yu's body began to creak, the bones of his entire body seemed to be crushed, and the surrounding aura was dispersed in this pressure, forming a vacuum. Annihilation. The Earth Demon King's increasingly weak voice rang out. In the end, the two palms carried the unimaginable pressure and heavily merged together, palms pressed together like a stone sculpture doing a prayer. Honorable Lord. The Firebird and other ferocious beasts instantly panicked when they saw this scene. They felt 10,000 palpitations as the Earth Demon King made his last move. Originally, they thought that Liu Yu could escape, but they didn't expect that not only did he not escape, but he seemed to have been crushed by that gigantic figure. At this moment, it was as if their hearts were also crushed, and they had the feeling that the sky had collapsed. The various country executives who had been observing this place were also looking at this scene with shocked faces. Was this human-like earth demon with a double-horned head the ultimate victor? Just the thought of Liu Yu's endless means, as well as the even more powerful skills at the end, all of which they had witnessed for hundreds of years, still held a trace of hope for Liu Yu or, within their hearts, especially the many senior management of Huaxia, they do not want Liu Yu to die, compared to other ferocious beasts, Liu Yu is considered to be more friendly to the human race, but also they want to constantly seek cooperation in the future existence. Also under their gazes, the earth demon king's body convulsed, and the earthen rocks that covered his body fell down powerlessly. The hundred meter figure crumbled and collapsed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Clattering. The sound of boulders rolling to the ground resounded continuously. The Earth Demon King's face was pale and panting, and his breath was falling around him. 
Although this move, Annihilation, was terrifyingly powerful, comparable to a small nuclear explosion compressed to the extreme, the exertion on him was also extremely shocking. Even under the increase of the earth armament, it was still almost drained the aura in his body, that is, the chi and blood in his body, also almost dried up, and his huge body therefore shrunk by almost half. However, there was a smile on his face, and even this smile became more and more arrogant. Because Lu Yu, the golden eagle, was obliterated by himself. Lu Yu was dead, dead in his own hands. From this moment onwards, there was only one B-rank beast in the world for the time being, and even if there were subsequent beasts that grew up, they would still lag behind themselves. The feeling of being number one in the world made the Earth Demon King's ambition expand dramatically, and he couldn't help but raise his voice to the sky and let out a long whistle that shook the eight directions. However, this long whistle came to an abrupt end before it was finished. This was because he saw that after that huge hundred meter body completely collapsed, a faint golden light suddenly dissipated from midair. Immediately afterward, Lu Yu's aura that had disappeared from this heaven and earth resurfaced, crowding every corner of Tianzhu Mountain. In the midst of that golden light, a figure that was familiar to all and sundry, recoalesced. Golden. Golden Eagle. This is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. The Earth Demon King's head was about to explode, and his words became shivering and uncontrollable. He had already dispersed his divine sense perception many times and also rubbed his eyes vigorously. However, Lu Yu's figure was still there, and he couldn't even see any injuries on his entire body. The other high-ranking officials of the various countries that were paying close attention to this place had their eyes pressed to the screen, desperately wanting to know what was going on. Zoom in. Quickly zoom in to see if that's that golden eagle or not, how could he still be alive? The strike that the Earth Demon King unleashed before, obviously he did everything he could to make it, that golden eagle, if he is alive, he. What the hell did he take to block it down? Many of the top echelons of Huaxia had also mobilized their nearest satellites to specifically probe Lu Yu's situation. And in their satellites, they converged on Tianzhu Mountain in unison, clear enough to see the subsidence and chaos of Tianzhu Mountain. Lu Yu's golden figure was also reflected into their eyes with incomparable clarity, and they could roughly make out the texture of every feather. Lu Yu really didn't die. He had survived the attack of the Earth Demon King. If it was any other ferocious beast that suffered an attack like yours, it might have really died without any dregs left, but unfortunately, it's me you've encountered. Also at this moment, Liu looked at the Earth Demon King whose breath was decaying, his cold eyes penetrated with piercing killing intent, as aggressive as a torch, disturbing the void. It had to be said that this skill of the Earth Demon King, which had not been fully comprehended, was indeed powerful, more powerful than any of the skills that Liu had currently mastered. Unfortunately, Liu also had another skill that could be called a bugged golden body and it was also the golden body that he had spent 1,000 skill points to upgrade to LV4. Overall, golden body still consumed 20% of the aura of the entire body and ignored any attacks for a short period of time, but it was extended from 1 second to 2 seconds. Doubling the time was a great leap forward, and was the root of Lu Yu's ability to survive his annihilation and scathe. Without this golden body, Lu Yu would not have had the certainty to stand up to the Earth Demon King's annihilation attacks with all his might. However, the winner is the king. There were only life and death stakes in this world, not so many ifs. Right now, the Earth Demon King was close to running out of gas, but was just a piece of fish on a sticky board and was at the mercy of his own slaughter. Lu Yu's strong aura and hot killing intent made the already weak body of the Earth Demon King tremble. The gaze that looked at Lu Yu changed from disbelief at the beginning to confusion and finally a hint of fear and scorn. Thinking back carefully, when he unleashed that annihilating attack, Lu Yu seemed to have turned into golden light at a certain moment. It should be for this reason that the deadly attack was avoided. In other words, when Lu Yu faced himself, he still had means to hide until he really encountered a life and death crisis before revealing himself. This makes the Earth Demon King to Lu Yu more puzzling, but also more scrupulous. Lu Yu now obviously still have the power to fight again, breath steady, but he was really out of gas, all the means he could use had been exhausted, and his weak body was even more overdrawn, and he was incapable of fighting any longer. Besides, he didn't know if Lu Yu had any other means that he hadn't utilized, so withdrawing from here as soon as possible and thinking about it in the long run was definitely the best option at the moment. After all, he was now no longer fit to continue fighting, and having just broken through not long ago, his perception of the origin of the earth was not deep enough. When he further grasped the origin of the earth, whether it was the earth armament or this crippled annihilation, it would skyrocket and its power would skyrocket. At that time, it will be Lu Yu's time to die. After the idea of evacuation arose in his heart, the Earth Demon King did not stop for half a second, decisively turned around and ran wildly, using his hands and feet to bring up gusts of smoke and dust along the way. He was very decisive, only thinking of escaping here as soon as possible, otherwise he always felt that it would be too late, more trouble. As soon as the Earth Demon King escaped, Lu Yu, however, had already sensed it and coldly said, want to escape now? 
Don't you think it's a bit too late? Better stay here for me. It was not easy to exhaust the Earth Demon King to such a point, Liu could not let him escape, at that moment, violently lifted his wings and swooped down towards the Earth Demon King. The Earth Demon King had also anticipated this, mobilizing the Earth Spirit Chi that was squeezed from all parts of his body, softening the Earth in front of him and turning it into a quagmire-like existence. Immediately afterward, his considerably shrunken body burrowed directly underneath the ground. Lu Yu was a golden eagle, the overlord of the sky. And he himself was an earth demon, the lord of the earth. As the earth demon king's body was completely submerged in the earth, his aura also merged into the earth, making it difficult to be detected, with only his residual voice echoing in this space. Wanting to kill me on top of the earth, a fool's dream, next life. Hearing the arrogant voice of the earth demon king, Liu contracted his claws towards the ground, next life? You're too high on yourself. Hand of the earth, come out. Earth hand, this was a confinement type skill that Liu had plundered after obliterating those four sea stage earth demons earlier, which could form a cage and imprison the target. Even if the earth demon king hid under the ground, after the earth, he could still be imprisoned and brought above the ground. Sure enough, when Liu's claws were completely tightened, the earth that the earth demon king had just drilled into suddenly squirmed, and a pillar of earth surged out from the bottom to the top, forming a huge earthen cage. And in this earth cage, it was the earth demon king who was imprisoned. The look of escape on his face had not even dissipated before it was once again replaced by shock. He recognized the skill that Lu Yu had cast Earth Hand. However, this was the means of their Earth Demon Clan. Although the Earth Demon King had not sensed this skill after Earth, his siblings all knew this skill. It could be called the hallmark of the Earth Devils. Lu Yu had a golden eagle, how could he know it as well? This was simply impossible okay. However, no matter how much he couldn't believe it, the truth was right in front of him. Lu Yu could really perform the skills that belonged to their Earth Demon Clan, and there was no way for him to have the slightest bit of refutation. The Earth Demon King's face was so hard to see that he fiercely gripped the thick earth pillar in front of him, his four fingers and arms simultaneously exerting force in an attempt to forcefully break it apart. As soon as he tried, he could only give up helplessly because his body was too weak, his forehead was sweating from exhaustion, and his thick arms were trembling like cramps. The Earth Demon King knew very well that the skill, Earth Hand, didn't have much killing power, but the confinement ability was quite amazing. With his current strength and situation, he was absolutely unable to break through. Then he seemed to think of something terrifying, and his face turned frighteningly pale. Lu Yu had cast their Earth Demon Clan's unique Earth Hand, didn't that mean that Lu Yu could learn the skills of other races, or learn those skills in some way? If that was the case, it would explain why he had mastered so many skills that had absolutely no relevance. It might also explain his skills and why their power suddenly became terrifying. The more this happened, the more terrified the Earth Demon King became. If Lu Yu could control the skills of other races without restriction, what kind of monster he would eventually become was simply unimaginable. While his mind was churning with thoughts, Lu Yu's attacks were already raining down on him. He had no intention of explaining anything to the Earth Demon King. He only wanted to kill him while he was sick. This time, in the face of Lu Yu's attacks, the Earth Demon King did not make any reaction and after truly understanding Lu Yu's terror and power, his heart was already shrouded in despair. His heart was already dead. Rumble. Like a grand fireworks show, under Lu Yu's tidal wave of attacks, the earth was shaking, and the earth where the earth demon king was located was completely sunken, forming an unfathomable pitch black abyss. His body was even bombarded in pieces, or stained with ice crystals, or filled with traces of sharp blade cuts, no more breath. At this point, Lu Yu was completely relieved. The degree of difficulty of a B-rank beast was really beyond his expectations, but the result was finally good. This B-rank Earth Demon King had finally died in his hands. He swept a glance at the scattered corpses of the Earth Demon King and couldn't help but show a few looks of anticipation in his eyes. This was a B-rank ferocious beast. The evolution points that could be gained after absorbing it must not be comparable to that of a C-rank ferocious beast, after all, the difference between the two was simply too great. He had previously upgraded all the major skills, each of which had consumed 1000 evolution points, causing the evolution points that had just accumulated to 10,000 to drop directly to 5,000. There was still a long way to go before he could break through the 100,000 evolution points of the A rank. It all depended on how much the B rank beasts could provide. Immediately, Liu Yu took a deep breath, then catalyzed the system to quickly absorb the corpse of the Earth Demon King cleanly. Congratulations on obtaining 10,000 evolution points. Current remaining evolution points are 15,000. When he heard the system ringing out. When he heard the sound of the system ringing out, Lu Yu was slightly stunned, not realizing that the evolution points provided by a B-rank beast was so huge. It must be known that since he had broken through to the B-rank, he had only just accumulated more than 10,000 evolution points, and that was even with the ferocious beasts under his command collectively mobilizing to hunt and kill ferocious beasts for him. 
And now, a single B stage ferocious beast was comparable to the evolution points he had worked so hard to collect all these days. At this moment, Lu Yu had the thought of wanting to fight ten of them. However, he also knew that this matter could not be rushed at all. Other beasts weren't like him, they had hang-ups. At most, their bloodline was special and their luck was thick. They still need some time to develop steadily and break through to B-stage, becoming the most lush leaks. Lu Yu did not know that his extermination of the B-stage Earth Demon King had not only caused a furor among the human race, but also caused an unprecedented earthquake among the ferocious beasts. For a Sirank spiritually intelligent ferocious beast, being able to defeat other ferocious beasts in the same rank was already relatively rare. And wanting to obliterate a fierce beast of the same rank, no matter what rank it was, was difficult. Especially when one cultivated to a higher realm, everyone had endless means and tenacious vitality, and it was almost impossible for the same rank to obliterate the same rank. However, now, Lu Yu, the Golden Eagle, took the lead in breaking this iron law, relying on his own strength to exterminate the Earth Demon King, who was also of B rank. That is to say, even if they broke through the B rank, they would still be steadily suppressed by Lu Yu. There was even the risk of falling once they provoked Lu Yu and were targeted by him. For a moment, many ferocious beasts decided to curb their fronts for the time being, waiting for themselves to break through the beast stage, and then looking for a way to improve themselves, or to fight against Lu Yu. The ferocious beasts that could qualify to impact the beast stage so early in this era, that one was willing to settle under other ferocious beasts? After this battle, Lu Yu was almost remembered by those top fierce beasts, and at the same time, they began to study its skills and ways to deal with him. Lu Yu didn't realize at this time that his global reputation was gradually starting to rise. There were good and bad aspects to this, and Lu Yu didn't care about that for the time being. Instead, he was looking forward to slowly staring at the system interface. There were quite a few skills that this Earth Demon King controlled, and there were also quite a few skills that made Lu Yu's eyes water. Especially that Earth Armament, All-Round Enhancement and Arming Himself, Advancing to Attack and Retreating to Defend, Part-Time Divine Skill. The crippled, annihilation, that he subsequently cast was also a skill that Lu Yu valued more, it was just that this skill was one that he clearly had incomplete mastery of. Although the power was tremendous, the consumption was also truly terrifying. In Lu Yu's expectant gaze, a prompt emerged from the system interface. Congratulations on acquiring the skill, Earth Arming. Earth Arming LV1, drawing on the Earth's gas, comprehensively enhancing all attributes by 30%, Duration depends on the Earth's gas, if the Earth's gas is consumed, it will directly exit the armed state. At a glance at this skill, Lu Yu's heart was about to jump out of his chest in excitement. It can fully enhance all attributes by 30%, and this is only the enhancement at LV1, if it is upgraded, it is bound to be even more terrifying. Among the skills that he now possessed, there wasn't a skill like Earth Armament that could enhance his strength in all aspects. With this skill, he is now said to have a burst, a defense, a single core breaker, a group attack, and an old 6 sneak attack skill. A proper positive hexagon, flawless. This Earth Demon King has really given himself a great gift. Li Yu is very excited and only feels that today's hard work is worth it. With the Earth Armament in hand, if he were to deal with another B-rank beast like the Earth Demon King, it would be much simpler. Let's go, you guys go back to recuperate first, and when you recover from your injuries, divide Tianju Mountain into our chassis as well. Lu Yu calmed his excitement and looked towards the Firebird and the other three ferocious beasts. Now that the Earth Demon King and a few other Earth Demons had been obliterated by himself, the ferocious beasts in this direction of Tianju Mountain were no longer a threat to them. According to his estimation, the ferocious beasts in other directions would also be aware of this news one after another. In the future, it would definitely be much easier to hunt fierce beasts and expand their sphere of influence outwards. The Firebird and the other three fierce beasts nodded their heads repeatedly, their eyes looking at the enigmatic Lu Yu in surprise. It felt that they had not been able to see through Lu Yu since the beginning. It was unimaginable that a B-rank fierce beast like the Earth Demon King could be killed just by saying so. The admiration and worship of Lu Yu in their hearts went to the next level, almost treating Lu Yu as the only god in their hearts. Chinese senior management, also gradually from the shock back to god, to Lu Yu more alarmed and trembling. Only feel that the future has become a gray, vaguely can see a golden eagle soaring above the nine heavens, overlooking the vicissitudes of the world changes. This time, Lu Yu struck out against the Earth Demon King, and they watched the entire battle. The strength that Lu Yu had displayed, as well as the various skills that followed that were even more terrifying, had no shortcomings and was so powerful in every aspect that it was seamless. Nowadays, the most powerful B-rank ferocious beasts could only be despairingly obliterated by him. It was hard to imagine who else above the Blue Star was qualified to be his opponent. The top echelons of Hua Xia despaired and deliberated on whether or not they should take the initiative to send Lu Yu some gifts, after all, he was too strong. State Elder Zhao, good news, good news. The purple Xian crystal that Lu Yu needs has been located. 
A secretary hurriedly rushed into the hall and handed a top secret and expedited document to the head Guolaoli. The eyes of Guolaoli and the others instantly lit up with a faint light, and their much battered and frustrated moods all calmed down quite a bit as a result, as they stared dead on at the top secret document. They were all well aware of the importance Liu Yu placed on the purple Xian crystal, and as long as they found it, they could even fulfill a reasonable request. With Liu Yu's current strength, the importance of this request was many times more powerful than any nuclear deterrent. Li Guolao's hand that opened the top secret document trembled slightly, but his dim eyes did not leave the document for a moment. Even after reading the contents of the document word for word, he didn't put down this one document, but instead looked at the others with a pensive face and explained. The trace of the purple Shen crystal was indeed found, it was discovered by archaeologists in a rock formation several hundred years ago underground, but they were killed as much as they could after going deeper wherever they went. Only some text messages they sent, and video messages came back. Saying that, he raised the photos inside the Yangtze. Through the video screenshots, as well as the text messages sent by those archaeologists in a hurry, the place where the purple Xi'an crystal was located was exceptionally bizarre. Not only were there bizarre creatures they had never seen before, but even where they were, they saw something that made their jaws drop in shock. Some scrapped pieces of technology. It seemed that in that one archaeological site, there was once a technological civilization that they could not imagine. Those attending this meeting were all the highest level of existence in China, and they couldn't help but get up and up and came over to Li Gualao's side, repeatedly watching those illuminations, their faces indescribably shocked. The impact that this matter caused to their hearts was even stronger than the aura recovery. If these photos were true, and fragments of technology from a million years ago were really found at the archaeological site, the history of Blue Star would definitely be rewritten. In particular, they all noticed that those fragments of technology were still shining brightly after millions of years of baptism. It seemed as if they were fragments of some behemoth, filled with a sense of future technology. This terrified them and also gave a glimpse of hope. Thus, after some discussion, they quickly made a decision. Habli Chagan quickly hand over the video and text information to Liu Yu, in addition to tightly blocking this news, the archaeological site should not send any more people deeper for the time being. Mr. Liu, the purple Xian crystal has been found, but the location is somewhat special. When Liu Yu learned from Li Chang'an that the news that the purple Xian crystal had been found, his heart couldn't help but flash a few happy colors. Sure enough, letting the human race find it was a good choice. After all, so far, he had already had the ferocious beasts spread out to search as much as possible, but there was still no news. Just as he looked at the laptop he handed over, Liu Yu froze for a moment before seeing the video play. A group of archaeologists wearing miners' hats, holding small hammers for exploring the terrain and geology, went all the way deep into the middle of a huge cave somewhere. Professor, look at this! The student walking at the front, exclaimed, picking up a piece of flaky object stained with dirt and handing it to the old professor behind him. The old professor pushed up his glasses, the miner's lamp hitting it like some metal fragment, he took it in his hand and looked at it repeatedly for a moment, only to find that it was very oppressive. Other than that, it was impossible to discern anything. At that moment, he attempted to gently tap it with the small hammer in his hand. Clang! A distant sound of gold and iron clashing rang out, and the metal fragment in his hand trembled slightly, shaking off the floating dust on the surface and revealing a metal fragment that looked like a tile. The surface was as smooth as a mirror, and if it wasn't held properly in the hand, it could slip out of the hand at any time. The old professor and the crowd were shocked. This was an underground rock formation from millions of years ago that had just been discovered not long ago, how could there be obvious technological products here? Wait, guys, listen, what is this sound? Suddenly, the ears of an archaeology student with lingering hearing twitched as he looked around in alarm. He heard all sorts of gibbering commotion resounding in the air, in all directions and in all corners, causing his scalp to go numb. The key was that the sound was getting louder and denser, as if it was approaching towards them and had surrounded them. The old professor and other people had been shocked by this technology fragments of the scalp numbness, at this time this bazaar is the sound, let them even more tight heart. This place is hundreds of meters underground, that is the ferocious beasts should not be able to penetrate to such a deep place, how could there be such a weird sound? How about we leave here first, it always feels like something bad is about to happen. Some timid students, panicked and looked left and right, wanting to leave this place. Don't be a crow, what bad things can there be? The other students pretended to be calm as they held the small hammers in their hands and scanned the surroundings. Also as they were getting more and more nervous, a strange black creature within a black armor, stepping on the ground and making both rhythmic and rhythmic sounds, crawled over from behind them. The spider-like slender thighs were as sharp as blades, emitting a bizarre fluorescent light in the dim underground. Many students swallowed their saliva, this kind of creature, just by looking at it, their hearts chilled and their hands and feet went cold. Scram! This is not a place for you to come. 
A student with a more robust build violently threw the small hammer in his hand towards the creature, yet it was easily dodged. Instead, the creature seemed to sense something, and in a flash, its long, slender legs swept through as if from a long blade, decapitating the student's head. A bloody odor instantly filled the air, causing the other disciples who were here, as well as the old professor and the others, to almost suffocate away. One after another, their bodies trembled as they retreated backwards, trembling as they gripped the small hammer in their hands, which was the only thing that could bring them a sense of security. And after the death of that student, more black creatures crawled out from the dark corners and quickly parted the student's body, along with the bones, with a cackling sound. This bloody scene made the old professor and the others unable to hold on any longer, rolling and crawling backward to escape, even though it was the unknown depths of the cave. Their escape made the black creatures run faster. Many of the black creatures pounced on a student with a violent bounce and began to devour them from their head, bringing about a chorus of terrified screams. Hearing these sounds, the old professor and the students who were still alive, their hearts trembled with fear, and they fled even faster. After escaping for a short while, before they had time to catch their breath, their eyes suddenly brightened up, and they had a sense of clarity. Only to see that in front of them, there was a huge object that looked like a spaceship, most of which was buried in the dirt and debris. Just the part that was exposed stretched for thousands of meters, and it was impossible to see the edge of it, like an intergalactic spaceship that only existed in sci-fi. The old professor and the other students rubbed their eyes vigorously, the scene in front of them did not change, they were not dreaming, everything in front of them was real. Instead, more black creatures crawled out of the ship. Vaguely, in a certain area on the periphery of the ship, they saw a raised energy reactor, about hundreds of meters. In the center of the reactor, there was a purple crystal the size of a house suspended in the air, like a dream, and the energy escaping from it even distorted the void around it. Seeing this scene, they suddenly felt the sky spinning, their vision falling all the way down, their consciousness becoming more and more blurred. It was only until the head churned around in the air and bounced slightly at the point that they people realized that they had already been decapitated and obliterated. At this point, the entire picture was interrupted. Lu Yu took a deep breath and narrowed his eyes slightly, judging from this video, that purple crystal that finally appeared in their carry-on camera. It was the purple Shen crystal that he needed to set up the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation. Just why did the purple Shen crystal appear in the middle of that mysterious spaceship? And what were those black creatures? Although he had only watched the video footage, Liu Yu could almost confirm that those black creatures were definitely not ferocious beasts. Because of their form and breath, they were exactly the same, completely carved out of a mold, as if they were using some kind of cloning technology. Liu Yu's heart was filled with confusion. Li Chan'an's heart was also unsettled, even if it wasn't of the first time he watched this video. However, the mysterious huge spaceship and the tidal wave of black creatures had left him with indelible memories. Blue Star was definitely not as simple as they thought. Where is this place? Liu Yu fixed his mind and pushed down some of the many confusions in his heart, asking for the most crucial information. Somewhere in the north amongst a million-year-old underground rock formation, at a depth of about 120 meters, Li Chang'an quickly introduced the situation. After he finished speaking, he clenched his hand fists with some nervousness and anticipation and said, Mr. Lu, you mentioned before that we could fulfill one of our requirements if we could provide information about the purple Xi'an crystal or the gathering spirit stones, right? Lu Yu nodded, vaguely guessing what they had in mind, but still inquired, tell me, as long as it's a reasonable request, I will naturally fulfill you. Li Chang'an was inwardly delighted and hurriedly said, as Mr. Lu can see, that archaeological area means there are technologies left behind by alien civilizations, if it's convenient for Mr. Lu to obtain the purple Xi'an crystal, I hope that I can bring back some of the technological fragments of those spaceships and use them for research. Originally, the aura recovery, the human race is weak, in the ferocious beasts rough means and attacks, their existing science and technology, fragile as paper, there is no resistance at all. However, if they could learn the technology from the spaceships from a million years ago, their science and technology was bound to advance by leaps and bounds, and they would even have the strength to fight against the topmost ferocious beasts. So, that was why Li Chan'an so decisively mentioned this request. Deep down, they still practiced the idea that those who were not of our clan would have different hearts. The crux of the matter now lay in whether or not Lu Yu would agree. Without Lu Yu's help, they simply did not have any certainty of breaking through the defense line formed by those black creatures. What's more, even if they broke through the defense line blocking the black creatures, they didn't know if there was any other mystery to that airship. Now this matter could only allow Lu Yu, who was currently recognized as having the strongest strength, to make a move. Anyway, he was going to obtain the purple shin crystals that were on the periphery of the airship, and requesting him to help with this favor should be a matter of course for him. However, the significance to them was unimaginably great. Under Li Chang'an's expectant gaze, Lu Yu was in no hurry as to whether or not he would agree. 
He was well aware that the main purpose of the human race was to participate in the technology of the cosmic spaceship, which was used for self-protection and enhancement, although he was also extremely interested in this mysterious alien spaceship. But what made him more interested were those black creatures as well as the purple Xi'an crystals. After pondering for a moment, Liu still decided to agree to it, anyway, the purple Xi'an crystal was a must-have in his mind, and it was not a big problem to bring some of the technology fragments out by hand. I can promise you this request, but you need to share all the intelligence of this airship with me. This airship and obviously extraordinary, with many secrets, if they really let them research something astounding from it without knowing anything about it, it was obviously inappropriate. Liu Yu didn't have any ideas or conditions for researching technology, letting the Huaxia site research it was undoubtedly the best choice. After hearing Liu Yu's words, Li Chang'an hurriedly contacted the higher-ups. This matter was related to the survival of Huaxia's destiny, it was too important and had to be done carefully. And after they discussed it for a while, they decided that it was better to agree to this request from Liu Yu. Without Liu Yu, they would not be able to find any way to obtain technological materials, not to mention that Liu Yu's powerful strength did not allow them to refute it. In the north, a certain mysterious archaeological site. The place had been surrounded by a dense crowd of military figures, with all kinds of heavy tanks everywhere, and the atmosphere was somewhat tense. Even Su Jinghua, a second-order alien, had been urgently transferred here, guarding a ray of hope for humanity. Liu Yu violently vibrated his wings, bringing the little white fox down together from high in the sky, in the eyes of Su Jinghua and the others will continue to zoom in, and eventually filled them in the entire field of vision, landed in this place. Seeing Liu Yu again, the pressure Su Jinghua's heart was under was even more tremendous. His strength had also improved greatly in these days, however, the higher his strength improved, the more he realized that the strength gap between himself and Liu Yu was simply too big to imagine. Perhaps a single thought from Liu Yu could determine the life and death of himself as well as everyone here. Mr. Liu. Su Jinghua was the first to speak, bowing respectfully towards Liu Yu. Liu glanced at him and asked, is there any other latest news about the airship and the purple shin crystal? Su Jinghua regretfully shook his head and said, we previously sent out many drones and remotely operated robots in an attempt to probe deeper, but as soon as we entered a hundred meters underground, we were attacked by those black creatures and churned into pieces. Liu was not surprised, and after shrinking his body to about the same size as a human, he was looking at the little white fox by his side. An hour ago, when he decided to rush here, the little white fox stopped him, hoping to bring herself over with him. Her divine sense perception was very sharp, Li Chang'an and the others were under her monitoring, so she also knew about the matter of the human race handing out purple Xi'an crystals. She was worried about the dangers and mysteries of this area and decided to come along and share some of them for Liu Yu. Liu Yu was well aware of the little white fox's special bloodline and powerful divine sense, which should be able to be of great help when exploring the mysterious airship, so he brought it along. And under Liu Yu's gaze, the little white fox slowly opened its eyes, brother, I just sensed it, those black creatures have the exact same aura, it's very wrong, the number is very large, but the strength is only about E rank or below, the threat level is not high. But the more I probe into the interior of the airship, the more uneasy I feel in my heart, and the more my divine sense is consumed. Speaking later, the more serious and vigilant little white fox's expression became. In terms of divine sense, she, who had already practiced to the peak of sea stage, was a bit above even Lu Yu, and could vaguely tend to good fortune and avoid evil. For her to feel danger meant that it was definitely not as simple as it appeared to be down there. Lu Yu had complete trust in the little white fox and nodded slightly. Even though with the video that the old professor and the others had sent back, he was already somewhat familiar with the archaeological site below. However, after hearing the little white fox say this, he became even more cautious in his heart. Be careful, that is an exceptionally mysterious alien ship, a carelessness, afraid of how to die do not know. The little white fox is also well versed in this, brother, I previously perceived the law of the wandering god, can condense part of our divine sense, such as we personally go deep into it to explore, even if we are decimated, it is only the divine sense that is damaged, and it will be fine if we raise it for a while. Li Yu heard this and became more and more satisfied with the little white fox, gently using his wings to, and stroked her human silky fur. You've really become more and more capable lately, when this matter is over, whatever you want, brother will satisfy you. Although he could condense a doppelganger with his thousand birds, that doppelganger could only execute simple battle commands. It could not be controlled as meticulously as an arm, nor could it convey the various sights it encountered, and it was even less comparable to divine sense. Receiving Lu Yu's praise, the little white fox's cheeks flushed with excitement and took the initiative to rub her head against Lu Yu, greedily breathing in his scent, to be able to stay by my brother's side and help him is the greatest thing I can ask for. You, your little mouth is getting sweeter and sweeter, Lu Yu laughed out loud. What people say is the truth. The little white fox beamed and expressed her dissatisfaction. All right, brother knows, wherever I go in the future, I will bring you with me as much as possible. 
Lu Yu solemnly said. The little white fox then nodded with full satisfaction, Brother you relax first, I will guide part of your divine sense out, when the time comes, we will go down together with our divine sense to explore. Li Yu swept a glance at Su Xinguo and the others, sheltering the little white fox under his own broad wings before he slowly closed his eyes and relaxed. With his current B-stage strength, just standing here and letting them attack, they wouldn't be able to break his defense. So there was no need to worry about them playing any tricks on him, the only thing he needed to pay attention to was the little white fox, although she was already a peak C-rank beast, she was far from being as powerful as himself. If she were to be attacked by a nuclear bomb, she could still be injured and die. But as long as they were under their own shelter, they would see to it that they could avoid this problem as well. After they all relaxed, Lu Yu suddenly had a feeling of his soul going out of his body. Part of his own divine sense floated out from his body, and under the little white fox's skillful hands, it coalesced little by little into a little golden eagle that was completely condensed out of his divine sense. Although it was coalesced with divine sense, it also possessed part of Lu Yu's strength, which was more than enough to deal with an East Age ferocious beast. As for the little white fox, it was also the same as himself, coalescing into a nearly transparent divine sense body that floated in front of his body. Su Jingbo and the others looked at Lu Yu and the little white fox's divine sense, their faces were even more grave and awe-inspiring, this kind of means, it was already comparable to an immortal, right? With them around, this exploration of the archaeological land would definitely end successfully with a full harvest. And Liu Yu did not pay any attention to their gazes, taking the little white fox and jumping directly into the middle of the large pit that stretched downwards. The lowest part of this pit was where the mysterious airship, the black creature, and the most important purple Xi'an crystal were located. Because divine sense was between the real and the imaginary, it was very light, and they reached the bottom of the ground very quickly, then looked around in unison, all alert. Almost at the same time as they descended, the black creatures looked as if they had sensed something, and bought their long legs to bear, surrounding them towards them. Lu Yu didn't immediately dodge these black creatures, instead, he lifted his wings and waved his wings, the earth undulated and coalesced into the hand of the earth, sheltering his and the little white fox's divine sense in it, and isolating it from the surrounding densely packed black creatures. Compared to the physical body, the divine sense is too fragile, that is, the E-class level ferocious beasts close to, is also can be injured. After that, he continued to perform ice shock, the temperature in the air plummeted, and ice cones fell one after another, blasting on top of a head of black creatures. Their black armor was quite tenacious, dislodging quite a bit of the force of the ice cone impacts, but in the face of absolute strength, it was still of no use, and they were quickly penetrated by the ice cones. But also with his many strikes, the body that his divine sense condensed, suddenly faded a lot, when it was almost on the verge of dissipation. Brother, our divine sense can't be replenished when we leave our bodies, and it will dissipate if we consume too much. The little white fox infused part of her own divine sense into Lu Yu's body, while sending a divine thought to Lu Yu. Their current realm was not enough, and their divine sense could only slowly recover within their bodies, and would not be replenished after leaving their bodies. Good, we will ignore these black creatures for now and continue to go deeper. Lu Yu nodded his head slightly, with the little white fox's divine sense replenished, his divine sense body was a little clearer, and decided to change the strategy of pushing all the way across, after all, they had entered this place with their divine sense body only to explore the situation here, not to purge this place. However, just as Lu Yu's words were falling, a system prompt suddenly sounded in his mind, and, Congratulations on obtaining 200 evolution points. Congratulations on gaining 200 evolution points. Every black creature that was obliterated by the ice pick was silently absorbed by the system and converted into evolution points, and they were all 200 evolution points. This made Lu Yu's eyes light up slightly. One should know that by obliterating a blue star Z ranked ferocious beast, he could probably obtain around 100 evolution points, far less than what these black creatures provided. However, this also sidestepped the point that these black creatures were probably not blue star creatures, but alien creatures that had arrived here with the huge spaceship. Lu Yu became even more cautious inwardly, and was about to mobilize his earth hand to move forward and break out of the encirclement, but he was stopped by the little white fox. Brother, wait, there seems to be something remaining where those black creatures died. The little white fox's eyes glowed, and the surrounding scene became clearer and more thorough in her eyes, underneath the black creatures whose corpses had dissipated, there were white points of light the size of grains of rice, emitting a faint glow. Had it not been for the sudden disappearance of the black creatures' corpses, she would not have noticed it. Lu Yu followed the little white fox's line of sight and looked down, and after seeing those rice-sized white spots of light, he suddenly had a familiar feeling. It seemed like that white light dots, he had seen them somewhere before. Spirit Gathering Stone could it be that this white point of light is a spirit gathering stone? The little white fox's divine sense suddenly shook, as if she had thought of something, and immediately sent a divine thought to Lu Yu. She knew that Lu Yu was in great need of violet Xian crystal and spirit gathering stones to set up formations. 
Now that the purple Xian crystals had already been accounted for, and inside the black creature's body, it was surprisingly suspected that there were spirit gathering stones. Liu also reacted at this time, no wonder that white light spot was quite familiar to him. The image data of spirit gathering stones given to him by the system were all very large, and the spirit gathering stones within these black organisms were too small, causing him not to associate them together. Immediately, Liu mobilized his earth hand, forcing back the black creatures outside the cage, and moved closer to the white point of light, ready to confirm it. The white point of light was held up by his divine sense, and although it was very small, he could still feel the faint suction coming from it, gathering the aura in the air into it. This white point of light was really a spirit gathering stone. Lu Yu was overjoyed in his heart, the two things that were the most difficult to find had finally both been accounted for. As long as they were gathered together, the Nine Heavens spirit gathering formation could be set up and activated. Looking at Lu Yu's elated look, the little white fox also smiled, then gathered the other surrounding, small spirit gathering stones and handed them to Lu Yu. After Lu Yu received them, as the spirit gathering stones approached each other, they attracted each other like magnets and soon merged together, becoming the size of a soybean. Whether it was the light emitted or the pull on the spiritual chi, it was several times more powerful than when it was the size of a grain of rice. Very good, this trip was worth it. Lu Yu put away the fused and enlarged spirit gathering stone and gradually calmed down his inner excitement, then urged the earth hand and rushed towards the depths of the cavern, the airship that had been buried for the most part. The black creatures that surrounded Lu Yu and little white fox in the center wanted to stop them from going deeper, and frantically attacked the stone pillars that separated them with their long knife-like legs. However, every time they landed, at most, they splashed scattered sparks and left faint white marks on the stone pillars, unable to shake the impenetrable hand of the earth at all. And every once in a while, the earth would quickly absorb the earth's chi afterward, recovering as before. However, the black creatures seemed to have no spiritual intelligence, even though they were unable to break the defense, they were still chasing and attacking without stopping. From afar, the cage constructed by several dense stone pillars was like a lonely ship sailing on the black ocean. The sounds of black creatures crawling and attacking the stone pillars were endless, making the lonely and dim cave not so boring. Not long after, the front of the cave opened up, Lu Yu's pupils dilated slightly, and the huge ship buried under the rubble squeezed hard into his eyes. Compared to the scene seen on video, the shock of actually being there is even stronger. The gigantic spaceship that stretched for thousands of meters was like an alien city in space and time, lying in the dirt and ruins, and it was impossible to see the whole picture. One could only vaguely see, through the mutilated parts, the exquisite and incomparable structure inside, as well as the flickering light coming from everywhere intermittently. It seemed that the ship was severely damaged, but still had some of its functions running. After that, all of Lu Yu's attention was focused on the area of the airship near the center. This was because there was a purple Xian crystal suspended there, emitting a demonic purple light. As Lu Yu continued to push the earth hand closer, a large number of black creatures emerged from the major gaps of the airship, like loyal guards to prevent any intruders from entering. Lu Yu glanced at the little white fox before approaching at a faster speed. Brother, be careful, the inside of the airship gives me a dangerous feeling. The closer he got to the airship, the more grave little white fox's face became, and his pair of eyes looked around, full of wariness. If she hadn't accompanied Lu Yu to come here, this kind of place that brought her intense uncertainty and crisis, she would never have approached it. Lu Yu nodded his head, he was also instinctively from the inside of the airship, perceiving a hidden dangerous aura. This place was definitely not simple. However, he was now only thinking of getting the purple Xian crystal as soon as possible, as long as he determined the situation around the purple Xian crystal. The location where the purple Xian crystal was located was not the most central area of the airship, so the danger should be much smaller. If it could be taken away with divine sense, it would be taken away with divine sense. If he couldn't, when he arrived in his own body after exploring the specifics, he could also take the purple Xian crystal away from here with the fastest speed possible. As Lu Yu led the little white fox swiftly deeper, the scene inside the airship was revealed to them in greater detail. The room made of silver-white materials was covered with a huge screen, and vaguely visible were all sorts of mutilated and blurred projections of galaxies, as well as symbols and words that they could not recognize. Being in it, illusion seemed to combine with reality, like a dream. To Lu Yu's senses, this seemed to be the cockpit at the very front of the ship, used to provide the ship with flight coordinates. Lu Yu looked around, ignoring the black creatures that were pouring in, and urged the circular cage that was completely off the ground to the most central projection area of this space. Here, there was a fist-sized orb suspended in mid-air, radiating diffuse galactic projections, accompanied by various runes dropping down like a waterfall, constantly changing. It seemed to be the core of this space, containing a multitude of information. Lu Yu pondered a little and looked towards the little white fox. The little white fox contained the bloodline of the nine-tailed fox, with a strong chi, tending to good fortune and avoiding evil, it could be called a good luck charm. 
Without being sure if there was any danger, it was best to let her try. Being stared at by Lu Yu's gaze, the little white fox immediately understood his thoughts. She tried to stretch out her tail and move closer towards the orb, her divine sense unusually tight. If there was a feeling of danger, she would immediately stop her movements. However, as she moved her tail closer, and even curled the orb up, she didn't perceive any danger, so she was relieved to bring the orb within the earth hand. You can hold this thing for now, later when we return up there, let those human scientists study it, if we can learn relevant information about this ship from it, it will be beneficial to both him and us. Lu Yu sent a divine thought to the little white fox. This place was dangerous, but since there were purple shin crystals, spirit gathering stones, and other such treasures, it meant that there were even greater opportunities within. The little white fox wrapped the orb inside her divine sense tail and carefully protected it. She was also a little curious about these airships, a place of great evil often meant that there were great treasures. After that, Liu continued to go deeper with the little white fox. After passing through the place that looked like a cockpit, Liu came to a huge space full of glass jars. As far as the eye could see, the glass jars were like giant pillars holding up this space, neatly arranged in rows and rows. Inside the partially damaged and partially intact glass jars, they were filled with green liquid, soaking a body of black creatures. From time to time, black creatures crawled out from above the jars, shaking off the liquid from their bodies before charging towards Lu Yu and the little white fox. This seemed to be the birthplace of black creatures. And as Lu Yu continued to go deeper, he discovered that within these glass jars, there were many other creatures that he did not recognize at all, many of them were skeletons, and many of them were mutilated organs or limbs. If a huge biological laboratory. Underneath each jar, there was a string of symbols, like a record, or some kind of code. Lu Yu couldn't understand it, but he always felt that it was bizarre everywhere. Not wanting to stay here any longer, he continued to go deeper into the area where the purple Xi'an crystal was located. After continuing across a few areas, Lu Yu and the little white fox finally came to a white laboratory where the purple Xi'an crystal was located. Here, the purple Xi'an crystal was suspended high in the sky, like a purple sun, surging out a terrifying energy fluctuation, and then quickly absorbed by all kinds of devices surrounding it, and transmitted to all corners of the airship through densely packed mechanical pipes. Even though there were devices that collected the energy of the purple Xi'an crystal, perhaps because it was in disrepair, a lot of energy still escaped, rippling in the air. Lu Yu and the little white fox rewarded. Purple Xi'an crystal were not far away, and were soon affected by the ripples, their divine sense undulating and twisting as a wave of pain came through that tore at their hearts and lungs. The divine sense was already fragile, being sheltered by the physical body, and the energy fluctuations emanating from the purple Xi'an crystal were extremely strange and powerful, they were all a little unable to withstand it. However, Li Yu did not retreat and handed over the spirit gathering stone on his body to the little white fox, you don't need to continue following me, bring the spirit gathering stone and the orb out. It looked like the purple Xi'an crystal was the energy supply core of this ship, such an important place should not be so easy to approach. Taking advantage of the fact that he was now in a state of divine sense, he went over to test the waters and make some preparations for going deeper into this place afterward. The little white fox wanted to persuade Lu Yu, but after entering this place, the feeling of sensation in her heart had skyrocketed several times, as if there was an invisible sword hanging above her head that could fall at any time. If she didn't risk trying without using her divine sense, when Lu Yu's main body arrived here, he might fall here. Thus, she could only swallow her words of persuasion into her stomach, hold the spirit gathering stone that Lu Yu handed over in her hand, and then reluctantly left the place. Once Lu Yu's divine sense got close to the purple Xi'an crystal, what exactly would happen was something she could not predict at all, and she could only leave this place first and bring the spirit gathering stone and the orb back with her. After the little white fox left, Li Yu then put his heart down, then against the increasingly violent energy impact, he approached the purple Xi'an crystal. The closer he got to the purple Xi'an crystal, the more terrifying the energy shock became, and only halfway through, Lu Yu's divine sense was worn down by half, and a certain degree of distortion appeared. However, there was nothing unusual happening, it seemed that his previous speculation was wrong. Feeling the thin divine sense, Li Yu decided to use this last divine sense to completely touch the purple Xi'an crystal. If there was still no danger, then it meant that the purple Xi'an crystal was just the energy system of the airship. With this in mind, Lu Yu's divine sense began to contract, then like a bullet, it broke through the energy impact of the purple Xi'an crystal and landed on the purple Xi'an crystal. At this moment, the purple Xi'an crystal seemed to have sensed something, violently surging out a large amount of chaotic energy, sweeping in all directions. Lu Yu's already finely weakened divine sense was instantly sent flying away, and the various devices surrounding the purple Xi'an crystal were also operating at overload, absorbing most of the energy escaping from the purple Xi'an crystal. Other than that, there wasn't any strange change that happened. This allowed Lu Yu's divine sense, which was almost about to dissipate, to breathe a little sigh of relief. It looked like he had overthought things. 
As long as it could withstand the impact of the purple Xi'an crystal's energy, it would be possible to take the purple Xi'an crystal away. And based on the impact on his divine sense, he was certain that his beast age physical body, coupled with urging his aura to resist in advance, was definitely able to withstand the impact of the purple Xi'an crystal. It was only when he had just been reassured that his tattered divine sense, which had been shaken back into the depths of the airship by the purple Xi'an crystal, vaguely perceived a huge skeleton that was bound by a giant chain. The skeleton was so large that it was impossible to see, like a corpse that had been rotting for many days. There was no skin, no blood vessels, only scarlet muscles adhering to the surface of the bones, and it was deathly chained, unable to move. Lu Yu was shocked and tried to mobilize the last of his divine sense when he tried to see the skeleton clearly. A sudden terrifying gale suddenly emerged, Lu Yu's divine sense was instantly crushed and annihilated, nothing was left. Lu Yu who was on the ground violently spat out a mouthful of blood, his face was pale to the extreme and his breath was weakening because half of his divine sense had been damaged. However, Li Yu did not pay attention to his body's injuries, he was stabilizing his chaotic divine sense as he vaguely remembered that at the same time as the terrifying gust of wind struck, the depths of the eye sockets of that gigantic skeleton lit up with a glimmer of light. Brother, are you alright? When Lu Yu suddenly drew blood and his breath wilted, the little white fox, whose divine sense had already returned to its place, immediately poured its own aura and divine sense into Lu Yu's body in a single stream, helping him recover from his injuries and make up for his damaged divine sense. Although she didn't know what had happened inside the airship, Lu Yu's divine sense had suddenly dissipated at that moment before, as if it had evaporated out of thin air, bringing her deep panic and loss. In her heart, she had already treated Lu Yu as her own brother, as her only relative, and didn't want him to be harmed. The little white fox's concerned voice entered his ears, like a clear spring in the midst of the dry heat, causing Lu Yu to quickly wake up from the chaos of the traumatized divine consciousness. He rubbed his head with his wings and quickly absorbed the rich spiritual chi in the air, his breath gradually stabilizing. If it wasn't for that huge skeleton at the end, which had brought him a great shock to his divine consciousness, he wouldn't have suffered such a great impact. Luckily, that skeleton looked like nothing more than a corpse. As far as the current situation was concerned, the path to the purple Xi'an crystal was safe, and as long as one didn't go too deep, there wouldn't be any danger. All that needed to be done now was to recover from their injuries and regain their divine sense. As for Su Jingwa and the other genetic warriors, they all gathered around at this time, vigilantly looking at the entrance to the archaeological land and gripping the weapons in their hands. Lu Yu's strength was too clear to them, so strong that it was unimaginable. However, after his divine sense had penetrated deep into the archaeological land, he was actually injured. Mr. Lu, do you need us to do anything? Su Jingwa bent down to inquire, and a look of concern appeared on his face. This was not something he was pretending, in the context of the ferocious beasts wreaking havoc, Lu Yu was another hope in their hearts, and none of them wanted anything to happen to Lu Yu. Lu Yu took a deep breath and glanced at the little white fox, give them the orb that you brought out from amongst the airship. The little white fox hesitated slightly and spread her tail, handing a fist-sized orb to Su Jingwa. She was also curious about this orb, but she also knew that if she wanted to decipher this thing, the human race would have to do a better job than they, the ferocious beasts. Letting them decipher it was the best option. This is. Looking at the not-so-large orb, Su Jingwa and the others were so excited that their breathing stopped. Even though they didn't know what exactly this orb was, since it was brought out from the airship, it must be extraordinary. This orb should be one of the more important things in the airship, it can map out a star field and there are many symbols and words. You guys take and study to see if you can decipher them. Lu Yu gave Su Jingwa and the others a brief account of the passage in sight of entering the spaceship, hoping that it would be of some help to them in deciphering it. When Su Jingwa and the others heard this, they became more and more excited as they stared at the one orb. Although this orb was not large, its value was immeasurable. Especially those scientific researchers who had followed them here were even more wide-eyed, not taking their eyes off the orb for a moment, being attracted to it with all their minds. According to Lu Yu's words, this orb not only had a map of the star field, but also symbols and words, once deciphered, it would greatly help them understand this mysterious spaceship. The various technologies contained in this spaceship could also be used by them too. Used. Many thanks, Mr. Lu. Many thanks, Mr. Lu. Su Jing was said thankfully in a loud voice. Then carefully, as if it was a treasure, he received the orb. The orb was heavy in his hand, he didn't know what material it was made of, smooth as if it was an absolute circular structure, at a glance, it didn't look like something from the blue star. Mr. Lu don't worry, the matter of the orb we will temporarily block the news, at the same time, we will also gather the best scientific researchers in the country to carry out the deciphering work as soon as possible, and once we have deciphered any news, we will definitely inform Mr. Lu at the first time. Su Jingwa made a serious guarantee. The information contained in this orb was important, but cooperating with Lu Yu was even more important. 
Even if the spaceship contained astounding technology, it would not be an easy thing for them to realize. As for Lu Yu's growing strength, by the time their technology and strength made a qualitative leap, Lu Yu did not know how powerful he had become. Therefore, he didn't dare to deceive or neglect Lu Yu in the slightest. Lu Yu naturally understood this, as long as he was strong enough, these people would not dare to use the slightest bit of philandering against him. You guys decipher it as soon as possible, and don't bother me in these next few days. Lu Yu casually waved his wings and told them to leave. He needed a quiet environment to recover his injuries and divine sense. Good, we won't disturb Mr. Lu, we will set up a control zone a thousand meters away to avoid ferocious beasts and passers-by from intruding, if Mr. Lu needs anything, he can find us at any time. Su Jingguo and the others nodded their heads, then quickly retreated in a well-organized manner. After they left, Li Yu comforted the little white fox who was worried about him before he began to close his eyes and recuperate, intending to start acting immediately after he recovered to his peak state. The sun set and the moon rose, the light and shadows changed. During these days when Liu was recovering his strength, numerous explosive news broke out one after another across the globe. There were several sea-stage ferocious beasts in the island country, and after experiencing the baptism of spiritual qi, as well as devouring millions of human flesh and blood, they were finally breaking through the bottleneck and breaking through to the B-stage. And in order to further curry favor with them, the island nation directly established temples for them, with constant incense and blood food. The stick country also raised its national efforts to pull together a B-stage ferocious beast that had just broken through, as a divine beast that protected the country, and raised its national efforts to make offerings. In the pretty country and other countries with large populations and territories, B-rank beasts even appeared as if in a blowout, setting off an even more violent storm of bloodshed on the blue planet. Several B-rank ferocious beasts had also appeared within Huaxia, but they were different from the more ferocious B-rank ferocious beasts in other countries. Although they were also forming forces, arming and upgrading themselves, they were nevertheless much more low-key. After all, Li Yu had just obliterated a B-stage ferocious beast not long ago, and the news had long since spread like crazy amongst the ferocious beasts. After they had broken through to the B-stage, they were even more aware of the power of entering the B-stage, which was a qualitative change from the C-stage. The fact that Liu was able to obliterate a B-stage beast meant that his strength was not something they could fight against for the time being. The other ferocious beasts were outside of Huaxia and were too far away from Liu to have to worry much about him, but they were within China, if they messed with Liu, it was not a good thing. Having stepped into the B-rank, they were smarter and had a longer-term vision. The B-stage ferocious beasts in Huaxia were relatively quiet and did not make too much noise because of the deterrence of Liu's powerful strength, which made other countries incredibly envious and jealous. Many small countries have fallen further under the rule of the beasts, cities have been occupied, refugees are wandering, and the country is not a country. In the attack of the B-rank ferocious beasts, they no longer had any resistance, and were pushed sideways all the way. Three days later, Liu Yu slowly opened his eyes as a brilliant golden light flashed from his eyes. And then as he opened his huge wingspan of more than 10 meters, the sky was obscured, and his aura reached its peak at this moment, rising straight into the clouds. After these days of recuperation, he had finally recovered completely. Compared to the recovery of his physical injuries, the recovery of his divine sense was exceptionally slow. Otherwise, with his current physical strength, this time, he had only suffered internal injuries and would have recovered in a few breaths. After Liu Yu stretched his wings, the little white fox, who had been guarding him from the side, also opened her eyes and surveyed him in surprise. According to her previous estimation, Liu Yu's divine consciousness was severely injured, and it would take at least five days to completely recover. But in reality, only three days had passed and it had completely recovered. Such a speed was much faster than even its own. The protector has worked hard these past few days, leave it to me next, I'll go and come. Liu Yu moved his neck from side to side before looking towards the cave entrance into the archaeological land. These past few days, he was able to recover his divine sense so quickly, thanks to the little white fox putting his divine sense from time to time and pouring it into his body. Brother, let me follow you in as well, although my strength isn't as good as yours, I can still take care of each other with you. The little white fox wanted to follow in. However, Liu shook his head and refused, I'll go by myself, I'm just collecting some spirit gathering stones as well as bringing out the purple shin crystals, there's nothing dangerous about it, and even if I encountered a life-threatening situation, with my means and speed, I can still do my best to escape. If he hadn't seen that one skeleton in the center of the airship when his divine sense dissipated, Lu Yu felt that there was nothing wrong with taking the little white fox with him, but that skeleton had left an extremely deep impression on Lu Yu, and the sense of danger that had been welling up in his heart seemed to originate from the huge skeleton, which was bizarre in every way. Thinking about it, it was best to go in alone. After all, he is a golden eagle, among the B-rank beasts, the flight speed can be called the ultimate, if he wants to go, want to stop him is not easy. 
The little white fox knew that after Liu Yu made his decision, he would almost never change it, and also knew that it was for his own good, so he didn't force himself. It just said with some loss, I know brother, I'll wait for you at the exit. After the purple shin crystals and the spirit gathering stones are gathered together, we still need you to set up the foundation of the formation, so keep your condition for now, and we will go back to set up the formation immediately after the things arrive. Liu Yu comforted. Hearing this, the little white fox then spread a smile. Liu Yu had transmitted all the relevant information of the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation to her with his divine sense, so she was well aware of how comprehensive and powerful the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was. Once it was truly set up, the entire Jiangzhou city would definitely undergo a sea change. Not only was it full of spiritual energy, but it was also solid as gold, and would truly become their foundation. Thinking about this, she couldn't wait to start looking forward to it in her heart. Liu Yu smiled faintly, then his wings vibrated. Whoosh! The sound of breaking wind rang out, and his figure shrunk a lot as he swooped down towards the archaeological land. A breath later, Liu landed heavily on the ground a hundred meters below, setting off a chaotic wave of air, with countless dust churning like silver sand. And then, he narrowed his eyes slightly, adapting to the suddenly dim underground, waiting for those black creatures to continue to approach. Squeaking. The sound of crawling on the ground came, only to see those black creatures from all directions, continuously approaching over, like a black torrent. Liu swept a glance at them, and without any reservation, he split into ten bilocations and rushed towards them. The golden feathers spread out by the bilocations were like scythes for reaping life. One by one, these black creatures were slashed at the waist and paralyzed to the ground, their legs and feet struggling and bouncing for a few moments before they lost their breath. After just this one move, the hundreds of black creatures that came close were all purged. As for Liu's system interface, there were also system prompts ringing out continuously. Congratulations on obtaining 200 evolution points. Congratulations on gaining 200 evolution points. In one move, more than 10,000 evolution points were harvested. Liu Yu looked extremely hot. He had previously gone through a lot of effort to kill the Earth Demon King, and that was how he had gained 10,000 evolution points. But now, having obliterated a large swath of black creatures, it was actually a little more than obliterating a B-rank creature. Was this the specialist of alien creatures? Liu Yu murmured to himself, if he had obliterated so many ferocious beasts in the blue planet, he would have gained at most a few thousand evolution points. As Liu Yu was planning to continue making his move on those black creatures, they realized something and backed away, hiding inside the spaceship. Seeing this, Liu Yu hesitated for a moment and did not continue to pursue them. If he slaughtered too many black organisms, in case he caused the airship to react further, he was bound to cause more trouble. In any case, collecting the spirit gathering stones from the bodies of so many black creatures would almost be enough for the spirit gathering stones needed to set up the formation. Immediately, Liu lifted his wings and waved them, setting off a wave of air that rushed to the sky, collecting those rice sized spirit gathering stones together to form a white stone the size of a goose egg. The larger the spirit gathering stone was, the greater the suction it generated, crazily absorbing the spiritual chi in this space, forming a small vortex. Liu Yu's sharp claws probed out, sealing the spirit gathering stone with spiritual chi and hiding it amongst the lush feathers. Then he continued to fly rapidly towards where the purple Xian crystal was. It was better to get the purple Xian crystal in his hands as soon as possible. The golden light cut through the dead silence of the cave, illuminating the cave in an instant. Liu Yu's figure had already disappeared in the same place. When he reappeared, Liu Yu was already in the sky above the purple Xian crystal, easily breaking through the violent ripples emanating from the purple Xian crystal. Compared to his previous state of divine consciousness, his physical body was unknown how many times stronger, and the energy released by the purple Xian crystal could not affect him in the slightest. After that, he urged most of the aura in his body to converge into his sharp claws. In an instant, his sharp claws became thick and heavy, and the surface seemed to be wrapped in a layer of glazed crystals, emitting a faint fluorescent light. Because of his previous experience with the divine sense touching the purple Xian crystal, Liu made all preparations before probing out his claws and grasping the purple Xian crystal in a death grip. Interfered with by external forces, the purple Xian crystal trembled violently, and the brilliant purple light suddenly lit up, transmitting a shocking repulsive force, stimulating Liu Yu's sharp claws. Even with the isolation of the aura and the sharp claws, Liu still felt a sharp pain, as if he had been spoiled by the spikes and subconsciously wanted to let go of the sharp claws. Fortunately, Liu had prepared for this, and with a ruthless heart, he violently lifted his wings and pulled the purple Xian crystal outside of the many absorption devices. Without the absorption device to absorb the escaping berserk force, Liu Yu's claws were subjected to even more intense rejection, and almost came out of the claws. What Liu cared more about was that with the purple Xian crystal detached from the device, the ship seemed to have lost some of its energy, the lights that were lit up around it suddenly went out, and many of the machines stopped functioning. Most importantly, he heard the sound of chains being tautly broken. Click. 
The sound of chains breaking apart continued. Liu sight snapped to the center of the airship, his complexion cold, the golden feathers all over his body subconsciously exploded, and dense goosebumps surged all over his body. At this moment, he felt a strong aura of death, as if he was being targeted by some kind of terrifying predator. And the feeling of danger came from the center of his ship, the huge skeleton bound by chains. At this moment, as the airship lost some of its energy, the door in the center of the airship, which had already opened a gap, cracked open some more. The sight that Liu Yu could see rose even more. In the center of the airship, the blood-red muscles that were attached to the huge skeleton suddenly wriggled and extended into long scarlet strips, like huge tentacles. In the blink of an eye, it had already arrived in front of Lu Yu, shattering the void along the way and forming an icy vacuum channel. So fast. Lu Yu's scalp was about to explode. The speed of this scarlet muscle attack was also too fast. Even with his amazing eyesight as a golden eagle, he could only glimpse a residual shadow, and was simply too late to make any dodges. And judging from the speed and power of the attack, his own B-rank body would definitely not be able to carry this attack. Whoosh! Between the flashes of lightning and fire, the scarlet muscle passed through where Liu was, and the air continued to burst, bringing up a terrifying white wave of sound that echoed within the airship. After that the muscle quickly retracted, seemingly amazed as to why it hadn't been able to kill Liu Yu. At this moment, Liu Yu's forehead was already full of cold sweat and the corners of his mouth twitched. Just now, at the moment of life and death, he had cast his golden body in time, avoiding the blow that was enough to pierce through his body and tear himself into pieces. Although he had avoided this strike, Lu Yu did not dare to relax in the slightest. The golden body only lasted for two seconds. If there was no way to escape within these two seconds, he would just be waiting to die in place. Under Lu Yu's golden gaze, the elongated muscles were hovering in front of Lu Yu, seemingly waiting for Lu Yu's golden body to end, giving him a fatal blow. Lu Yu's heart was beating nonstop, and even in his golden body state, his mouth was dry and his body was cold due to the extreme tension. Countless strategies that he could think of, but also in his brain juice one by one deduction. Millennium? Shadow attack? Cold ice shock? Thunder skyfall? Earth armor? All the means he could think of swept through his mind. However, the final result was all useless. Because the speed of the scarlet muscle was too fast, it wouldn't give him a chance to utilize these means. Moreover, from the scarlet muscle, he sensed a suffocating sense of oppression. It contained such a powerful force that even if he used all of his means, he would not be able to shake it in the slightest. Waiting for himself, it seemed like there was only one way to die. And at this moment, one second had already passed. There was still one last second left. Lu Yu's heart was beating even faster, like a war drum beating nonstop. His spirit was even more highly concentrated. His body was sweating and wetting his feathers. This feeling of desperation and waiting for death, in a trance, made Liu go back to before he crossed over. At that time, when he was hunted by the ferocious beasts, he was like this. Desperate, helpless, and with a strong and unwillingness. In this world, there is no existence that can override. Above me, can threaten my life and death. Underneath the extreme despair was Liu Yu's unyielding will that bounced back from the bottom. There was a blazing flame burning in his eyes, as if it had ignited his body, causing his aura to skyrocket. Also at this moment, the last second of the golden body ended. Prek la. The void was pierced, leaving behind a scorched black trail. As Liu Yu expected, the scarlet muscles struck at the first moment, not giving him any chance to resist. And Liu Yu, who had never been more determined in his heart, discarded all the distractions around him and vaguely locked the trajectory of this strike. Earth armament, steeply activated. His golden body was covered in dust, and his breath erupted like a gushing volcano. The cold air that froze a thousand miles instantly surged out from his wings, forming pale cold ice sand, and with the help of the gusty winds, the void was frozen like a transparent giant block of ice. It was the scarlet muscle that was slightly affected, slowing down, but still extremely amazing, and had already reached Lu Yu's heart vitals. As it entered a step to stab in, a dull sound of gold and iron suddenly came out. That purple shin crystal was like a shield, blocking this fatal blow. All of Lu Yu's previous actions were to stall for time so that most of the spiritual chi in his body could be poured into the purple Xi'an crystal, prompting the purple Xi'an crystal to erupt with an even more astonishing repulsive force. He knew very well that the purple Xi'an crystal was incomparably sturdy, a dense aggregate of energy, and his only hope of survival at the moment. And the facts proved that he had gambled correctly. The impact force that erupted from within the purple Xi'an crystal cancelled out all the power contained in the scarlet muscles. At the same time, the unimaginable impact generated between the two spread out violently. Everything in the surrounding hundred meters was caught up in it, destroying it into gravelly fragments that flew in the sky. Under this wave of terrifying impact, Liu gritted his teeth and held on for dear life, even if his feathers were torn and broken, even if his skin was torn, even if he was bruised all over by the impact, he didn't retreat. And then, taking this opportunity, 
he forcefully swung the sharp top of the purple shin crystal held tightly in his claws, cutting off a section of the scarlet muscle. Although one's current strength was not strong enough, if one struck out at oneself, one would have to pay the price. Cough. Lu Yu chattered blood, staining the messy, mutilated feathers on his chest. Immediately afterward, he violently raised his breath and held the severed scarlet muscle in a death grip with one claw, before retreating along the spreading torrent of qi waves. The muscle was chopped off to a section, and the stinging pain struck, and the huge skeleton was slightly shaken, driving the countless chains to shake, emitting the sound of gold and iron clashing and clanking. After that, as if caught in a state of fury, the skeleton violently stretched out the scarlet muscles that had recovered, piercing through the chaotic storm of airwaves and locking onto Lu Yu's figure to death. However, while Lu Yu was being carried away by this fluctuation, he was also doing his best to vibrate his wings and accelerate his speed. When that scarlet muscle came after it and was about to pierce through Lu Yu's back, its stretch seemed to have reached its limit, bringing up a sound of chains shaking, and it could only become impotent and furious and was forced to shrink back. Lu Yu, whose heart was about to beat out of his chest, breathed a sigh of relief, and then didn't dare to have the slightest pause, escaping from here at a faster speed. Despite some changes in the middle of the journey, the purple Xian crystal had still arrived. Especially since he had also used the purple Xian crystal and chopped off some of the muscles of that skeleton, which would undoubtedly allow him to understand some more information about that skeleton. However, Lu Yu also knew that by taking the purple Xian crystal out of the airship, he should have upset some of the balance of the airship, and that skeleton might have memorized his scent. If the skeleton got out of the trap, he was afraid that he would be the first one to come and exterminate himself. Zhangzhou City, Bunker Lu Yu, who had just spent three days healing his wounds, was seriously injured again because of the skeleton that had disturbed the airship, and once again closed his eyes for a day before he completely recovered. The first thing Lu Yu did when he recovered was to take out the scarlet muscle with a gloomy face. Yesterday, the skeleton suddenly attacked himself, if not for the fact that he had a golden body protection and the power of the purple Xian crystal, he was bound to fall somewhere. This revenge had already been kept in Lu Yu's heart. System, absorb it ruthlessly for me. Lu Yu gritted his teeth in anger. Absorbing this scarlet muscle now would be considered as the interest he received in advance. As his words fell, the scarlet muscle in his hand began to fade a little bit, and the evolution points in the system skyrocketed. Unlike the previous instant absorption of the ferocious beast's corpse, this absorption lasted for a full three seconds before the scarlet muscle dissipated from his claws. Lu Yu's heart was a little surprised, this was the first time he had encountered such a situation. Congratulations on obtaining 30,000 evolution points. When Lu Yu saw the system's prompt, he directly froze for a moment. How could there be so many evolution points? One had to know that a beer-ranked ferocious beast would only be able to provide around 10,000 evolution points. The scarlet muscles of the current skeleton had directly provided him with evolution points comparable to three b rank beasts. What exactly was the origin of that skeleton? Lu Yu's heart couldn't help but conjure up the figure of the skeleton, huge and unimaginable, bound by the mysterious airship. If the skeleton broke free from its bondage, how earth-shattering would the strength that could erupt be? There was both a worry and a madness within him. After all, just by absorbing such a small portion, he could obtain so many evolution points. How many evolution points would be gained by absorbing the entire skeleton? Of course, Liu could only think about it now, after all, he knew very well that his current self was still far from being a match for the skeleton. However, after looking at the evolution points in the system interface, it was already close to 60,000, not far from the 100,000 evolution points needed to break through the A rank. If the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was set up, he felt that his A rank was already beckoning towards him. If he can't, now that the B rank beasts have begun to appear one after another, he will be able to hunt and kill some of them, and he will also be able to make up for it. Of course, as a last resort, Liu did not intend to hunt B rank beasts so soon. After all, once he broke through to the A rank, if he wanted to break through to the S rank again, the evolution points required would directly reach a million. At that time, he would need many A rank beasts to provide himself with evolution points. Below the S rank, it was nothing more than excess for Lu Yu. If he killed too many B rank beasts now, it would inevitably lead to a slowdown in the emergence of A rank beasts. Fattening them up first and then conducting a wave of harvesting would be the best choice. Next, let's first set up the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation to see the effect. By then the Mall of Forces will be updated, and it will surely be able to produce quite a lot of good stuff. Lu Yu fixed his mind and quickly appeared in the sky above Jianzhou City. Now that everything was ready, he did not intend to delay any further. And with Lu Yu's appearance, the formation pattern that was being inscribed in the square for the corpse of the ferocious beast, the little white fox, slowly raised her head, unable to hide the excitement in her heart. She knew that Lu Yu was finally going to start setting up the array. The citizens in Jiangzhou City looked up and noticed Liu in midair, not understanding why he suddenly appeared, and most of them looked puzzled. 
Liu Yu closed his eyes and after recalling the Nine Heavens spirit gathering formation one last time in his mind, his sharp claws fiercely clenched downward in a false grip. The vast spiritual chi immediately surged and rose from the bottom to the top, lifting the dense bones of ferocious beasts piled up in all parts of the square into midair. From afar, the countless bones looked like roaming locusts, blocking most of the rays of the blazing sun, leaving behind mottled light and shadows within the city. After that, Lu Yu's divine sense spread out as far as it could, manipulating every single bone inscribed with formation patterns with his divine sense, vertically facing the earth below, and then slowly falling down. While Lu Yu's divine sense was controlling the bones of the ferocious beasts, the formation patterns on the bones were also completely activated, and between the adjacent bones, the formation patterns chimed in unison, and each of them separated into a faint spiritual light, connecting together. The citizens as well as the ferocious beasts in the city all looked at this scene with horrified disbelief. If it wasn't for the commotion made by Lu Yu, they would have already fled the place in panic. Bang bang bang. The crashing sounds of bones falling to the ground and embedding themselves deep into the earth rose and fell, like a large hailstorm that only belonged to Jiangzhou City had fallen in the sky. As more and more bones fell to the ground, the strata and geological structure of the entire Jiangzhou City rapidly underwent a skyrocketing change. After a burst of ground shaking, below the strata, the loose soil seemed to have condensed into an impenetrable rock. On the plains at the edge of Jiangzhou, nine peaks were extruded out of thin air, like undulating arcs, encircling Jiangzhou City and preventing any living beings from approaching it. At this point, the foundation of the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was perfectly laid. With the hardness of the strata of Jiangzhou City now, it would be difficult for even a C-stage ferocious beast to break through. After that, Li Yu took out the goose egg-sized spirit gathering stone and quickly lifted the aura seal. Without the binding of the aura seal, the aura of the hundred meters around the spirit gathering stone was absorbed by the stone at the speed of a whale swallowing and sucking. The white luster of the spirit gathering stone also became clearer and gradually jadeized. After that, Lu Yu's mind moved and sent the spirit gathering stone into the lower part of the bunker, turning it into the eye of the nine heavenly spirit gathering formation. And other buried in the ground, reflecting the bones of ferocious beasts, gradually fused into one. Soon, under the rapid assimilation of the spirit gathering stone, each bone, as if it had become a small spirit gathering stone, then resonated with each other to form a larger spirit gathering stone. For a time, within Jiangzhou City, a fierce wind was blowing. Spiritual chi from the eight directions of heaven and earth, by the glittering formations, were forcefully pulled through, forming a gust of spiritual wind that intertwined and collided within Jiangzhou City, and the skyscrapers were all blown and slightly shaken. The clear sky also became foggy under the convergence of many spiritual chi and the fiber optics were dimmed considerably. What exactly is Mr. Lu doing? Li Chang'an, who was in Jiangzhou City, looked at Lu Yu in the sky, his heart filled with confusion and disbelief. From the earth shaking just now to the raging wind now, Lu Yu had made such a big commotion. Tick-tock. Detected a large amount of aura. Suddenly, Li Chang'an saw the newly developed aura detector soaring like a rocket, sounding the alarm of imminent overload. The aura detector was something that those researchers had researched and used to find heavenly treasures, after all, heavenly treasures, mostly lived in places with unusually dense auras. Now, however, how could the Jiangzhou city, which had an average aura, suddenly experience a surge in aura? It was even quite a bit denser than the place where they had discovered the spirit materials, and this sign of aura growth continued to increase. After the spirit gathering stone was integrated into the formation base, Liu did not hesitate for a second, and that purple shin crystal was taken out of his feathered wings and suspended high above the formation. With the appearance of the purple shin crystal, much of the increasingly dense spiritual chi in the heavens and earth merged into the purple shin crystal. At once, the power contained within the purple shin crystal was further energized, refracting a light purple mist of light that gradually spread out. As the light mist spread, the light that shone down from heaven and earth were all dyed purple making the entire Jiangzhou city look like a dreamy wonderland. After that, countless formation patterns emerged in the sky, interlinking with the nine peaks surrounding the edge of Jiangzhou city, forming a semicircular purple protective shield, like an inverted giant bowl. Spirit gathering stone attracts the spiritual chi, in the protective shield cover surging, more and more dense up, like pure white silk. Nine days gathering spirit array, to this point is opened. Whether it was the array base composed of countless murderer's bones, or the spirit gathering stone and the purple shin crystal, they were all doing their best to emit a bright light, reflecting each other, reaching a certain balance. And the Jiangzhou city, which was encompassed by the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation, also underwent a drastic change at this time. First of all, under the nourishment of the rich spiritual chi, the grasses and trees within the city grew rapidly and wildly, and a touch of emerald green color was added to the roads and reinforced concrete walls. It brought vitality to the monotonous and boring city. 
Many ancient trees over a hundred years old even more greedily absorbed the spiritual chi here, step by step towards the direction of spiritual wood evolution, root system more developed, leaves like jade scattered shimmering light. There were also many herbs that were nourished by the pure spiritual chi and underwent some kind of metamorphosis and evolution, becoming spiritual medicines that needed to be seen in strange and dangerous places. In addition to the plants in Jiangzhou City being greatly affected, the citizens living in Jiangzhou City were also greatly affected. Bathing in the aura was like immersing the whole body within a hot spring. The frail and sickly old people suddenly realized that they actually stopped coughing, and some small colds got better straight away. Relatively healthy adult men, their bodies all pulled up quite a bit, their physiques became more robust, their muscle density increased, they looked powerful and strong, and they reached their most peak state. And with the passage of time, as well as the continued convergence of spiritual chi, the crowd also realized that staying here not only strengthens the body, one's own affinity with the aura had unexpectedly gained a certain degree of affinity. It had also been a while since the recovery of aura, and they were all clear that the reason why ferocious beasts were powerful and terrifying was because they could absorb aura and use it for cultivation. The human race, on the other hand, seemed to be naturally rejected by aura and were unable to rely on aura for cultivation. At most, they could only rely on genetic potions, making their bodies mutate before they could slowly cultivate. However, amidst the increasingly dense spiritual mist in Jiangzhou City, they also gradually had the hope of cultivation. Many of the warriors stationed here were filled with tears and cried out in excitement. In the beast's rampage, they had seen too many life and death partings, or their own friends and relatives, or their comrades who usually fought side by side, all died in the beast's mouth. And they could only watch the bloody scene, unable to do anything about it. They had always longed to also be able to absorb aura and enhance their own strength, and now, this wish of theirs had actually gradually become a reality. Zhao Xian and the other rich people who had paid money to re-enter Jiangzhou City were also filled with red light, feeling more and more that their previous decisions were correct. Li Chang'an, who had walked out of the bunker, looked around at the rich aura in the sky and felt more and more that Lu Yu was powerful and mysterious. While the other ferocious beasts were still searching for a treasure land of aura, Lu Yu had unknowingly transformed the place he occupied into a treasure land. Even the richness of the aura surpassed those treasure lands that he already knew were occupied by ferocious beasts. Most importantly, as the purple light shield in the sky gradually faded, he vaguely felt that Lu Yu's transformation of Jiangzhou City was not that simple, and that there was something else that they did not know about. Compared to the people in Jiangzhou City, the ferocious beasts that converged in Jiangzhou City were even more excited. They were all gulping down the aura in the air. Their expressions were unprecedentedly pleasant, and they let out roars from time to time, both to express this heartfelt excitement and to show Lu Yu that they were submissive. Although most of the ferocious beasts were not C-stage ferocious beasts, their spiritual intelligence was already not low, and following Lu Yu was not only extremely secure. They could also absorb such rich spiritual qi for cultivation, it was simply like being in heaven. Just by relying on their breath to draw some of the spiritual qi, it made their spirit multiply and their physique become much stronger. Even a very few ferocious beasts had mutated or returned to their ancestors under the impact of the large-scale spiritual qi, and their strength had increased greatly. The firebird and other ferocious beasts clearly felt that the aura here was becoming more and more dense. The speed of cultivation had skyrocketed several times. If they could stay here for a long time, their impact on the B rank would be much faster. One's efforts to hunt and kill ferocious beasts these days had finally paid off tremendously. At the same time, as the city of Jiangzhou underwent a radical change, with numerous auras converging in the city, very many countries and perceptive ferocious beasts perceived the change. Especially those beast age ferocious beasts that had already mastered the island country and the stick country, they had looked down on Jiangzhou city through the perspective of the satellite, and there was a strong color of covetousness in their eyes. After breaking through to the beast age, their strength had certainly risen greatly, however, if they wanted to go further, the amount of aura they needed was also increasing. However, the places where Blue Star's aura was thick had already been occupied by the major top ferocious beasts, even though they had also occupied some. However, compared to the rich aura of Jiangzhou City, those precious places they occupied, the aura was only half as rich at most, and there was absolutely no comparison. The spiritual qi of Jiangzhou City was the only thing that could accelerate their cultivation, allowing them to grow by leaps and bounds in a single day and not be surpassed by other ferocious beasts. The further one cultivated, the greater the gap in strength that each realm became, almost an insurmountable moat. Being powerful by a small realm would press the fierce beasts whose realms were less than their own to fight. However, wanting to realm as soon as possible was not an easy thing. Either rely on the powerful bloodline talent, all the way without bottleneck leveling up. Either rely on a large amount of resources to pile up and help, hard to pull up the realm. These two ways of promotion, undoubtedly the most important is to use the bloodline talent to make a breakthrough. But this is not something they can master and change, it was already decided at birth. 
The only thing they could grasp and change was to obtain a huge amount of resources, of which treasure lands with rich aura were the most important. Lu Yu is just a golden eagle, with such a bloodline, breaking through to B stage would already be the limit, a treasure land like Zhangzhou City, he doesn't deserve to be in control. Within the island country, half of his body was submerged in seawater six-headed giant snake, slightly squinting his dark and deep vertical pupils, staring at Zhangzhou City on the satellite image. If it wasn't for the fact that the island country was relatively far away from China across the sea, he was already impatient to kill over and occupy wherever and turn it into his stronghold. His bloodline was very special, it was the mythological Yagi Orochi, his bloodline was noble and his talent was powerful. In the future, he was fully qualified to break through to the A rank or even above the S rank, and the key was that there wouldn't be any bottlenecks. All that was needed was to absorb a large amount of aura. Today's Zhangzhou City was as if it was tailor-made for him. Once he occupied Zhangzhou City, relying on the rich spiritual qi that converged the eight directions, he had absolute certainty that he would be the first ferocious beast to break through the A rank. Great Serpent Monarch, this is all the information we have previously collected on that golden eagle, I hope it will be helpful to you. The island official in charge of serving this Great Serpent, Sato, saw the Great Serpent's thoughts at a glance, then mobilized all sorts of information about Lu Yu onto the screen. Ever since Lu Yu's battle with the Earth Demon King back then, it had attracted global attention, especially from the island nation. Even though they were now completely loyal to the fierce beast, the aggression in their bones, the bestiality in their bones, on the contrary, swelled more and more under the stimulation of the fierce beast. Hua Xiao was even more of a big piece of fat meat in their eyes that they had to take down. Orochi glanced at the information mobilized by Sato and said with a cold snort, whether it's that golden eagle or that earth demon king, both are nothing more than lowly bloodline generations that relied on some luck to break through to the B rank ahead of time. And now that my father has broken through to B rank, they are nothing more than jumping clowns. The gap in bloodline is not something that can be made up for by luck or hard work. This gap will only get bigger and bigger. Although Lu Yu had exterminated a B-stage fierce beast of the same rank, yet in the eyes of Orochi, it was nothing more than that. Sato nodded his head in agreement, what great serpent Kuan said, whipsawed into the heart of the matter, Chinese barbarians, how can they be compared to your bloodline? Sato wasn't exactly kissing Orochi's ass. Through their research these days, they had discovered, the more powerful the bloodline, the easier it was for a ferocious beast to break through and the strength after the breakthrough was far superior to other ferocious beasts. The Great Serpent Sovereign was the one who had returned to its ancestor to become the mythological Orochi Orochi, and although it didn't have eight heads yet, it had already given birth to six heads, and was the most powerful existence amongst the B-ranked ferocious beasts in the entire island nation. Big Snake coldly smiled, command down, tell that Liu to see Jiangzhou City within three days, I can spare his life. In the end, Big Snake still didn't intend to directly strike, but decided to let Liu take the initiative to let out although he had absolute confidence in his own strength to defeat and obliterate Lu Yu. However, he was also clear that the strange changes in Zhangzhou City had definitely attracted the attention of other B-rank ferocious beasts. If he were to win a bloodbath with Lu Yu, he would definitely end up being taken advantage of by the other ferocious beasts. The best way was still to give up without a fight and let Lu Yu give up on his own accord. This allowed himself to enter within the city of Zhangzhou at his peak state, and how would the other ferocious beasts dare to make a fool of themselves in front of him? Sato understood Oroki's intentions as soon as he heard it and nodded his head repeatedly, Oroki Kuan, should we inform Godzilla Kuan about this matter? In the island country, there were currently Orochi, Godzilla, and Yuki Nui, these three ferocious beasts that had stepped into the B stage, all of them were very strong, but the mutual. Soldiers did not treat each other well, and there was hardly any interaction. If they wanted to take down Zhangzhou City, it would be difficult to rely on Orochi alone. Let's wait and see what Lu Yu's attitude is, and see what the other ferocious beast's attitude is towards Zhangzhou City. Big Snake spat out his snake letters and said seriously. Even though he couldn't wait to occupy Zhangzhou City in his heart, he was also clear that this matter couldn't be rushed and he had to be calm. And this was also the case. After Zhangzhou City's spiritual chi surged into the sky, turning it into a rare treasure land, the gazes of the world's ferocious beasts had all converged on Zhangzhou City. After all, cultivation was like rowing a boat against the current. If such a treasure land is not mastered by oneself, the speed of cultivation will definitely not be able to catch up with the owner of the treasure land. However, the ferocious beasts that could break through to B stage in cultivation would only all be very high, and no one acted rashly. In testing Lu Yu's attitude, they were also testing the attitudes of the other ferocious beasts. Of course, they all knew that the current calm was only temporary. Once a certain beast made a move, or some other change occurred, breaking the current balance, an unprecedented melee was bound to break out next, and it was feared that all the B-rank beasts would be involved in it, unable to stay away. The Rod Country, Pretty Country, and other countries that had already been occupied by ferocious beasts, or were under the slaves of ferocious beasts, were all tense with anger, 
and began to start preparing in advance for the chaotic future they had foreseen. Above Zhengzhou City, as the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation was successfully set up by Lu Yu and began to operate, the system interface in front of Lu Yu's eyes also popped up prompts one after another. Congratulations to the host for completing the Mall of Power mission. Congratulations on obtaining 100,000 power points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining strength and wings, reaching the level of an A-rank fierce beast. Seeing these prompts, Lu Yu's face instantly revealed a thick smile, especially the moment the wings were strengthened. Lu Yu felt a burst of warmth surge into his wings out of thin air, and his originally golden wings of more than 10 meters became huge once again, with even more dazzling golden feathers. Even on top of his wings, there were runes outlined by the power of origin, causing his affinity for wind aura to have a qualitative change. Such a metamorphosis was instantaneous. Lu Yu's wingspan was now 30 meters long, resembling a golden cloud that covered the sky, obscuring the light that spilled over Zhengzhou City. The expansion of his wingspan was not just as simple as it appeared on the surface. His flying speed and explosive power would also undergo a qualitative change, and although he hadn't tried it yet, he felt that it was at least 10 times more powerful than before. On top of that, the strength of the wings had also changed greatly in Lu Yu's perception. The golden feathers were even thicker, and the wings were like huge shields on both sides, draped with the special Tao rhythm of being indestructible and soaring to the nine heavens. Now even if one were to use a nuclear bomb to directly attack oneself, relying on the defensive power of the wings, one would be able to withstand it. The only drawback was that after the wings had transformed to a rank, the amount of aura consumed to fully utilize their power was also massive. He hadn't really stepped into the A rank now after all, and once he exploded at full power for too long, his aura might be depleted. However, with his current strength, it was almost impossible for other B rank ferocious beasts to force him to utilize the power of the A rank feather, which was considered to be his biggest card and his most powerful killing move. After all, the power of an A rank ferocious beast's physical body could completely crush and shatter the physical body of any other B rank ferocious beast. The gap between the two was too great. After Lu Yu familiarized himself with his new wings, his attention once again fell onto the system interface. Because of his long awaited power mall, many new things had appeared. The previous mall of power could at most purchase things that were useful for C rank beasts, which was not as attractive to him as B rank. The three beasts, the little white fox, the firebird, and the golden ape, had also reached the peak of the C rank, and it was only a matter of time before they broke through to the B rank. So if the mall of power was no longer new, it would not be very helpful to Lu Yu. And now, the new power mall, densely packed with more not to mention let Lu Yu greedy good things. Random equipment raffle ticket, 5th grade, after use, a 5th grade equipment will be randomly selected, which is suitable for use by B rank or above strength. Price, 10,000 to 100,000 power points, the more power points spent, the stronger the equipment obtained. Spirit material raffle ticket, randomly select spirit materials and medicines, the quality and grade depend on luck, but each time you must win one, note, the extracted spirit materials and medicines are all in the maturity period. Price, 10,000 power points for one draw. Enlightenment potion, only for use under B rank, after taking it, it can enter the state of comprehending the world's origin, the exact number of origins to comprehend and what origins to comprehend depend on the qualification and enlightenment of the person taking it. Price, 20,000 power points. Copy scroll, after using it on oneself, one can use a skill by spending aura, copying it in advance and storing it in the scroll, and when the scroll is opened again, the skill will be released, which can be used by oneself, or given to others to use, disposable item, the highest copying of LV5 skills, and the highest copying of LV5 skills, and the highest copying of LV5 skills. Price, 10,000 power points. Spirit quenching liquid, only for use at C rank, after the target takes it, it can permanently enhance the purity of the aura in the body, after each use, the effect is sharply reduced. Price, 3,000 power points. After looking through the dazzling array of goods, Lu Yu was suddenly stirred up inside. His power points nowadays had come to around 150,000 points. 100,000 of them were rewarded by the system this time, taking up the bulk. The other 50,000 power points were partly the power points that hadn't been used up because he hadn't occupied Zhengzhou City before. There was also a part that was a large number of power points indirectly brought in by the Firebird and other ferocious beasts in order to bring in enough ferocious beast corpses for their constantly expanding power territories. With a total of 150,000 power points, it was possible to spend a small handful. Thus, Lu Yu's gaze first fell on the random equipment raffle ticket, grade 5. More than other things, the enhancement and help that weapons and equipment could bring was the most rapid and the most prominent in a short period of time. And this fifth grade equipment could be used above B rank there was no restriction that it couldn't be used beyond B rank. It was the breakthrough to a rank that could also be used. 
so after Liu Yu briefly pondered, he felt that he was not far from a rank anyway, so he might as well just pull the full 100,000 out of a piece, so that not only can he significantly increase his current strength, but when he reaches a rank, he can continue to use it, and it can also bring a not so small boost. So Liu Yu's mind moved, and the 100,000 power points instantly turned into points of light and dissipated, while the lottery wheel in front of him rotated. Soon, the finger was stopped on a square item. Lu Yu took a deep breath and looked over with some nervousness and anticipation. Congratulations on winning the 5th grade special grade spiritual weapon, Starry Sky Chessboard. Chessboard? Lu Yu was stunned, it seemed to be a special function spiritual artifact yet. At that moment, he tapped on the introduction of the Starry Sky Chessboard. Starry Sky Chessboard, 5th grade special spiritual artifact, suitable for use at B rank and above B rank. The chessboard can diffuse a party space, and can pull a target whose strength does not exceed its own by one major realm into the chessboard space, and according to the user's strength, suppress its strength by a minimum of 10% and a maximum of 50%, and the target will not be able to escape from the chessboard space until the aura is depleted. After Lu Yu read the introduction, he only felt that this chessboard was quite powerful and overbearing. Once cast, it was equivalent to directly cutting off the opponent's back path to escape, and with a minimum suppression of 10% strength and a maximum of 50% strength, directly cutting it in half, this could be too strong. If one strength was equal, once one was pulled into the chessboard space, one was absolutely bound to lose. Even if it was a ferocious beast that was a bit stronger than oneself, after being pulled into it, it could also weaken a minimum of 10% of its strength, and it could completely try to defeat the strong with the weak. Moreover, when dealing with some specific ferocious beasts, this starry sky chessboard could also play an unexpected role. After all, many ferocious beasts like to cultivate and fight in a suitable place for them, such as those ferocious beasts in the oceans, such as the earth devils with their feet on the earth, such as those ferocious beasts that like to survive on the edge of the magma. In a specific environment, the strength they displayed far exceeded their realm. However, once they were pulled into the starry sky chessboard, they were left without tears. Not only was the powerful terrain gone, but they were also suppressed by the astral chessboard, so it wasn't a proper defeat. It's worthy of being a treasure that is filled with 100,000 power points, it's just awesome. Lu Yu was very satisfied with the Starry Sky chessboard and flipped around to check it out. With the help of this chessboard, wouldn't he be the proper king of singles? In the end, after checking it out for another 10 minutes or so, Lu Yu then focused his attention on the rest of the power mall. Spirit material lucky draw coupon, looks like it's a commodity that depends on your face. Lu Yu murmured to himself, somewhat hesitant, after all, the quality of the spirit medicine and spirit material drawn was completely random, and drawing it once would cost a full 10,000 power points, which was not a low price to pay. Although it was certain that something could be drawn, and in the ripening stage, there was no need to cultivate it. But an ordinary fruit tree, and those who need hundreds of years to mature spiritual medicine, the difference is like it in the sky, a in the ground. Lu Yu always felt that it would be a big pit. After all, is a lottery game, and the probability of something good is still unclear. If it was a well-known game such as the one operated by Dokka in his previous life, the probability would be quite touching. Anyway, there are still 50,000 power points now, so let's draw once to test the waters, the system should not be as pitiful as Dokka even if it is pitiful. Lu Yu decided to give it a try. After all, he was considered a Euro Emperor anymore, and the probability of a single shot to the soul should not be small. Soon, 10,000 power points wanted to be deducted and a white light appeared in front of Lu Yu's eyes. After seeing the white light, Lu Yu's heart thumped. White, this was not a good sign. Grass. This wasn't Lu Yu cursing, but the white light dispersed and a small, emerald green grass appeared in his system interface, spending 10,000 power points, a grass that he had drawn. Lu Yu. You'd better just look mediocre yet, or else this thing won't even be touched in the future. Lu Yu made up his mind and said. He didn't have any extra power points to be able to squander at will right now. And as if it had heard Lu Yu's mind, the emerald green grass trembled slightly, emitting an almost imperceptible ray of white light. That white light gave Lu Yu a somewhat familiar, untouchable, imperceptible feeling, as if it was divine sense. Bright soul grass, a first grade spirit grass, when planted and matured, it can give birth to a faint soul chi, which is faintly helpful in cultivating divine sense and restoring it. After Lu Yu read it, he only felt that it was very ribald. Things that could help enhance and restore divine sense were almost always good things, because divine sense was mysterious and mysterious, not so easy to enhance and restore. At first, part of his divine sense was destroyed, but with the help of the little white fox, it also took three days to recover. However, the effect of this bright soul grass was also a little too weak, and could only be said to be better than nothing. He shook his head slightly and looked towards the duplicate scroll in the system mall, and his face instantly revealed a bit of exuberance. Although 10,000 power points apiece, it was still only a one-time use item, but it still couldn't hide its dazzling light. 
After all, this scroll could very well reverse the outcome of a battle. Imagine if both sides are fighting to the point of exhaustion, once the use of a copy of the scroll in advance to copy the skills, the other side should be how to deal with? And all the powerful skills Liu Yu used, that was a lot. Thus, Liu Yu did not hesitate to buy one, ready to wait for his free time to copy one of his skills to try. When he had a lot of power points, he could try to copy every skill he had. At that time, his combat power would be absolutely explosive. If he could defeat two or three with one, Liu Yu wouldn't even be able to do so. After that, Liu looked at the system mall spirit quenching liquid, although it could only be used by C-rank fierce beasts, it was considered a small boutique in the mall. The fighting strength of the ferocious beasts had a lot to do with their bloodline and skills, in which the total amount and purity of the aura was also decisive. The more aura and the more pure it was, the more powerful the skills released would be. It was as if a caddy of cotton and a caddy of iron seemed to weigh the same, but when it hit the body, it was undoubtedly the caddy of iron that was more painful. The key is that this thing is not very expensive, and after upgrading, moving need tens of thousands of power points different, this bottle as long as 3000, can be said to be good value for money. Can also be reused, although the effect will be sharply reduced after each use. Looking at the only 30,000 power points left, Liu Yu waved his hand and directly bought 10 bottles, as a reward for their successful construction of the formation. As for the enlightenment potion, that was of course something much better, it could help a C-rank ferocious beast to perceive the power of the origin. The fundamental thing that made B-rank beasts stronger than C-rank beasts was in the realization of the power of origin. The only way to break through to B-rank was to comprehend the power of origin. However, the selling price of 20,000 power points for a bottle temporarily discouraged Liu Yu, and when the force expanded a bit afterward, it was possible to buy some to help the little white foxes improve quickly. Although relying on their talent and enlightenment, sooner or later they will be able to break through, but if they can break through early, naturally it is better to break through early. Bunker. Liu Yu once again gathered the firebird, little white fox and the others together. Compared to the last gathering, their essence had improved greatly, not as formal as before, instead they were talking and laughing, treating this place as if it was their home. Those ferocious beasts looked at Liu Yu. In addition to awe, there was also a trace of kindness in their gaze. Whether it was the previous reward for them, or this time when they had remodeled Zhangzhou City, it had allowed them to indirectly gain a lot of benefits. They were also becoming more and more satisfied with Liu Yu as their honored superior. After all, other ferocious beasts that claimed the throne would not care about the life and death of their subordinates, much less help them break through and remodel the environment of their territories. Although there were some reasons why they couldn't do it, in essence, it was still that they didn't take their subordinates to heart. Liu Yu was clearly not like this, all of them had a feeling of being noticed and valued, and also felt more and more that this power was like a home that they didn't want to leave anymore. Especially the firebird, golden ape, and little white fox, the light of Liu Yu's eyes as they looked at him was even more shocking. The other ferocious beasts might not have realized it, but they had all stepped into the peak of the C stage, and were just a step away from the B stage. From Lu Yu's body, they vaguely perceived a trace of a terrifying aura that had surpassed the B stage, surging through Lu Yu's body. In other words, they had just been impacting the B rank, and Lu Yu had already touched the threshold of the A rank. It was simply terrifying as hell. Alright since everyone is here, I'll simply say a few words, you all contributed a lot this time for the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation to be set up so smoothly and successfully. Liu Yu swept a glance at them and said with extreme satisfaction. The skeletons of the ferocious beasts that covered the underside of Jiangzhou City were all brought back by them through killing, and had it not been night and day, they would never have been able to collect them so quickly. Hearing Liu Yu's praise, the little white fox squirmed for a while, its furry cheeks flushed with excitement. The other ferocious beasts also mostly smiled nervously. Although hunting ferocious beasts was rather hard, but thinking that in the future, they could cultivate in a place with such a rich aura, they felt that it was completely worthless. This is all what we should do, your holiness is polite. The firebird and the other ferocious beasts glanced at each other and spoke aloud. You are all my core subordinates, so I won't say anything so vain, this is the spirit quenching liquid, after taking it, it can quench your aura and make it more pure, which can help you further enhance your strength. Lu Yu's golden wings swung violently, and ten bottles of spirit quenching liquid, in turn, flew into their hands. The gazes of the many ferocious beasts were all on fire at once. They were all well aware that the purity of the spiritual qi had a great boost to their combat strength and subsequent breakthroughs, only that the purity of the spiritual qi was not something that could be boosted just by thinking about it. Either the bloodline was special or there was a miraculous encounter, other than that, it could only be achieved through constant quenching over the years. However, the spirit quenching liquid given by Lu you could directly do this. Immediately, the many ferocious beasts that were extremely excited, after thanking Lu Yu, all of them tilted their heads back and drank the spirit quenching liquid. 
As the spirit-quenching liquid entered the body, impurities surged out from the bodies of more than a dozen ferocious beasts, and the aura pressure around their bodies instantly rose to a small level. The firebird, golden ape, and little white fox even showed signs of a breakthrough after taking it, and were still short of the final proverbial kick. If there was an enlightenment potion to give them a push, they should be able to smoothly step into the B rank. Unfortunately, the power points are now exhausted, Liu shook his head with some regret, or else the high and low will have to give them a whole lot. However, with the spirit quenching liquid as a push, they only needed to sense the power of the origin, and the breakthrough should be more comfortable. Thinking of this, Liu didn't dwell on the matter and instead backhanded the bright soul grass. Before he could bring him to open his mouth, the little white fox suddenly came up in excitement. This is. This seems to be bright soul grass, brother, where did you get it? Oh, you recognize the bright soul grass? Then it's a small gift for you. Seeing the little white fox excitedly looking at the bright soul grass, Liu directly handed her the bright soul grass. The little white fox grew her mouth froze for a moment, then wiggled her furry paws repeatedly and refused. Brother, this bright soul grass is too precious, if I'm not mistaken, this bright soul grass has already grown to maturity. Being of the nine-tailed demon fox's bloodline, she was familiar with the heavenly treasures that elevated divine sense, and the bright soul grass was an extremely special one. It may seem unassuming, but when utilized properly, the effect it can bring out is something that other heavenly materials and geomaterials cannot do. Lu Yu was stunned, is not a strain of spiritual grass that has a slight benefit to the divine sense, why is the little white fox so excited? Once he saw Lu Yu's expression, the little white fox understood what Lu Yu thought in his heart, and even explained, Brother, a single Ming soul grass is indeed not worth mentioning, but your plant is an extremely letter of the maturity of the Ming soul grass, like a mother grass, as long as the proper care, it will be able to constantly differentiate the young Ming soul grass. After listening to the little white fox's explanation, Liu then looked at the affected Ming soul grass, his eyes were completely different. According to what the little white fox said, once the number of bright soul grass reaches hundreds or thousands, the quantitative change will produce a qualitative change, and the help in practicing divine sense will be extremely terrifying. It looks like the bright soul grass is quite a bit better than I thought. Liu ventriloquized, then once again handed the bright soul grass to the little white fox and said in a precious voice, since this thing is so important, it should more than likely be handed over to you to deal with, you know it better. Seeing this, little white fox didn't push back any further, and after receiving it, he cocked his head and thought. Brother, anyway, Zhangzhou City is already our stronghold, so let's place the bright soul grass in the position of the formation eye. The aura at the eye of the formation is more abundant, it can speed up the growth and differentiation of the bright soul grass, by then there will be bright soul grass growing everywhere in this Zhangzhou City, and this place will be even more suitable for cultivation and enlightenment of the origin. Well, just watch the arrangements. Lu Yu nodded. He also had this thought. The location of the array I had the most abundant spiritual chi, so it could be completely arranged as a spiritual field, allowing the spiritual materials to grow faster. The firebird and the other ferocious beasts didn't know much about the bright soul grass, but after hearing that they were able to more appropriately refer to the origin, they immediately lit up. They knew very well that the origin was not that easy to comprehend, or else it would be impossible for a B-rank fierce beast to remain a phoenix to this day. Mr. Lu, there is an emergency. Suddenly, Li Chanan's slightly anxious voice came from outside the conference room. The little white fox and the other ferocious beasts looked towards the doorway in unison, most of their faces showing a confused look. Zhangzhou City was as stable as Imte. Tai, what kind of emergency could there be? Lu Yu vaguely speculated at that time, but didn't really care, faintly said, come in. With a creak, the closed conference room door was pushed open by Li Chanan. Holding a thick stack of information in his hands, he walked towards Lu Yu in big strides, his eyebrows almost wrinkled into a Chuan character. Mr. Lu, we have just received urgent news, through satellite detection, dozens of ferocious beasts from other countries are rushing towards Zhangzhou City, most of them are of sea order. After investigating and analyzing, all of them are coming out from the territories of those B-order ferocious beasts, it seems that. Seems to be staring at Zhangzhou City. The more Li Chagan said, the more his heart became depressed. I didn't realize that Zhangzhou City had become a treasure place where auras converged, but it had alarmed so many B-rank ferocious beasts in a period of time. Those C-rank ferocious beasts that had rushed here were definitely vanguards sent by the B-rank ferocious beasts to test Lu Yu's veracity and the veracity of Zhangzhou City. Just thinking about it made him feel terrified, and his heart was incomparably worried. If not handled well, Zhangzhou City would inevitably become the center of a vortex, and countless people and ferocious beasts would be caught up in it. The firebird and the other ferocious beasts also looked much more grave, looking at the various information and satellite images that Li Chang'an had taken out. Recently, there were many more B-rank ferocious beasts in Blue Star, fighting to the death over territory and treasures. They had quite a lot of melons before, 
and now that those ferocious beasts seemed to have their eyes on their own turf, they immediately felt tricky. This was because from the satellite map labeled by Li Chanan, most of the Birank ferocious beasts around the globe were interested in the city of Zhangzhou, sending out Sirank ferocious beasts under their command. If the power of these Birank ferocious beasts pressed in, what a terrifying force it would be. Even though their strength was also rising all the time, they didn't have any certainty against B-rank ferocious beasts. Even if the exalted lord was the best amongst the B-rank ferocious beasts, dealing with so many B-rank ferocious beasts was something that was simply impossible. Immediately, the firebird and the other beasts shifted their sights to Luyu, and when they couldn't decide what to do in their hearts, they all subconsciously looked at him, waiting for him to make a decision. However, after seeing Luyu's calm and collected appearance, their nervous hearts instantly calmed down. Although they hadn't been with the exalted lord for long, they had experienced quite a few storms and waves, each of which had been perfectly diffused by the exalted lord. As long as the exalted lord didn't panic, it meant that everything was under his control. And as the firebird and the other ferocious beasts looked at Lu Yu, Li Chang'an seriously said, Mr. Lu, those ferocious beasts are all greedy, if we can't deter them properly, I'm afraid that it will cause a big chaos, I wonder if we need to mobilize some nukes over here? Although he knew from Lu Yu that nuclear bombs could hardly play any role for B order beasts, they were still quite lethal for C order beasts. Moreover, Zhangzhou City was just this big, if a few nuclear bombs went down, the B rank ferocious beasts might be fine, but Zhangzhou City couldn't afford to be tossed around like this. The main reason for transporting the nukes here was to keep the B order beasts from going too wild, or else the fish would die and they wouldn't get anything. Lu Yu understood Li Chang'an's thoughts very well, and knew even better why he cared so much about Zhangzhou City and wanted to help himself through this crisis. However, his wings had already evolved to rank A, and he had a powerful spirit weapon like the Starry Sky Astral Plate. Together with the fact that Zhangzhou City still had the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation in place, it wasn't even easy for an A-ranked ferocious beast to break through, it could be called a bronze wall. Instead of worrying, he hoped that those B-rank beasts would rush over to send their heads, too lazy to take the initiative themselves. His current evolution points were approaching 60,000, and with four more B-rank beasts wiped out, he would have enough evolution points to impact the A-rank. Therefore, Li Yu casually shook his head, nukes are not necessary, just pay close attention to their movements. Lu Yu's unhesitating refusal caused Li Chang'an to be directly embarrassed in place, wondering if he had heard something wrong. With so many B-rank ferocious beasts coveting this place, why didn't Lu Yu have any sense of crisis at all? He didn't deny that Lu Yu was powerful, but no matter how powerful he was, he was still just a B-rank beast. The B-rank beasts that had their eyes on this piece of fat meat in Zhangzhou City were no less than 20 at first estimation. Don't leave Zhangzhou City too far lately, just cultivate and patrol within the city, it might not be peaceful lately, look after each other, don't get caught single. Lu Yu didn't pay attention to the anxiously Chang'an, but the firebird and other ferocious beasts that he was looking at, instructed. All the rules are the same as usual, if there are any ungrateful ferocious beasts provoking them, just give them a long look, you guys remember one thing, we don't cause any trouble, by no means does it mean that we are afraid of anything, if anything goes wrong, there will be me to cover for you guys. Lu Yu's words were calm, but the implication was very domineering. Your holiness don't worry, Zhangzhou city is our territory, if they dare to hit Zhangzhou city's attention, they will be made to suffer. The firebird, golden ape, and other ferocious beasts all grinned, their spines straightening. The worries in their hearts had just dissipated as much as they could in Lu Yu's words. A hundred miles outside of Zhangzhou City, high in the clear sky, a saber-toothed tiger with two wings on its back suddenly crossed the sky, leaving a long white residual trail. The mighty pressure of a powerful sea-stage ferocious beast sprinkled down like rain on the earth he passed through. Any ferocious beasts that sensed this aura shivered, either burrowing back into their burrows or burying their heads in the earth. Great king, he is still too cautious, we are already a hundred miles close to Zhangzhou city, yet not a single sea stage ferocious beast's aura has been sensed, pathetically weak. This saber-toothed tiger looked down disdainfully at the jungle below, its expression full of loneliness. As the number one ferocious beast under the B-stage Saint King of the Rod Kingdom, and one of the ferocious beasts that had stepped into the sea stage a long time ago, his tail was already up in the air. This time he came, seemingly to test Lu Yu, but in reality, he was forcing him to give up Zhangzhou city and as he increased his speed to get closer to Zhangzhou City, a black two-headed serpent swam over from the distant voids, catching up at an extremely fast speed and showing signs of overtaking him. Isn't this the black snake? I haven't seen you for a few days, but you're still alive, how extremely disappointing for me. Seeing the black snake attempting to overtake him, the saber-toothed tiger immediately spoke in a conspiratorial manner. This black snake was a ferocious beast under the island's great snake king and one of his mortal enemies, that is, he knew it even when it turned into ashes. The black snake rolled its eyes and snorted coldly, little tiger flying so fast, rushing to reincarnation? 
I advise you to fly slower, when I arrive in Jiangzhou City, that Golden Eagle will definitely fear Lord Snake King's might and open the city to surrender, you'll just be making a trip for nothing if you go. Saying that, he steeply accelerated his speed. Idiot, the name of Lord Sacred King resounds through the Blue Star, if that Golden Eagle surrenders, it will only surrender to Lord Sacred King of Jiangzhou City. The saber-toothed tiger was not willing to show weakness, the speed of the wing swinging behind his back accelerated quite a bit, bringing up a streak of residual shadows, bound to arrive in Jiangzhou City faster than the black snakes. Bullshit, Lord Snake King is the descendant of the Yamanashi Orochi, I don't know how many times nobler than that hybrid guy, that kind of treasure land, only Lord Snake King is qualified to occupy it. Black glared at the snake's eyes and sprayed against the saber-toothed tiger. Also while they were chasing each other, the vanguards of ferocious beasts sent out by the other B-rank ferocious beasts were all rushing towards this place one after another. The sky near Jiangzhou City was unknowingly, unconsciously had been obscured by dark clouds, and it was very depressing, like a storm cloud was brewing. Not long after, when the black snake and saber-toothed tiger arrived at a thousand meters outside of Jiangzhou City, they were instantly attracted by the shining aura of Jiangzhou City, attracting all of their attention. Before coming here, they had specialized in the situation of Jiangzhou City, knowing that the aura here was exceptionally dense, far surpassing the feng shui treasures of the Blue Star's various locations. However, when they were truly close to this place, they were still greatly shocked inwardly. The spiritual chi from all directions of heaven and earth were attracted to Jiangzhou City, like thousands of rivers flowing across the sky, converging into the sea in Jiangzhou City. The entire Jiangzhou City, the spiritual chi like a thick fog like surging, is bound in the purple protective shield if there is no, in the sunlight, refracted seven colored light, dazzling, like a fairy palace general. Just one look, let them cannot remove their eyes, mind as if they are immersed in it. And then, as they got closer to Jiangzhou City, the spiritual chi in the air became a few points denser, causing the spiritual chi that they had consumed from chasing along the way to be rapidly recovered. Such a dense spiritual chi was far beyond what they had imagined before. It made them recall the rumors about the outbreak of spiritual chi in Jiangzhou City. Some sources mentioned that Jiangzhou City was a treasure land created by the heavens to gather spiritual chi, and that Lu Yu was merely more lucky, occupying the place ahead of time and taking a wave of benefits. They thought the same at the time. However, after actually coming here, they felt that the other rumor was perhaps even more true. The mutation in Jiangzhou City was created by Lu Yu. It was impossible for the heavens to create things so coincidentally. Whether it was the purple barrier that happened to cover the edges of Jiangzhou City, or the nine peaks that just happened to rise, it was obvious that it had undergone perfect planning. The aura that just happened to converge was skillfully bound within Jiangzhou City. The spiritual chi that converged over from the eight directions of heaven and earth was even more unhurried and unceasing, not at all like other treasured places where there would be cyclical changes. Although they didn't know exactly how Liu had done it, this had inspired greed within them to a greater extent. For such a treasure land to be occupied by Lu Yu and the others was simply a waste. Only they were qualified to occupy it. The greed in their hearts grew stronger and stronger, and without realizing it, they had already arrived at the entrance of Jiangzhou City. Just as they were about to fly directly into Jiangzhou City, a large stick that broke through the air suddenly came at them head-on, forcing them to quickly stop and, come on, stop, Jiangzhou City prohibits air, if you want to enter the city, you need to pay a million yuan entry fee first. The big stick was heavily inserted into the ground standing there like a giant pillar in the sky, and an ape, covered in golden color, came up in the air and stood on top of the big stick. The domineering aura was like an invisible barrier, blocking the way forward. Being stopped, the black snake and saber-toothed tiger coldly swept a glance at the golden ape. From the information they had gathered, this golden ape should be a sea-stage ferocious beast under Lu Yu's command. Immediately, the saber-toothed tiger glared at the tiger's eyes and was the first to rebuke, get lost. I am the saber-toothed tiger under the same king's command, and I want to discuss a great matter with your golden eagle great king, so have your great king meet him in the city quickly. The golden ape pulled out his ears and looked at him with a slanted head. What kind of bird language is that gibberish? Your great king wants to surrender? What day is it coming? You're deaf. I am representing Lord Saint King, and I have important matters to discuss with your great king. If I delay the big event, can you afford it? The saber-toothed tiger roared angrily, also, if you can't hear, then get lost, let those who can hear come and waste my precious time. The golden ape looked at the saber-toothed tiger as if he was looking at an idiot, even though he knew that there were bound to be ferocious beasts coming over to pick a fight recently, he still didn't expect to be so arrogant. And he was very experienced in dealing with such ferocious beasts. What if a ferocious beast doesn't listen? A beating would be fine. It's not like you're not allowed to go in, the rules for going in have also been given to you, and you even dare to speak loudly and snarl, it's the venerable lord who hasn't even scolded you, you, are something, the golden ape violently leapt up in the air, and the big stick under his feet followed and flew up, being held tightly in his hand, and then he flagged down the stick, 
The terrifying power bent the big stick, and also blasted out a black crack in the void, as if the world was divided into two halves with the big stick as the center. The saber-toothed tiger's heart was shocked, the big stick was instantaneous, so fast that even if he used his divine sense to perceive it, he could only perceive the blurred shadow. Bang! A stick fell, the end of the stick smashed heavily on the saber-toothed tiger's forehead, and the terrifying power exploded the void. The tough hair on his forehead instantly cracked, his skull sunk in, and blood plasma splashed in all directions like arrows, staining his entire head red. His airborne body was even deadened into the ground below. His huge head was dazed and froze by the blow, even forgetting the pain, the only thing that flashed through his mind was the disdainful eyes of the golden ape. This fellow even dared to strike at himself, and his strike was so swift and domineering. Using a stick to hit a stick, it's really smooth. The golden ape carried the white bone great stick and coldly stared at the saber-toothed tiger that had been knocked into the ground. The relevant information of the beast age ferocious beasts had already been compiled by Li Chang'an and handed over to them. Therefore, he knew that the same king in the saber-toothed tiger's mouth was the Birank ferocious beast that the Rod Kingdom had raised its nation to worship as its righteous father. You seek death. The saber-toothed tiger, which was buried in the ground by the mud, heard the golden ape's mocking voice and roared angrily as it rose to its feet opening its bloodstained mouth to tear the golden ape into pieces. As for the black snake and the other Sirank ferocious beasts that had rushed here, most of them were staring at the golden ape with unkind gazes, and more or less anger surged in their hearts. They didn't want to fight for the saber-toothed tiger, but they came on behalf of the Birank beasts behind them, and they themselves were the best of the Sirank beasts. Not only did the golden ape not have the proper etiquette, it also dared to directly strike out at them, completely not putting them in their eyes. Black snake and the other ferocious beasts glanced at each other, both seeing a hint of killing intent from the other. The golden ape was so disrespectful, it was necessary to give them a kick in the pants and let them know what it meant to be in awe. Otherwise, even if they met Lu Yu, they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to talk properly. For a while, the ones that converged here one after another were multiple sea stage ferocious beasts that released their aura in unison, locking the golden ape in place. The breath of the saber-toothed tiger and other ferocious beasts came in unison to suppress. The golden ape did not have the slightest fear. The golden-colored hair of its entire body burned like a flame, and a wild and arrogant aura that stirred the heavens and moved the earth spread out with a roar. The golden ape's fierce and unyielding aura caused many ferocious beasts to faintly stare. This guy doesn't want to die? Daring to go against them. Black Snake and the other ferocious beasts that gazed at everything, their auras surged within their bodies, wanting to join forces to quickly obliterate the golden ape. But right at this moment, a loud and clear phoenix chant sounded, and then a hot flame descended from the sky transforming into the sizzling figure of the firebird that was born out of fire. As she appeared, the temperature around her rose dramatically, and the blood on the saber-toothed tiger that rushed at the front was being vaporized. Want to fight the few with the many? Have to ask if we agree first. The Xian Feather Divine Eagle and other ferocious beasts had already been startled by the aura of this place and rushed here in unison, standing beside the golden ape, radiating the aura of a sea-stage ferocious beast and confronting the black snake and other ferocious beasts. The terrifying pressure formed by their combined efforts was dissolved cleanly. Black Snake and the other Sirank beasts scanned the Xian Yu Divine Eagle and the others that had rushed to this place, and their expressions subconsciously became grave. Being able to serve as the spokespersons of the B-stage ferocious beasts, most of their strength was around the peak of the C-stage, and they were strong and domineering. However, the Xian Feather Divine Eagle and other ferocious beasts clearly hadn't stepped into the peak of the C-stage, yet the aura they emitted could stand toe to toe with them. Their auras were inconceivably refined. If it was truly a life and death battle, even if they won, it would definitely be a miserable victory. And the more so, the more alarmed they were. It was just a matter of one or two ferocious beasts' auras being condensed, but the auras of these eleven ferocious beasts in front of them were all extremely refined, so there had to be something fishy going on here. It was highly likely that it had something to do with the rich aura environment of Zhengzhou City. Gentlemen, today, we are only here to talk to the Golden Eagle Great King on behalf of our Great King, there's no need to make it so stagnant it won't be beneficial to everyone. A mountain turtle that seemed to be carrying a huge mountain on its back glanced at the golden ape and the other ferocious beasts and stepped forward to round up the situation. It wouldn't be beneficial for both sides to go on with such a standoff. Although their side held this numerical advantage, Lu Yu's B-rank ferocious beast had yet to show up. The black snake and the other beasts gradually gathered their breath. The saber-toothed tiger that rushed at the front, seeing this scene, could only give the golden ape a deadly glance, then rubbed his eyebrows that were about to crack and retreated back. The golden ape scanned them, the big stick held in his hand was put back on his shoulder, and, still the same, if you want to go in, you can go in by paying a million dollars, and if there are other treasures of great value, you can also be accommodated a bit. Other than that, the rules set by his holiness are the iron laws. Black Snake and the other ferocious beasts furrowed their brows. 
The saber-toothed tiger, who was only concerned about the world and chaos, chided, So, Lu Yu is not going to talk to us? Wanting to be bent on guarding Zhengzhou City? Lord Saint King has already sent word for three days. If Lu Yu can get the hell out of Zhengzhou City within three days, you can keep him alive. He knew very well that relying on his own strength, it was already impossible to avenge today. However, as long as he stirred up the situation and enraged both sides, he would be able to take advantage of the chaos and act. As the number one ferocious beast under Lord Saint King's command, he had always been vindictive, and without killing the golden ape, he simply couldn't swallow his breath. Black Snake understood Sabretoothed Tiger too well and knew that his words were mixed with selfish desires. However, she couldn't say anything to refute it, and the Great Serpent Lord had also spoken, giving Lu Yu three days to make a decision as soon as possible. The attention of the other ferocious beasts were all within the city of Jiangzhou, and at this time, the three days mentioned by the saber-toothed tiger, they were also satisfied, and decided to acquiesce to this time, and together, they pressurized Lu Yu behind the golden ape and the rest of them. I knew you guys didn't hold back any good farts coming here. The firebird vibrated its wings and heat waves rolled over, sweeping towards the saber-toothed tiger and the other ferocious beasts. If this is what you guys came here thinking, then now, you can all get lost. Upon hearing these words from the firebird, the saber-toothed tiger jumped out once again, Liu is really overbearing, I just don't know if he'll be so scared that he'll kneel down and surrender when we and the other great kings descend here. The golden ape's hand that was holding the big stick had white bones, and in an instant, it had already killed in front of the saber-toothed tiger. Little Yakuza, I've endured you for a long time. Venerable lord's great name, is also something you dare to call out directly? The golden ape angrily snapped again, its speed was extremely fast. All the ferocious beasts in this place only saw a flash of his figure that, he was already above the saber-toothed tiger's head, and then the big stick was like a dragon coming out of the sea, stabbing out, directly penetrating out from the saber-toothed tiger's skull crack. Brain matter mixed with blood splashed, like a weird fireworks show. The saber-toothed tiger stared wide-eyed, unwillingly falling from the air, smashing a large crater on the ground, splashing rubble, and making a roar. The saber-toothed tiger is dead? The sound came from the other ferocious beasts who were incomparably shocked by the corpse of the saber-toothed tiger. They had come here today to knock down the mountain and threaten Lu Yu. But now the situation is, the firebird attitude is strong, the golden ape is even more reckless and crazy shot, but instead, he is like a monkey in the killing of a chicken to warn the monkey. Most importantly, it was obvious from the golden ape's performance. Lu Yu not only did not give up the idea of Jiangzhou City, even the idea of them talking about it. However, where did Lu Yu get his confidence? He was nothing more than a golden eagle. Although it was a B-rank beast, the difference between B-rank beasts would be based on the bloodline, with three, six or nine flavors. A B-rank beast with an ordinary bloodline like Lu Yu was simply a junior among juniors. And the king behind them, which is not a noble and powerful bloodline, far more than the golden eagle ten times a hundred times. For him to display such an arrogant stance today is simply asking for death. When most of the ferocious beasts that had come here were already enraged, that mountain turtle that had opened its mouth earlier, climbed to the front and scanned this firebird and other ferocious beasts. My family, the Zhao Dragon King, has also heard of the Golden Eagle Great King's reputation, and intends to cooperate with the Golden Eagle Great King to jointly guard Jiangzhou City, so I hope that the Golden Eagle Great King will give it some thought. Speaking later, the Mountain Turtle's tone clearly passed a few hints of threat. The Zhao Dragon King that he had submitted to, but he had already begun to return to his ancestor, with a dragon's might, showing signs of transforming into a dragon. Co-guarding Jiangzhou City with Lu Yu was the second best strategy they had agreed upon before. It was not easy to directly occupy Jiangzhou City. However, occupying part of it first and then gradually nibbling away at it and turning against it was relatively easy. The little fox, who hadn't opened her mouth all this time, saw through the calculations at a glance and directly shook her head, saying arrogantly, Want to cooperate with your brother? The Zhao Dragon King is considered that onion, is he worthy? She knew very well that Lu Yu definitely did not have the idea of cooperating with other ferocious beasts in running Jiangzhou City, and other ferocious beasts were not qualified to cooperate with Lu Yu at all. The little white fox's refusal made the mountain tortoise unable to stay calm as well, and angrily rebuked, a beast from a barbaric land dares to talk about my family's great king, it's really damned. Soon, it will not help even if your great king kneels down and begs for our cooperation. Saying that, he directly retreated to a position on a battle line with the other ferocious beasts. The little white fox blankly glanced at him, who wouldn't know how to put out harsh words, but what's the use? A B-rank ferocious beast wanting to guard such a treasure land is really a fool's errand. I hope that when we meet again in three days, you'll still be this arrogant. Among the many ferocious beasts, Black Snake chose to retreat and leave after letting out a vicious sentence. There was no longer any point in continuing to stay here, after all, the Rod Kingdom and the Zhao Dragon King behind the Mountain Turtle had both suffered defeat. Getting Lu Yu to hand over Zhengzhou City, or cooperating on the
Cooperation, the path had already been blocked by Lu Yu and the others. The only thing that made sense now could only be the meeting of swords three days later, where strength would be honored and the ownership of Jiangzhou City would be decided. They didn't believe that Lu Yu would still be arrogant at that time. Very well, I'll see you in three days, I hope you'll still be here by then. The other ferocious beasts all angrily chose to leave as well. Stick Country The mountainous white flesh Yu, the recognized righteous father of the Stick Kingdom, the Stick Kingdom's sacred king, was angrily blinking his irregular few eyes as he listened to the news informed by the officials of the Stick Kingdom. The number one war general under his command, the saber-toothed tiger, had been killed. And it was also mercilessly obliterated by the ferocious beasts under Lu Yu's command without even meeting him. It was simply unseemly to hit a dog without looking at its master. Does he really think that this B-rank beast of his is made of paper? His huge body trembled slightly before he looked in the direction of Jiangzhou City, since they all intend to arrive in Jiangzhou City in three days, we'll also go over there in three days. I'd like to see with my own eyes why a golden eagle doesn't have the slightest bit of reverence. After the Taiyu Sage King spoke, in the surrounding hereafter, the officials of the stick country fell to their knees and sang their praises. Lord Saint King will surely be able to set the world right. Jiangzhou City is the only one that Lord Saint King has the strength to take down. Lord Saint King will reign over Blue Star for a thousand years. Island. When Black Snake informed Big Snake of all that he had seen and heard during his trip to Jiangzhou City, the anger in Big Snake's heart stirred. After all, Lu Yu's had rejected all the emissaries they had sent, not giving them any face at all so to speak. What arrogance this was. This seed would like to see just how much weight he has. We must let them know that not all ferocious beasts are earth demon kings, and that the reintroduction of the eight giant serpents fame will take place just three days from now. In Oroki's heart, he already had a killing intent. As for the other Sirank ferocious beasts that had turned back, most of them had also added fuel to the fire by telling the great king behind each of them about their trip to Jiangzhou City. To be able to be the first to break through the B rank in this era, it can be said that they all have superiority, the arrogance that emerges from their bones is the same level of ferocious beasts they have not put in their eyes, and simply do not allow other ferocious beasts to scorn themselves. Since it was agreed that it would be three days later, then we will also go over there after three days, and at that time, we will kill Lu Yu, eat his corpse, and by the way, we will talk with other beasts about the belonging of Jiangzhou City. All the B-rank fierce beasts, almost all of them made this one decision. Three days was nothing to their ferocious beasts with thousands of years of lifespan. They were also able to take advantage of these three days to make some preparations in advance. Beheading Lu Yu and taking down Jiangzhou City were ironclad matters in the minds of all of their B-rank ferocious beasts. The problem was that after doing these two things, it was only the beginning. It was not an easy thing to get this piece of fat meat, Jiangzhou City, into their mouths. And at this time, inside the bunker. After learning from the mouths of the small white fox and other ferocious beasts that those B-rank ferocious beasts would most likely arrive together three days later, Liu also began his preparations. Even though he was confident in his own strength, the fact that more than a dozen B-rank fierce beasts, and even more B-rank fierce beasts were arriving, was also causing a great deal of pressure within him. After all, he didn't have any other B-rank fierce beasts under his command yet, and all he could rely on was himself. Lu Yu, who had entered a state of seclusion, did not know that as the news spread that almost all of the B-rank fierce beasts had arrived in Jiangzhou City three days later, the entire Blue Star was abuzz. I didn't expect the situation to drift away towards a more and more chaotic situation, that Lu Yu's attitude, it's really inscrutable, so many numerous B-rank ferocious beasts representatives, he didn't even see them, and let the C-rank ferocious beasts under his command force them to leave. The ones who were most concerned about this matter were still those C-rank ferocious beasts that had intelligence and could open their mouths to communicate. Ferocious beasts had a long lifespan and didn't have as many recreational activities as humans, and were either in cultivation or on their way to cultivation. This kind of fight between B-rank ferocious beasts makes them very happy to see the big melon. And the vast majority of these C-rank ferocious beasts were surprised and puzzled by Lu Yu's attitude in the face of this matter. So many B-rank beasts had sent their representatives, but they had eaten the closed door and the representative of the Rod Kingdom had even been directly killed. Even if it was to show the attitude of never giving up Jiangzhou City, but the way of revealing the attitude, was it too much of an overreaction? No matter how powerful Lu Yu was, he was only a B-rank beast. His brutal and overbearing attitude, without any sign of concession or collaboration, undoubtedly narrowed the road. He had also pushed the other B-rank beasts against him. No beast felt that Lu Yu could fight against more than 10 B-rank beasts on his own. Moreover, the beasts that could break through the B-rank at this time, which one of them was a simple character, I'm afraid that even if the A-rank beast showed up, it would be difficult to suppress them all. If Lu Yu did this, it would be like walking into a dead end, without any chance of survival. Of course, there was also a part of the ferocious beasts that felt that Lu Yu was domineering enough, and very much appreciated and liked Lu Yu's attitude. Is it hard to believe that if someone else has their eye on their treasure, they should rightfully hand it over? 
Lu Yu was merely defending his interests. On the contrary, the fact that he was able to resist so much pressure and stick to himself showed that his heart had far surpassed that of other Birang ferocious beasts. It was just that shortly after these remarks had clamored up, they were quickly drowned out and did not continue to make waves amongst the ferocious beasts. The survival of the fittest. What was the use of having a tough mind? Most of the C-rank ferocious beasts could already imagine that under the mighty pressure of those B-rank ferocious beasts A enforced. Lu Yu could only choose to compromise in the end, there was not even room for compromise, he had offended the other B-rank ferocious beasts too much, there was only one way to die. The ferocious beasts each argued and defended their views. And while the ferocious beasts were passionately eating their melons, Li Guolao's side also held an emergency meeting to discuss this matter. This matter was no longer simply an infighting amongst the ferocious beasts. After Lu Yu's remodeling, the aura of Zhangzhou City had risen greatly and had become a target. As long as the city of Zhangzhou and the day, China is the center of the Blue Star Vortex, too many beasts are staring at this place. If Lu Yu backed down or gave Zhangzhou City away, that area would inevitably be a hotspot for you and become a hotspot with a wide ripple effect. They thought about it and felt that the best option now was to ride out the storm with Lu Yu. The city of Zhangzhou with Lu Yu ruling it was in perfect order. Even if they were human, they could still have a mouthful of soup. With other ferocious beasts occupying Zhangzhou city, their human race would be lowly food or slaves, and there would simply be no third situation, as their current territorial situation. It could be seen. However, Li Chang'an had sent the news not long ago. Lu Yu was not really interested in their help and support. It was the fact that they had transported nuclear bombs over to support them and strengthen their deterrence that was also rejected by Lu Yu. It was just for them to provide news of other ferocious beasts. As various voices of discussion rose and fell in the assembly, elderly, who was sitting at the first place, gently tapped the table, signaling the crowd to be quiet, and then quickly made a decision. Since Mr. Lu asked us to just provide information, then we will properly provide information to Mr. Lu. With Mr. Lu's wisdom, he won't fail to understand the consequences of doing so, can still do so, then he must have his intentions, although, we don't understand now what bottom line he has when he does so. In fact, Li Guolao also had little confidence in Lu Yu to speak of, the difference in strength between the two sides was too great, and the power was not equal at all. However, years of intuition told him that it was safer to stand by Lu Yu's side. After Guolao Li's words fell, he directly set the tone for this meeting. Many of the counselors who participated in this meeting had suitably complicated expressions. In addition to siding with Lu Yu, they also offered Li Guolao two other options. One was to abandon Lu Yu and directly contact the other B-rank ferocious beasts to show that they were not on Lu Yu's side, so that they would not receive the repercussions and be liquidated after Jiangzhou City was occupied. This was also the thinking of many of the older generation figures who sought stability. It was only wise to cut ties with Lu Yu in advance, knowing that he had no chance of winning. However, elderly had just not even mentioned half a sentence. As for the other option, which was relatively milder, it was for Hua Xia to act as a neutral party and deal with the issue through multi-party consultation and communication as much as possible. It seemed that this option was very good, but after careful consideration, it was again thrown out of their minds. With China's current strength, what qualifications are there to be a peacemaker? Not to mention the fact that there were so many B-ranked ferocious beasts in foreign countries, just Lu Yu, a B-ranked ferocious beast, was already weighing them down. It was simply impossible for them to sit down calmly and discuss this matter. AI, let's hope that Guolao Li's choice is ultimately the right one, or else my Huaxia is in danger. As long as the delay continues, my Huaxia may not be unable to survive until the end. I heard that Elder Wu and Elder Zhao, they have recently made progress, and researched the third generation of Gene Potion, after taking it, it can be comparable to the strength of a D-stage ferocious beast. The speed at which ferocious beasts break through their strength, Yuan far surpasses the speed at which genetic potions are developed, not to mention, haven't you noticed that the higher the quality of the potion, the more costly it needs to be. If we want to surpass the ferocious beasts, conventional methods simply won't work, the only way we'll have a chance is to decipher the orb that Mr. Lu brought back from the airship. We can only take one step at a time now, let's hope that the next aura outbreak will be slower. The top echelons of Huaxia were all worried. Lu Yu was the best partner in many of their hearts but now they could only make other plans. At the same time, after a day of bunker seclusion, Lu Yu began to check the detailed information sent by Li Chang'an regarding the B-stage ferocious beasts. This time, there were more than a dozen B-rank beasts that were claimed to be coming to this place two days later, coming from various countries, and Li Chang'an had already labeled their locations. Below their locations were news about them. Although the human race was weak, because of satellites and other technological additions, they were still absolutely good at scouting for information. Lu Yu first roughly scanned all the ferocious beasts on the map information. All of them were B-rank beasts, and they were the only beasts that could pose a threat to him at the moment. 
After looking at them, Lu Yu revealed a look of determination. Most of the beasts that could break through the B rank at this time were existences with powerful bloodlines. For example, in the island nation that was on the border with China, one of them possessed the bloodline of the mythical Yamanano Orochi and was in the process of metamorphosing step by step to become the real Yamanano Orochi. According to his understanding, the fully matured Orochi Orochi was comparable to a SS rank beast, grasping eight distinct origins. Regardless of facing any opponent, it was almost always able to securely hold the upper hand. The other breakthrough B-rank snowwoman is to take a different path, is born of the origin of ice body, although from beginning to end can only perform and mobilize a kind of origin power. But this also makes her ice origin, compared to other ferocious beasts more terrifying and powerful, can be called the peak of the creation. The only B-rank beast that isn't a special bloodline, Godzilla, isn't an oil lamp either, it's a mutated beast that was created after the island's nuclear power plant leaked. Relying on nuclear radiation and aura 2 power cultivation breakthrough, from the data, its strength is hidden for the island country these three beasts of the first. The reason why he was so concerned about the information of the B-rank ferocious beasts, especially the information of the ferocious beasts of the island country as well as the stick country, it was because Lu Yu had his eyes on the B-rank beasts of these two countries. Lu Yu did not like to be passive, and when those ten or so ferocious beasts decided to rush to Jiangzhou city together, he actually had a plan within his heart. And after a day of preparation yesterday, he felt that he could start to take the initiative. Otherwise, if more than 10 B-rank fierce beasts really gathered together, it was Lu Yu who would feel some pressure. The stick country and the island country are very close to Huaxia, and have recently jumped the most aggressively, so let's start with the stick country's B-rank Taiyu. Soon, Lu Yu's eyes completely focused on the Rod Kingdom. There was only one B-rank Taiyu in the Rod Kingdom, which was no pressure for him. Together with the three B-rank ferocious beasts in the island country, there were a total of four B-rank ferocious beasts, which could almost gain 40,000 evolution points, making up the 100,000 evolution points needed to upgrade to A-rank evolution. And once he breaks through to A-stage, he is the enemy of the world, Lu Yu doesn't even have to be afraid. Brother, what are you looking for us for? Suddenly, the little white fox curiously swung her fluffy tail and entered the secret room where Lu Yu was in seclusion. Behind her, the figures of the firebird and other ferocious beasts also appeared one by one. Recently, none of them had been idle, not only were they building barriers on the outskirts of Jiangzhou city, they were also absorbing as much aura as they could to enhance their strength. Hopefully, in the near future, they would come in and contribute their share. Lu Yu swept a glance at them, their auras had all improved considerably, and the presence of origin power could even be vaguely felt on the little white fox, firebird, and other ferocious beasts. Just one day had passed and there was such a change, it was evident that they had practiced very seriously and diligently. Looking for you guys today, I mainly have one thing to announce, I'm planning to go out to hunt the B-rank ferocious beasts of the Rod Kingdom and the Island Kingdom in the recent days, so you guys sit well within Jiangzhou City in case the other ferocious beasts attack. Lu Yu opened. Door to the mountain and said. He was very clear that once those B-rank fierce beasts knew that they had left Jiangzhou City, they might take advantage of the emptiness of Jiangzhou City and forcefully occupy the place, so they had to be on guard. Brother, will this be too dangerous? There are three B-rank murderers in the island. Little White Fox looked at Lu Yu with some concern. Although it was not clear why Lu Yu went out to hunt B-rank murderers at this time, but B-rank murderers were very uncomplicated, and once they made too much noise, they might be attacked by a swarm of island murderers. Don't worry, I'm sure of myself, those beasts are nothing more than that. Li Yu looked at them with great certainty, what I'm worried about now is you guys, once those B-ranked ferocious beasts sneak attack Jiangzhou City and I can't make it back in the first place, you guys will be in a very dangerous situation. Therefore, from the moment I leave Jiangzhou City, you guys need to hold down the various hubs of the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation, listen to the mobilization of the Little White Fox, and cooperate with the formation to defend together. With the power of the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation, it's the A-rank ferocious beasts that want to break through that will take some time, and the B-rank ferocious beasts that want to break through will be much harder to do so. Listening to Lu Yu's arrangement, all the ferocious beasts in the middle of the secret room looked grave, well aware of the seriousness of the situation. Although they had already begun to impact the B-rank, they were still far behind compared to the beasts that had truly entered the B-rank. Without Lu Yu around, they were afraid that even if they combined their efforts, they would not be a match for a B-stage ferocious beast. However, their nine heavenly spirit gathering formation still had a great deal of confidence, after all, the bones of the beasts that laid out the foundation of the formation alone was something that their entire army interacted with and hunted down for several days before they were able to scrape it together. Not to mention the spirit gathering stones and purple Xian crystals that were completely elusive to them. Brother, don't worry, with the Nine Heavens Spirit Gathering Formation in place, coupled with our combined efforts to catalyze the formation, the B-rank Ferocious Beasts shouldn't be able to rush in, so just focus on hunting the B-rank Ferocious Beasts. The little white fox knew the most about formations and was well aware of how powerful they were. 
With this formation in place, Zhangzhou City was still very robust. Just in case, this scroll is something you should bring with you, if it really comes to the point where the formation is going to be breached, open it. Lu Yu said, handing the copying scroll to the little white fox, which had already been copied by him with one of his own skills, and at the critical moment, it should be able to play some role. The little white fox solemnly took it over. Brother you should also be careful when traveling to the stick country and the island country, the other B-rank fierce beasts will most likely surround you directly towards you. Li Yu stretched out his long feathered wings and stroked the little white fox's soft fur, you don't have to worry about me, for the next few days, Zhangzhou city will be in your hands. After that, Li Yu looked at the fire bird and other ferocious beasts and said seriously, you guys are not following me for a day or two, when I come back, I will reward you for your achievements, listen well to the little white fox's orders, in my absence, she is the lord of Zhangzhou city. Firebird and other ferocious beasts knew that Lu Yu had a special relationship with Little White Fox, and Little White Fox was even with a nine-tailed fox bloodline, which was not mundane, so they opened their mouths aloud decisively, respectfully obey the orders of your lordship. When Lu Yu left from Jiangzhou City, he left silently, flying rapidly above the clouds, like a mold of fleeting golden light. It was Li Chang'an and the others who were always concerned about the dynamics of Jiangzhou City that did not have the slightest awareness. After a short hour had passed, Li Yu appeared in the sky above the territory of the stick country, overlooking the people of the stick country who were busy planting cabbages below. Since the country of the stick enshrined the B-rank beast Tai Sui, even though the beasts in the country of the stick were rampant, the areas where many humans lived were relatively stable, and there were no powerful beasts actively attacking the humans. As for those weaker beasts, relying on heavy weapons, they were still able to do some defense. Warning! 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 An unknown powerful beast is approaching! Unknown powerful beasts approaching! At the edge of the capital city, which was home to more than 90% of the population of the Rod Kingdom, a police post suddenly rang loudly, repeating the system's warning sound. Which is what? Why is the defense and control alarm suddenly warning? A scout sentry, looking at the large screen monitoring the sky in front of him, had a horrified look on his face. Even though many flying ferocious beasts swept over the capital from time to time due to the revival of Aura, they had never made such an incentive warning as they did now. Scarlet exclamation marks completely dominated the screen. Such a warning is nearly identical to the time when the Saint King made his breakthrough. ACI Bar, is it possible that a B-rank flying ferocious beast is approaching the capital city? Everyone at the police outposts were all on alert, quickly reporting this news up the hierarchy while keeping a close eye on Lu Yu's movements. What are you talking about Similac? There are B-rank ferocious beasts approaching the capital city, and they're already almost in the air above the capital city. As the commander of the Rod Kingdom nowadays, the fat and strong Park Buting violently stood up from his chair, his small pea-sized eyes glaring to the maximum with all his might. Commander Park, what now? Immediately go and ask Lord St. King to make a move? A warrior hurriedly asked for instructions. He knew too well the power of the B-stage ferocious beasts, it was completely beyond their ability to deal with them, as if it was the end of days. Hearing that warrior mention Lord St. King, Park Buting's heart settled down a lot and raised his hand. What's the point of panicking, there's no need to alarm Lord St. King for the time being, since they're both B-ranked ferocious beasts, they'll surely give Lord St. King a face. Speak a warning first and tell him to leave the capital's range, or else we'll set fire to it, let him taste the new type of weapon recently developed by my Rod Kingdom first. Park Beauty I fixed his mind and made the arrangement. And after his order was given, all the people of the Rod Kingdom who were inside the capital city almost heard a burst of air-breaking sounds coming from them, which shook their ears and caused their eyes to go white. The glass of those higher floors, moreover, in this continuous sound wave impact, quickly cracked and shattered, scattered from the air down, raining a glazed rain, causing many stick country women to scream repeatedly, letting out exclamations of surprise. Even by karma, is that a ferocious beast? Why is it so huge in size? Many of the people of the Rod Kingdom died without their main ears, looking up at the golden figure coming through the clouds, their faces full of shock and horror. Underneath the cotton-like clouds, the golden eagle with a wingspan of close to 20 meters clearly appeared in the eyes of all the Rod Kingdom people. Even though the Bangwa metropolis covered an extremely wide area and was densely populated, Lu Yu's size was too big. The dazzling golden light that could be emitted from its feathers was like a golden sun, mirroring the blazing sun in the sky. And as Lu Yu searched for the Tai Sui's breath, the closer he got to the center of the city. The aura of the B-rank fierce beasts that drooped down from his body was like a waterfall running down from the nine heavens, distorting the void, destroying tall buildings, destroying roads, and many stick country blades who couldn't dodge in time were directly hit hard by the aura, drenched in blood, and living or dying. Hiding in the major corners of the city's ferocious beasts, has long been the eyes of panic, body cold, teeth chattering constantly scurrying, regardless of everything want to escape from here. Just the breath alone was enough to turn this prosperous and lively city into ruins. This is the stick kingdom under the patronage of the holy king. 
This is the stick country under the patronage of the Holy King. If you don't leave, don't blame us for being impolite. Those warriors forced themselves to hold back the offense in their hearts, colorfully roaring angrily into their tweeters in an attempt to get Lu Yu to know how to leave. Lu Yu didn't pay any attention to them at all as he lifted his wings and set off a manic aura storm, churning everything below into pieces. His figure also appeared in the center of the metropolis after lifting his wings, overlooking the metropolis below, and from where, he sensed an increasingly stronger Tai Sui aura. Ignoring our warnings, do you really think that my stick country is easy to bully? 2nd Battalion Commander, bring out my anti-aircraft guns, today we must let this ferocious beast know how powerful we are. The Rod Kingdom warriors who were almost lifted off by the airwaves brought up by Lu Yu's flight, stared at Lu Yu angrily, then piloted their anti-aircraft guns, aiming at Lu Yu in mid-air. Bang bang bang. Not accompanied by a command, dozens of anti-aircraft cannons aiming at Lu Yu fired in unison, the muzzles of the cannons spewed out a hot cloud of fire and smoke, and the flying cannonballs rushed in unison to burst in front of Lu Yu. Pieces of sharp debris swept in all directions with the bursting waves of air, and then before they could even come close to Lu Yu's body, they had already been dispersed by his protective aura. With this level of attack, Lu Yu had no intention of paying any attention to it, it could not pose any threat to him. However, this feeling of being targeted for an attack made Lu Yu very unhappy. A mere stick, also daring to take a shot at himself. So daring ah. In an instant, the water vapor in the sky condensed into ice cones that covered the sky, and then quickly fell like a stringed arrow, bringing up countless white trailing tails. The ice cones were about as thick as a person's height, not only was the coldest aggressive, the interval between each other was also very small, the stick country warriors who were in the coverage range of the ice cones, their faces instantly turned pale, without any blood color. My mom, I want to go home. Many of the Rod Kingdom warriors who were weak inside, directly cried out. There were also quite a few stick country people who were so scared that they rolled their eyes and collapsed on the ground, not knowing if they were dead or alive. Soon, as the ice cones fell intensively, the cold air below Lu Yu was completely frozen, stretching for tens of miles. Many of the last movements of the stick country people were frozen in their entirety, as if they were a stunningly beautiful ice sculpture. It was some of the people from the country who had been pierced through by the ice picks, but because the cold air was too cold, their blood was directly frozen, and not a bit of blood flowed out. In the distance, the stick country people who weren't affected looked at the horrifying model of white hell, covered their cheeks with their hands, and screamed in terror. It's him. It's that golden eagle from China, it's definitely him, not good. He's coming over. Suddenly, many people from the Rod Kingdom recognized Lu Yu. After all, the saber-toothed tiger they had sent out earlier in the Rod Kingdom had been killed, which had caused the Rod Kingdom to be in an uproar, and all of them knew about Lu Yu. Damn it, damn it. Can't anyone stop him? How can my country be bullied by a golden eagle like this? This is too much. We must kill this golden eagle and let him know that he must pay the price for messing with my country. Many of the Rod Kingdom's people were itching their teeth, but there was nothing they could do about it. After all, those anti-aircraft cannons had already been destroyed by the ice cones and were covered with a thick layer of solid ice. That's right, Lord St. King. We still have Lord St. King. As long as Lord St. King makes a move, this tiny golden eagle is nothing more than sticking in a tag and selling its head. Lord St. King, your people are calling you, your people need you, come out. I don't know who was taking the lead but the people of the living stick country were almost all calling out to Lord St. King. That ungrateful one who dares to act recklessly in my kingdom, seeks death. Amidst the cheers of the countless people of the Rod Kingdom, a furious roar that pierced through the clouds and cracked the rocks came blasting out from beneath the ground, shaking up the broken rocks and rubble scattered on the ground. Even the streets that were frozen by Lu Yu's ice cones appeared tiny cracks as a result, emitting a fine crunching sound. Lord St. King, this is the voice of Lord St. King. As this voice spread, the people of the Rod Kingdom stabilized their bodies and wept with joy. The saint king they worshipped had finally arrived here. The holy king is mighty, the world is unrivaled. More people from the stick country, their hands danced and let out cheers, that wave of fervor and confidence seemed to ignite them. With the arrival of the saint king, all crises would be solved. Lu Yu, a golden eagle, is not a match for the holy king. Lu Yu didn't pay any attention to their cheers, his attention was completely attracted by the white blood and flesh gushing out from the ground. That flesh and blood was like fat that could flow at will, gushing upwards from the tiny cracks in the earth, from the faint holes in the asphalt streets, and mingling together on the ground, forming forming a white blob of sentient gelatin that left a sticky liquid behind as it crawled across the ground. At first glance, it didn't look like a creature of the blue star at all. Lu Yu had a feeling of nausea. The same king in the mouth of the stick country that he had specialized in understanding this, was actually a mutated Teyukai that relied on devouring blood, flesh and other energy-rich things to enhance its strength. It could be said that it was also considered an anomaly, cultivating at a fast speed that far exceeded other ferocious beasts. However, Tayo's strength was not strong, and under the same realm, 
its combat power was around the lower middle. Generally speaking, Taiyao were very low-key, before they had spiritual intelligence, they would only instinctively find a place that contained energy, eat and sleep, and sleep and eat. When the realm breakthrough, and then find a place with more dense energy, the cycle repeats. Until the breakthrough of the sea stage to give birth to a spirit, this situation has changed. Look at the appearance of this Beorder Taiyu, it seems that there is no change, has been raising an obese body, bringing him the feeling that the combat power is really not high. And being stared at and sized up by Lu Yu, the Taiyu arrogantly tilted his head up and did not pay attention to Lu Yu, but responded to the cheers of the people of the stick country, completely not putting Lu Yu in his eyes. Until Lu Yu's sharp eagle eyes erupted with golden killing intent, Tai Sui's body was chilled, with the illusion that his whole body had fallen into the middle of Arctic ice. Only at this moment did his attention truly rest on Lu Yu. You are that golden eagle? The one who killed the number one general under my command? Two eyes bulged out of his plump body as he stared at Lu Yu dead in the face, his words filled with anger and killing intent. As early as a day ago, the Stick Kingdom had already had news of Lu Yu sent to him, so he had a certain understanding of Lu Yu. A ferocious beast with a slightly ordinary bloodline, who didn't know how he had broken through the B rank, was very, very arrogant. Although Taiyu wasn't good at fighting either, his own behavior was more noble than a golden eagle's bloodline, and dealing with a golden eagle wasn't a matter of hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, after observing Lu Yu from a close distance, Taiyu realized that he was wrong, and is very wrong. Not only was it the stick country, but other countries had perhaps Lu Yu, was blinded in the past. This was because upon closer inspection, the energy aura from Lu Yu's body was so strong that it was terrifyingly strong, comparable to the sum of several B-rank ferocious beasts. On top of that, he also found that the energy contained in Lu Yu's wings was dozens of times more powerful than the energy contained in other bodies. It had already surpassed the level of B stage, and was definitely comparable to the legendary A stage, or else it simply couldn't be explained. However, it looked like Lu Yu was just a bird of prey, so it was even if he was the first to break through to the B rank, why were his wings still so much stronger? One must know that by discerning the energy aura contained in objects and living beings, it was an important way for Tai Yu to sense whether or not an enemy was dangerous. With his natural perception of energy, it was also considered to be another way of avoiding evil. Trying to pretend to be a pig or a fox in front of himself was simply impossible to do. Right now, Lu Yu was right in front of him, and that terrifying energy aura was clearly insight by him, and it was simply not something he could fight against. He even had a feeling that even if several B-rank ferocious beasts attacked him together, it would not help. For a moment, the feeling of powerlessness and despair made him subconsciously take a few steps back, his heart already filled with fear and thoughts of surrender. Fighting on with Lu Yu, it was impossible for him to have half a chance of winning. So, knowing that he was not an opponent, after hesitating for a moment, he gradually collected his own breath, and his huge body began to shrink towards the ground. Taiyo's somewhat strange behavior immediately attracted the attention of many people in the country. They didn't understand Taiyo's true thoughts and only felt that he was converging his breath and figure just to build up his momentum and deal a fatal blow to Lu Yu. Lord Saint King is mighty, kill him, kill him. The people who were here called out vociferously. And Lu Yu was not misled by their voices, the Tai Sui's aura surged towards the ground without the slightest intention to fight, clearly intending to escape. Even though Lu Yu didn't know why he chose to retreat after just looking at himself. But this Tai Yu was already on Lu Yu's hunting list, so how could he just let him go? Hand of the Earth. Lu Yu's claws gripped towards the earth, and immediately the dust and sand surged upwards, forming another huge cage, imprisoning the Tai Yu who was ready to retreat. Tai Yu did not expect Lu Yu to strike so quickly and decisively, imprisoning himself in a split second. Even if he wanted to separate his flesh and blood and escape from the cage, he suddenly realized that the cage even carried the origin of the earth, with an inexplicable pull and suppression, splitting his body, he was absolutely unable to escape. Seeing that escape had become out of reach, the Tai Sui's heart became even more flustered. He who had cultivated to this point did not want to die. Is Lord Saint King preparing to fight back? Finally, I can see for myself the elegance of a B-stage murderer battle, and I can also see Lord Saint King's unparalleled strength. All sorts of murmuring voices came from all directions, and among them, there were even some who had even started discussing such as how to divide Lu Yu's corpse. Wait. When Lu Yu couldn't stand the blind arrogance of the stick country and wanted to exterminate Tai Yu as soon as possible, Tai Yu obviously felt the flash of killing intent in his eyes and directly called out to him. I think there are some misunderstandings between us, and by clearing up these misunderstandings, of we can totally be friends instead of enemies, not to mention the fact that there are many living beings here, and it's not good to fight and kill. He chose to directly soften, and also found himself a step down. Knowing that he couldn't do it, he didn't intend to do such a nothing. Taiyu directly begged for peace, which was completely outside of Lu Yu's expectations, making him all freeze in the sky eye a moment. After all, Too Old is also a B-rank beast, 
strengthen today's hundreds of millions of beasts are among the best. This kind of spineless practice, almost all any fierce beast's bones are rejected. We are all B-rank beasts, even if they are not rivals, it is impossible to submit. Not to mention that this hadn't even been a fight yet. While Lu Yu was a bit flabbergasted, the people of the stick country who had gathered here, chanting Lord Saint King, were even more puzzled. A moment ago, Lord Sacred King was clearly still killing, with a strong attitude. But why did he propose to make peace with Lu Yu just after seeing him? However, the Rod Kingdom is a country that is very good at finding excuses, they don't think that Tai Sui is afraid, but rather they think that Tai Sui is thinking about them, the ordinary people, and the Rod Kingdom. This place was the largest capital city of the Rod Kingdom, and it was also where more than 90% of the population of the Rod Kingdom lived. Once a great battle of beast age ferocious beasts erupted here, they would surely die and suffer heavy casualties, and the capital city might even be razed to the ground. From Lu Yu's simple move earlier, which caused dozens of miles to freeze over, it could be seen that the destructive power of B-rank beasts was beyond imagination. Tai Yu was an even more powerful existence than Lu Yu, and his fighting strength must also be even more powerful than Lu Yu's. Lord Saint King is dedicated to the people, such feats of great justice, my rod kingdom will remember for a thousand years. Golden Eagle, listen well, Lord Saint King is willing to lead you a way out, if you don't get out of the way now, Lord Saint King will surely set your bones on fire. Lord Saint King has spoken, don't be ungrateful. Those fervent people of the stick country tilted their heads and roared towards Lu Yu, their attitudes becoming more and more arrogant, as if they had found the backbone and had a bottom in their hearts. As for Tai Sui, his fat meatballs changed color as he listened to the compliments from the people of the stick country. Of course he wished that he was as the people of the Rod Kingdom said, because he had regard for the capital city, he didn't take a tough stance against Lu Yu, and only used a gentle approach to stabilize him. But he who deeply perceived the gap in strength knew very well that things were not like that. If Lu Yu was enraged by their words, the situation would in turn become unpleasant. However, in that heaven-shaking cheering, his inner vanity exploded and he did not make any explanation. He just stared at Lu Yu and waited for his response. Lu Yu had already come back to his senses long ago, whether it was Tayo's words and behavior, or the ignorance and stupidity of the people of the stick country, it all gave him the illusion of watching a clown perform. You're only thinking of begging for mercy now? What did you do earlier? There's only one option in front of you now, offer your corpse and I'll give you a pain in the ass. Lu Yu had rushed to the stick country today for Tayo's corpse, which affected his grand plan to ascend to the A rank, so how could he be able to talk with Tai Yu in a cooperative manner? Moreover, with this amount of strength, Tai Yu was not qualified to negotiate with himself, and he didn't need this kind of waste that surrendered without a fight and was two-faced. Lu Yu did not hesitate to refuse to join the negotiation, which made Tayo's heart startled, and his flesh and blood squeezed into a tire like obesity was followed by a tremor. From Lu Yu at this moment, he perceived an extremely strong killing intent. It seemed like he had no intention of joining the conversation since the beginning, and was running towards himself. Not good. In the next moment, in his face, his face was grave as Lu Yu had already lifted his wings and struck out. Li Yu knew very well that it was clearly an impossible thing to truly let a beast age ferocious beast die, so Li Yu no longer wasted any more time and struck out at Tai Yu. As his figure cut through the void, it suddenly disappeared as if it had evaporated, disappearing from everyone's gaze perception, not leaving a single trace behind, without a trace to be found. Tayo's inner sense of crisis has fast let his brain explode, however, his is the divine sense of three layers outside three layers then no longer around the thought of the void. Also is unable to perceive the figure of Lu Yu, as if before appearing here Lu Yu, just a phantom only. However, his intuition of avoiding bad luck stimulated him madly. After failing to lock onto Lu Yu's location, he didn't search blindly anymore, but shrunk his huge flesh and blood body at a very fast speed, like a deflated balloon. Although his body size was much smaller, his flesh and blood were more condensed, with golden light patterns flashing and surfacing on the surface, just like a star core, indestructible. Tai Yu set up a defensive posture, ready to die to the end. Mud people have three points of fire, Li Yu so do not give himself face, must let him know his own power. As this thought surged in his mind, the void behind him seemed to slice through a sharp blade, cracking a gap, and then Lu Yu's aura reappeared in his range of perception. However, Lu Yu was too close to his back for him to react in time. He could only watch as Lu Yu appeared and then the sharp claws, which were like piercing cold light, stabbed down on top of his shrinking flesh and blood, and the terrifying chaotic energy swept through the eight directions, illuminating the surrounding miles, making it impossible for people to look directly at them. The people of the stick country who were closer to them were instantly caught up in it, churned into fragments of blood foam that scattered in all directions, coloring the air a blood red. At the same time, all sorts of terrified wails and miserable screams were heard endlessly. Under the battle fluctuations of the B-rank beasts, they all became meaningless cannon fodder. After closing their eyes for a few seconds to familiarize themselves with the gradually dissipating glare, 
the people of the kingdom who survived the battle from a relatively long distance away looked towards the center of the battle with extreme nervousness. At this moment there, smoke and dust rolled, houses collapsed, high-rise buildings turned into ruins, the ground turned into pits, all over the ground are exposed pieces of reinforced concrete. It looks as if the end of the world has swept through. In the sky above the ruins, Liu has withdrawn the sharp claws stained with Taiyu liquid, and Taiyu also through the secret method, forcibly pulled away from the position of Liu. Compared to Liu's bland and dashing demeanor, Tai Sui's face was piled up with wrinkles of pain and despair, and when he looked down, his body had been pierced through a front and back penetrating blood hole by Lu Yu, and a steady stream of green spiritual juice was flowing out in an attempt to repair the wound. Although the Taiyu itself did not have any fatal flaws, but losing too much of his body's spiritual juice would damage his foundation. Recalling the way Lu Yu had struck, he had definitely not used his full strength. He could have coped with this move himself and had already done everything he could, but he was still heavily injured by Lu Yu. The difference in strength was still too great for him, it was as if he wasn't even a one-level opponent. Thus, Tai Yu made a decisive decision inwardly and knelt down towards Lu Yu. No more fighting, I surrender, I surrender not okay, as long as not less kill me, let me do anything, I as a beast age ferocious beast, still great use and value. The pleading voice coupled with Tai Yu's actions instantly made the people of the stick country boil. They could have defended Tai Yu before, saying that it was for their safety. But now Tai Yu's spineless plea for mercy was the last line of defense in their hearts. Although the Rod Kingdom is not a big country in the eyes of the Blue Star, but the Rod Kingdom always has a fanatical self-confidence, always feel that the son of the world is the first. This kind of strong sense of frustration, let them momentarily unable to accept. Once again faced with the pleas for mercy from the Taiyu, Liu still ignored it, the value of this Taiyu in his eyes, is to become his own breakthrough a stage of his evolution points. So Liu once again burst away, cutting through the sky, not giving him a chance to catch his breath. I'm so angry, I'm so angry. Looking at Lu Yu's icy killing figure once again, the Tai Sui's face immediately flared up with anger, roaring in rage. Looking at Lu Yu's appearance, he had taken the initiative to beg for forgiveness, but he didn't even give half a bit of face. Did he really think that he was sure of himself? In an instant, when Lu Yu had just attacked, with the Taiyo's obese body as the center, the piercing light was even more like white light, spreading out. And with the spread of the white light, those people of the stick country seemed to have grabbed the last straw to save their lives, and they were cheering for Tai Yu. Feeling that Tai Yu was thoughtful, wanting to use the surrender method to show the enemy's weakness, and then take advantage of the opportunity to counterattack. Tai Yu's true strength must not be as bad as his previous performance. However, the facts proved that this time, their thoughts were wrong again. When the white light reached its peak, Tai Sui's apparent huge body suddenly burst apart, splitting into thousands of smaller Tai Sui, and with the help of the impact of this self-explosion, he fled in all directions. This is his strongest recluse technique, the 10,000 recluse flow. Once cast, he would divide himself into densely packed small Taiyu, and his divine sense was hidden amongst all the small Taiyu. Even if only one of the little Taiyu escaped, he could rely on rapid devouring to return to the peak at an extremely fast speed. It could be said that this was the strongest means he had to live up to now, other than relying on the tendency to avoid evil. But although this move is powerful, but after performing it, it will definitely lose his life, and he can only use it as a last resort. Now Lu Yu brought him too much pressure, he cannot care so much, live is the first priority. At the time when Tai Sui performed this move, Lu Yu had already discovered the first signs of something wrong, because if this move was his means of attack, then why didn't it bring him any danger? At that time, Lu Yu was on the alert, from the information he had found out, this Tai Yu Yu's means were also quite bizarre, and many of them were related to escaping. After he split into thousands of little Taiyos hissing, Lu Yu's heart confirmed this even more. He only felt that the Tai Yu was too decisive failing to surrender and directly fleeing far away. Lu Yu, let's not change the green mountains, the green water will flow forever, with your bloodline attitude, the B rank is already your peak, yet it's not mine, when Lao Tzu breaks through the A rank, you'll know what family is called cruelty. While escaping, Tai Yu spoke out in mockery, putting down cruel words, his heart seemed to be all the more relieved. The golden eagle was just an ordinary bloodline, while he is a mutated Tai Yu, as long as the source of aura was. Source was unending, he himself would be able to soar to the sky. Even if his combat power was not good, he could use his realm to crush his opponents. Even a weaker A-rank ferocious beast was not something that a B-rank ferocious beast could fight against. Did I let you go? After Tayo's arrogant and underpowered voice rang out, what responded to him was Lu Yu's indifferent cold smile. Other murderers might not be able to do anything at all if they were to face his transportation technique, but the number of means Lu Yu had was not something a Tayo could imagine. All the Tayo glanced back at Lu Yu and didn't care, they had already escaped so widely their split bodies were on all sides. What could Lu Yu take to leave himself behind? Just when such a thought came out of his mind, he saw Lu Yu strike, his huge wingspan stretching out, violently lifting his wings and rushing up into what became the vast firmament. 
As he flew high, the earth was also pulled at this moment, countless dust and debris flew up to the sky, coalescing into solid stone barriers, like a stone peak rising from the ground. The hand of the earth was exerted by him to the extreme. In an instant, the stone barriers rising up from the ground stretched over a range of tens of miles, and the oaks were tightly sewn together as if they were covered by the bowls of earth that had been inverted in this piece of heaven and earth. All the way out of the Taiyi were all blocked, even if those split into various places of the Taiyi has accelerated the speed, but ultimately still hit on top of the barriers, head dizzy. The fighting strength of the Tai Sui was not very strong, and now that it had split into this many parts, his strength was even more greatly reduced and he was simply unable to destroy the strengthened version of the hand of the earth. As for Lu Yu, he didn't want to waste time on this Taiyu, he cast a partial thunder descent. A ray of thunder power erupted and raged within the hand of the earth. Those Taiyao had no power to fight back and could only be paralyzed and then obliterated amidst the wild dance of thunder. The thunder that remained within their bodies did not continue to dissipate, but instead passed through the nearest Taiyu, causing a chain reaction. At once, the Taiyang collapsed. He could only wait for his own death in the thunder and also indirectly imprisoned here in the stick country hit, no longer arrogant. Numerous stick country people were also implicated, being obliterated by the thunder, becoming a burst of charred corpses blood mixed with bone fragments spreading, the scene was bloody and incomparable, just like a human inferno. A short ten seconds later, the raging thunder dissipated, misses. Age was also wiped out, thousands of split bodies, stacked on the ground, like a giant dumpling. System, absorb it for me. Lu Yu's heart silently recited a sentence, immediately catalyzing the system, absorbing the evolution points contained in the dead body of the Tai Sui Sui. Congratulations on obtaining 10,000 evolution points. When the system's prompt appeared, Lu Yu's face couldn't help but reveal a few smiles. As expected, even though the Tai Sui's combat power was not strong, the amount of evolution points it could provide was still massive. The Taiyo's corpse dispersed at this moment. The void suddenly resounded with some sort of subtle cracking sound at this moment, and immediately afterward, golden treasures like rivers of gold rushed out from the void, completely drowning out quite a few of the stickmen. Lu Yu was also stunned as he watched, what was going on with so much gold and silver treasure? Why would it suddenly emerge from the void? Could it be that this was Taiyo's small vault? Lu Yu speculated in this way, after all, the possibility is the greatest. Congratulations to the host for successfully extracting the skill and obtaining Taiyo's native skill, Space of Flesh. Space of meat? Lu Yu rubbed his eyes, what was this skill? As his gaze converged on the space of flesh, information about it instantly flooded into his mind. Space of flesh, LV1, spatial system auxiliary skill, can open up a space within the body that is initially 10 meters in length, storing anything that has no vitality. After realizing this, Lu Yu was also quite satisfied with this skill, it was a good auxiliary skill. After all, as his strength is strong, the collection of things is also more and more, of that basically do not know where to put, carry around is not aspect. But now with this skill, that can be much more convenient. Lu Yu familiarized himself with the skill of meat space, and will be too old meat space overflow of things, all collected in their own space. The people of the kingdom of the stick were still in shock and fear at the moment. Whether it was the earth and sky shaking and changing because of Lu Yu, or the densely packed Tayu Yui's being exterminated by countless thunderbolts. This all brought them an indelible impression. Although they didn't want to admit it, Lu Yu's strength was indeed not comparable to their Saint King Tai Yu. Not to mention that now, the Tai Yu had already been exterminated. Soon, the crowd of the Rod Kingdom, who had regained their senses, looked at Lu Yu's gold and his figure as if they were looking at a deity. Immediately, they changed their previous appearance of shouting and killing, and either actively, or passively, fell to their knees and cowed out towards Lu Yu. Golden Eagle Great King is above, we are willing to raise our country's strength to offer you, and we hope that you will give us a chance to redeem ourselves. Previously, we were blinded by the Tai Sui, now that we have seen the divine might of the Golden Eagle Great King, we realize the smallness of our eyesight and the foolishness of our thoughts before, I implore you to give us a chance to atone for our sins. Most of the Rod Kingdom people, looked at Lu Yu with a fervent expression. Even though Tai Sui had just died and his bones were not yet cold, all of them were thinking about how to embrace Lu Yu's thighs, and no one cared about avenging Tai Sui's death at all. Lu Yu was quite speechless, he knew that these people in the stick country, since ancient times, fear the strong, the more powerful to suppress them, the more obedient they are, the more indulgent, the more arrogant they are. But the speed of this change of face is so fast that the Sichuan opera change of face is straight to say that it cannot be compared. The Golden Eagle King. I now realize that the trance of familiarity before, from what place, it turns out that in the history of my rod country, there was once a golden eagle that saved all the people from the water and fire, and it is actually a few similarities with the Golden Eagle King. There were even historians from the Rod Kingdom who had already started compiling history on the spot, without blushing. The other people from the Rod Kingdom who heard these words also echoed. Hearing Prof. Jean say that, 
I so thought that I had also seen that golden eagle of creation in a certain part of ancient history, if there was no golden eagle, there would be no rod kingdom for us, the more those people spoke, the more excited they became. Even many people from the Rod Kingdom were as tearful as if they had seen their long-lost relatives, saying, The Golden Eagle Great King's reappearance in my Rod Kingdom must be due to the opening of the eyes of the old heavens, which is really a blessing for my Rod Kingdom. The Golden Eagle Great King is their father of the nation, the being who opened the heavens of my Rod Kingdom, the father of the nation of my Rod Kingdom. The father of the nation please also come to the palace for a small rest, we have not made offerings to the father of the nation for many years, it is really a deep sin, the father of the nation forgive your people. Countless cheers converged, those who did not know thought that they had encountered a great joy. Liu Yu looked speechless for a while, he really didn't know what the brain circuits of the stick country people were like. After all, he had killed their saint King Tai Yu, they not only did not take revenge, but also made up history and legends on the spot. This hand to the idea of the strongest as the honor, not playing the pain as bone marrow, rooted in the blood DNA, afraid of simply do as dead like silky smooth. And Liu Yu is naturally to become the father of the country of the stick, not half interest. The first thing that I want to do is to get the best out of him. This is not honoring himself, this is a slur on himself. So Liu Yu vibrated his wings and left the place without looking back. Father of the nation, we can't live without you, the stick country can't live without you, father of the nation. Have you already forgotten about your people national father? Liu Yu's departure caused many people from the stick country to cover their chests in pain and shout loudly towards Liu Yu in dismay. The corners of Liu Yu's mouth twitched. What kind of fatherly and filial scene was this if he didn't respond to this matter, he really didn't know how the Rod Kingdom would dupe himself without any limits. At that moment, he mobilized his aura and his body transmitted to the eight directions, all shut up, I, Liu Yu, have never had such shameless subjects as you. Liu Yu opened his mouth to rebuff, only causing the crowd of the stick country to freeze, and then they were on the verge of jumping up and down with joy instead. The father of the nation actually praised us for our thick skin, it seems that this virtue needs to be continued in addition to the propaganda for the father of the nation should be vigorously pursued. Quite a few of the high-ranking officials of the Rod Kingdom had already made the decision to crush the memento of the Holy King's Tai Sui that was originally placed on the table with an unmerciful stomp. While Lu Yu was leaving the stick country, the Blue Star was also in the midst of a shock because the stick country's sacred king Tai Yu was mercilessly obliterated by him. Tai Yu was a beer-ranked ferocious beast, and he was actually decimated by Lu Yu. Counting the previous Earth Demon King, Lu Yu had already killed two beer-ranked beasts. This kind of performance was simply appalling. If one time could be luck, then two times in a row could be that simple. The most crucial thing was that Liu Yu had taken the initiative to travel to the stick country to strike. They had all thought that at a time when the vast majority of B-rank ferocious beasts were coveting Zhangzhou City nowadays, Liu Yu must have been busy reinforcing his defenses against Zhangzhou City. However, they had never expected that he would actually dare to take the initiative to go out at this time. Was this the time he intended to give Zhangzhou City away? They were very confused. On top of that, those B-rank beasts that had previously announced their arrival in Zhangzhou City two days later felt a sense of being belittled. So many of their B-rank beasts were about to rush to Zhangzhou City. Liu Yu was hunting B-rank beasts instead, wasn't this giving them blinders and threatening them? Or was he taking the initiative to hunt B-rank ferocious beasts, which would only worsen the situation, and they believed that Liu Yu must have understood that, but he still did it. This this showed that he didn't place himself in his eyes at all. I've seen arrogant ferocious beasts, but I haven't seen such an arrogant ferocious beast, a golden eagle is just a golden eagle, and it dares to ignore the world's group of heroes. I just received news that the golden eagle doesn't seem to have turned back to return to Zhangzhou City, instead, it traveled to the island country at a much faster speed. Many ferocious beasts were slightly shocked after hearing this news. What? He still won't Zhangzhou City? What's the point of going to the island country? Talking about cooperation? The island country could be different from the stick country. It wasn't just a B-ranked Taiyu. Instead, it possessed three powerful B-rank ferocious beasts. It could be said to be one of the more powerful kingdoms to plunge into the embrace of the ferocious beasts today. Even though there was information that indicated that the Snow Maiden, the Great Snake, and Godzilla each had friction and contradictions with each other, if Liu Yu was so provocative, it was inevitable that they would strike together. And at that time, Liu Yu would have no way to go up to the sky, and no way to go down to the earth. After all, to kill a beast of the same realm, as long as there are two can basically be done, not to mention that the three of them are the best of the B-rank beasts, whether Lu Yu was a match for any of them was still unknown. In my opinion, that golden eagle might have gone to seek cooperation, and the Tai Sui of the Stick Kingdom is sort of a pitch he used to deter those ferocious beasts. More ferocious beasts felt that Lu Yu wouldn't be so foolish to go up and send himself to his death, he should be going to talk about cooperation, after all, the three great ferocious beasts of the island country had all sent representatives before. It was imperative to Zhengzhou City. 
If they were to cooperate with the three fierce beasts of the island nation, their four B-ranked fierce beasts would be able to barely hold on to Jiangzhou City. Therefore, while wondering why Lu Yu was rushing to the island country, they became a little more vigilant. That treasure land in Jiangzhou City was a matter of great importance for their cultivation afterward. It was also a place that they must fight for in their hearts, in which they must have a piece of their own territory, or else it was highly likely that they would fall from the first echelon of the realm, to the second echelon. Among the ferocious beasts, the strength can't keep up with the top, the status will be a drop in the bucket, and their own life and death will not be completely in their hands. No beast dared to rest on its laurels, nor did any beast want to give up Zhangzhou City. For a while, the eyes of the world all converged on the island. At this time, Li Yu was still strutting around, releasing the pressure of a B-rank beast and rushing to the island country. The reason why he was so high profile was because Lu Yu wanted to attract the attention of the world, and at the same time deter those B-rank beasts, so that they would not think of making a move against Zhangzhou City for the time being. After he killed the three beasts from the island country, he could use this to truly deter all the B-rank beasts, letting them understand that their strength was even more terrifying than they had imagined, and letting them back off. After all, break through the A-order evolution points enough, these B-order beasts, but the future A-order beasts, is the S-order above the beast seedling, so early cut, on his future breakthrough, very unfavorable. Wherever Lu Yu pass through the sea, those fierce beasts in the seawater have collapsed, do not dare to stay half a minute. And when the news that Lu Yu had obliterated the sacred king Taiyang and had traveled to the island country in a high profile, it spread amongst the ferocious beasts. Almost all the ferocious beasts below B rank in the island country were routing and fleeing, shocked by Lu Yu's fame. After all, he was a ruthless character who had obliterated two B rank fierce beasts. Today's Blue Star only produced one ferocious beast like Lu Yu. If John Zhou wasn't too tempting, there definitely wouldn't be so many fierce beasts who dared to talk to Lu Yu and ask him to hand over his territory. Unlike those ferocious beasts, the islanders didn't feel the slightest bit of fear, they only felt a strong sense of anger and, that golden eagle is really wild beyond bounds, do you really think we are a stick country? We're an enshrined B-rank beast, completely not comparable to that unimpressive Taiyu. That's right, in the beginning, when we decided to worship the Taiyu, I said that that Taiyu was not worth mentioning. In the face of the same B-stage ferocious beast, it even surrendered in fear of battle, and was even wiped out like a stepping stone, simply disgracing the face of the B-stage ferocious beast. If that golden eagle comes to commit a crime, I will definitely let him come back without a return, and eat his words, reorganizing my island nation's reputation in the world. The people of the island nation were clamoring, they were considered the first nation to choose to submit to the ferocious beast. Previously, they were scorned globally, saying that they had no backbone and were invertebrates. But now, the island country is considered to be the most stable place, although they need to sacrifice a large amount of blood food on weekdays but this is all their voluntary sacrifice to Big Snake and their three great sages. If Lu Yu arrives and obliterates him as if he were in the middle of the day, it will be difficult for the island nation to become famous even if it doesn't want to. The Orochi, Snow Woman and Godzilla who were in the country of arrival were all making preparations for battle, looking far in the direction of where Lu Yu was. Even though they were still separated by a certain amount of decision, but as the same top ferocious beasts, they previously existed a certain breath perception. It was possible to sense that Lu Yu was arriving at an extremely fast speed, knowing that they were still unclear for the time being, which one of them Lu Yu would choose to see, or make a move on that one of the ferocious beasts amongst them. From Lu Yu, they only sensed exuberant killing intent, and did not feel any semblance of cooperation. Lu Yu, who also vaguely sensed the three B-rank fierce beasts, decided to make his move from the Great Serpent after a little thought. The Snow Maiden was at the top of Mount Fuji, too mysterious, and there was too little information about her. Godzilla's strength was the strongest amongst the three ferocious beasts, not only in terms of moves, but also in terms of his physical body, he was frighteningly powerful, and was fast and hard. As for the great snake, his strength was actually not weak, and mastered a variety of origin power, among the B-rank ferocious beasts, it was also considered to be famous. However, it was really for this reason that he was the most arrogant, not putting the other ferocious beasts in his eyes. And arrogance leads to defeat. He himself was also able to fight a quick battle as soon as possible, obliterating him before dealing with the other two B-ranked ferocious beasts. As Lu Yu locked onto the big snake's aura and kept approaching towards him, the big snake's lungs were about to explode with anger. This was treating himself like a soft target to pinch? Ever since the awakening of his bloodline, all the other ferocious beasts had avoided walking away from him, lest they encountered him, this golden eagle was good. The other two ferocious beasts did not choose, so they chose themselves. Well well well, it seems that today must give that head of golden eagle, a good lesson, let him know what is called reverence. The great serpent, whose heart was filled with rage, swelled in size with a roar, and its six heads roared up to the sky. Each head had a different aura, each draped with a different origin power, 
and after expanding dramatically, it transformed into a heavenly beast, as if it had transformed into a mountain peak. The meaning of his revealing his breath was obvious, this was provoking Lu Yu, right here to fight with Lu Yu. Lu Yu was naturally not accustomed to him, and at that moment, the aura of a beerank beast that was already spreading out swept towards the place where the big snake was. At the same time, he took a deep breath, and his body size also expanded dramatically, as if he had transformed into an endless golden cloud, and the big snake each occupied half of the sky. While their breaths were exchanging, whether it was the Snow Maiden and Godzilla within the arrival island, or the Birank ferocious beasts from other countries, they were all paying close attention. Previously, when Liu suddenly appeared in the stick country and laid hands on Taiyu, their sudden news came so abruptly that they didn't know how Taiyu was obliterated so quickly. Now, from Liu revealing his whereabouts to this moment's confrontation with the Great Serpent Breath, they hadn't missed a thing, and were curious to know what exactly Liu Yu's methods were, and whether his fighting strength was as powerful as rumored. Even though they had already learned some of Liu Yu's skills and strength from his previous battle with the Earth Demon King. However, at that time, they were all still just C-stage fierce beasts, far from reaching B-stage, and from that battle, they had not sensed anything at all. All they knew was that the power of origin was very heavy on them. Now, looking at Liu Yu's battle again, there would definitely be a very different and new harvest. In the sky above the island. As Liu Yu's aura collided with the rapidly expanding serpent into one day, the white clouds in the sky rolled, accompanied by the sound of the earth cracking, and were forcefully split into two halves, and collided with each other, not giving way to each other. Tiny golden eagle, laughable laughable, dare to so belittle this respect, today within three strokes, must take your head. The proud nature of the great snake, six heads like mountains issued a roar in unison, vibrating the air, setting off sound waves that spread like waves. As the island's current top three B-rank beasts, he had always considered himself to be the leader of the three ferocious beasts, and had not placed the other beasts in his eyes at all. Now that he had been belittled by Lu Yu in this manner, the shock and humiliation caused to his heart could be imagined. It caused him to be unable to control the urge to tear him apart as soon as he saw Lu Yu. When the great serpent opened his mouth so arrogantly, instead of being angered by his words, Lu Yu laughed coldly in his heart. As expected, the great snake's strength wasn't bad, but he was too arrogant, if he kept on being so arrogant, he would only gradually engulf and bury him. Three moves and you want to destroy me? I have to say, you are the most arrogant and ignorant ferocious beast I have ever seen. Lu Yu narrowed his eyes slightly, the overbearing aura in his body running like a river before he abruptly disappeared in place. The only thing that remained was his voice, echoing in the air, I hope that after three moves, you'll still be able to stand here and talk to me. Unlike Orochi Orochi who wanted to obliterate himself as soon as possible to prove his strength, Lu Yu only thought of a quick battle and taking his life. So he chose to strike directly, and with Lu Yu launching his shadow attack, he disappeared into thin air. The six heads of the serpent looked around, the spiritual light flickering amongst the pupils of the serpent, trying to discern Lu Yu's figure. However, with the concealment and explosive speed of the shadow attack, it wasn't something that Big Snake could detect at all, and he could only feel that the crisis was rapidly approaching stimulating the blood in his entire body to flow faster. Hoomph, it's true that it's only a golden eagle with an average bloodline, the courage to fight head-on is not even there, chasing after a sneak attack in the dark is it? Despite not being able to perceive Lu Yu's aura, the great serpent was not the least bit panicked, each of the six heads had a different origin aura permeating them. The six snake tails that were like whips also swung up slightly, emitting sound waves that couldn't be heard with the naked eye before spitting out a long scarlet tongue, sensing the sound waves coming back from the air. His divine sense was not strong, but the means he used to detect his prey was a bit more subtle than even divine sense. Found you, little golden eagle. In the next moment, the great serpent's wagging tail suddenly came to a halt, its narrow eyes contracted violently, and towards the one head at the back of its body, it violently spat out a cloud of piercing golden light, tearing everything along the way to shreds, its sharpness unshakable. Being of the bloodline of the eight giant serpent, his six heads represented the power of the six origins. Even though he is still only in the initial stage of mastering the power of the golden origin, he is still incomparably sharp, as if he can cut through everything, even steel walls, cannot withstand his strike. Lu Yu's silhouette emerged from behind the serpent, looking at him with slight surprise, not expecting him to be able to accurately perceive his position. However, this surprise only lasted for an instant, Lu Yu recovered his calmness and swung a claw towards. He swung his claw down towards the golden light, and the throbbing silver-colored thunder surrounded it, electrifying the void and crawling with fine black marks. After that the two very different origin forces collided together. Thunder and golden light intertwined, annihilating and devouring each other, making the space suddenly bright and dark. Also when these two origin forces were at odds with each other, the corner of the great serpent's mouth lifted up a cold smile of disdain, and the other five heads twisted over in unison, and at the same time, launched an attack on Luyu. Some of the heads were red under the aura, reflecting the dark scales as if they were red-hot pieces of iron, 
and then they violently open their mouths, spewing out hot magma, causing the air to start emitting black smoke and being burned and twisted. The origin of fire. Earth origin and so on, densely packed attacks, a brain towards Lu Yu. Worthy of possessing the bloodline of the legendary Orochi Orochi, this strike of Lord Great Serpent contains six different origin powers, is this not something that can be compared to that one tiny golden eagle? Cultivating to Lord Great Serpent's level can be compared to not only realm, but also talent and bloodline, in terms of bloodline, the golden eagle has already lost too much. The moment the Great Serpent struck, the island nation's crowd boiled over. It was many of the ferocious beasts that were paying attention to this battle that also shifted their attention from Luyu to the Great Serpent. Even though they had known before that the Great Serpent might be in possession of many origin powers, the shocking feeling of actually seeing him unleash them all still made their scalps explode. After all, with more and more C-stage beasts breaking through to B-stage nowadays, they already had quite a bit of knowledge about the details of the breakthroughs of B-stage beasts and the roots of their power. For other beasts to break through from C-stage to B-stage, all they needed was to comprehend and initially master an origin power. Of course, the more origin forces one masters and comprehends, the more powerful one naturally becomes, and the more the merrier. But was the origin force not that easy to master? If one didn't have the relevant talent, or a heavenly chance, even just mastering one origin force would be much more difficult. It was absolutely impossible to do what the Great Serpent did, to the extent of mastering six origin powers. Although the Golden Eagle killed two B-ranked ferocious beasts, whether it's the Earth Demon King or the Taiyu, their strengths are very average, and with very few origin origins under their senses, it's simply not possible to be comparable to the Great Serpent. Many of the top ferocious beasts discussed, looking at the satellite broadcast of the battle, and inwardly felt a little more fearful of the Great Serpent. They asked themselves, once they encountered such a sudden attack from the Great Serpent, it would be difficult for them to fend it off without injury. Six distinct origin powers, this guy has arrogant capital, but it's a pity. In the face of the Great Serpent's attack, Lu Yu's complexion however looked calm. Nowadays, through plundering the skills of other ferocious beasts, he was also indirectly grasping quite a few origin forces, which were no worse than this Great Serpent. Even because most of those skills had been upgraded by Lu Yu, the origin power was not comparable to that of the Great Serpent. Therefore, Lu Yu didn't dodge, but chose to fight hard with the big snake. At one time, the power of ice, hurricane, earth, thunder, and shadow. All kinds of origin power surged out from Lu Yu's body in unison, and then transformed into a skill attack. One by one, they collided with the origin power released by the Great Snake. Nearly twelve different origin forces swept privately over the island, the streaming clouds were shredded, the earth was shattered, and the horrifying and chaotic fluctuations made the sky cloudy and uncertain. A moment of scorching heat, like a hot wind on the face, evaporating the moisture of the whole body. A moment of snowflakes falling, for the earth to put on a layer of silver, chilling. Countless lines of sight converged here. In addition to the shock on their faces, there was only an even more intense shock, their eyes widened until they were covered with blood, not blinking. The Great Serpent was able to perform six different origin powers, which had shocked them to the extreme, but it was also understandable, after all, he had a special bloodline that could not be compared to ordinary ferocious beasts. Being a bit counterintuitive was also within their expectations. But Lu Yu, a golden eagle, what did he have? Not only did he release a dazzling array of origin powers, but each of them, after colliding, gradually began to suppress the Great Snake's origin power. It looked like Lu Yu's origin force was not only quite numerous, but it was also more powerful than the Great Serpent. Why? This golden eagle doesn't even look like it has undergone a mutation, why is he a bit more powerful than even the Great Serpent? Countless ferocious beasts couldn't understand even if they thought about it. They only felt that under Lu Yu's golden appearance, it seemed as if there was an extra layer of thick mist, so mysterious that it was impossible to see through. Those top b rank beasts, especially Snow Maiden and Godzilla who were in the middle of the island, also had surprise and confusion in their eyes to a greater or lesser extent. For beasts, what they practiced at the back was their bloodline. After all, this kind of thing, such as chance, could be encountered but could not be sought, and was not in their scope of consideration. However, Lu Yu had completely broken this iron law in their hearts. This forced them to pay more attention to this battle, hoping to discover some clues from Lu Yu. At the same time, after a few breaths of collision between Lu Yu's and the Great Serpent's origin power, the origin power released by the Great Serpent was worn out by all means, and his huge body was unable to withstand the chaotic energy impact, all parts of his body were suffering from the impact, and his huge body was constantly sliding on the ground, leaving a deep skid mark. On the contrary, Lu Yu, wings suspended in mid-air, is the feathers have not been blown chaotic, radiating bright golden light, shining in all directions. Little golden eagle, I didn't see that you really have some strength, but in front of this father, it's still too far. After stabilizing his body, the great serpent violently let out a wild laugh. 
At that moment, the scales of his entire body opened slightly, as if they had turned into blades that cut iron like mud, and between the spiritual chi surging within his body, they dyed the scales into a pure black color. After that, six heads, six tails, swayed slightly in the void, as if they were bows and arrows poised to launch a fatal strike at any time. Compared to the origin power he had mastered, his physical body was also unimaginably powerful. Since it was difficult to defeat Lu Yu in terms of origin power, he planned to use the power of his physical body to slice Lu Yu into pieces of meat. After all, any ferocious beast with a top bloodline could also crush other ferocious beasts with a low bloodline by relying on the power of the flesh god. And this was the second move that the great snake had prepared for Lu Yu. As early as when the great serpent had given up on activating his origin power and instead mobilized his aura to integrate it into his body and scales, Lu Yu had already guessed what he was thinking. If he was dealing with other ferocious beasts, this method of response was undoubtedly very good. However, if he wanted to use his physical strength to deal with himself, it would be nothing more than a fool's errand. After all, his wings had been strengthened by the system to a level comparable to a rank. Even if Oroki's physical strength was increased by several times, it would still not be able to compare to his own wings. His own wings. However, Lu Yu was not led by the snake. As the serpent went all out to strengthen his fleshly body with his aura, Lu Yu still pushed his origin power to launch his attack. Various powerful origin forces and dense clusters of meteorites locked onto the big snake's six heads and heart and other weak parts. However, the great serpent whose flesh had been strengthened, not only had his flesh become powerful too, but all aspects of his perception had also undergone some sort of qualitative change. The moment before the power of origin bombarded his body, it was skillfully avoided by him to avoid the vitals, while landing on the other parts covered in full scales, it didn't set off too much of a storm. At most, it only left some white marks on the scales, and after the flow of spiritual light, it was quickly restored as before. Without utilizing its origin power, it was as if the great serpent had become an untouchable flesh-suited warrior. Are your attacks tickling this honored one? It's my honor's turn next. The great serpent smiled coldly, his narrow eyes flashed with bloodlight, and a huge amount of power squirmed from the muscles of his entire body to the top of his thick six great tails, violently slapping the void. Explosive sound resounded loudly, shocking countless islander eardrums were about to be torn apart. Immediately afterward, the huge figure of Big Snake smashed through the void and appeared in front of Lu Yu at an unimaginable speed. Lu Yu's pupils shrunk slightly, the speed that this big snake displayed at this moment was even swifter than the other attacks that had been initiated with shadow attacks before. It was so fast that the barrier in the void was like a mere decoration. Lu Yu quickly executed Ice Surge and Earth Hand in an attempt to freeze and imprison him in place. However, as soon as the ice cones that emitted cold air landed on his scales, they were immediately shattered by the tough scales, and the cold air that was enough to freeze the moisture in the air only caused the scales to glow with white icy sand, and was never able to freeze the serpent in place. On top of that, the earth hands that Lu Yu had executed did not play any role in front of the big snake after its flesh had been strengthened. The cage had just risen from the ground when he was struck across the ground and scattered into irregular pieces of earth that crumbled and fell, bringing up dust from the sky. From afar, the serpent looked like a giant snake coiling in the heavens and earth, dominating and crushing everything in front of him. Immediately afterward, he violently opened his bloody mouth and tore towards Lu Yu. The flavor of a beast-age ferocious beast must be very wonderful. The great serpent's eyes were filled with impatient fervor, blocking off all of Lu Yu's retreating paths. Lu Yu had already used several skills and means one after another, but he still couldn't do any damage to himself, and the only thing waiting for him was to become the food in his own belly. In an instant, six bloody mouths opened violently and pounced on Lu Yu. His wide-open mouth, enlarged in Lu Yu's eyes, looked like a mouthful of bottomless abyss, with sharp-pointed teeth stained with mucus, exuding a pungent stench. Lu Yu held his breath and didn't think about continuing to cast his skills, instead, he gradually infused his aura into his A-step wings. In this state, whether one wanted to injure him or control him, it was a difficult thing to do, like entering a state of magic immunity. Since that was the case, it would have to be a hard fight. Want to eat me, in your next life? Accompanied by Lu Yu's voice that was cold to the core, every feather in his wings that were nourished by his aura surged, and his already huge wingspan took on the appearance of covering the sky. The flying birds in a radius of tens of hundreds of miles only felt their entire bodies go soft the moment they sensed the Sora, and couldn't help but fall from the air. The fear deep in their bloodline made them instinctively want to run away from that aura. But that aura was too strong and overbearing, like an overlord in the sky. They were unable to move, unable to resist. It wasn't until their bodies descended from the air again and again, almost falling close to the ground. It was only then that the invisible pressure suddenly declined quite a bit. They hurriedly vibrated their wings in panic, flying close to the ground while fleeing from that suddenly spreading aura. At the same time, they looked back in terror, wanting to know who the owner of that aura was. At the end of their gazes, a golden beast with a wingspan of nearly a hundred meters hovered in midair, 
its aura horrifying to the extreme, setting off gusts of pale airwaves that beat against the void. Quite a number of spiritually intelligent C-stage ferocious beasts instantly recognized that this seemed to be Lu Yu's figure. It was just that compared to when he first arrived here, that pair of wings was several times more massive, and his aura had become more and more terrifying and inscrutable. With just a glance, it was as if the silhouette had been burned into their minds, never to be forgotten. In the depths of their eyes, there was also an additional touch of deep to the bone awe. The serpent that was closest to Lu Yu was the first to sense the change in Lu Yu's aura, although he was quite a number of birds of prey and did not have a strong sense of bloodline suppression. However, Lu Yu's wings exuded an increasingly close to the A-ranked breath, but also let him forward momentum, slowed down dramatically. It was as if an invisible barrier surrounded Lu Yu, making it difficult to get closer. Immediately after, the faces on all six of his heads changed abruptly, because Lu Yu suddenly burst from his original position at this moment, bringing up a mold of golden streams of light that cut through the sky. The suffocating sense of crisis made his heart beat faster and his muscles tense to the extreme. But before he could act, the aura in his body was forcibly suppressed by the aura emanating from the A-step double wings. His body and appeared in a trance for a moment, as if he was frozen in place. Lu Yu's wings were like knives, violently sweeping forward, each plume spreading out, like the serrated teeth on a knife, nothing unbreakable, setting off streamlined airwaves wherever they passed. The great snake was shocked by the A-rank aura for a split second, and was unable to dodge the strike. The twin wings mercilessly slashed across his chest, and his body that could block all kinds of origin attacks before was as fragile as tofu at this moment. The blood, scales, and flesh that were brought up and splattered by the plumes splashed across the sky, emitting a strong bloody odor. The great serpent's body instinctively jerked and contracted, and the lingering pain, which rushed straight to his heavenly aura, pulled him back from his shocked trance. As his lax pupils refocused, the sharp pain that flipped through his chest almost drowned his sanity. The six heads swung up madly, emitting miserable screams and roars, and the six tails that swung along with them smashed into the earth haphazardly, causing the earth to shake and crack, as if a large earthquake had suddenly erupted. The serpent's chest appeared slanting cross-chopping wound, visible fresh internal organs, was Lu Yu suddenly hit hard, this change came extremely fast. Some of the ferocious beasts that had just been distracted did not even realize what had happened, and the great snake that had just occupied the upper part of the room had already been seriously injured by Lu Yu in this manner. And after seeing Lu Yu use his wings to inflict heavy injuries on the great serpent, the murderers were even more horrified and unimaginable. After all, they had just seen with their own eyes that Lu Yu's skills and attacks that landed on the great serpent's body were unable to cause him any damage. But now, with his aura converging on top of his wings, his breath had even soared, and he had directly damaged the big snake's rock-solid body. Even if the twin wings had gone a little deeper, the big snake might have been split up on the spot by the wings. It looked like Lu Yu's body was even more terrifying than the other skills. The aura of a rank. You've stepped into the A rank. No. Impossible, your strength can't be this strong. Impossible. The great serpent, who had come over from its painful degree, stared at Lu Yu's wings for the first time with a look of horror on its face. The other ferocious beasts were far away from here and were unable to physically sense Lu Yu's aura. Even more so, they were unable to perceive how amazing the pressure emanating from those wings was. Having experienced it firsthand, his memory was still fresh and impressive. The aura of his wings had definitely surpassed the B rank and reached the A rank, undergoing a qualitative change. Otherwise, with the nobility of his bloodline, the aura of any B-stage ferocious beast would not be able to make him appear in a trance for a moment. But, Lu Yu did so? Surprisingly, he had raised his wings to a level comparable to a rank. Lu Yu had no intention of giving him an explanation. Although the A-rank twin wings were powerful enough to crush B-rank ferocious beasts, the amount of spiritual chi consumed was also massive, and he was unable to activate them for a long time. Therefore, he acted once again to obliterate the great snake as soon as possible. Lu Yu's body was surging with killing intent, and all six of the great serpent's heads revealed a look of panic. His chest injury was extremely serious and had almost killed him, so he hadn't been able to dodge or counterattack at all. Moreover, after realizing that Lu Yu's wings got a rank, he knew that this in-state Lu Yu was not something he could fight against. Even if only part of his body had entered the A rank, it was still in existence far beyond the B rank. Thus, as soon as Lu Yu made a move, he directly abandoned the pride in his heart, and the balcony let out a loud roar, and, if you all continue to stand by and do nothing, after this father falls, it will be you. This voice used up all of the power of the great serpent at this moment. The moment his words fell, Lu Yu suddenly sensed two astonishing auras descending on this place, one on the left and one on the right, at unimaginable speeds. The one that first appeared amongst his senses was a Godzilla that resembled a lizard, but was huge, covered in black, and with its back covered in protruding spikes. After he appeared, the earth sank a lot. Looks like we all underestimated you. 
Godzilla looked at Liu Yu with a serious expression as his raspy voice came out from his throat in some sort of resonating manner, disturbing the mind to a certain extent. Immediately behind Godzilla appeared a white figure who looked like a stunningly beautiful human woman.